Soon you're uh you're gonna have to make a mega mega movie. Well, I can't sadly It'd break the ten hour upload limit. N no, the, there there isn't a ten hour upload limit. Wait, it's gone. Yeah, man, there's like a hundred hour video. Well then, I guess I have no choice. It's a big super mega movie. Jesus Christ, go get some sleep for real. These compilation. See you on the other side. How to ask out a girl. Approach girl. Wait, slow down. Uh, you passed her. This is a vending machine. Okay, mini donuts are good too. Say when. Sir, that was the entire block of cheese. Go get another. I can't see you anymore. I won't let you hurt me again. It was a sit up. You did one sit up. I show love to my friends by gently bullying them. Do you have that one OC that you're always like, yes. You shall have every single bad thing I can think of happen to you. Was Jonah and the Whale the first war? Hey everyone, was Jonah and the Whale the first war? Was the biblical story of Jonah and the Whale the very first war? Hey guys, I think that Jonah and the Whale was the first war, do you agree? Guys! Whoa, why did I never realize a mustache is just a mouth bro? That eyebrows are just eye stashes. What? 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 Hey, have you guys ever realized the brain named itself? Too late for this shit, oh my god. What if your belly button screamed and you covered it with a shirt because it's scared of the dark? How fucking high was I last night? Okay, ice cubes are fucking badass. I mean, they float around in their own blood. Do you ever feel bugs on you when there are no bugs? They're the ghosts of the bugs you've killed. I wish I could unread this. It's 2013. Why can't I delete friends in real life? Okay, so it turns out what I was thinking of is called murder. Do you ever go to put salt in your food and find it odd that we sprinkle tiny pieces of rock on our food because we like how it tastes? Like how fucking weird is that, right? I just realized we don't even know what dinosaurs sound like. They could have been speaking fluid German for all we know. It's too early for this late night tumbler shit. Guten Morgen, Herr Pterodactyl. What if trees cried because you started eating their fruit? Because their fruit is basically their babies. So every time we eat an apple or something, we're eating a tree baby. We're eating their ovaries, actually. Do you ever get the urge to get up in the middle of the night while everyone else is fast asleep and just walk places and to be completely alone and entirely dedicated to your thoughts? Yes, but the problem is I don't want to get murdered, you feel me? I feel you. We all feel you. Why are there so many people touching me? This is why you don't walk around in the middle of the night. On the bright side, I'm not addicted to crack cocaine. On the downside, I'm too poor to afford one. One crack cocaine. Hello, drug dealer. Yes, I would like to purchase one crack cocaine, please. Debit or credit? I actually have a gift card. I have decided on a new constellation. I call it the bees. If you look up at the night sky and see all those sparkly dots, congratulations, you see the bees. I have just made astrology 10,000 times easier. You're welcome. Those born under the sign of the bees have emotions, think thoughts, is likely introverted or extroverted, has at least a few friends, was born at some point. Oh my God, that's so me. What if, like, there was an exact copy of you somewhere? Except they're the other gender? Like, you guys could literally have a Freaky Friday moment and nothing would change. Imagine the best friendship that could be found there. I can literally go fuck myself. Ah, there's two types of people. KILL YOUR DOUBLE! Uh, apparently there are three. A girl with pink hair just helped me at Walmart and I was like, I know about your Tumblr. And the color just drained from her face. It was so funny. Oh my fucking God. That was me, you fucking asshole. No, it wasn't. I made this up for notes. Why do you never see baby pigeons? What if all pigeons are baby pigeons and there's one master pigeon like the size of a whale? Fuck this website. So I just realized something. Plastic donor sores, right? Plastic is made of oil, which come from dinosaurs. Plastic dinosaurs are made of IRL dinosaurs. I... How did you manage to spell dinosaurs differently three times? How convenient that J.K. Rowling made Tom Marlowe Riddle equal I am Lord Voldemort when it's obviously supposed to be Mr. Tom, a dildo lover. I'm 
99% sure Fred and George made this post. I'm 100% sure it was just George. If you put a picture of yourself in a locket, you could say you are independent. My friend was cold, so I told her to stand in the corner. Corners in 90 degrees. I had to lean back in my chair and stare out the window for several minutes because I am so done with this website. What happens to nitrogen when the sun rises? It becomes nitrogen. I'm going to bed. Good nitrogen. Sleep hydrogen. Don't let the bed bugs nitrogen. Where did Noah keep his bees? In the archives. Get the fuck away from me right now. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? Are you matey? What happened when the guy shoplifted the calendar? He got 12 months. Crime isn't a joke. The man entered his home and was absolutely delighted when he discovered someone had stolen every lamp in his house. Oh my god. Guys, Shakespeare wrote that all the world's a stage. His theater was called the Globe. Not only was that line philosophical and deep, but it was also a fucking pun. Also, remember that famous line from Romeo and Juliet? A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. The rival theater was called The Rose, and they had a sewage problem. Not just a beautiful line, but also a pun and Willie Shakes throwing shade. Willie Shakes. Are tectonic plates dishwasher safe? I don't know, but they're perfect for a continental breakfast. If you were dating an FBI agent and you dumped him, would he be your FedEx? I hope the NSA people scanning my blog got a chuckle out of that. Okay, so I would identify as bisexual. And that means you would have a male partner. Yep. Or a female partner. Yep. And that means you're bi. Yep. So that means if you don't find a partner, you're on standby. Did you just... I swear, people get 500 times cuter when they talk about what they're passionate about. Unless it's Hitler. Then it's only nine times cuter. I am done! What if instead of a face, I just had a bowl of freshly steamed vegetables? And so it begins. So, what does the chef recommend? Sir, this is a McDonald's. I'm sorry. What does the mix chef recommend? What if the voice inside your head is your soulmate's? Then my soulmate's a fucking asshole. I think my soulmate is a serial killer. No, I'm not. Can necromancers heal deep? Depression. It just feels so dead inside. Dead inside, you say? <laughs> I know something that might just work. I want to be a reverse tooth fairy where I rob people and then scatter human teeth on their bed. A dentist? I don't know what your dentist is doing to you, but I think you need to go to the police. I haven't ate anything since 11, bruh. I'm starving. Damn, and you how old now? I forgot what BFG stood for, and I was sitting there for a good five minutes going, No, no, they wouldn't have called a kid's film Big Fucking Giant, would they? Would they? <sighs> hey guys, I'm, gonna, I'm making French toast sticks in the oven. I'm gonna take a quick nap. Wake me up in like five minutes so I can flip them over. Randy, it's been five minutes! Flip your sticks! <laughs> Randy, your sticks! Introducing the new sport, Basketball 2. What is the objective? Survive! The internet is for cowboys only. WWW? It stands for Wild Wild West. I was looking for apartments earlier today, and I think I found the perfect one. Where are you? Bathroom 47. If 666 is evil, then 25.8069758011127 is the root of all evil. Do you have a fucking calculator in your shower? Tries his best to widen his horizons and take on various interesting and different roles. Ah, oh, look at that Harry Potter man go. What if every spider I ever crushed thought it was just like living in my house with me the whole time and one day I just flew off the handle and murdered it? Like it just thought we were hanging out together. Has every spider died while feeling a sense of betrayal? Literally, everyone on here is on drugs. Do I... do I have to do... Yes, you do. Now, read it. If the poison goes past its expiration date, does it get more toxic or less toxic? Welcome to the internet! Please follow me! Tonight on Fox News Official. 
What if the bumps around your nipples were actually Braille and everyone had a different message like fortune cookies? Find out tonight at 11. I bet microwaves are actually just filled with a million invisible eyes that just stare at food until it gets all embarrassed and hot. I'm a website with this done. Do bananas think about stuff? This has over 2,000 notes and I'm getting offline. Hey, what if someone invented a machine that allowed women to transfer their pregnancies to men and then the government passed a law that if a woman didn't want to have a baby, the biological father was required to carry it? How fast do you think birth control would stop being an issue? Best night blog post ever! What if you hit your alarm clock one morning and it hits you back? That would be alarming. Imagine a horror movie while you're trapped in your house with a serial killer, but all your lights are clappers. So you're running for your life from this psychopath while both of you are just aggressively clapping the lights on and off. And of all my 3 a.m. ramblings, you guys decide to make this one popular. What? I'm not sure whether I should laugh or cry. Oh my god. Imagine this thing crawling rapidly towards you in the middle of the night. Your delivery has arrived. Are you DTF? Yes, I'm DTF. Down to forgive. No, stop! You finally sneak into the dragon's cave and find the treasure chest. You open it and there is just a macaroni drawing by the dragon's son. It's treasure to me! The dragon bellows. Satan worshippers kill and eat four Russian teenagers after stabbing each of them 666 times. That sounds exhausting, I'm sorry. They kill them after they stab them 666 times? How does that much stabbing not kill someone all on its own? Do you think any of them lost count? 476, 477, 479, wait. Shit, Steve, I think I fucked up. Do, do I start over? What the hell is wrong with this website? Instead of doing all that work, they could have just killed three Russian teenagers and stabbed them each six times. That'd be much easier. Tumblr where we criticize Satan worshippers not for killing people, but for the unnecessary amount of effort they put into doing it! What- What color are mirrors? Let's reflect on this. <laughs> Let's be real. In a time before the internet people didn't have more adventures and make more meaningful connections, they watched TV and listened to CDs. Before that, they listened to records and read magazines. Before that, they listened to the radio and read bad dime novels. Before that, they embroidered or some shit, I don't know. People have been staying inside and ignoring other people for as long as there have been buildings. I, I, I think we all needed this. Oh, Tumblr, you've done it again. My favorite picture on Tumblr ever. I'm laughing so hard because I thought of 22 and said 22 out loud at 4 a.m. Oh my God. <laughs> 33 44 <sighs> I realized my mistake. I saw this ad in 2005 and I'm still wondering why her head is so tiny. Why? Why is her head so tiny? No, I've got it. Those skin color things to the side are not her shoulders. They are actually a chair. Oh, my Uga King forgot. Why were they vegetables? Why did they have to be vegetables? The idea for VeggieTales came in the early 90s when Phil Vischer was testing out animation software as a medium for children's videos. Due to the limitations of the software available to him at the time, he chose to avoid that technical production hurdle of creating characters with arms, legs, or hair. His first animation model was an anthropomorphic candy bar. When his wife suggested that parents might prefer a hero who promoted healthier eating habits, he began basing characters on fruits and vegetables. I have never felt this level of closure in my life. I'm so satisfied right now. Yo, VeggieTales doesn't get the love it should. To be honest, in the early days, it was five people making them out of Phil Vischer's garage in Peoria, Illinois. No one has succeeded with 3D animation yet. Toy Story was two years away. But VeggieTales did it! Pixar even called them and asked how they did the cheek puffing animation in the early days. Pixar called them. Bad props, VeggieTales. Stop everything. Sharon, hold my calls. I need to stare at this newborn hippo. How dare anything that grows up so big start so tiny? How dare it? What on earth? This is the cutest thing ever! Oh man, I'll steal one from the zoo. Oh my Jesus, I want one! <clears throat> That's a fucking guinea pig. You weird hair. Like, it can't be cold or warm hair. When you touch it, it's just 
Hair temperature. This I swear to God. I just walked past two construction dudes and one of them just said, I don't think they're right-handed or left-handed. They're just dogs. So, what do you guys have planned for Valentine's Day? Murder. That's the spirit. My sister was blasting Wrecking Ball from her room, so when the chorus came in, I burst in and threw a yoga ball at her. One might say that I came in like a wrecking ball. She's still yelling at me. Dude, sleeping is nice because you're not actually dead and you're not awake, so it's a win-win situation. It's like being dead without the commitment. An open relationship with death, death with benefits, and every night stand. All right, dude, we get it. So I can either bake these cookies at 400 degrees for 10 minutes or 4,000 degrees for one minute. Nick, no, that's not how you bake cookies, friend. Blow it. Nick, no. How about 4 million degrees for one second? Nick, you're going to burn your house down. I'm going to harness the fucking sun and make cookies. Nick, <laughs> You're either the friend or the Nick. A homeless guy just said to me, do you tell jokes to make people laugh or to make people think you're funny? And that is the most profound shit I've ever experienced. Why are you doing that? You see, I want the particles in my food to vibrate at just the right frequency. Wait, you forgot to make that one vibrate. Oh, well, well see, not with this food. This one's already vibrating at the desired frequency, but if it starts to vibrate at a higher frequency, I lock it back in the cold box. All our teeth fall out as children, and they all grow back stronger. Okay, I mean, that definitely sounds fake, but okay. We have smaller secret pants that we wear under our normal pants. Why? Imagine being a human in an alien crew in space and leaving with bright blue or pink hair and the color fades and everybody on board wonders, why are you losing your colors? Is it the lack of greens? Are you sad, angry? They just don't know. Human biology is baffling. Uh, these are the kind of pure posts I come to this place for. I'm sorry, what? Did you just say your comfortable temperature ranges? Honestly, we can tolerate anywhere from negative 40 to 50 Celsius, but we prefer to zero the 30 range. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, did you just list temperatures below freezing? Yeah, but most of us prefer to throw on scarves or jackets at those temperatures. It can be a bit nippy. Nah, mate, I knew this guy in college who refused to wear anything past his knees and elbows until it was like negative 20 at least. Huh, <laughs> yeah, everybody knows someone like that. And did you also say 50 Celsius as in halfway to boiling? Ugh, yes, it sucks. We sweat everywhere, and God help you if you touch a seatbelt buckle. But yes. We've got like 50 uninhabitable planets we think you might enjoy. You're telling me that you have settlements on islands with active volcanism? Well, yeah. I'm not about to tell Iceland and Hawaii how to live their lives. Actually, it's kind of a tourist attraction. What, the molten rock? Well, yeah. It's not every day you see a mountain spew out liquid rocks. The best one's in Yellowstone, though. All those hot springs and geysers from the supervolcano. You actively seek out active supervolcanoes. Shit, man, we swim in the groundwater near them. But surely you have records of volcanic activity doing tremendous damage to human settlements. Yep, Pompeii's legendary. Entire cities went, towns buried under lava, people's brains boiled in the first rush of heat. Loads more killed by falling pumice. Ah, good. They learned their lesson and didn't build there again. Well... Are you seriously telling me this volcano is legendary for killing several urban conurbations and you built on top of it again? In our defense, it actually hasn't done it since. What about earthquake-prone areas? Tell me you're at least vaguely sensible about those. Oh yeah, after the first major earthquake that flattens a city, we build them better. And you say the poles of your world would get as low as negative 100 with wind chill? Yep, with blizzards you can't see through every other day just about. Amazing. When did you manage to send drones that would survive such temperatures? Well, actually... What? We kind of sent people. What? We sent... No, I heard you. Did I just... What? You sent humans to a place 100 degrees below freezing? Y yeah. And they didn't 
die? Well, the first few did. People died of the cold, and your solution was to send more people? That's it. I'm off this planet. Y'all are fucking crazy. I have a science headcanon. Can you just say you have a hypothesis like a normal person? So my science headcanon is... Want to see how badass I am? Could someone take me to the hospital? Swear words are illegal now. If you say one, you'll be fined. Heck, you're on thin fucking ice. Oh no. May, I'm home. Hi, home. I'm disappointed. Hey, Peter, what's up? I'm sitting in a pool of blood. Is it your blood? Yeah, I think so. Do you know where it's coming from? Probably the stab wound. You've been stabbed? Oh, yeah, definitely. Chillax! That's not a word. Sometimes the ones who deny chillax are the ones who need to chillax the most. Narrator voice. New York, Queens. It's a rough borough, but hey, it's home. You're not supposed to say narrator voice, Peter. Guess what number I'm thinking of. 420? No, that's really immature of you. Someone else guess and please take this seriously. Is it 69? Yeah, it was 69. I don't get why we need driver's training. Driving is just like Mario Kart, except slower, and you can't throw blue shells at people. All right, so you're never driving. Are you inside my ceiling, Peter? Um, no. What's the tallest buildings in your city? The library, because it has the most stories. Ugh, what a weird looking hand. It's not nice to make fun of handicapped people. Can we just take a second to realize that there are 14 year olds that weren't born in the 90s? Just fucking let that sink in. What the fuck does he want now? Hey, can I just come in for a second? That's it. That's the single greatest pun on Tumblr. What do you call a cow on grass? <laughs> So what do you call a snobbish criminal going down the stairs? I don't, I don't know. What? A condescending condescending! Get out. So today this guy accidentally hit me with a door when he was walking out of the classroom, and instead of saying sorry, he just looked over and said, pretty cute, and walked away. And then I realized, I literally just got hit on. The pun is greater than the pain. I guess you could say that he adores you. Get the fuck out! An Englishman, a Frenchman, a Spaniard, and a German are all standing watching a street performer do some excellent juggling. The juggler notices that the four gentlemen have very poor view, so he stands up on a large wooden box and calls out, Can you all see me now? Yes, we see ya. What? Oh my god, it took me about ten minutes to finally understand this. Eyelashes, you are supposed to prevent stuff from falling in my eye, but when you fall in my eye, then what am I supposed to do? You were my last line of defense and you betrayed me! How ironic. Get off my post! You don't have to lash out. I support farming. In fact, you can call me. Wow! Wow! You're living, you occupy space, and you have mass. You know what that means? You matter. This is the most inspirational pun I've ever seen. How has this been going for six episodes? Do you want to build a pentagonal dodecahedron? It doesn't have to be a pentagonal dodecahedron. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and was diagnosed with mesothelioma. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, You might be entitled to a financial compensation if he or a loved one dies. TIL that a cat once co-authored a physics paper. In 1975, a physicist had just finished writing a paper and was ready to publish but realized he had used we instead of I throughout. Despite being the sole author, not wanting to edit the paper, he listed his cat Chester as a co-author. This is the cat, by the way. I trust him. A wise man. Sounds suspicious. You think human is so stupid to give credit if not do work? What I think scientist was mere scribe who stole cat research back when cat not allowed to write. I mean, meow. I'm not too fond of snakes, but I can't seem to take the blunt head tree snake seriously. Don't smoke weed, kids. Ugh, it's like a noodle with a weird meatball. The more I look at the snake. <laughs> Ew. 
Enchanted 2007, Untangled 2010. Well played, Disney. Well played. You know, at first glance, I thought this was a herd of wild Doritos. R.I.P. to my ding ding. He arrived in the mail yesterday and I left him in my car. The heat today ended his life before his time. Please have a moment of silence for this poor ding ding. Gusher's sandwich with fruit by the foot as bread. This is it. This is what I became an adult for. To be able to go down to the grocery store, buy a box of fruit by the foot and a box of Gushers and make this and not have anyone tell me I can't. You know, except my doctor who says I might go into a diabetic coma. Holy fuck. The entire game has changed. You see these fuckers right here? The store-bought cookies that no other cookie ever tastes like and probably are made with secret godlike addictive ingredients? You can make these fuckers at home. They're called Loft House cookies. And Google them and feel joy. I hope the homemade ones are way better, because I was never a fan of these. Things I will forever be upset about. One, I don't know what my Patronus is. Two, I don't know what a Mortentia smells like to me. Three, I don't know what I'd see in the mirror of air set. Four, I don't know what my bogger would be. Five, I don't know for sure what house I would be in. And six, I don't know the specifications of my wand. And that Harry Potter mobile game just did not capture the magic. A six-year-old once asked me what adulthood is like. You know, aside from the group of like gusher sandwich thing. You can eat ice cream for dinner every night if you want, I told him. His face lit up. But you have to buy it yourself. I've never seen someone go from delighted to devastated as quickly as that little boy. This is the most accurate description of adulthood I've ever heard. So... How do you feel about the redesign of the Disney princesses? Okay, let's just go from left to the right. Snow White doesn't look too bad, other than the glitter, which makes her look like she rolled around in someone's craft project. Mulan looks nothing like the badass bitch we know and love. Honestly, I don't really care what happens to Aurora. Belle is looking rather coquettish for a movie about looking past appearances and falling in love with someone for their personality. <laughs> Tiana, flawless. I wish they would cut off Rapunzel's fucking hair because that was the entire premise of the movie. Ariel, I'm so sorry they made you look like a soccer mom. I don't, I don't even know what happened to you. Still cannot believe they changed Cinderella's dress so much and yet they can't get rid of that goddamn ugly ass choker. Jasmine, psst. Everyone knows gold hoops are Regina George's thing. For real. And don't even get me started on what they did to my baby Pocahontas, because that will take all fucking day! They want to be Shrek and Fiona so bad. Well, I'm never going to unsee this, so I might as well inflict it on many other people as I can. It's weird how bra commercials are more aimed towards straight male audiences more than the audience that's actually gonna buy a fucking bra. If it were aimed towards women, it would be like, this bra is comfy as shit. You won't want to take it off. Look at the hired male actors swooning over that hired actress. Sold. No, wait, wait, wait. I got one better. <clears throat> this bra will make you feel like Chris Evans is personally holding your breast 24-7. Look, this shit comes in like 78 different colors to match your skin. Tone or your clothing or whatever the hell you want. You got options. No lace. We can do no lace. That shit itches. You want polka dots? Fuck yeah, polka dots. Look, each cup has pockets in it. Fucking hell. Pockets in your bra. Calm the fuck down, world. Let me take this all in. Machine washable. Fuck yeah. Throw this shit in your washer. It's not gonna tangle. It's made with Asgardian Bill just snap tail hair, and it's indestructible. This bra is gonna beep if it detects cancer in your boobs. That shit ain't right. So check your boobs, people. Fuck yeah. This bra is amazing. Science. 
You had me at this bra will make you feel like Chris Evans is personally holding your breast 24-7. And now, Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. The first person who heard a parrot talk was probably not all right for several days. Art is how we decorate space. Music is how we decorate time. 2003 is as far away as 2031. There will never be scientific proof of the supernatural. If science proves that something thought to be supernatural actually exists, it would simply become natural. Some of the best acting in movies comes from the extras, because they're just regular people acting like regular people. A tan is the lowest effort thing you can work on. Your stomach thinks all potatoes are mashed potatoes. Identical twins could make a ton of money if one purposely got fat while the other got buff. They'd make a killing selling before and after photos for weight loss advertisements. If humanity invents teleportation pods, then spawn camping will be an actual crime. Social anxiety is just conspiracy theories about yourself. Go to bed, you'll feel better in the morning is the equivalent of turn it off and turn it on again in the human world. Dentists are reverse tooth fairies. They take money and fix teeth. Sheet music is basically a sound recipe. Every single person has been the world's youngest person. This has been Tumblr's Shower Thoughts. Sonic Adventure in a nutshell. I need to save the world from Eggman. I need to save the Angel Island from chaos. I want to become more independent. I want to become more independent. I am torn between my loyalty to my creator and my bond towards my brothers. There are feelings of compassion within me that I do not understand. Can a robot truly be said to feel? I must rescue my brethren from the hell that Robotnik forces them through. The only way to save them and myself is through our own destruction. Only then can the lives trapped within us be free. Where's my sword? Did it hurt when you fell? From heaven? No, I'm not. No, I mean when you fell down the stairs. I watched you fall and just kind of lay there on the floor for about 10 minutes. <clears throat> we both saw that. How many people do you have to kill for it to be illegal? One. One person. Are you sure? Text me when you're on your way. Potassium. God, you're such a nerd. Peta, what issues do you believe this country is most divided on? Um, whether milk goes first or cereal goes first? Syrup versus syrup? Whether you wet your toothbrush before the toothpaste goes on or after? Toilet paper over or under? <sighs> Political issues, Peta. How do Barton and Romanoff usually get out of these messes? They don't. They just make a bigger mess that cancels the first one out. Every talk I have with you people gets more and more absurd. You say you people like you're not part of the group. Well, I got news for you, point break. You're already on the Christmas card. Now, before I tell you my idea, are you allergic to dolphins? Are you calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. Why are you late? A technical error occurred, causing an unexpectedly long bout of unconsciousness. Overslept? Overslept. I'm confused about the nature of your relationship. Is he your ward? <laughs> no! He's my son. And now, more Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Jeopardy would be more fun to watch if the contestants talk shit about each other's incorrect answers. Friends who ask you, is everything okay though? When you make self-deprecating jokes, are true heroes. The reason most people love foxes is because they look like a mashup between dogs and cats. Mars is the only planet that's inhabited by robots. As far as we know. Being afraid to check your bank account is the adult version of being afraid to check your grades. Future generations might look at gender toilets the same way like we look at racial segregated toilets. A pregnant woman is the ultimate bodybuilder. The best part about using a calculator is that it doesn't judge you, no matter how stupid the equation is. A gentleman's club is one of the last places you'll find actual gentlemen. Now that ad block blockers have been invented, ad blockers have invented ad blocker blocker blockers, and soon websites will invent ad blocker 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 blockers. The best thing about Fallout 76 is even though that they're reaching way back in the lore, Billy is still stuck in the fridge somewhere. 
When Cinderella's dress turned back to normal, her shoe didn't, which doesn't make any sense. It's perfectly acceptable to be rude and blame it on not having any coffee yet, but if you were to replace coffee with booze in that excuse, it is not acceptable. A tip is just a bribe traveling backwards in time. Cell phones would have saved Romeo and Juliet. This has been More Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. 30 day free trial of being okay. OP, where's the link? Where's the link, OP? Oh look, I survived! Brilliant! Love it when I do that! I think the Mystery Skulls have evolved as a group consciousness so that no individual truly knows what they're doing. Woo Especially that one. They're here! You think it's a trap? Definitely. You wanna go spring it? Oh, absolutely. Strange light in my kitchen, so... Either getting murdered or abducted. We'll keep you updated. What if it's Mothman? Well, then it's marriage. Dude, Arthur got kidnapped! Again? How much do they want for him? $85. That seems cheap. It's a good deal. Do we have to pay for shipping? Oh, $20 shipping. See, that's where they get you. Will one of you just come save me, please? I underestimated you. Yeah, well, maybe next time you will estimate me. Oh, come on. What's the harm in just taking a look around? With this group? Clearly, you haven't been paying attention. <laughs> the mystery skulls are competent. <sighs> Vivi! I tried to make pasta in the coffee pot, and I broke everything! God fucking damn it, Arthur. Why don't you stay down and die with dignity? We don't do anything with dignity! Uh, Vivi, you wanna try that one again? I know what I said! I'm going over to help. Stay here and just don't touch anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna touch everything. How tall are you? Height is a social construct. So, you're short. What the fuck's wrong with short people, man? Yeah, you got a problem with short people? I do not believe in weeds. A weed assembly a flower that someone decides is in the wrong place. You should style your hair. I think a nice undercut will give that don't fuck with me vibe, you know? I mostly use my face for that. Oh yeah, you clearly do that. Why do I mysteriously feel like crap and keep wasting time doing nothing? You have depression. No, that can't be it. It has to be something I did. Arthur is my enemy. But it turns out that Arthur is also his own worst enemy. And the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So Arthur is actually my friend. But because he is his own worst enemy, the enemy of my friend is my enemy. So actually, Arthur is my enemy. But I'm exploring the darkest depths of the internet. I'm going to do this. God. It's blue, it's blue. There's no going back now. Read it. Shades of Blue. Ah! I can Have you show seen my son? World. My goddamn grandfather comes around and writes shopping lists like this. Like, is that really necessary, goddamn calligraphers? Why is your grandfather buying eyeliner? Oh, my grandfather is a fabulous motherfucker. People who say the N-word and the F-word make me angry. <clears throat> Ned Flanders. Diddly diddly. Yo, the Turtle Cavalry is serious shit. One word, alligator steed! I'm a crocodile. Silence, water horse! Only get tattoos that mean a lot to you. All right. Garlic bread till I'm dead. Getting into fighting games is hard. Colon down slash. What I learned in trading mode is! What I learned in trading mode is! Old ass people talk shit about my generation until they accidentally disable their Wi-Fi and can't figure out how to turn it back on. And then I'm suddenly the mastermind of information and resources. <laughs> this doesn't concern you, Robert. Please close the door. Don't be fooled. This is the saddest children's movie ever made. I like how he's the luckiest kid in America. Like there's some Canadian asshole with two giant robots. Yeah, if I ever turn invisible, the first thing I'd do is go to France and beat up a mime. Everyone would think he's the greatest performer to ever live. In case it hasn't hit you yet, Tiana is the first Disney princess from America. Bitch, please. I can paint with all the colors of your ignorance. 
The biggest disappointment in life is when good shows have a bad episode. Like I waited a week and you give me this shit? I'm fucking looking at you, community! You think this is a fucking joke? Are you having a laugh? When your autocorrect changes your text to That's dark and sick, bruh! <laughs> Volleyball is just a more intense version of Don't Let the Balloon Touch the Floor. I'm sorry, but there is nothing more intense than Don't Let the Balloon Touch the Floor. What are the devious homosexuals up to now? Something something. I still can't believe Americans don't call car parks car parks. What the French toast? Is that where you bring your car on weekends so it can play with other cars? No, it's where you park your fucking car! Almost like an area of land. A lot of it, if you will. For parking cars. A parking lot. I keep imagining little Hondas on swing sets. It's adorable. Yes, I am bear. But some days, well, I am bear. Is there more than bear? People who sleep without socks on make me worry. People who sleep with socks are not to be trusted. People who sleep are weird. I was a sock once. What would you say to your 10-year-old self? Shut up, you're like 10! What if Australia actually exists? Fuck, I, I meant America. Atlanta! I meant, I meant Atlanta! Do, don't you mean Atlantis? Yes, thank you, Atlantis! Works at a job I hate just so I can afford to buy alcohol to deal with the job I hate. In the circle, the circle of life. Prepare for high school, then prepare for college, then prepare for your career, then prepare for your retirement, then you're dead. Then prepare for Skeleton War! Do you ever just get so upset that fictional characters have the same age as you, and they've gone on such magical adventures and you haven't? What do you mean? You went on all those adventures with them, didn't you? That is the best answer ever. Maybe we should buy a rice cooker. How did you fuck up on rice? And how did you fuck up so bad that it emerges from the depths of hell in one huge block? I typed, No, this is Patrick. And I got in. Be the villain you are born to be. Stop waiting for someone to come along and corrupt you. Succumb to the darkness yourself. This is surprisingly motivating. These cats live in our office. This is where they sleep. Have you ever considered only one cat sleep there? And the rest star. Copy cats? Fuck you all, I work at a printing press and laugh so hard I hurt myself. What's cooler than being cool? Financial stability. All right, 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 all right. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Um, uh, I, um. Oh, no, 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 sorry. That was, that's just an expression we say. I don't want you to actually, you know. <laughs> Phew. I thought you actually wanted me to engage in sexual activities with you. Which worried me, as I find the fleshy and hairless human form to be really quite repulsive. My mistake. <clears throat> Cheers. Why are they attacking each other? It's called boxing. It's a sport. And how does one win this sport? By knocking the other person unconscious. Barbarians. All of you. Today is the second week with our newly assigned human medic. As we already had a human on board, I assumed that we had all the correct accommodations and such things. I was incorrect in this assumption. It has come to my attention that the human homeworld, Earth, has a far broader range of climates and habitats than we previously thought. Our new human comes from a country called Australia, which I have learnt is wildly different to our cooks, whales. My home planet only has one habitable climate, the other is completely inhospitable. It seems the human's planet is similar in this, but they decided to live in the inhospitable areas anyway. Our two humans have seemingly bonded over the terrifying extremes their two countries experience. The new human has also brought a pet on board. This animal is apparently native to Australia. Ugh, the teeth and claws on it. The universal translator mustn't be working properly, because I believe its name is Fire Breather with Facial Hair. I have been assured it does not breathe fire. Humans truly are an astonishing species. 
You know, back on cracks, we would have called that fuck up. But around you humans, it's normal. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, the weather in American get a little sane. Oh, Toshi, ohayo gozaimasu! Did my English translator stop working? What's going on? Oh, don't worry about it. They're simply talking in a language of the country they came from. You have different languages. Every country? Well, most of us do, but countries also share the same languages, and some actually sound really alike. But isn't that annoying? Then you would never understand each other. I thought English was the planet language. Well, yeah, it can be a bit annoying to not understand each other. That's why we actually speak English internationally. It's pretty much the world's first language, and that's also why we used it when we talk with you. So, English is the most spoken language on your planet? No, Chinese is actually. I'm sorry, what? How did you humans survive long enough to form a functioning society? You have no claws, sorely lacking physical strength as a species, no physical defenses. We just walked quickly after things that were faster than us until they died or got too tired to run away anymore and accepted death. What the hell? Yeah, badass, right? There's a reason we're the top dog on Earl. Oh, shit! Are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure. So you just had blood sucked out of your arms, face, and legs after a five-minute walk outside? Yeah, but it's cool, because I didn't realize it was happening at the time. Oh. Okay. Shepard Commander, why is there a knife taped to that cleaning droid? Oh, that's just stabby. What is its purpose? To fulfill a 160-year-old joke from the early 2010s. Why are humans like this? You ever have one of those moments you misspell something so it comes out completely different? You know, like, when you accidentally type me instead of my. Accidentally typing yeehaw instead of yay. Accidentally typing ole instead of okay. Accidentally typing oi instead of you. Accidentally typing god instead of good. Accidentally typing thy instead of they. Accidentally typing believe instead of believe. Typing here instead of the. Typing lasso instead of also. Typing okay instead of okay. Okay, we get it! Or, you know, typing taco instead of macho. Or how about typing the legs instead of eggs? <laughs> or, you know, typing Q instead of chew. Or, you know, my personal favorite, typing sans instead of sins. Or, you know, just other typos like that. <laughs> Don't kill me. Or typing spaghetti instead of regretting! <laughs> so, I have read a lot of late night Tumblr posts from a lot of people. How about we look at some of mine? We changed our name to IHOB. Bet you can't guess what it stands for! Is it breakfast? Take the shot. I want to be the level of wealthy where everything on my music playlist was purchased. No more monthly subscriptions! A personality consisting of sarcasm and sick burns. Sassive aggressive. In regards to Steven Universe, did anyone stop to think that Claude could be a racial slur in the gem world since it means a lump of dirt? That would actually be pretty insulting if you were a sentient rock. I'm overthinking this. A lone individual is stranded in the desert. They have no water and are losing their sight of sanity. They see a mirage of an attractive being holding a bottle of water. Their thirst is now doubled. I know this is supposed to be a pun, but it also sounds like if JonTron said protection. You know, PROTECTION! If you ask me, your music puns are a little too... basic. <laughs> a fair form indeed, but allow me to deliver a counterpoint. While my puns may elude you, they all strive in development, performance, and rhythm is key. To bring glee must be your motive, but you'll need to face a need to refrain if it doesn't phase them. I say to you, I should go to my roots, hone my tune, and come back with puns so great, they alert the staff. A special friend that you fight with casually. Friends with benefits. How to summon the Undertale fandom. Hey bro, check this out. <clears throat> Boy, I sure could use some spaghetti. Did someone call the Italia fandom? How to get Yahoo to kill Tumblr quicker. A sophisticated workout area is not called a gym, but rather it prefers to be called a James. The emotional rock theme party ended in complete disaster. It was a birthday massacre. I have to be careful with my math puns. Trigonometry ones can get pretty graphic. Will science puns ever be not funny? Sodium, sulfur, 
oxygen, nitrogen. Nah, son! This guy is plotting murder. So, how are you feeling? Yeah, a bit of a positive yandere mood. What? You know, die, Shobu. When hobbits smoke, do they get high or medium? Give me one good reason why I should trust you. I've updated our privacy policy. No, Travis, don't. It's super awkward now when family members follow me on social media besides Facebook. You shouldn't see the dark side of my life, Anvil! I have no way to explain Hunky Pop. All right, listen up, you little shits. Not you, Lucio. You're an angel and we're thrilled you're here. You're smiling. Did something good happen? Can't I just smile because I feel like it? Ganji tripped and fell in the parking lot. I don't understand why humans like sleeping so much. It's a free trial of death. Sorry I'm late. What happened? Nothing. I just didn't really want to come. I'm getting married tomorrow. What? And more specifically, to what? At least somebody loves me, you bitter anime character. I'm playing a new drinking game. It's called Every Time I'm Depressed, I Take a Drink. Congratulations on your first Overwatch mission, Alan! The kid's underage. Ah, right! You're a growing girl. Reinhardt, no! Reinhardt, grab all the small ones first! Their tiny legs are useless! Okay, fine, let's all act like humans. Look at me! Boy, do I love sweating! Let's convert beef and leaves into energy and excrete them later and go shopping! Do you guys know where I could get one of those gold necklaces with tea on them? That's a cross. A cross from where? Did you just refer to a knife as a people opener? Sh should I not have? Don't break people's hearts. They only have one. Break their bones, they have plenty of those. What if Cinderella was a baking slave instead of a cleaning slave and her name was Mozzarella? Don't ever text me again. I hope you have a good explanation for this. We have three, actually. Pick your favorite. What's wrong with Wade? He couldn't handle alcohol very well. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence! I love saying fuck me because it can either be sexual or self-loathing, and those are two things that describe me perfectly. Who the fuck- Language? <clears throat> Whom the fuck? I came out to have a good time, and honestly, I'm feeling so attacked right now! I came out to attack people, and I'm honestly having such a good time right now. Come on, Peter, I wasn't that drunk. You tried to color my face with a highlighter because you said I was important. That's because you are. <laughs> Goodbyes are so awkward, like, do I go in for a kiss or what? Please just take your food, sir. This is a mass text. Does anybody know where I am? Name a way to be nice to people. Don't kill them. Setting the bar really low, but I'll allow it. The indigenous species of Wild Rito can be real aggressive. So it's important to take all necessary precautions when approaching them. GET FUCKED! I'm sorry, but it's just so hot in here. I know, but please stop unbuttoning my shirt. But who can I trust? Yourself? <laughs> no. I like all the other champions. Obosa, Mifa, Daruk, and Lake. Your family is dead. What? April Fool's Day is actually tomorrow. You're an orphan. Are you collecting donations for the Rito Village Ball? We don't have balls. I have no response to that. I realize that what I really should do is fight fire with fire. And by fire, I mean Link. And by fire, I also mean Link. It occurred to me when I was at the Fire Temple. On fire. Is there anything better than put me? Yes, a really good book. If I had a nickel for every time I wanted to fuck a fish, I would have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. What happened? Why'd you get pulled over? I was trying to keep up with traffic. It was late at night, there was no traffic. That's how far behind I was. <sighs> Sometimes it's important to take a moment and kink shame yourself. Okay, is the equipment secure? Check. Weapon loaded. Check. Did you have breakfast? What? That's not on the checklist. I added it because I care about you. No, I didn't have breakfast. Unacceptable. Look in your pocket. Hey, there's little chocolate chips in this. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I know how to trick you into eating your fiber. Mr. Stark, can we hang out? If by hanging out you mean go save the universe from a powerful Barney the Dinosaur, then yes. I was thinking more like laser tag. Where's my fucking knife? Dude, there are kids around. Say it nicer, maybe. 
May I ascertain the whereabouts of my fucking knife? I have a job for you. Give me a name and I'll give you a corpse. Wade, we talked about this. Hi. This is my son. I will love and protect him. And if any of you touch him, I will not hesitate to kill you. Look, let's just agree to say I'm sorry on the count of three. One, two, three. See, now I'm just disappointed in the both of us. Hey, I bought your soul last month and... No returns. Please, it's making me sad. Don't do anything stupid. You and I both know that's asking way too much of me. And how exactly will you stop me? I'll call May. God damn it. You shall all die. Hey, uh, yeah, I don't think my dad will let me die. Uh, let me ask first, though. Uh, Thanos says... No. Sorry, my dad says no. I do what I want! I'm calling mother. No, wait. Peter, that toy is for ages five and up. Yeah? I'm part of the up. What kind of tea is this? Oh, I boiled some Gatorade. I never doubted you for a second, Peter. Hey, thanks, Mr. Stark. You're lying, though, right? Yes, I doubted you very strongly. I'm one of you now. Prettier and different and better, but one of you. Guess what? I have flaws. What are they? Oh, I don't know. I sing in the shower. Sometimes I spend too much time volunteering. Occasionally I'll commit first degree murder. That's all you've got? A cheap trick up your sleeve and a cheesy one-liner? Sweetheart, that could be the name of my autobiography. <coughs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel so Gucci. <clears throat> How did you find me here? Oh, easy. I just listened for the sound of complete and utter betrayal and followed that. I have no use for people. I find them weird and confusing. My friend saw a Ningo take a shirt off and said a Ningo had an eight pack. That a Ningo was shredded. How many people have to die before you start having fun exactly? Who's dead besides everyone I ever loved? My ignorance is becoming a theme. I'm sorry, but you must be at least a level three friend to unlock my tragic backstory. Fire is my only weakness. Yeah, fire is everyone's weakness. It's fucking fire. I wasn't listening, but I strongly disagree with NS. Okay, does everyone know what they're doing? In general, or the plan? The plan, Krom. Oh, phew. Good God, my descendants are going to be fucked! Like Hector always says, when one door closes, choose a nearby wall and bash it in with brute force! Oh ho ho ho! Summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it, summon it! You know... If I were to die right now in some fiery explosion due to the carelessness of a friend, well, that would just be okay. My lord, what do you want to eat? The souls of the innocent! A bagel. No! Two bagels. Sorry I was late, sir. I had to wipe anime off my car this morning. Uranus takes a pounding more frequently than thought. Some author out there has been waiting their whole life to write that headline. They must have had the most ridiculous sex ever. Most incredible sex ever. We live in a world where pizza gets to your house before the police. That's because the pizza guy has consequences if his job is done incorrectly. Oh, snap! Shots fired! But not by the pizza guy. Oh! Oh, shit! This is one of the worst cases we've ever seen. We've assembled the best team of doctors from around the world to help. Everyone knows this Pib guy didn't get his degree. Pib is here for moral support. Love yourself. Oh my god, this is too much. Oh my god, my arm's caught on fire! Quick, somebody help before the police arrest me! Why would the police arrest you? Unlawful possession of a firearm! Don't post your negativity on a positive post. <laughs> Electrons. I should kick your ass. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I porn surfed weak and weary, over many a strange and superior porn sight of hot chicks galore, when I clicked my favorite bookmark, suddenly there came a warning, and my heart was filled with mourning. Mourning for my dear amour. Tis not possible, I muttered. Give me back my free hardcore! Quoth the server, 404. Ben a pair of Ray-Bans in the ocean. Poseidon called, he wants his shades back. I think you mean Brosidon. Brosidon, god of the Brosians. Oh yeah, that's right. Cannibalism. I think you mean Canana Bananalism. What the hell is wrong with you people? Thanks to the power of Tumblr, we now have more anti-jokes. Yay.
You know it is dark outside when you go outside and it is dark. Why is Scientology the fastest growing religion of the 21st century? It isn't, it's a cult. Why are black people so good at basketball? Um, dedication and hard work. Why is there no aspirin in the rainforest? Because it wouldn't be financially viable to try and sell pharmaceuticals in the vastly unpopulated rainforest. Duh. Have you seen Stevie Wonder's new house? No? Well, it's really nice. Why didn't the octopus have any friends? Because they're antisocial creatures by nature. So this guy walks into the doctor's and says, Doctor, it hurts when I poke my leg like this. The doctor says, Yes, you've shattered both your kneecaps. You'll never walk again. But he, he walked in. Anyway, a dog walks into a bar and is promptly escorted out, as animals are not allowed. What do you get if you cross the street with a seeing eye dog? A bunch of dumb questions like, Hey, are you blind? And finally, what do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? Thank you, Tumblr, for more anti-jokes. Please give me more. Or don't. I don't care. Bye. And now, more Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Mint is just cold spicy. Maybe there would be Sour Patch adults if we quit eating all their kids. Adulthood is like a trip to the vet, and we are that dog that was so excited for the car ride until we realized where we were going. Computers can be used to drive cars, while one of the biggest tests to prove that you're not a computer is identifying road signs. If the amount of universes is infinite, one of them has Neil deGrasse Tyson as the head of the Flat Earth Society. An Australian Disney princess would attract some messed up animals. Being asked, why are you depressed? Life is beautiful. is like saying, why do you have asthma? There is so much air. Insulting your debate opponent instead of answering his argument is the intellectual equivalence of flipping the Monopoly board because you know you've lost but can't handle it. The brain has serious self-esteem issues. It can help with pain, intelligence, creativity, anxiety, depression, general well-being, but only if it believes in itself, which it doesn't. Dark matter is a meme made up by physicists to hide the fact that they have no fucking idea how the universe works. We say bless you to sneezes, while we commingling disregard coughing, which is more commonly a sign of illness. WTF has more syllables than what the fuck. The best liar you know is not the best liar you know. And that is More Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. If Taco Bell thinks they're revolutionary by putting nachos inside of a burrito, then they've never met a drunk person. Where do you think we got the idea? Why are you obsessed with Disney? It's for kids. First of all, bibbity bobbity back the fuck up! The boss hands me a gun. You know what to do. I nod. Outside, I frantically Google, Boss, gun, why? How to kill? Is killing okay? Re-gift gun okay? Most cutting thing you can say is, Who's this clown? Because it implies they're A, a clown, and B, not even one of the better known clowns. Ah, uh, Grandma, can you pick me up from my rap battle? It's over. No, I lost. He saw you drop me off and did a pretty devastating rhyme about it. If you live to be a hundred, you should make up some fake reason why. Just to fuck with people. Like claim you ate a pine cone every single day. Stop telling me your newborn's weight and length! I don't know what to do with that information! Is there anything more capitalist than a peanut with a top hat, cane, and monocle selling you other peanuts to eat? Does it have apples in it? No. What about pine? No pine either. Perfect! We'll call it a pineapple. I'll bet when Godzilla first came out, God was like, Damn! That name's way cooler! Ready for the week! In that not really sort of way, let's do this! Bartender, I'd like you to bring that brunette at the end of the bar a slice of your finest ham. Some days, you're just the squash Nutri-Grain bar that exists at the bottom of every purse or book bag. You're right. No matter what I look like, I'm still a snack, and people are always grateful when they realize I'm there. Thank you for the inspiration post. I'm still a snack. Mm. Saying fuck it actually motivates me more than you can do this. That's because there's always a part of your brain that's like, what if I can do this and you still freeze? But if you say fuck it, you're saying, you know, whatever happens, happens. If it's not perfect, so what? I'm gonna try, and if I fail, then fuck it! So much wisdom and truth. Things to say to bugs when science finally unlocks the secrets of human bug communication. I'm not hurting you, I'm taking you to a safe place. 
Do you eat weird crumbs? Because I found some I'm willing to share. You can bite me if you want, but I'd rather be no bite friends. I like your big colorful eyes. Very stylish. Please don't crawl into my sleeves. <laughs> Humans are so cute. When we say goodbye, we put our arms around each other. And to show we love someone, we bring them flowers. We say hello by holding each other's hands. And sometimes tiny little dewdrops form in our eyes. For pleasure, we listen to arrangements of sound, press our lips together, smoke dried leaves, get drunk off of old fruit. We're all just little animals, falling in love and having breakfast beneath billions of stars. This is my favorite post. It's actually mine too. My blood is glow stick juice. It's why my bones crack when I move. Explains how you bring light to everything around you too. <laughs> you okay, motherfucker? I think freckles, stretch marks, tattoos, bruises, birthmarks, and scars are probably the coolest thing. You started with almost a blank canvas, and look at you now. All this evidence that you've lived and the sun has shone on you, and you've grown and maybe tripped up a few times, and liked an image so much, you made it a permanent part of you. That's beautiful. That's one of the most uplifting things I've read. Adulthood is a scam! I want to be a crow! I'm not even a doll and I want to be a crow. The desperation only grows with years. Be the crow you wish to see in the world. Collect shiny things, hop happily down the street for no apparent reason, scream loudly when you see your friends. What an incredibly inspiring addition. Thank you. I swear the pirates would go from short shore looking for buried treasure when the real treasure was in the friendships they were making. There be booty to be found, matey. Matey, your booty be the most bountiful. <laughs> matey. Your average pineapple peeled and cut makes about 4.5 cups, or 36 ounces of pineapple chunks. Cans of pineapple come in a variety of sizes, the most common being 20 ounces and 46 ounces, meaning a single pineapple generally won't fill up a single can perfectly. Which also means every time you eat a pineapple from a can, somewhere someone else has the can that has the rest of that same pineapple. Meaning you can share a single fruit with a stranger from hundreds of miles away. And I think that's beautiful. Yo, if someone calls you Thunder Thighs, you should take it as a compliment because you have been gifted by Thor and he probably thinks you're beautiful. This leg. I like it. <gasps> Another! People who put video tutorials online for literally everything are the backbone of the society. I would be nowhere without the comfort that whenever I don't know how to do something painfully simple, I can look it up. Like, I bet I could look up how to preheat the oven and there'd be endless videos and I'd never have to be a complete idiot again. Thank you all for saving my life. These not the horses. Leave them alone. They did nothing wrong. They're the only innocent ones. They don't deserve this. Honestly, this used to upset me a lot as a kid, until my mom, who worked with horses for many years, told me about how they trained the horses in those movies to do things like falling down, kneeling, crawling, or stay laying on the ground after they fall, and how it's so tough to train a prey animal to do these behaviors, and how hard both trainer and horse have to work. So now whenever I see a horse take a hit and go down the movie, I just think, Fucking superb, you funky little horse actor! I like to pretend that my intrusive thoughts are being said to me by a super uptight religious white lady. God hates you because you don't believe in him. Your failures are too great to be forgiven by anyone. Everything you do is wrong and you're going to burn in hell. Thanks for the input, Brenda, but fuck right off. I would just like to say that I love you all for this idea. We're blogging this for a friend. You're a parasite on society at large and your friends in specific. Fuck off, Greg. Oh man, I do this shit every day. My favorite for intrusive, anxious thoughts is to pretend Spock's behind you with an answer. Did I lock the door? Captain, you have locked the door every day for over 10 years, and it is very hard for most people to break even subconscious habits. And you most definitely locked the door. I told my new psychiatrist about how I learned this from y'all, and his eyes lit up. He didn't smile, but he did nod a whole bunch of times. It was great. Pretend your invasive, self hitting thoughts are being said to you by a 13-year-old boy on Xbox Live trying to get a rise out of you like, Your girlfriend dumped you because you're ugly. That's nice, Tim. Isn't it past your bedtime? Also, if you have intrusive, violent thoughts, pretend they're being sent to you by an annoying backseat driver. Drive into that pole. Thanks, Karen. Or I could not do that. Perfect. You can also pretend that the super paranoid thoughts are being said by the conspiracy theorist in your history class. Maybe they poisoned you. Maybe you should just fuck off, Jeffrey with a G. Wahoo! Hi, everyone! It's -a me, Luigi! Now, I needed to talk about something serious. People are living their lives in a sad, sad way. They don't think they're a number one. They think they're a number one a billion. Oh, no! So if you are reading this... I want you to know that Luigi loves you very much. 
You are gonna do some great things, you know? You? You, number one. Live a life to the fullest. You are a great friend. Wahoo! I can't believe I'm fucking crying over a goddamn Luigi post. What the fuck? All right, Tumblr. Show me what you got. I was supposed to write amino acids, and I nearly wrote <clears throat> anime acids. I hope Senpai bonds with me. Fuck this site. Pizza place at my university offers a stoner pie, complete with pepperoni, bacon, extra cheese, mozzarella sticks, and french fries. God, this sounds like so awful. Give me like five. There's a cure? Asked the girl that kills everything she touches. Hey, shut up, we're perf. Replied the girl that makes clouds. Does anybody else think tired and sleepy mean two totally different things? Sleepy is cute, dozing off, and happy, but tired is ten cups of coffee and murder. Sleepy <sighs> versus tired. <sighs> Reblogging because the last graphic comment is flawless! Skull, found in France, with a knife still embedded in it. The skull belonged to a Roman soldier who died during the Gallic War at Sia 52 BC. It was on display at the Museo Roxin in Argentina. Badass. Whenever I see things like this, I wonder how they died. I guess it would always be a mystery. Yeah, I'm gonna go with stabbed through the head. Draw me like one of your organic carbon-based females of French origin. There was a four-year-old named Hermione at my work today. It started. It has begun. The Potter generation is growing up. And getting busy. Images for Pineapple coffin? Who lives in a pineapple six feet under the ground? Hopefully nobody. I don't think that is how coffins work. Ah, the face she gives me when she wants to get on the couch. Let her on the damn couch, you monster! We'll have a barbecue. I love a good barbecue. Set the fuck down! Imagine if China while they're up on the moon, decides to knock down the U.S. flag or whatever just to say, screw you, and it's like, what are we gonna do? Spend a couple million just to fly some craft up to the moon and re-erect the flag? The whole scenario would be petty, and that's hilarious. I have lived in America my entire life, and I'm 100% sure we would do exactly that because I'm gonna do it! Do people just magically start liking coffee, or do they go through some six months long purification ritual to finally like it? You try coffee for the first time, and you scold off all your baby taste buds. And then after that, your adulthood taste buds come in, and you like coffee and prunes and the taste of despair. Hmm. Good shit. Roses are red, violets are blue. He's the first member of the DK crew! Feminists are taking over Ghostbusters, men say. They're ruining our childhood! Meanwhile, little girls everywhere can no longer safely Google My Little Pony. Shots fucking fire, yo! I should do it. What makes us human? Probably not that. Rules to learning English? There are no rules. I see what you did there. My eyes are burning. No, 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 no. It's I see what you did there. Not what. Do it right. I would do it right, but I do not want to. This is where it starts. Mommy? I wish my thighs were as small as my self-esteem. If you have tiny thigh, how will you crush head of man like egg between? Huh? This is the most inspiring post on this website. I don't care who you are. If your girlfriend falls asleep in your lap, and even after 30 minutes when both of your legs go numb, don't move. You fucking stay there and appreciate the cute little thing in your lap. If you move, you're weak, and natural selection is coming for you. It's funny to slowly push her off on the side of the couch, though. Stop spinning rumors! I'm not dating my dad, okay? What the fruitcake is wrong with the media? That's exactly what someone who's dating their dad would say. How you been? <laughs> bean looks so done! It doesn't even have a face! 
<laughs> LaCroix tastes like someone is sitting next to you thinking really hard about a piece of fruit. Color addicts actually think like this. Imagine having taste buds so fried and oversaturated you can't enjoy a cry. Must be like the food eating equivalent of being a BDSM freak who can't get off without five dudes and a card battery. Imagine having such a superiority complex over drinking carbonated water that you compare soda to BDSM. Imagine enjoying a LaCroix. Uh, uh oh. Okay. I hate it when people ask, what's the stupidest thing you've ever done? Like, awfully bold of you to assume I've reached peak dumbass. Me and Maxi share a special type of chemistry. We finish each other's... Sharpedo. Please don't interrupt me. 911, what's your emergency? What do you mean you're being murdered? That's illegal, people can't do that! We're, We're sorry. sorry. Team Rocket wasn't sorry. I'm eating at a Japanese steakhouse, and there was a calamari tentacle in my soup. So, naturally, my dumbass says out loud, I didn't order extra hentai. Anyway, I can never go back there. You're like a son to me. Dad, I am your son. I lost my gal pal and Dave made. What do they look like? <laughs> Beautiful. I'm having fruit salad for dinner. Actually, it's mostly grapes. All grapes, really. Fermented grapes. Wine. I'm, I'm having wine for dinner. I want to look like a snack this summer, but I keep fucking eating them. Come to the dark side. We have chocolate! Okay, is damn it, Gary. And now, a few more shower thoughts by Tumblr. It must suck if you're claustrophobic and then realize you're trapped inside your skull. Kids these days, and even most adults, need Mr. Rogers more than ever. Humanity treated each other a lot better before we had the ability to anonymously express every single thought in over 140 characters or less. You can't lick any part of your reflection in a mirror other than your tongue. A massage is just professional petting for humans. Technically, it's impossible to skip breakfast. The first time you eat during a day is when you break your fast. Sally sells seashells at the worst possible location. The same people who say fast food jobs are just for teens or burnouts are the same people who constantly complain about their food being messed up. Spider-Man is a web developer. Literally. Dogs are creatures we spent the past 10,000 years genetically engineering to love us. No ethics committee ever approved of it. If you dig a hole and unearth a rock, it's possible that the last time that rock touched sunlight was millions of years ago. Going to a cinema on your own may seem weird, but it's perfectly socially acceptable as you can't talk anyway. And this has been A Few More Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Getting murdered in the woods wouldn't even be my least favorite thing about camping. <laughs> I'm in danger. That moment when you enter a room and you forget why you went in here. Oh, that's right. I was being chased by a serial killer. When I say I can handle traps, I'm thinking of tripwires and poison darts and such. Not leave an angry snake in a box! That's it, you're all grounded. Vivi, no monster hunting for you. Arthur, no mechanics for you. And Lewis, oh God, is there anything you love? Revenge? No vengeance for you. I was gonna say I'll get you for this, but I guess that's off the table. For the last time, we are not sending you to space so you can, and I quote, chase that sweet, sweet alien ass. Imagine life, but not bad. Unrealistic. Blocked. Okay, no offense, but some of us need to fucking chill. And anyway, that's the second time I almost died in Kentucky. I had an irrational fear of doors until fourth grade too, so I guess this isn't bad compared to doors. A guy walked up to me and asked if you were my friend. He shook his head and said, I'm so sorry when I said yes. What the fuck did you do? To quote the icon that is John Mulaney, I have had a long day, I'm very small, and I have no money. So you can imagine the kind of stress I am under. Doctor overdoses a high society NY scene cocaine apartment. A beautiful Long Island dermatologist and mother of three died after a night out partying with an Emmy-nominated HBO producer. And cops are still looking for answers. Uh, oh! 
It's not a crack house. It's a cocaine apartment. Uh, Daily Beast, did you name the cocaine apartment as so instead of a crack house because the woman was white and well-educated? White folks can try to clean it up all they want, but it's still a crack house. Hashtag cocaine apartment. They probably have a cocologist in the cocaine apartment. Oh. They make it sound like a trendy neighborhood bar. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that HBO producer and his boy aren't going to face any charges for dumping that lady in the cocaine apartment lobby and bouncing? Police say there was no criminal activity in death of New York doctor who died after cocaine-fueled night out. I imagine this is what a cocaine apartment looks like as to why they won't call it what it is, a crack house. A cocaine condo. A drug duplex. A molly mansion. A base bungalow. A math mansion. Tweak tower. The crack castle. A promethazine palace. Mm hmm Catamine kingdom. Hey guys, sorry, I left all of my drugs in my lean loft. For the record, it really fucking sucks that this person died. We're not making fun of the fact that they died. We're just making fun of the fact that... Motherfucker, it's a crack house! Yeah! It is a crack house! Yeah. The bitch done died in a crack house. Yeah. There was one on my block growing up on 19th Street between Neptune and Mermaid. Yeah. I know that shit wasn't a cocaine apartment. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I got I gotta put my foot down. Sorry. I'm not gonna forget I'm from the ghetto. That that's where I'm from. Like yeah. it's where I'm from. Yeah. It was the White House, right next to the library. That shit was a crack house. We knew it was a crack house. Yeah. It was terrible. We didn't fucking call it a cocaine apartment. Yeah. Or a molly mansion. Yeah. Or a lean loft. Yeah. It's a crack house. Shit. Damn. It's a domestic violence shelter now, though. That's cool. And my mom was like, don't go by there. There's, they do crack in there. Uh, yeah. Like, she would warn me. She would tell me not to go to the crack house. That's what would happen. Why you gotta dress it up like this? That's fucked up. It's not a cocaine apartment. The fuck? It's just an expensive crack house. You gotta call this shit as you see it. Shit. <clears throat> Sir, one more frick or heck, and I'll have to show you what Sharpness 4 looks like. I'm about to commit cannibalism. A mellow marshmallow, don't! Just slowly scroll on. You saw nothing. We have 11 seasons. Winter, Fool Spring, Second Winter, Spring of Deception, Third Winter, Mud Season, Actual Spring, Summer, False fall, second summer, one week, actual fall. This is 110% accurate. What if Satan is the good guy and God just fucked up his shit because he rolled a one on his dexterity saving throw? Does water have taste? Like, I know what you're gonna say, of course it does, but like, think about it. Try to describe that taste to me. I am 100% convinced that chair had something to do with the fire. I did it! Oh, kitten bee. A tiny predator to hunt mosquitoes, aphids, and other pests for you. Keeps company with bumblebees and honeybees, and birds are very small. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is McDonald's. Sir, how high are you? Oh. You are now manually breathing. If you were sober and you went to smoke weed, would you be sober doper? Attention sarcasm users! We're being faced with a serious issue. There is only one sarcasm left. Now we've got to use it wisely. Please, for the love of God, think before you speak. It's gotta be good. Yeah, okay. I'll be sure to do that. Oh God, what have I done?! Vampire doctors that can smell if you have a blood disease. Werewolf therapy animals for sick kids. Nature Sprite and Nymph Nurses that always make sure people have pretty flowers to brighten up their white rooms. Fawns that go around and sing and dance for patients so that they smile. Nice monster hospitals would be amazing. Someone write a book about this! 
sirens that help people with sex addiction. Why isn't this television? Despite having an IQ of one, I am still alive, guys. I was looking for sign inside of Tumblr to inform that it's impossible to have one IQ. You are smarter than that. So you just gonna enter my house and tell me I'm too stupid to exist? Okay, Tumblr, listen up. This little freak fracker right here is a Bjorksness. Thank you, Infinite Edge. I totally forgot IKEA did goofy names for all their furniture. The Majestic Mantor. Half man, half another man. I hate this. I hate this so much, and I want everyone to see it. Electric. Acoustic. I woke up a cold sweat at four in the morning just to draw this for you all. I hope you find it as important as I did. It makes me sad to think about when I die, there's going to be about a thousand books published with stories that I'm not able to read because I died. What about the TV shows? <laughs> All the fandoms you can't become a part of. Stop! Tumblr isn't considered a social media because everyone on here is just talking to themselves. Yeah, I agree. This spoonful of honey I just had is the best Dawn honey I've had in my life. Find me the bee who was responsible. How to fuck with anime fans. Step one, put a wig on your dog. Step two, no! A bisexual pop group called Both Directions. A pansexual pop group called All Directions. An asexual pop group called No Directions. A questioning pop group called Which Direction. The helpful pop group called That Direction. A lost pop group called Can I Have Directions? A married pop group called Damn It, Why Won't You Just Ask For Directions? You make my heart go Wow! <laughs> Brain Satan! Snow Satan? Tomorrow there's a 90% chance of precipitating. It'll be foggy in the morning. Lots of condensating. Ah, two good days in a row. It's time. For what? It's time. You better watch out! 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 Wow! Three tattoos! Those are pretty permanent, you know. Wow, three kids. Those are pretty damn permanent. Carol! Technically, both can be removed with the lasers. <laughs> um, this? Are you sure you're talking about murdering? There's nothing sexier than a guy playing guitar. How about a girl playing guitar? How about a Tyrannosaurus Rex playing guitar? Struggling to strum with its tiny arms fueled by rage and an inner desire to rock. Jesus was a Bethesda character. Got stuck in a T-pose for literally hours, respawned three days after dying, glitched up into the sky a few days later, never to be seen again. Um, because Dragon Age. Any comments? As a Christian, my only objective is that this implies Todd Howard is God. Synonyms are weird, because if you invite someone to your cottage in the forest, that just sounds nice and cozy. But if I invite you to my cabin in the woods, you're going to die. My favorite is explaining the difference between a butt dial and a booty call. It's called connotations. Try this one on for size. Forgive me, father, I have sinned. Sorry, daddy, I've been naughty. Great news! Language is now banned! Ah, oh, shit, dude. Try the new wonder drug, One Night Cough Syrup. Trademark, each out contains alcohol less than 1%, four and a quarter milliliters, cannabis indica, F-E, four and a half milliliters, chloroform, two and one fifth milliliters, and morphia sulfate, one eighth of a gram, skillfully combined with a number of other ingredients. Holy shit! This is your periodic reminder that old-timey medicines do not fuck around. Yeah, that they probably handle a cough. Hold, 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 hold up. Skillfully combined with a number of other ingredients. What else did they fucking put in there? This picture is the definition of just fuck me up. I'll take three. Damn, son, you only need one. Sixteen. Ah, screw there, Penny. Get tipsy, my brother. That man's probably dead now. I want to punch whoever came up with the phrase, the customer is always right. 
because the customer is wrong, like really fucking wrong, 97% of the time. I want the tacos with the hard shells. Ma'am, we don't have hard shell tacos. We have a soft flour tortilla or soft corn tortilla. Oh, then I want the corn. Those are the hard shell ones, right? No, no, ma'am. We don't serve hard shell tacos. We have flour or corn tortillas. Flour or corn? So, which ones are the hard ones? Hey, the lettuce from the salad bar doesn't taste right. Uh, sir, we don't have a salad bar. That's the decorative kale for our salsa bar. It's not meant to be eaten. Well, if it's not meant to be eaten, why are you serving it? Sir, it's decorative. We aren't serving it. What's with this extra charge on my receipt? Why are you charging me extra? I demand to talk to a manager! Sir, that's a tax. It's 5% in our state. Now you're trying to steal from me! I'll have you fired! Sir, it says right there that it's the tax. Good God, the list could go on forever. Are these bananas locally grown? We are in the Michigans. Oh! I didn't know we could grow bananas in Michigan. Oh my God! Me, when I buy 24 Roombas and an Amazon Alexa. <laughs> so, you've managed to make it this far. Tracking filth in my home like the vermin you are. However, you are about to meet your greatest doom. Alexa, unleash the Roombas. <laughs> And just when you think you can survive this, Alexa, summon Mr. Stabby. Yes, look at him go with his little wheels and big knife. You stand no chance, scum. <laughs> Commander Shepard, are we really doing this again? All right, all right, I'm sorry. I just thought it would be fun. And now, some amusing shower thoughts by Tumblr. Porn used to cost money and water used to be free. Water is a drink whose temperature is its taste. When people see a bee, they fear it might sting them, despite it being the fact that that specific bee has never stung anyone in its entire life. A cupcake is just a sexy muffin. Oh god, Tumblr, why? Waldo wears stripes because he doesn't want to be spotted. Minecraft is probably single-handedly responsible for maintaining Java's install base. Probably true. Anxiety is our brain sending our body fake news. If you die a virgin, you're the first person in your entire ancestral lineage to do so. Huh. Strategically placed googly eyes greatly improves the experience of watching someone use a VR headset. By now, Stacy is the mom that has it going on. Oh damn. In 500 years, people will cosplay the primitive 2000 era as we do the medieval times. Well, now I'm just sitting here thinking of people LARPing in cargo shorts. Technically, our phones are always set to vibrate, since sound is just vibrations traveling through the air. Oh my god. When someone says they have no filter, they're really telling you they have no self-control or respect. Fact. Revisiting an old game and seeing all the new updates is the virtual version of waking up from a coma. I'm looking at you, World of Warcraft. Kobe is for accuracy, but yeet is for distance. Also fact. The irony for mankind is that a computer program asks a human to prove that they're not a robot. Go figure. Childhood is like being drunk. Everyone remembers what you did, except you. <sighs> Very also much a fact. And this has been Amusing Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Hi, I'm Peter. <sighs> Loki of Asgard. Aren't you like a bad guy? It varies from moment to moment. So like on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst evil imaginable, like killing puppies and one being I'll spit on your hot dog. Where are you right now? Mm, maybe a three? Cool, let me know if it gets above a six. I like him. It had been a joke, a flippant line, but somehow 
Loki found himself taking the youth up on it. It was hard living around those heroic Avengers, hard trying to stay close to Thor. And when he felt his need for mischief rise too high, when he felt exasperation with these Midgardians turned too close to spite, he would casually say six to the young man, or sometimes seven. And Peter would spend the rest of his day with Loki. He would badger him with questions about magic or drag him across his beloved city to see its entertainments or take him along stopping petty crimes. He grounded Loki to the here and now and distracted him from the churning, jagged shards of ice in his mind. Somebody make this a fanfic! Psst, yeah, the people who write the comics agree with you. I'm just not altogether sure you've given this a great deal of thought. Hey, it's a hot dog! You know anything else that says New York more than a good dog with mustard? Maybe a little chili? What are the green bits? No one knows. How can you eat things when you don't even know what they are? Hey, it's the American way, pal. You don't like it, you go back to Philly where you came from. Please don't ever do that voice again. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, imagine if someone really pissed Loki off and he turns to Peter and just... It's a ten, child! Oh shit! Everyone, evacuate the civilians! Okay. I really want that movie now. Can I please have that movie? Marvel, please! Let me have that movie! Yeah, I'm reading some of mine. So, I had an idea for artist friends. The next time you get asked by someone, Hey, can you draw me for free? Draw them a stick figure. No special touches, just a regular old stick figure. Wish you could do that with voiceovers. If... Why must you do this? It's a new bed! Is you the super gay? I'll never tell. Can't believe White Diamond asked me that question. I just want to let you know that Demon Travis voice is the closest thing to turning me and my girlfriend straight. Thanks, God bless. Oh dear God, why? I ain't touching that. So, do you have any kids? Um, <clears throat> What did you have for lunch? Three bean soup. Really? Because I saw your vanilla soy latte in the trash. It counts, Sharon! Does Commander Torque turn down a glass of water with the scotch because he can just say he's already a chaser? My brother, the true master of puns. You know how people say if they could go back and make one small change to drastically change the future? Why don't they do that for the present day? Small changes today can drastically change their future. Who will win? An entire squad of invested dragon units, or one determined swimmer? In order to get my attack power that high in Fire Emblem Heroes, um, uh, a, a summoner had to do S rank compatibility with Tiki. So, uh, yeah, my summoner's going to jail now. Sorry, Karen. I turned myself into a Diamond Morty. Boom! Big reveal. I believe that is what the young people call a cursed image. Or at least that's what 30 people on Tumblr told me. Whatever it is, it makes people mad. So, uh, Tumblr, um, how do I ask a boy out? I'm, I'm, I'm asking for a friend. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue. Guess what? My bed has room for two. Oh my god, no! Twinkle, twinkle, little star, we can do it in a car. Stop it! <laughs> Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 I can make you scream. I feel like the last one is verging dangerously into serial killer territory. Go one more, one more, one more. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue. Do he got the booty? Oh, you do. To women or whatever gender you're attracted to. Go follow your dreams. Go get the booty, okay? Bye bye. If you are not making this in Paris, then what's the point? Fuck you. Here's the left leg of meat from pig from one of three farms in this specific area of Tuscany. Or from this day, my grandmother will begin manifesting physically in your house. Buy these three cans of stuff and put them in the pan. Congrats, you cooked. Season it with a pinch of this and some of that. You want to know the exact amount. Feel it in your heart. Ask the stars. Yell into the void. Boil it and salt it. Okay, that's it. Enjoy. You followed all the right steps, but this isn't quite right. I don't know what to tell you. Chuck it on the barbie. 
You will never make it better than your abuela. Face the facts. Spend eight days laboring over the stove. The food will be flavorful with the sacrifice of your sanity. No one will appreciate it. It either needs more bacon, more maple syrup, more gravy, or an unholy combination of the three. You have to touch the dough! Feel the pierogi in your heart! Touch it! Eat it! Smell it! For God's sakes, I just want my potatoes and cheese! The fact that we can accidentally bite the inside of our cheeks has to be the biggest design flaw of the human body. No, 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 no. Let, let me stop your shower thoughts right there. No, sorry. It's the fact that our trachea and esophagus cross and briefly occupy the same hole. Dolphins don't have this problem. And look how happy those little fuckers are. We only get one set of adult teeth that are designed to last maybe half our expected lifespan. Cause God forbid of how much shit we put in our mouths. And our lower backs are structurally fucked from making a shitty transition to being bipeds. Fucking intelligent design, my ass. But at the very least, we're not horses. In conclusion, the humans were extremely angry until they saw the horse and then thought, well, that bastard's got it rough. This ain't so bad. Meanwhile, the horse is like, how dare you say this shit about me? I am a goddamn horse. You may look larger in our eyes, but I know damn well I can stomp you to death if I wanted to. Now leave us alone and stop making cartoons of us that are either extremely colorful or extremely depressed. I'm sure that's what they want to say. But it is a damn shame we only hear it as... So... There's only one channel in this motel. This morning while I was getting ready, I was watching Sesame Street. They were doing this bit where some clown was trying to wash his hands, but kept washing his feet or his elbows, and Elmo would go, No, Mr. Noodle! Your hands! And all the TV kids would laugh and laugh and laugh. Around the fourth or fifth time he couldn't find his hands, I heard a grown man yell from somewhere else in the motel. God damn it, Mr. Noto! <laughs> Honestly, I probably would be that guy shouting at Mr. Noodle for not washing his hands properly. Hygiene is important, and especially hotels, because I don't know what goes on in hotels, and more importantly, every time at a hotel, it's for a convention. And oh my god, people need to wash their hands at conventions. Oh my god. I'll do the Elmo voice everywhere and be like, Wash your damn hands, you crazy people! Elmo's gonna have to fuck a bitch up! I don't know if this one fully counts as it came from Tumblr thing, but I thought it was a fun fact to share in case anybody else wants to try this for character creation. But here we go. Is there anything fun you do to get into character for certain roles? I like to think it is. For a lot of recurring characters, I've assigned specific songs to help me flip the switch. For example, Travis's trigger song was No Diggity by Blackstreet during the early My Street seasons. But with the introductions of, let's call him Dark Eyes Travis because I don't want to reveal too much information, I use Losing My Mind by Mystery Skulls to help with the duality of the two roles. There is something about that song that's really good about flipping the switch between Travis and D.E. Travis. I actually immediately listened to that song right before I did the full argument between the two in the uh, episode where Travis makes the deal. Let's talk about Budo. Budo Matsuda's was the original Dragon Ball opening, as you probably have seen in a couple of videos that I did with him. It was a goof, but that's genuinely what I used to get into character for Budo Matsuda, because I was thinking, all right, old 90s anime character sort of dialogue. What's the one series that I know that is all about martial arts so over the top and so beautiful for Budo? And lo and behold, it's the original Dragon Ball opening. It's so good. And this one, I don't know if I should feel proud or feel ashamed. Probably both. Commander Torx was for some odd reason. Welcome to the Black Parade. I don't know why. But for some reason, hearing Torque's backstory when we first started doing the game, I immediately thought of this song, and it worked. Get through the opening sequence, and BOOM! Commander Torque was ready. Now please don't use that as theorizing that his former captain is his dad, that information's not out there, and I'm curious now if somebody's gonna do something with Black Parade. But there's your, uh, there's your fun Snapple fact for the day. I use songs to get into character. Now you know. Knowing's half the battle. Okay, bye!
This is more of a combo from r slash that totally happened, and it came from Tumblr. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> okay, weirdly, this exact situation has happened to me. It was summer, so I was sleeping naked. But then I heard the lock on the front door being opened. I thought someone was breaking into my house. And I had enough time to either grab my sword or my nightgown. Not both. Two things I learned. One, sometimes apartment complexes will flat out forget to tell you they're sending someone over from the fire department to check your fire extinguishers. Two, no matter how badass a person thinks they are, a naked person swinging a sword at them will knock them off balance both physically and mentally. However, the fireman was very nice about it and accepted my apology. Totally happened. Didn't think it could get any better. Yeah, here we are. Now I've thrown him off his rhythm. <laughs> Look at John Mulaney quote at the bottom. <laughs> when pickup lines go wrong. Hey, girl. My dick has a lot in common with the sun. Nobody likes looking directly at it. It gives people cancer? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It rises at the crack of dawn? It disappears at night? Direct exposure often leads to a nasty case of sunburn? It needs to stay approximately 92,960,000 miles away from me! Nobody will ever touch it? <laughs> Guys! I just came here to have a good time and do some fun pickup lines and involve my dingus dingus and I feel so attacked right now. And now, when pickup lines go absolutely right. Are you the SAT? Because I'd do you for three hours and 45 minutes. With a 10 minute break halfway through for snacks. That's the most reasonable pickup line I've ever heard. Fuck it, you're hired. Tell you right now, you find somebody out there who uses that kind of line on you, and they are a fucking keeper. <sighs> if I was a student at Hogwarts, I'd use howlers to send nice messages to people. So you'd be sitting there in the great hall eating breakfast when an owl drops a howler in front of you. You and everyone else on your table just stares at it as it trembles, explodes open, shrieks i want to touch your butt and then dissolves into flames i'm so done oh my god can you imagine some of the other messages you could send hey you swiggity swooty finish the rest of it i may be a hufflepuff but allow me to slither in hey you akio your digits boy or my personal favorites how do I eggplant emoji a howler? I'm kidding. It would be more wholesome. It would be, Your feelings are valid and I appreciate your existence! Tumblr, give me a heartwarming Christmas movie about Satan traveling around the world every Christmas to deliver presents to all the young kids with learning disorders and disabilities who misspell Santa on their Christmas letters every year. And Santa's all like, You know, I can handle a few spelling mistakes. I got this. And Lucifer is all like, They addressed it to me. Fuck off. I'm doing it. Lucifer being protective of his fan mail is ceaselessly entertaining. Hey, big guy, I need your list because I don't know what these kids want for Christmas and you've got all the info. This isn't your holiday. Yeah, well, James here doesn't fucking know that, so give me the list. He asked for Satan. Well, he'll be absolutely terrified if he sees you and not me. Come on, big guy. Let's be honest here. It's the middle of the night. We're big. We're red. You won't be able to tell the difference. And the kid's smart enough to know to not use a flashlight in the middle of the night. He'll wake up his sister, she'll start crying, the whole house will be a mess. Listen, I got this. Just give me the list. All right, fine. I gotta cut back on my chocolate chip cookies anyway. Yeah, sorry about that. The chocolate thing was my idea. It kind of backfired. Behold, a rare photo of a single mother tending to her triplets going through their rebellious phase. Oh, oh listen carefully. Die, die, die. Aw, oh, such precious little pineapples. So what would your evil alter ego be? A.M. Seymour. He does instructional audio on gun care and thinks racist jokes are hilarious. Bring down the fictional evil one. What do you see in the mirror of Irised? Emotional stability! <laughs> you wanted a normal ask? Too bad. Waluigi time! Wah. Uh, 
trying to accept the fact that Fallout 76 was made for people who grew up with Club Penguin. And you know it's true. Hey, it only takes 10 minutes to smile, but 45 to frown. Maybe I like getting some face stains, Greg. I want to open up my own line of dictionaries, and when you look up the term dictionary, it just says, are you kidding me? Things to remember when you have anxiety. The people you care about do like you. Your brain is just rude to you. You're good at your craft. Your brain is your worst critic. Don't give up on yourself. Life is always unexpected, and your journey is not over. And if all else fails, you can just picture all the bad voices as really obnoxious soccer moms. That seems to work, too. I hate hormones! Really? I liked her. I felt like she had an important part in Harry Potter. Honestly, this is so much nicer than red. This is Coca-Cola I can feel calm drinking. No bright screaming red, no anger, no hatred. Just a nice sky blue. This is a soda I can feel relaxed with. Get this Team Mystic propaganda bullshit out of my face! Hey, uh, instead of leaking celebrity photos, we could leak PDF versions of college textbooks? I don't know. Just an idea I had. Thought it'd be good. I hate being high. Why well, I keep hearing footsteps? Are you walking? Oh, shit. Make your own foot scrub. One, feet are pretty hard to make. Two, don't call me a scrub ever again. Please stop making me read this. Having gay parents must be horrible. Now, wait, 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 let me, let me finish, let me finish. I mean, you either get twice the usual amount of dad jokes or get stuck into an infinite loop of go ask your mom. Ah, uh, these are the kind of gay jokes that are funny. <clears throat> Champagne. Do not. <laughs> Lazane. Do not! My four-year-old cousin is freaking out because we went to a restaurant and the forks had three prongs instead of four. Every time someone said the word fork, she said, No, it's a freak. I can't wait for this kid to be old enough to use Tumblr. You know what show had the biggest plot twist ever? Blue's Clues. I had absolutely no clue Blue was a girl, meaning my entire childhood was spent shipping two female dogs. I had a lesbian dog OTP at the age of five. Oh my fudging gosh. Magenta's a boy. What the fuck? And now... A post from the official United States Tumblr. Fact of the day! The reason why you can't dig a hole through the earth and come up on the other side is because your shovel would melt! That's it. That's the only reason. What if you bring a second shovel that you put in the fridge beforehand to make it cold? Yeah, that'll work. Whoops! He dropped his eyes! Put those eyeballs back in your head, son! Why is every song from Phineas and Ferb a banger? How is that possible? Is this site populated by 10-year-olds? Yo, Phineas and Ferb goes hard, you bitch! Do checkers realize that they're the dentists of highways? <sighs> Explain? No one likes semi-tractor trailers or 16-wheelers. No one likes being near them, and they terrify like 50% of the population. Just the idea of having to be in their vicinity fills people with dread, even though what they do is essential to our lives. This is the first time I've seen this post with the explanation included! What the fuck? It's not a shit post! Son, I have a waifu you might think is pretty kawaii, and her name is Responsibility Chan. Take me to art museums and make out with me. But they said not to touch the masterpieces. Well, somebody's gotta pin the artwork to the wall. God, everyone's having their midlife crisis at like 19. <clears throat> Well, according to Alex Weiss, Since it's impossible to know which period of my life is the middle, I've decided to have an ongoing crisis. Saves rare item for the most dire of situations. Gets through the whole game without using any of them. What if there's an emergency? Gets into an emergency. What if there's a bigger emergency? I like to keep my metabolism on her toes. Like, what's it gonna be today? Complete starvation or 3,000 calories? I know as much as you, bitch. I'm crying. I've never seen snow. Someone describe it to me. Smells like water. It's like I'm there. So I just found out that my gecko's tail works on my phone's touchscreen, so I'm gonna let her make a text post and let her autocorrect interpret her words. Funks go amen kill zucchini angst. The gecko has spoken. Me getting chased around my house by a murderer. Alexa, play What's New Scooby-Doo by Simple Plan. Hey, you wanna watch The Lord of the Rings? Extended edition?
You sing along to Panic at the Disco or you hop out of my car and walk by Fall Out Boy. If you don't understand why this is funny, I don't think I can explain it to you by Panic at the Disco. They actually do kind of sound with their titles. And now a very special shower thoughts by Tumblr, voiced by Joe Swanson. Wait, what? Driving with a cop car behind you is the adult equivalent of having your elementary school teacher stand over your desk while you work. Being older than Google is gonna be an insult kids use one day. The most realistic part of Harry Potter is how he goes to a school where he learns skills he can't use in the real world. Sad but true. If the song Dude Looks Like a Lady were to come out in 2018, Aerosmith would get a lot of public backlash. You don't realize how much you normally fart until you have visitors. I know that for a fact. In pay to win mobile games, the top scoreboard is filled with losers instead of winners. Oh man. Every Snapchat received is a Schrodinger nude until you open it. If someone ever teleports, we wouldn't know whether they can actually teleport or they can just bust time temporarily. Magicians haven't pulled rabbits out of hats for nearly a century, yet it's still their main stereotype. Stop labeling magicians as rabbit hat pullers, alright? A surgeon will see parts of your body that you'll never will. Ugh, I got dark. It's sad that fast food companies have to advertise that their meat is real. And finally, for humans, fall is a beautiful, colorful season. For plants, fall is probably a terrifying season of mass death. And, um, this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr, voiced by Joe Swanson, I guess. Hey, bad- Bro, how can lawyers argue without crying? I'm a lawyer, and let me tell you, it gets, like, super close, dude. If I was trapped inside a room filled with explosives and the only way out was to eat a whole tomato, I would die. How the hell would you even get in that situation? God, I dumped the mouthwash in the cap and then when I put it in my mouth, my body was like, You're doing a shot! And I just let the mouthwash slide down my throat. Ugh! The thug life does not like dental care. Uh, why do boys need to know your bra size? Like, you are gonna jerk it to 38B? Do you even know what that means? I could say 6P and they'd probably Oh yeah, give me that 1080p titty. 60 FPS of titty. 4K 144 FPS mega titty. 6.8 gigahertz dual core titty. Oh shit, dude. Why am I not a banana? Because your genetic code dictates that you are a human. However, it should please you to know that you share 50 to 60% of your DNA with a banana. Aw, uh, thanks, man. Are you telling me that some people are 10% more banana than other people? The more appealing ones. <laughs> I hate myself. Dude, dude, dude. Levy Brosa. Ah, uh, yeah. We are what we repeatedly do. Well, then I guess I'm your mom. Ah, uh, yes, the Trojan horse. Or as I like to call it, murderous pinata. It's 2013. Why hasn't the bank had the slogan, it's common sense yet? I say we demand change. Hey, I have to give you credit for that one. Wow, these puns caught my interest. <laughs> Thanks. Every computer needs a cleaning keyboard mode where the keys would be inactive while you wipe them down. Why not just clean it while the computer shut down? While the computer is what now? The internet taught me Japanese. Konnichi, what's up? Sayonara. Komenasari. Toto minute. Nani the fuck? Arigat thanks gozaimach. Don't Itashi mention it. He says she been a while. Did I'm home? Daijo okay. Yamate could have stopped. Udo shut up. Subara amazing. Dareka help me. Honshu desu ka? It cannot be shogunite. Everything is daijo fine. Itadakimasu. That one's actually pretty close. Got a Niger run yo. Oh, yeah, sleepness eye. Sorry wa chigo wrong. Gosh, day, is this happening? Ugh, whoever wrote this can go to Jikoku. And welcome back to another Shower Thoughts by Tom. Uh, no, 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 no. We only did that once. Get the fuck out. <clears throat> welcome back to another Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. When you start improving yourself, you actually see how much there is to improve. As you grow older, the phrase, you look older than your age, turns from a compliment to an insult. 
Remember when the most controversial thing about a politician was that he couldn't spell potato? Good times. Happiness is like sleep. You don't realize you were experiencing it until it's over. The church is the longest running book club ever. Your future spouse is currently walking around making memories that they'll tell you about one day. One year and four months left of the 2010s. Oh dear God. Instagram would be a lot less damaging to people's self-esteem if every selfie showed the number of attempts that preceded it. Applebee's is the nickel pack of chain restaurants. <laughs> Focus. Most of us have gone our entire lives without ever seeing a Chinese restaurant commercial. If a cashier tells a joke, it's likely the first time that customer has ever heard that joke. If a customer tells a joke, that cashier has probably heard it 200 times already. So if there's no price tag on it, it's free, right? When you're sick, the advice you get is to literally do drugs and stay out of school. I don't remember that part in there. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Or Reddit, or whatever people have been saying these came from. I don't know, I just find them on Tumblr. So many videos ago, I think it was a Tumblr video, we talked about what would be the dark counterpart to, I guess, my internet persona, and we came up with A.M. Seymour, the guy who does audio bits about gun care. And thinks offensive racist jokes are hilarious. And, well, something happened a few days ago. It went a little something like this. Now remember, PM, whatever you do, don't wife or a husbando a character in F.E. Heroes. Okay, I won't. <clears throat> oh, damn it. How dare you? Cordelia is best. You suck. In my eyes, Cordelia is third favorite flying unit, right below Hanoka, who is just adorable. You have good taste, brother. <gasps> it's you. Indeed, it is, brother. It's been too long since you banished me to the underworld, but now I take my revenge on this world. A -A -H -A -H -A -H -A -H -A. Your gun care audio and offensive jokes should go back to the void you came from, you damn morning person! So yeah, I guess he exists now, so hooray! You know, I've seen some bizarre comments on YouTube videos before, but I think the showstopper was one person who thought I was actually dead because my role hadn't shown up in a series in quite a while. And Curious Minds asked, it was Travis. I'm still alive, okay? Sometimes I feel a little dead on the inside, but I'm okay. Pat, I don't know whether to love or hate the dad jokes. Both are acceptable. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that the tier system in Fire Emblem Heroes means deadle. It's more like, hey, you don't have to do much investing with tier 1 through 3. 4 to 7, you'll have to, and once you do, every player will get mad trying to beat you. Fucking Arthur with the Christmas sack! I hate it! Close counter Felicia with wind sweep, I hate too! Don't even get me started on gale force fire sweep wielding Hana! Fuck that little cinnamon roll! I don't remember growing this plant in the garden. Looks like dogwood. <laughs> what would be your anime final form? Super Saiyan 3 hair, but it's all in the beard. Intelligent systems, look me in the eyes and wallet and answer this question. When will we get Gregor or Nils? I must know. If Gregor is not put in battle, Gregor will be very sad. Okay guys, imagine if Bojack Horseman's final scene was a fade out to the future with Bojack in the bar saying, and that's why the long face. Hey, just a reminder for you all to hang in there and keep going. You're doing great. Are you a human, cat? Naps all the time, needs to be loved, done with everyone's shit, always wants snacks, might want to kill everyone, cute but will fight. Nick Fury formed the Avengers because he wanted his adopted murder child Natasha Romanoff to have more friends. That's the most realistic thing I've ever heard about MCU. You guys are all horny and stupid, like cavemen. Me want toes. Me thirsty for toes. One time I said John Krasinski's greatest achievement was becoming Emily Blunt's husband, and my mom got offended. She was like, what if you said that about a woman? And I was like, if some woman married Emily Blunt, that would also be a greatest achievement. What's your point? I mean, it's true. Look at her. It's weird how people say follow your dreams instead of follow your ambitions, because once I had a dream where I worked for a place that tried to genetically engineer ducks to speak English, except the ducks only criticized people's fashion sense. Please follow your dream. 
Why do you always go on all these side quests and play your character like a goody two-shoes? Because in video games, I can help everyone! Oh look, it's a mood! <sighs> England doesn't own anything. You know, except that time we owned most of the world. I used to rule the world, you know! Okay, Dad. We think Greeks were a very rational people and all until we learned about the Buffonia. An Athenian ritual where a laboring ox had to be sacrificed, but at the same time, this was considered a terrible crime. So when the priest killed it with an axe, he had to throw it aside and get the fuck out of there running for his life. Then the rest of the people discovered the crime scene and blamed the axe. The only one present. The axe was immediately carried before the court of the Britannium, which charged the axe with having caused the death of the ox. Sometimes it was absolved, others it was thrown into the sea. You cannot tell me they didn't do all of this with a sense of humor. Why are my friends is a very pregnant dog and like three times a day I say to her, Hello, you're full of several other smaller dogs. And she wags her entire body at me like, It's true, I contain multitudes. I love that your friend is the pregnant dog. What a nice friend to have. Can you describe the guy who stabbed you? Yeah, he was not very friendly. Hey, what's up? I'm Kevin. I like to take girls out for a massive plate of barbecue ribs on the first date. I judge them according to how many and how aggressively they consume them. Whoever defeats me in this poor kind endeavor shall become my warrior bride. My Bodica. I'll set nations ablaze at her feet just to watch the flames dance and rise. Our love will be beautiful in its violence as a tempest hits the bearing straight. And should it die, it dies as it began. With a mound of bones between us. <laughs> An orc wrote this. An orc who knows how to treat a lady. Damn right. So far, I don't enjoy The Sims Medieval as much as I enjoy The Sims 3. I do, however, think that this is the best personality trait in any Sims game, period. Whale ate my parents. Sims with this trait will occasionally get Whale Rage, a negative buff that gives them negative 10 focus. To remove the rage, the Sim must go scream at the sea. Best trait ever. This is gonna sound mean and terrible, but it exhausts me to be around people who haven't finished going through their pretentious asshole phase. Like, okay, Holden Caulfield, I know you're all helplessly suckling at the teat of modern media, but can you shut up and play some goddamn Mario Kart for like five minutes? Can a ghost and a zombie come from the same person? Ghosts shaking their head at their zombified body stumbling around like a dumbass. Is this a comic? This should be a comic. No, stupid. Oh my god, no, just... Just turn, fuck, just don't water over there. You're gonna fall down the And there he goes. Moron. I'm waiting for someone to draw this. I'm waiting for somebody to animate this. Would you dismiss the wise words of a sage simply because their face was scarred or otherwise disfigured? I think not. And yet you engage in just this type of prejudice when you ignore my opinions on vaccines, simply because my profile picture is a busty minion. There was absolutely no way to predict where this post was going. I think we've officially reached that annoying time of the year where it's sweater weather in the morning, but by midday, if you wear a sweater, you die from a heat stroke. That's a fact. Remember, kids, rats are the Capri Sun of the vampire world. Yeah, hi, what the fuck does this mean? Hell is right-clicking to save an image and accidentally clicking email image and having to wait 40 years for some email program you didn't even know existed to rise from its slumber like some Lovecraftian ancient god. Meanwhile, the fans on your laptop are preparing for takeoff and you stare dead-eyed as the rainbow spirals, spirals, spirals. You wait and suffer this cosmic karma. Days pass. Just a few more seconds... You slur. Your laptop freezes, and the concept of time is no longer comprehensible. Your family and friends forget your name, and you fade from existence. Fuck. And now, more shower thoughts by Tumblr and to an extension Reddit. Having a child is like having a broke-ass best friend. Science has yet to explain why 300 people can be working at Walmart, but only four registers will be open. There is a planet entirely populated by robots in our solar system. There will be a time when space scenes in movies are shot in outer space. Charisma may be a dumb stat in RPGs, but it's fucking OP in real life. As an adult, you have the ability to do whatever you want. But if you do whatever you want, 
you lose the ability to do whatever you want. A fatal illness could be renamed a killness. An erection is a dick move. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> okay, all right, gotta get back to it, gotta get back to it. C drive and D drive are in very different moods. Thanos' most impressive power is being able to snap his fingers in a metal glove. Someone actually created the sounds of dinosaurs since we've never actually heard them. If airbags were full of vomit, we would all be the most careful drivers ever. Rather than stopping hackers, passwords have probably stopped more people from accessing their own accounts. Apple. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr and to an extension Reddit. I just woke up. What year is it and where's the coffee? Um, well, it's, uh, 2018 and great googly moogly, it's all gone to shit, and, um, there's a coffee shortage. Hence, great googly moogly, it's all gone to shit. Roses are red and violets are blue. I forgot how to rhyme. I'm a degenerate. How do you do? Great poem. Great poem. Dorito. Spend more monies on chickens. Get out of here, chicken shaman. No, what are you doing on Tumblr? So, Mr. Seymour, in your impression videos, it has come to my attention that you know what Homestuck is and know it well enough to know none of them have voices. So tell us. Are you a Homestuck? No. No, I'm not. I know what you're thinking. That sounds like something a Homestuck would say. Isn't it weird that a bunch of hairless monkeys made some crazy glowing boxes full of wires only to spend all day staring at them and getting upset? Well, when you put it like that, yeah. Now I'm more upset. Bicycles are acoustic and motorcycles are electric. Dude, whatever you're on, I'll take two. Who's your favorite hero on Fire Emblem? Also, thank you because you got me back into Fire Emblem. Oh, yay! Welcome back to the Strategy Madness! Um, it was Katria and Hector, but then I was introduced to Celica. But look at this. This moveset should be illegal. Are you that voice person? Uh, am I? I don't even know anymore. I have a headcanon that DBZ is literally the reason Brutal got into martial arts in the first place. Yeah, I could believe that. Although I have no say in that matter. I'll accept it though. Do you think the Eminem characters have human teeth? I think it's time for you to go to bed. Just go to bed, go to bed. Don't feel your nightmares thinking about that. Just go to bed. Hi, honestly, I expect you at any moment to say in a nice Herschel Layton voice, that reminds me of a puzzle, my boy. <coughs> what, what, what is your stance in chicken noodle soup? Um, uh, a a asking for a friend. Scud. I like trains. I asked a fan. What elder god and or outer god do you represent? I mean, talking HP Lovecraft here? Because I only know Cthulhu, I'm sorry. Where is your gas supply, human? I require refueling. How did you get past through the are you a human verification? Do you ever just enter a bathroom and just think, Ah, the smell of tropical poo. Someone must have been in here. When you smell the air freshener? All the time. You have insulted me and my chickens for the first and last time. My army will destroy you. Oh, chicken shaman. You forgot, you can't just send heads of chickens. They don't go anywhere, because they're dead. Ass a titty. I mean, both very good points, but might I offer a third option? Be it on a girl or a guy, there is nothing more powerful than the thigh. What if ghosts aren't real and it's just an alternate reality leaking into our reality and we think as dead people is actually alive people from a different reality? <laughs> go to bed. Go to bed. Just go to bed. Like I said last time, go to bed. I suffer from anxiety and depression, and I both got out of the bed and left the house today. I know it's really, really stupid, but I'm sort of proud of myself, so high five? Yeah! Good job, buddy! And now, Shower Thoughts by Tumblr and to an extension, Reddit. The pioneers who founded Denver, Colorado were the ones who, after their exhausting struggle across the plains, saw the Rockies and just said, Fuck that! A coffee house is technically a drug den for socially acceptable addictions. Bro, why do you gotta come at me like this? The beautiful sounds of nature are just all the animals and insects yelling out, Hey, what the fuck? in their own languages. Spiders would be absolutely terrifying if they hissed like a cat. Oh, Jesus, they actually would be. 
Cats and dogs will never know how much they are worshipped on the internet. <sighs> well, that's true. The most unrealistic part of the Harry Potter universe is that there's no need for further education after high school in order to get a good job. Nail that one on the head. We are trying to humanize robots and robotize humans. That is some deep philosophical shit right there. Not naming killer whales, panda fish, was the world's greatest missed opportunity. Nowadays, porn websites like Pornhub are less scummy than gaming companies like EA. Well, it's like this. You watch people fuck for your amusement, EA likes to fuck you for their amusement. An empty backpack seems lighter than no backpack. Holy fuck, that's not me that just feels that? <clears throat> No matter how nice you are, there's probably still someone out there that thinks you're an asshole. My advice is to just get over it, so it's gonna be like that. The morning news starts with good morning, then spends the morning telling you why it isn't good. Fox News. An opinion without 3.14 is an onion. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr and to an extension Reddit. Hopefully you weren't thinking of an old man in the shower while I was doing that. Yeah, the things Anon's just starting to send me are, uh, getting a little goofy. But I guess that's what happens when you open Pandora's box. But, uh, here's some of the things we've gotten lately. Flies or sky raisins? Where are the McFucking Lemons? Hello? Is anybody there? Don't say a word. It'll go away. Avoid hungers! For a large pepperoni pizza. Some guy probably gets off at the idea of being sucked into a tornado. Dick out and everything. I have the self-confidence of a slug. Well, slugs are confident enough to climb up walls, so... Your confidence must be shining, really. Become a homestuck. Join us. We won't murder you. Cosplay, Aridin. He fits you most. You just gotta trust me. I don't wanna. So you're only four degrees of bacon, apparently. Here, I was hoping that you'd have more, but still interesting. Oh, uh, wait, that wasn't a question. Uh, duh, uh, what is a question? I have a question for you. How did you find out my degree of bacon? You know that one Anna that asked if the M&M characters have human teeth? Well, it got me thinking, so I'll just say it. Mr. Peanut. What, what are you ta- Oh. Oh, no. He's got human teeth, too. Oh, great coffee wizard! Give me coffee, please! I am dying! Come closer, my son, and I will give you your answer. No, it's mine. I have like three life goals, and one of them is to own at least nine dogs. You have excellent life goals. Psst, coffee wizard. You people and your dirty bean water. I'm sorry that our coffee tastes like freedom! Travis! Where's Lawrence? You'd think after two years people would understand that he was written off the show. And now the most philosophical one of them all. Boob egg. I challenge you to say bubbles in your most deepest, most masculine voice ever, without giggling. <clears throat> Depends on what you're looking for. Are you looking for something right around here and say bubbles? Or perhaps you want me to go the solid snake route and just whisper gently into your ear and say bubbles. Please share this post and what your add ons on Tumblr send me series. That is all. Thank you. Let's just go put put that away. Let's just uh, we'll put that one away. They got what they wanted, but we're still gonna put that one away. And finally, I have a very important question. A question that could change the course of the universe itself. Prepare yourself. Mentally. Okay, ready? Here goes. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Depends on what kind of sandwich, really. I mean, if we're talking about, like, a PB&J style sandwich, no, it's not that. Well, probably more like a hoagie. You know, like on a sub roll. Hot dog roll, sub roll, kind of same thing. So, yeah, hot dog's a hoagie. But, yeah, there we go. That's all the weird, bizarre hand-on questions I've gotten recently. And it's probably only going to get weirder from here because I even mentioned it. So, yay! I'm going to need a lot more coffee. Oh, and uh, why'd you have to send me a singing one?
Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Cereal is soup. If gay people have the big gay, do bisexual people have the medium gay? Hmm, what BuzzFeed quiz are you? Um, 10 questions to figure out which rock that resembles a Disney princess are you. Sweetie swooty, coming for that booty. Hey, so turtles or turkeys? That is all. Wait, wait, come back. And on, and on, come back! I have so many questions! Potato saying no! Oh, God, get it out of here. Get, get, get out. Get, get, get out. Seymour, did you plan on shit getting this weird, or did you really just lack foresight? No, I, I, I fucked up on this one. And then I got a lot of weird, bizarre murder tips, so I had to close the Anon box, so... This is the second to last video for the Things Anon Send Me series, and then... I don't know if I ever want to do that again. The murder tips really fucked me up. What's your opinion on the new units that just got announced for heroes? Why is Ophelia so fucking cute? Why did Seals get such a crappy base kit? Why does Nina's bow look so weird? Why is Floria fucking broken? What the fuck, King Garen's a dragon? Why didn't I get to play as Hell Bendy? And those are my opinions on the new heroes. Confession? Whenever I play Yandere Simulator, I pretend Budo is my senpai because Taro's boring is frick. <gasps> I'm telling Austin. Peach pie equals ass pie. It took me about five minutes to realize what they were talking about because peach emoji is used for bits. I just thought they were insulting peach pie tasting like ass because then I was going to have some choice words for you. Dare. Get drunk and reply to this. Joke's on you, Anon. I am always in a living state of sedation. I'm just kidding, kids. Don't ever drink underage. Try to come up with the Kids Bop parody of a popular song. All right. Every ninja's sex party song as a Kids Bop song. Have fun with that, soccer moms who let this shit happen. Navi, excuse me, Ophelia needs my undivided attention because holy fuck, she's cute and broken too. Bye! Rap battles are just two people writing poetry for each other. Seymour, no! Seymour, yes! When you're socially awkward and need to break the ice, just use Oblivion NPC quotes. Hey, having a good time, man? Have you heard of the High Elves? What does percentage D mean? Smiling but dead inside. Forever mood. How does one quell the thirst at least for one day? Might I suggest self-hydration? Have you been drafted for the Skeleton War yet? It's never too early. P.S. Will me. Sir, madam, I've been a lifetime Skeleton War soldier. Nyeh. Not to break the immersion for the fans of the P.M. Seymour Cinematic Universe. <laughs> oh god, it's a cinematic universe. But is A.M. Seymour an alt account or is it someone else's account? It's someone else's. I have no control over what that one does. How do you feel about Roman numeral puns? Fifty-one, six, five hundred. What? Livid! When Beethoven passed away, his music slowly faded away with him because it was decomposing. <laughs> people might ask, who was that pun for? It was Fiorelise. Oh God, people are demanding blood for these unholy puns. I must hide in my safe zone. I call it Fortissimo. How is it possible that in the entire history of Dynasty Warriors, the joke, I'll show you, show you, was never made. All right, you guys ready for the last one? Here we go. I'm gonna say this one more time, PM. Put the money in the ball now. What money? I get paid in exposure. Big, thick, sweaty, delicious, wet dick energy. Sito spade. See, you gotta work on the order you send those in, because I see them from top to bottom, so now there's this lovely man named Sito having a spa day! Do you ever do fan meets anywhere? I mean, I tried to do one when I was at Anime Expo two years ago, but I think I only still only had like 10,000 subscribers at the time, so... I could probably try that again. We'll see. Maybe. Curb stomp those eggs! Jesus, at some point, probably. First off, it's curb stomp. If you're gonna be Jesus, then make sure you get your statement right there, buddy. Also, more importantly, Jesus wouldn't do that because he's Jesus!
I petered out. For a video, please read the Danny's Tumblr page. It is golden. I will. If they sponsor me. Hi, my name is Connor. I'm an android sent by Cyberlife. Oh, fuck! Everybody hide your shit! It's Terminator! The Terminators have come! Hide your shit! The answer to life, the universe, and everything is 42. The logbin word for 42 is war. Therefore, the answer to life, the universe, and everything is war. This can be exhibited by the fact that our universe was created by the great Unvori. Somebody sounds like they're really into Android 21. The Vor Queen. Why does this fire orb in the sky? It is horrifyingly bright! It's going to kill us all! That's the sun? It gives us vitamins to let us live. Don't be afraid of the fire orb until it actually decides to explode one day. I just want to say that my chemistry teacher is like the splitting image of you and I hate it. Which brings me to my next question. Did you do your homework? See more butts, yeah, <laughs> daddy. Well, aren't you proud of yourself? And the last one. I would love it if you put this in your next Anon video. I have depression and anxiety, which takes a big toll on me emotionally and physically. After a long day, I always come home from school and start to watch your videos. I just wanted to say thank you for being there for all your fans, friends, and family. Also, I'm allergic to cats and dogs. I'm sorry if I made you cry. <laughs> You're allergic to cats and dogs, and they just want to hug you and be your friend forever. Well, add-ons, I hope you had your fun. This was a nice little short series to do, except for when I got murder tips. Let's never do that again, okay? Okay, bye. By the way, don't ever send murder tips! That's fucked up! Okay, bye. Are the E's and B's silent? Give me a good joke headline. Ewan McGregor invests into a new coffee bar that adds THC to their brew called The High Ground. I feel like there are certain foods that I wouldn't sell if they were named something else. Like peanut butter, aka beige bean paste. I enjoy pie, or as I like to call it, fruit calzone. What is the worst Fire Emblem game and why is the genealogy of the Holy War? That's a funny way of saying fates. I'm sorry. Considering Revelations a real Fire Emblem game, you are a braver man than I. True, fates is a marketing scheme. Can we get FC fans to collectively spend over 120 bucks on one story come launch time? Sure, if we make it have everyone in it be so pretty that all their massive red flags don't matter! Except Hanoka, bless her goddamn heart. So read this awestruck noise like you just saw the best chocolate fondue. Okay. God dang it, now I'm hungry! How to confuse your friends. Give them heartfelt compliments, but in a weird, mocking manner. Look at you being all loving and adorable. I bet you're just like the greatest friend to have ever. Hello, my name is PM, and puns have ruined my social life. Worth it. Puns ruin social life. Confirmed by local voice actor and regular memer. More at 11. Don't you mean 11 PM? Oh. My. God! I don't need friends. I've got knives! Ha! I'm out of knives. I just crashed my horse. Fuck! I'm too young to die, and I'm too old to eat off the kids' menu. What a stupid age I am. Introducing the Grucinator! <laughs> we have fun, don't we, Link? I've never been more stressed out in my entire life. Do you see that thing down there?! With great power comes great need to take a nap. Wake me up later. Link, you must take the Master Sword. No! Blades are for skating! Ya dingus. It's kinda sticky here. Heh, <laughs> sticky. I'm gonna replace every bone in my body with a knife. If someone punches me, they're in for a surprise. The knife. I have no idea what's about to happen, but it has been a great pleasure to walk beside each and every one of you. Screw you. I want my final words with you to be indignant and irritated. Come on, sucker! Lick my battery! A wolf? He's supposed to be dead! Yeah, weird. Physically, yes, I could fight a bird. But emotionally, <laughs> imagine the toll! Except for Valley, I'll fucking stomp him. How do astronauts say they're sorry? They apologize! We don't apologize. We are perfect. NASA, I know of at least two exploded spaceships that beg to differ! If you could go anywhere in the world right now, would it be to a where or to a who? I was not prepared for this question. You know what's better than weed? Water. Here's this dumb bitch again. Shut up, you dehydrated high motherfucker! Dehydrated. <laughs> Got he. Plot twist. The introverted character who doesn't like big social gatherings or speaking in front of people is still an introvert by the end of the story because introversion is not a character flaw and it doesn't need to be overcome. Fine, I'll go on your stupid adventure, but you better leave me the fuck alone when we get back. 
Bilbo Baggins. Not a good example, because he was so introverted, he used a cursed object to get away from people. Are you kidding? Excellent example. 100% relatable. Big mood. Chip in a bottle. How do this? Is this what God wanted? I still can't believe Renaissance fairs are real. It's like Anime Expo for fans of the Black Plague. Also, turkey legs over anime thighs. Why do you make these decisions? If you're up really late studying for finals, try swapping your contact solution with coffee for a quick pick-me-up. Denny's, you're taking a serious risk here. Don't forget people actually try drilling holes in their iPhones to get the headphone jack back. Anyone know any good substitutes for love and personal fulfillment? Yeah, Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell? He has Monster Inc. on his shirt. She has Nemo on her dress. Violet has murder in her eyes. An alternative phrases to calm your tits, soothe your boobs, de-stress your breasts, undo the calamity that is your memories, adjust your bust before a Busts. I also like give that chest a rest, Akuna Yotatas, and don't have a rack attack. If you're an anime fan, let your opai sigh. The oppression never cease. What happened, Cat? I was given one treat. Only one. Cat will get chunky if you eat too many. Then let me be chunk. Rah. You know what? I'm not gonna pursue a career. I'd like to be a rock. Thanks. Metamorphic or igneous? Neither. Dwayne the. Snakes have gone through millions of years of evolution to become one of the most lethal hunters in the world. And we parent them and call them noodles and boop their snoots and squeeze their head boobs. I think they're secretly offended. Yeah, my ball python got stuck in a paper towel roll earlier. I think he needs a parent. Ah yes, the mighty predator. Look at his dumb, adorable face. Admit it, you booped his snoot on the screen, didn't you? People in their 20s still refer to older people than them as adults. When do you think they stop and realize they are adults? I am not an adult. I am a child with a drinking permit. 90% sure McGungle retired the day she sent out James Sirius's Hogwarts letter because no fucking way she is teaching a boy named James Sirius Potter. A boy named James Sirius Potter, whose mother was a Weasley, a boy who is a mixture of Potter Evans and Weasley, raised on the stories of Marauders and Fred and George, and his mother and father and their friends, a boy with a map and an invisibility cloak, and probably no sense of personal danger. Yep, sign me up for retirement. Purple. Park. Grab. Beach. Orange. Beeb. My personal favorite is Park. I had a dream that you were my therapist, but all you did was call me a bitch. Bitch. Dreams do come true. Three stages of life. Birth. What the fuck is this? And death. 911, what's your emergency? My wife's going to labor. I don't know what to do. Is this her firstborn? No, this is her husband. Not the time for a dad joke. <gasps> He's ready. A box of baby bangles. What? No, I'm sorry. I ordered half a dozen mini bagels. No, shut up. We're keeping them. My blog is not a safe space. I put landmines everywhere and I have no fucking idea where I put them. Please fucking help me. Let's have phone sex over walkie talkies. Bend over. Bend what? Over. Things, literally, everyone, regardless of gender, looks good in. Suits, lacy lingerie, eyeliner, ball gowns, battle armor, the blood of your enemies, flannel shirts with sleeves rolled up, glasses. This post went from zero to ten back to zero real fast. They took the children! They took everything! And yes, but what a shame, what a shame the poor groom's bride is a s'more! Is this the kids' bop version? If it is, I'd probably listen to it. The difference between the artwork of the Lazolfos and the actual Lazolfos models in Ocarina of Time was, and is, still, so fucking funny to me. Artwork? Huge muscular lizard man that can crush your head between his thighs. In-game? Funny little lizard that likes to scream. Hey, if you can't handle matters, then you sure as hell don't deserve matters. And now, a presentation on thighs. Pros. Extra squishy. Super great pillow, looking really good in skirts, dresses, shorts, etc. They jiggle, saw, could crush a watermelon, literally anything else. Cons, none, they're perfect, look at them! Today my anthro professor said something kind of really beautiful. You all have a little bit of I want to save the world in you. That's why you're here, in college. I want you to know that it's okay if you only save one person. And it's okay if that person is you. I feel like a few people I know could stand to read this. Yeah, actually, I kind of needed that, so thank you. I was going to end with the thighs bit, but no, this 
this is a nice way to end it. So, you finally arrived. What the hell is that? It's my ass-kicking outfit, bitch! I put it down on the grill! You've got to learn how to pick it up too, Link. The Hero of Time has been dead for 100 slatty, slatty years. Oh, go to hell! I already exist on a level of hell. Then exist on one that isn't near mine! Let me see what you have! A knife! No! Don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There is a little gray window in there for you to operate. The fact that tens of thousands of Hoylings refuse to send me their rupees is sickening. Grow up! Your face looks familiar. Have I threatened you before? I never considered you a rival. I never considered you at all. Now that's just hurtful. No matter how insecure or shitty you feel, just remember that my muscles are massive and I can punch through walls. Thanks, Daruk. So yeah, I just killed a guy. Totally on purpose this time. I'll just keep on going and try not to think about it. <laughs> oh my god. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Today's Space Orc story is brought to you by the one and only the Impala Lord. Check him out on Tumblr. I remember the war with humanity. It was our first and last mistake. The last war of the Dryson. The war that destroyed us. I was barely a hatchling at the time the war started. Barely enough to understand what the politicians were saying. Never mind understand the intricacies of intergalactic politics. <laughs> it was some dispute about colonization rights. Something trivial and unimportant. But something we foolishly thought was that destroying a human vessel was worth it. I remember the first days of the war. The propaganda on the vid screens. The pictures of our soldiers on the front lines winning victory after victory. The comparison of the primitive human weapons to our advanced technology. They showed us bedraggled human prisoners after they surrendered, made them read statements of aggression and war guilt for the news feeds. But those vids never told us that for every one human they killed, they killed 10 of us. We took the worlds we wanted, then got greedy and took some more. The humans were professionals, but we had numbers. City after city fell beneath our guns. Enslaved human populations churned out weapons for use on their own kind. But even as we broke their fleet at Clizan, sent their ships into that dying star, we realized we were losing. Every world we took, they made us pay in tenfold. They sent assassins behind our lines to kill our leaders. Small units of soldiers to sabotage our factories. We learned that we had stretched ourselves too thin against an enemy that refused to lose. We fell back with nowhere left to go. The only worlds left were ours. I watched as the humans scattered our fleets in the upper atmosphere. The burning husks of our ships filling the skies. The smell of ozone as an orbital lance annihilated a military base not 10 kilometers from where I stood. The look of shame as the Grand Council transmitted our complete and utter surrender. And I remember too, the first time I saw a human. Tall and upright, a giant of muscle and bone, the eyes of a predator on the hunt. I remember him gesturing me over to him, and the certainty of my death filling my mind. I was a child, but I was prepared to die for the Dreisel, a sacrifice to allow the humans to take their fully justified revenge upon us. And I remember my first taste of the chocolate bar he gave me. The human revenge was total. From the ruins, they built schools and roads, hospitals and sanitation plants. The human engineer brought running water free of parasites to my family's stack for the first time. They inoculated us against diseases the council had never bothered to cure. They wrought revenge with words we'd never heard. Democracy, freedom, brotherhood. They wrought it in the form of human rights. And most powerfully of all, forgiveness. 
and their revenge was total. Within ten years, human children and Dreisel were playing together on the fields outside of school. In fifteen, they were fighting alongside against the Shulaman. Forty years from the day the humans landed on our worlds, and the Dreisel no longer exist. Admitted to humanity, nominated by Terrans, and approved by a unanimous decision of the human parliament, the six species to gain such an honor. The Dreisel no longer exist, but humanity grew stronger. Yes, I remember our war with humanity. Our last and best mistake. President Stephen Azili of the Dreisel, giving a speech celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Dreisel's admittance to humanity. Possible outcome 71. Ending transmission. Hmm. This is but one of the many outcomes the human race could have on our universe. Sure, they brought peace, but at what cost? Computer, keep searching for an outcome where all sides have a happy ending. Of course, Captain. If it takes the next century, I'll find one where nobody has to die as much. Maybe chasing a fool's dream, but humans taught me how to be stubborn. Might as well learn how to use it. Pray for me, y'all. Almost there. Soon? Y'all mind if I... <laughs> I may be trash, but I'm high quality trash. Premium trash. Grade A trash. The kind of trash your mom would look at and say, should this be recycling? Yeah, I'm that kind of trash. My brother tried to pick up a banana to make it look like he was talking on the phone, but all the bananas in the bunch came with it, and he just looked at me and went, I guess it's a conference call. A++ recovery. Don't encourage him. <laughs> Attack. I'm Peyton. I don't even watch this show and I fell out of my chair. Hi, can I get a large lamp? Where do you get Cheetos that big? That's a Chihuahua. Those are carrots. This post is a mess. Do you ever eat some disappointing junk food and it's like, I'm clogging my arteries for this? Things on this site are so oddly specific, yet accurate. So I went to the bathroom at Chili's and it was super air conditioned in there. I was by myself and said, wow, it's really cold in here and then followed it up with, one might say it's chilly. And I realized this is it. This is why I'm single. I make puns to myself in an empty bathroom. If that is not the biggest mood, I don't know what is. One time we got a new kid in fifth grade and he walks right in and sticks his hand under the stapler and staples his hand and just looks at the teacher and goes, I'm going to the nurse and leaves. Everyone who died at the Battle of Hogwarts missed All-Star by Smash Mouth's release two days later. <laughs> it's so tragic. He still had so much to do, so much to see. Why do you laugh when you say anything negative about yourself? Because honestly, it's hilarious how incompetent I am. I <laughs> mean, fucking look at me. I'm sick of people thinking deodorant is optional. I'm sick of people thinking that they can judge others on normal bodily functions and that the only way they can be accepted is to wear something that is harmful slash poisonous to your body. Just because some men in the 1880s decided bodily odor was no longer acceptable. Bitch, you stink. You've never been to an anime convention, have you? Okay, but did it need lightning? Her name is Storm, not light showers with a chance of sun. Your toes sink deep into the sand. It is quiet here. It is soft. You're safe in the embrace of the waves. No, bro, 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 bro. That's, that, that, that's quicksand. What? No, the floor is just hugging me. If you fancy, hit that there like button. And hell, while you're here, give that subscribe button a click too. Did you post this with the intention of making us all stop and actually read this in our minds with that voice? I posted this with the intention of putting you in the goddamn dirt. Real friendship is when your friends come over to your house and then you both just take a nap. And slash or flop somewhere comfortable and tumble and not talk much except to show each other some stupid thing you found online. Yep. I feel sorry for this photographer. He tried to make a nice scenic view of a pyramid and this camel comes along all camel. Is masturbating while smoking weed called master blazing? No, it's called hijacking. Guys, no. It's weed whacking. No, it's called disappointing your mother. Can you explain what Fire Emblem is for an idiot who has no idea what it is? Simplest terms, please. I can be an idiot sometimes. Hey, first off, don't call yourself an idiot. Second, 
strategy RPG where characters can permanently die in game. Also filled with pretty people that sometimes you can make babies with, who also travel back in time to fight in your army. I mean, it's a few installments. There's some installments where you play as the second generation because the first generation dies. How can you like Celica when a perfectly good Kagero is right in front of you? One, beautiful red hair. Two, possibly red from the blood of her enemies. Three, damaged sprite is not a- Oh no, damaged armor fan service! Four, look at her! She is a strong independent woman who don't need no om! And possibly Mila. Ugh, daily routine has basically become coffee, email check, FE heroes, auditions, workout regimen. Pain and anguish from workout! Dinner, make videos, and sleep. Uh, optional. What's your favorite voice acting job that you have had or have? Sorry if somebody already asked this, I don't know if anyone has. Q for Michaela Law's male adaptation of Honey Pop on YouTube. Hunky Pop. Oh, that thirsty fairy, I adore him. I haven't played any of the Fire Emblem games yet. Give me a reason to. <clears throat> Cute girls that turn into dragons. Enough said. Oh, uh, sometimes it gets a little creepy where you can end up marrying and having children with some of the cute dragons because there's one game where you do that and the character looks like she's 12 and that's a, that was always a hot button issue, but the upside is she made one of the strongest children units in the game, so I don't, I don't know. I heard the words, pre-order Assassin's Creed Odyssey and get your very own unicorn. AC Fandom? The fuck is going on with your game series? Who is the goodest boy? All signs point to this one. Me, after Dark Elf Avatar keeps dying on Skyrim Legendary Mode. I am 100% Dunmer! So what do you think of Persona? Cool story, lovely characters. Not a fan of massive micromanagement. <laughs> I can't, I can't fucking play this game without missing something. If you must know, I did have a lunch today. I had a lovely bean gazpacho. Your breath smells like iced coffee. Like I said, bean gazpacho. What's your favorite show and or song? Show Bojack Horseman. But also equally hate it because of how well it handles mental issues. And song Losing My Mind by Mystery Skulls. And in case you needed to hear today, you're going to be okay. Keep on fighting. You're a lot stronger than you think. I like how Travis on my street went from fuckboy to comic relief to main antagonist so fast. I mean, two years, but yeah. You should do a Fallout playthrough, but with a mod that removes the voices and you should just fill them in yourself. For the females, I don't know, you're smart. If I did that, every male character would just sound like Patrick O'Borden. Have you seen my son, Peter? This isn't a question, but I am blaming the quality of your videos for my failed test grade tomorrow. You will live with this guilt on your heart forever. I'm sorry. I didn't know that cats had to take tests. North, east, south, west. For some reason, these are the funniest things to me. Like, let's take north and west. Between them is northwest. But you can go further. Between northwest and west is west-northwest. But if you go north from there, you go northwest-northwest. Oh my god, my head hurts. People of Tumblr and YouTube, look at this good boy. This boy can't have treats, sadly. <gasps> Why can't he have a treat? I've gotten a total of 12 hours of sleep in the past week. Is that healthy? Well, I mean, doctors say when you go 72 hours without sleep, you go clinically insane. But, I mean, if you sleep in between those 72 hours, it might not work. Refrigerators are just domesticated winter. Have a nice day. Wait, 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 come back, come back. I cannot think that. How? Dare. Just how dare. That's it. That's all I got. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Everything's going dark. I don't feel good, Mr. Stark. Oh no, there goes the Spider-Man. Why does Seto Kaiba, Chaz, Princeton, and Jack Atlas seem like a Pokemon that gets douchier each day? <laughs> You know what really gets my goat? El Chupacabra. Where does Captain Hook go to get a new hook? The second hand store. Or you can always panhandle for one. Or find work as a handyman. Well, I've really got to hand it to you guys. I don't care if you don't like space puns. I like space puns. 
Come at me, bro! Unsure of how to confess your love to someone? Try this. 1. Acquire several dozen limes. 2. Go up to them and drop all the limes. 3. Start picking them up, but keep dropping them. The clumsier you look, the better. 4. Keep doing this until you have their attention. This could take up to 30 minutes, trust me. 5. Gather up all the limes. Try looking a bit sheepish. 6. Look them deeply in the eyes and say, Sorry, I'm bad at pickup limes. 7. Marry them. Soup that tastes great is super. May I interest you in a bowl of- CAN YOU NOT?! Name one fragrance commercial that has ever made sense. What are you talking about? They all make sense. SHUT THE FUCK UP! How much can a whale ejaculate? The average whale usually ejaculates as much as 300 gallons of semen. Thank you. You're welcome. The sexual tension when you and your crush are online on FB at the same time and you just stare at their little green dot. And suddenly you know what Gatsby felt like. Ah, shit, he get me. Make it a new password like... Beef Stew. Sorry, password not strong enough. Oh. My God. I hope you're proud of yourself, you asshole. I'm good at math. U plus I equals 69. Wait, that would mean that I equals 59 because you sure are 10. Uh, oh. No, U plus I equals 145, as the atomic number for uranium is 92, and the atomic number for I is 53. Because we got chemistry. For God's sakes, why are all these people so smooth? Oh, my grain! Where do you buy the Dark Lord? At the Voldemort. My friend really changed when she became a vegetarian. It's like I've never seen her before. I sighed so loud my mom asked me if I was okay, and she was two rooms away. You know that there's a theory that no two people see a color the exact same way? Does that mean the color is like a pigment of your imagination? You fucking did it! <laughs> Even that fucking laugh is a pun! I hate you all! Do British people not drink iced tea as much as Americans do? What do they drink during the summer? Tea. But it's hot! Only tea. There are no other drinks. Only tea. Wait, what, what if you don't like tea? Then the weak die. Natural selection, goddamn. Is it weird that we pay money to see other human beings? Are you talking about prostitution, the movies, or airplane tickets? Glasses. A very intimidating middle-class family is staring me down in my Panera Bread because I put mac and cheese on my baguette. Update, I told them that staring is rude and I would eat everything on this baguette, including their small child. You are everything I aspire to be. I remember the selling their kid on eBay story. Who sells their kid on eBay? That's nuts! That's a child! A living being that you made! That shit goes on Etsy! Is she brushing his hair with a fork or- Dude, it's a dingle hopper! Educate yourself! Bees don't even have knees, so if someone says you're the bee's knees, it means that you're nothing and not real. In fact, they do. Bees have segmented legs consisting of parts called a coax, a trochanter, a femur, a tibia, and a tarsus. The joints between which are considered to be knees. You geek-ass bitch, go do a Sudoku puzzle. <laughs> Maybe I will. Fuck you. I can't express how much I hate fucking bees. Then stop fucking bees. It's really a simple solution. You know what I meant! Not after Bee Movie, we don't. Fun party trick! Put Skittles and M&Ms in the same bowl. Wait for someone to grab a handful. You can go fuck yourself. You are now one day closer to eating your next plate of nachos. This is the most helpful thing I've ever read. What if I die tomorrow and never eat any nachos? Then tomorrow is nacho lucky day! Get out! Me do not want the D! Me want the C! This could confirm that you're either hungry or a lesbian. Or a college student who needs a GPA boost. Why can't you be both? L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. Ugh. While you were busy being heterosexual, I studied the blade. This ain't no etch sketch this is one doodle that can't be undid, home skillet. <sighs> Help me. I can't breathe. Your ego is pushing all the air out of the room. Do you always have to insult the ghost of the place we're at? And you're willing to risk your lives for this? I won't risk my life, but I assume I can outrun anything, so I'm in. I'm three ounces of whoop-ass! <sighs>
Oh my goddess, when someone says hold your horses, they're telling you to be stable. Hello? Can you let me in? I tried blowing up your door, but it didn't work. The real secret to immortality? Not dying. You want to be immortal? Okay, easy. Just don't die. That's it. Refuse to die. There you go. But how, you may ask? Easy. Just don't do it. Refuse to. Say, oh, oh, no thanks. You bet your ass I got this strong from screaming at the moon and eating dirt. I'd sell you to Satan for one corn chip. I'm the Hylian Champion, a humble protector of the princess. And who are you supposed to be? I'm the hero of time. Let's see. Well, to put it as simply as possible, I'm sort of a time god now, I think. Sick. Prepare to cleanse your mind with these shower thoughts. The sun is physically or artificially featured in almost every daylight scene in the vast majority of films that take place outside. That makes it a pretty big movie star. When people hear about one sea of warming, that doesn't sound like a lot. But consider the human body. 37C is normal. 38C is a fever. 39C is high fever. 40C is life-threatening. The planet is already one above normal. It already has a fever. The high fever is coming. When OP is really active in the comments, it feels like your parent is hanging out at the party they let you have. Every house has a smell that only the people living in the house don't smell. Irony is cutting down trees to print more copies of the Lorax. If you say have a nice day, nobody will think twice about it. But if you say enjoy the next 24 hours, they will probably feel threatened. Jafar didn't use his staff to hypnotize Jasmine into marrying him when he could have. He may be evil, but he believes in consent. Not safe for work images are either really bad or really good. Maybe cats like to sit on keyboards because they think we're petting the keys. As teenagers, getting picked up was embarrassing because everyone started driving. As adults, getting picked up is great because you don't have to drive. If mermaids were real, their version of a werewolf would be a merman that turns into a shark at high tide. Oh, that's a good one, writing that one down. And toddlers are like when you start a new video game and are mashing A to see what you can interact with. I hope your mind has been cleansed from these shower thoughts. Quick, explain to me why pineapples are pecans. Uh, 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 both can be made into a pie? Special message, your existence is very much appreciated. Oh, thank you, flying cat rabbit thing. Humans are featherless penguins. Have a nice day. Wait, uh, uh, wait a minute. But we don't propose to somebody with a rock. Oh. But we don't go out in the cold searching for food. Oh. But we don't like sliding on our stomach. Oh. So what do you think of the new Halloween summoning banner on Fire Emblem Heroes? God damn it, Intelligent Systems. Stop making overpowered armor units. I can only handle so much. Why does Mia say when? Pat, what was your first reaction to the When Angels Fall script? <laughs> I'm in danger. The real mystery. But what's your verdict? It's good. Hey, hey. If Noe came from Norway, would that make her Norwegian? How dare you! Do you ever just what? You know? What? Yu Yu Hakusho, the show where finger guns literally solve everything. And they did it better than Bleach. Oh! Shots fired! I'm just kidding, Bleach is a good show too. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off! No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? I've had worse. You liar! Wait, 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 wait. Why do you need a special mind for rocks to eat? There's rocks everywhere! Hylians eat plants, right? Why do you need farms? Why don't you just eat grass, asshole? Yeah, think before you speak next time, punk ass. Ugh, I'm old. You're supposed to say you're not that old. But you are old. Hell yeah, I'm a catholic! I've been addicted to cats my whole life! Oh, wait, you meant cat. You don't rank me and you don't have pointed ears, so get off my back! Maybe you should stop trying to socialize. Everybody hates you. Everyone? Well, not everyone. Just people that have met you or know you exist. You know when you want to tell someone something, but you don't want to hurt their feelings, so you kind of bottle it up inside till it slowly and surely develops into an overwhelming urge to kill them? Obviously. I cloned you so I could kill you. <gasps> You're 
not say it. You're not meme. Nice. Nice. I'm just saying, next time I'm gonna get you. I'm just saying I beat you twice. The first time was a tie. And the second time? There were no witnesses the second time. Sometimes you have to spend money you don't have to make it seem like you have money that you don't spend. You, you get what I mean, boy? For a create a tale competition, your story ended with Din getting eaten by vultures and Nehru drowning herself in a tub. I thought it was a better ending. You smell like peanuts. I love peanuts. Oh, thank you. You smell like old people and soap. I like it. Wow, I haven't seen this many strange letters since the last time I placed a personal ad. And let me tell you, that shit was fucked up. I just got hit in the head with a bird. You should have ducked. Was that a fucking bird pun? Forget ducking. Birds drop crazy low when they need to. You should have dove. Was that another fucking bird pun? A fly just flew into one of my laptop ports and hasn't come out yet. Did you try debugging? Shut the hell your mouth. Could February March? <sighs> no, but April May. I'm so fucking done with this website. You say that, but I bet you lie. What type of currency do they use in outer space? Fuck. I literally just threw my phone. It took me a moment. I am leaving. What you looking at there, Mario? Something peeps you. Never let this die. Singing in the shower is all fun and games until you get shampoo in your mouth. Then it just becomes a soap opera. You! Which way does a cyclops wing their eyeliner? Tumblr user Greenhouse D is asking the real questions. That doesn't matter because nobody's going to criticize their makeup. Was that a mother fracking odyssey pun? Hey guys, look. It's me, Mario. Why were dinosaurs so big? Because Jurassic times call for Jurassic measures. Get off this computer. I just swallowed the wire from my brace. Please help. I was going to say brace yourself, but it appears you already swallowed that pun. Do not. Hey, hey, hey. What do you call 2,000 mockingbirds? Two kilo mockingbirds. <laughs> <laughs> no. I put fairy lights up in my room and they're stuck on extreme stroll, but I can't stop them. It's like I'm at a disco. This is not fun. Hmm. Seems like there is a panic at the disco. Joke! It is time for another cleansing of the brain with shower thoughts. People who are anti-vaxxers and also flat earthers are basically people from the year 1400 living in the 21st century. If they remade the six million dollar man today, it would be about a family struggling for medical bills after emergency surgery. Silent comedies made a comeback through gifts. Only humans can be germaphobic as we're the only ones who know that bacteria exist. People love dogs because they love us unconditionally. Imagine how happy we'd be if we treated each other that way. The perfect age is when you can fit your whole arm in a Pringles can. Feeling a crunch in a non-crunchy food is one of the most terrifying experiences you can have while eating. And that's a fact. Today happens 7 billion times, and none are the same. Bank heist movies make more money than actual bank heists. Maybe one of the most overlooked features of the internet era is universal access to a clock that is unquestionably viewed as having the correct time. On Halloween, we dress as skeletons, but in reality, the skeletons dress as us. Um, and this has been Shower Thoughts. I love high contrast photos of fruit floating threateningly in the night. I don't believe such a thing exists. I was mistaken. The sorting cone. You're a hazard, Harry. The jelly comes out, but it's a better idea to just leave it in. Mother, why have you made me this way? Mac and cheese. What? Mac and cheese. That's an egg. That's an iPad. I don't like using my dad's bathroom because I'm not that into watching myself poop. I thought your face was embroidered on a hand towel. Most kids on this website don't even know what this is. That's a coffee table. Check. <laughs> Can't get authentic Italian cuisine like this anymore. I, I don't even know where to start with this post. Beauty and the Beast, but reverse. I kiss the love of my life and she turns into a sick f***ing <laughs> monster and it's awesome. Shrek. Never mind, post cancelled! What's the password? Is it... is it dog? You may enter. Hey, hey. What are the strongest days of the week? 
Saturday and Sunday, the rest are weekdays. Stop unfollowing me. Why don't humans have a specific noise that means, there are bees here, let's leave immediately. Why are elephants more advanced than us? We do have a specific noise. It sounds like this. There are bees here, let's leave immediately. I probably spend too much time in my computer chair. This is my brother. <gasps> Sorry for sitting on him. This disturbs me. Where did they come from and where did they go? Where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Sacrificer. This entire <coughs> site is on drugs. Breaking news, rising ocean levels threaten Corgi. That settles it. We have to get rid of the ocean. When my boyfriend told me to stop impersonating a flamingo, I had to put my foot down. Brassy, I hope you're proud of yourself. I want to buy one of these grocery checkout dividers, but the lady behind the counter keeps putting it back. This is like the most innocent joke I've ever heard. The trouble with centaurs. So you know how colts can run almost right away after they're born, but human babies can't even hold their own heads up for a long time? Yeah. I'm <laughs> so proud that I snorted and scared my pup. So, uh... We've had a lot of rain recently. I thought this was a dog, but was probably on a hot dog for a solid 30 seconds. I actually thought that too. Can't help but feel we're playing with fire here. We need to stop doing this. Coming in 2017, Tank Monkeys versus Nuclear Spiders. I bet this dark black shirt would go great with my lighter black jeans. My 28-year-old still gothic at hard arse. You have no idea how many orbs one can spend on one color only to get an entirely different hero. You have no f***ing idea and I'm shh. Oh, trust me. I most certainly do. Hey, idea for a video game remake. Super Mario RPG remade with Paper Mario graphics. A thousand year door combat. Cause f*** yeah. Skinny thighs or fat thighs? All. Game Freak! Remember when you didn't spoil every single detail about Pokemon when you were releasing a new game? Can you go back to doing that? I like to have a sense of wonder when I'm playing those games, and I haven't felt that since I was 12. What is the plot of Fire Emblem? I've played a bit of Heroes, but nothing else. Please tell. Alright, every Fire Emblem has a different plot, but do follow certain tropes. 1. Legendary weapons that are pretty damn hard to say. 2. Permadeath. Three, someone you love is either going to die or betray you, and it's easy to spot. Four, there's always a greater villain. And five, big evil dragon, who is surprisingly not a small cute girl. I need an original NPC from my D&D campaign. Any ideas? An orc bard who only uses war drums. <gasps> he shall tell the tales of the party. What be thy name? Um, uh, uh, hmm. Raven? Also, I just realized. I really enjoy playing characters that get their sad asses tricked by a demon, don't I? I feel pretty and PUNK! Cool, so I'm leaving for a trip at 12, so I should get up at around 9. You're getting up at 5.30. But I- 5 now. <sighs> One reading and coffee brew later. <sighs> ah yes! My favorite anime is indeed White Chocolate Macadamia. For real though, the only hero in My Hero Academia I would give a name change to is Best Genus. Like he had so many other good choices. Denim, Denim Dan, Billy Jean, Levi, Gino, or hell, Gene! Just Gene. Let him be the best, dude. He can still be the best, but come on! Best Genus just sounds odd. Let him live his dreams, dude! Um, actually, Pat, there's an award in Japan called the Best Genus Award. It's given to celebrities that look the best wearing blue jeans. So basically, Best Genius is celebrating the fact he looks heckin' swag and denim. Oh. Oh. Well then. I will redact myself. It still sounds weird. Are you in fact a secret swagon? I meant dragon, dragon that one. No, it's too late. I'm a secret swagon now. My brother said Mystery Skull's animated as a rip-off Scooby-Doo. Anything I should explain to him? Yeah, how many of the main characters in Scooby-Doo have died, and or Katsune, and or traumatized, and or have amnesia, and or being followed by a gigantic haunted shrubbery, and or have a shotgun or a pet hamster with no legs and moves around on wheels? God freaking damn it, Pat! Because of you, I downloaded fun! Now I'm addicted and I have exams! I'm probably gonna fail thanks to this stupid game! It is not actually stupid! How are you gonna take responsibility for this? Dude, if I could trade you heroes, I would right now.
What is life, and why do we live it? Well, life is really all about kind of making people laugh and, and being there for them and caring for them when they need it. So my personal recommendation, wholesome memes! I'm just kidding. Go out there and actually be a good person, goddammit. If we don't have the romance of a Studio Ghibli movie, I don't want to. Oh my god, that is perfect! I am remembering that! The perks of being Travis from my street. How does that go? Uh, well, every character you voice in the future, everybody will now compare to Travis, and that's it! And that's not really even a perk! I'm kidding. Having a character that popular and having so many kids inspired getting to acting just makes me happy! Who is the best waifu in F.E. Heroes? Sakura or Selika? Battle of the F.E. Waifus begin! Actually, both of those are the incorrect answer. As much as I love Brave Selika, the true waifu of Fire Emblem Heroes is... Hector! Remember when my street was a happy spinoff while diaries killed everyone? Yeah, it's like the worlds are connecting or something. I don't know. Where's that tea that I need to sit for this? The great Izuku Midori tree. Breath of the Hero Academia. Boku no of the wild. Did you get it? I got it! Thighs are powerful. Thighs with stretch marks remind me of lightning, so when they are on a pair of thunder thighs, they have both the power of lightning and thunder. This one gets it. So feel good about your thighs. Yes. That's it. Roses are red. My son is a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just got it. Oh my god. <laughs> As a fellow demisexual, I have made the demisexual drinking game. Whenever someone says, that's not real, so just normal. What is that? Bonus points if they refuse to Google it when you're too tired to explain. Take a shot of water. You gotta stay hydrated. <gasps> I'm remembering that game. Made a dumbass today. Ha <laughs> ha. Awful. You looked in a mirror. Someday you will have to answer for your actions and God may not be so merciful. Ha <laughs> ha. My parents didn't raise me to order something expensive when someone else is paying. Reblog if you're too scared to drink anything but water when someone takes you out to eat. Does it bother anyone else that there are parts of your life you don't remember? You've done and said things that you don't even know about anymore. That means you don't even have the right perception of yourself because you don't even fully know who you are. However, something that you've forgotten about could be a prominent memory in somebody else's mind. It trips me out. I really wish you hadn't said that! My mom is a friend who has a failed program service dog, and he's literally my favorite creature. He's a really smart lab, he learned all the commands, but he just has an affinity for doing them whenever he wants. So this lady's dog literally turns on and off lights, opens doors, opens the fridge, etc. at his own wishes. Her house looks like it's baby proof, with kid safe locks on everything and stuff. But she really just has a dog that's learned the mobility service dog commands, but has a mind of its own. Aw, he's a chaotic good boy. The lady at Target couldn't scan my item and just looked at me and said, Just take it, I hate this friendly place. <laughs> the other day in Coles. Dude, the cashier at Whole Foods gave me free cake because he couldn't scan it and said, whatever, it's yours. It was one of the best moments of my life. How introverts make friends. A, online. B, an extrovert found them, liked them, and adopted them. It's true. If you want to be my lover, you got to tell me really explicitly because I can't tell when people are actually flirting with me. That's a fact. In 2018, we started pressing people who like their hot chocolate with water. If you're lactose intolerant, you can stay, but you're on... Fantastic! Thin ice. I eat powder straight from the pack. Hey, do you know how horrible what you just said was? Things to do after finishing a TV show. Rewatch the pilot. It's always enlightening to see where and how characters started off when you know how they end up. Rewatch the second episode. Surely you missed something the first time around. Watch the whole first season. School doesn't start for a week anyway. Rewatch the whole thing, you piece of sweetness. Rewatch it all. Okay, so there's a game me and my friends play called Don't Get Me Started. And basically, someone gives another person a random topic and they have to go on an angry rant about it. And it's the best thing that's ever happened to us at parties and car rides, so I highly recommend playing it sometimes with your friends. Don't get me started. Did you draw that? They ask as I continue on the same piece of artwork under my pencil, and immediately my eyes widen in horror as I throw the sketchbook to the ground screaming, No, I did it! Where did that come from? What is this witchcraft? There was like a panic every 20 to 30 years in the 19th century. Get your stuff together. 
I have a panic attack every 20 to 30 minutes, so no judgment. If people are really going to assume that guys with long hair are gay and girls with short hair are lesbians, then I'm going to assume that all bald men are actually eagles. I knew it. Something about my dad just wasn't adding up. Hey, yo, I may be a failure, but at least I am not the Emoji Movie 2017. I don't remember that one. Welcome to Australia, where a fast food restaurant literally made a mirror reflective seagull proof packet for their fries so they don't goddamn try to fly down and steal your fries. You think I'm joking? Light fright. This is the best thing I've ever seen. The QA on Hungry Jack's website makes this even better. What if I encounter a particularly brave seagull? Ron, this is a model of how many Earths can fit inside the sun. Damn, that's gotta be at least... 12. Well, you're not wrong. Can someone just explain French to me? It's Spanish, but you speak it in cursive. You have 11 letters, you pronounce four of them. Learn to speak Spanish. Now learn to speak Italian. Now subtract the Spanish from Italian. You are left with French. Latin, but then you make it fashion. One day, you lose your wallet, and it is found by a mob boss, who figures out that you aren't in such a good place financially, and takes pity on you. So they start anonymously sending you cash, clothes, and furniture in the mail. Eventually, the mob boss sends you a letter to stating that they bought you a house, and it lists an address. What do you do? In this economy, thank them politely, pledge your loyalty, and join the mob. Cute things to call your girlfriend. Sugar, honey, flour, egg, salt, one tablespoon of butter. Stir thoroughly. Pour into a baking pan. Uh, we forgot to preheat the oven to 375. Why would we have to preheat her if she's already hot? You smooth Frenchman. <laughs> That's way better than the death noises. Monkeys in the Arctic? What's next? Vampires on the weekend? But imagine if they were dragons. You punks are all so daft. Boy, if you keep making these puns, we're gonna fall out. These puns are bound to cause some kind of panic at the disco. Oh my lord, this is getting out of hand. A lot of fedora type dudes don't actually wear fedoras. You just know them from the way they are. It's like a personality fedora. An internal fedora. It's their fedora. Remember when the B-movie promoted bestiality? Bestiality? I need a moment. You know, if you watch The Lion King closely, you can find a lot of symbolism. Carpenters go to boarding school. Wow, would you believe that? I saw what you did there. Trees! Thank you for your contribution. Bruh, let's get matching anchor tattoos. Why, bro? So our friendship never floats away. Bruh. I had a dream last night that I was working at Starbucks and Steve Rogers walked in and ordered an iced Americano. And I said, one iced Americano for the iced Americano. Then I woke myself up by laughing too hard at my own joke. How do hipsters talk about shoes? <laughs> well, they... Did... did you just... Get in your cell. You can't make me. You don't run this cell. Actually, I do. Oh my god, is that his mitochondria? All these video games with their epic orchestral musical scores? Those concerned moms are right. There's way too much violins in video games. I don't mind the violins. It's the sax that's a problem. Don't do drums, kids. <gasps> ah, securities. You are a cute coffee pie? You are narrow, scalding, and irrational. Oh, that actually makes more sense. I bought my friend an elephant for their room. They said, thank you. And I said, don't mention it. Is there a joke here that 15,000 people get, but I don't? You cheeky bastard. Huh. I'm not an A cup or a B cup or even a D cup. I am a T cup. Stop! If I can't bring the spoon to my face, then I'll bring my face to the spoon. Beautiful. Ah, me as a parent. Oh, hey, TK Simon uploaded a new Tumblr video. Mother, why? Why did you set me on fire? My kid was having a pool party, and the Green Reaper showed up and took the whole plate of grilled salmon. Ugh, rude. What? It's dead. I had to take it. So one of my Sims died, and the Grim Reaper turned up to do his business, and then another one of my Sims went into labor, and the Grim Reaper started freaking the hell out. This is not my job. This is the exact opposite of my job. I had two very attractive Sims, and they had a baby. But the kid was hideous, so I had it taken away. Because I'm an asshole. And they had a daughter, and she was beautiful. But once she started school, she brought a friend home. It was the first kid. Fuck you, Dad. Fuck you. 
never gonna gank out if I started flying. Character in The Sims was taking photo booth pictures with another Sim who died halfway through. Do 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 Spooky! For real, how does that happen? Father, why do you cry? First off, I'm pretty sure that's not your dad. Give me those titties, mother. Oh god, get it away, get it away, get it away! I don't like that! My sim befriended the Grim Reaper when her roommate died in a fire, and now she's graduating from university, so I invited the Grim Reaper to the ceremony, and when he came, he had to change into formal clothing, and this is what he looked like. whoops -a. Is that... is that Enderman Gavin? I don't know, but god damn, he's hot. The creature tries to remember what it once was. I was a cat. I don't remember. Father, please tell me what did I used to be. I can tell you what you are now. An abomination. <laughs> Get out of my house. Cute anime girl with Morgan Freeman's voice. Goodbye. Ever since I was a little girl, I just wanted senpai to notice me. Actually, it totally works. Help, I keep eating waffles and I cannot be satisfied. How do I satisfy the waffle gods? Well, I did the research and I hate to tell you this, but you're gonna have to keep eating more waffles. Probably about a hundred of them. So what if the world were made of glazed donuts? What would you do? Well, I would probably do what you should be doing right now. I go to bed. Does thy sir have a large-breasted gothic maiden to court? Is... is this dude asking me if I have a big titty goth girlfriend? Country roads! Wait, what, what, what do you say? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I feel it. I feel it within me. I feel it. Take me home to the place that I love west for God damn it! Brian Taylor, why does he have a rope? Is that his secret kink he's been hiding all this time? If I told you. I'd have to kill you. Pran, calm down. Are you old enough to get this reference? Feed me, Seymour! Audrey, not now. I'm not the right Seymour anyway. So I'm just curious, oh great fa guru is the newest Erica any good? Well, let me ask this question. Do you like turning noontime into a really fun mini Aether? Because I sure do. Lunar Brace is a goddamn blessing. Hey, buddy. Wanna mind reading my only post? You got it, dude. I like your icon, by the way. PM, question. How mad would you be if I said you're an amazing person and someone loves you? <sighs> How dare you say that to me? Werewolves were the first furries. I mean, as if you couldn't make furries cool enough. You just made them cooler, so. Good job. Can you summarize my blog in one sentence? Sorry if I'm bothering you. Um, cute avatar. Please go follow. Nailed it. Whenever you say F-E-H, I feel like you're yelling F in anger until I remember it stands for Fire Emblem Heroes. Well, I did it in the post before, mainly to have this be sort of like a fun reference to go back to to listen to that part again. So yeah, I was at, I, I did a thing. I, I can't do this anymore. You're a dad. Welcome to the dad club. I have many dads. You are one of them. I will return soon. Buckle up, buckaroo. You're in for a lot of jokes. God, every time I see a post about Updog, I'm torn between not wanting to fall for it and wanting to help the poster complete their joke. Okay, but what's Updog? Updog is a long sausage in a bun often served with ketchup, mustard, onion, and or relish. <laughs> no, that's a hot dog. An Updog is when a new version or patch of an application is released. Oh, you're thinking of an update. Updog is when you end a sentence with a rising intonation. No, that's Uptalk. You're thinking of the fourth largest city in Sweden. No, surely that's Uppsala, whereas Updog is a giant spider in Harry Potter. Um, that's Aragog. Updog is a symbol conventionally used for an arbitrarily small number in analysis proofs. You're thinking of Upsilon. Updog is an upward-moving air current. No, that's an updraft. Updog isn't a noun at all. It's a verb. It basically means to chew someone out or harshly lecture them. No, that's Upraid. An Updog is a small dog that likes cuddling on people's laps. No, that's a puppy dog! An Updog is when the Mets win. Ugh, no, that's an upset. An Updog is the modern version of a Henway. What's a Henway? Oh, about five pounds. <laughs> Woo! We did it, folks! Longest winded joke in existence! Give it up! Yeah! Woo! Ah! 
stealing is a crime, and drugs is a crime too. But if you steal drugs, the two crimes cancel out, and it's like basically doing a good. Trust me, I am a lawyer man. When I grow up, I- Slow down there, buckaroo. Was Voldemort a virgin? Did you see him in fifth year? He wasn't a virgin. Imagine being the chick to do the frick frack with the Dark Lord Voldy. Tumblr.com, where we can discuss having sex with Voldemort, but we can't actually say the word sex. Doing the do with you know who. If you wore a VR headset linked to a camera drone that was set to follow you from a few feet behind you, you could live in third person. Disassociating. If you can't disassociate naturally, store-bought is fine. Why do Americans freak out over us Canadians having bagged milk? Who the Frank bags milk? Who the Frank brings guns into Walmart? Yeah, that's fair. I just remember that in middle school, there was a kid named Uganda in my lunch, and every time he bought pizza, I was like, you gonna eat that? I guess I was kind of harassing him, so he told the principal, and the principal made me buy him a pizza for harassment, and the next day I was like, you gonna pay me back? And that's the story of how I almost got stabbed with a plastic fork. You live up to your URL. I like you. I'm watching a sports. The sports did good. Did the ball go? French dude, it sure did! Two reasons why Fall Out Boy is incredible. One, when their label told them to shorten the titles of their songs, they did, by taking out all the vowels and shortening a song title to Thanks for the Moomers. Two, they have a song titled Our Lawyer Made Us Change the Name of This Song So We Couldn't Get Sued. Fun fact, the original name of the song was I Liked You So Much More Before You Were a MySpace Whore. I didn't know that. And now I enjoy. Gentlemen, we're at war with Troy, and must not drop our guard at all. Sir, the enemy gave us a giant wooden horse. Oh, Rad, bring it in. I hope it's filled with candy. My sister has apparently had to stop playing Skyrim because she stole every book in the game to stock her house. So now her house is full of books to the point where it almost breaks the game, and every time she tries to read one, guards teleport into her home and arrest her. Ray Bradbury, Fahrenheit 451, 1953. That's it, that's literally the book. May I present to you, Mad Scientist Power Switch. Oh my god! I need it for my lab. Room? Normal room? I would just put this in a normal room where I am definitely not reanimating the dead. No, sir. You are boring. I just suck at conversations. I'm sorry. A novel by me. I'm not ignoring you. I just don't know what to say. A sequel by me. I feel I have nothing interesting to say, so I don't say anything at all, and I'm really sorry, don't stop talking to me! The Trilogy. I wonder who was the first person to look at a beehive and think, Those bastards are hiding something delicious in there, and I know it. It's actually a very good point. I tell dad jokes, but I have no kids. I'm a faux pas. I'm in. Confused person looking at snow prints. Who the freckles strap freaking keyboards on their shoes?! Police detective examines footprints leading away from the crime. Why did we ever anger the machines? He asks himself sorrowfully. Do flat earthers think Earth still moves in space like some sort of planet-sized frisbee? This is my new religion. God made the frisbee Earth and then just tossed us into the abyss. The world ends when his dog catches it. This Cosmogonies go. I've seen worse. Two great but opposed celestial forces. God, who created the world. And dog, who will end it. I love how men mock women for being over emotional and then lose their shit over a team losing an over glorified game of fetch. I have found my purpose in life and it is spreading this message. Why does everyone say housewife or house husband when house spouse is not only gender neutral but also rhymes? Wait. Spouse rhymes with house? I always pronounced it spooze in my head. Why is your language so weird? Because English beats up other languages in dark alleys, then rifles through their pockets for loose grammar and spare vocabulary. That's actually what English is. Just trust your gut. Pal, I have anxiety. My gut is literally always telling me to abort mission. So, <clears throat> which one of you is, uh, you know, uh, the one who doesn't French toasting text back? Oh my god! Just drove past some confetti that said, butter is a milkshake, and honestly... I can't argue with that, but I want to meet the guy who felt strongly enough about it to put it on a street sign. And now, I can never unthink that. Also, it makes that stupid My Milkshake song just become a music video about some lady holding a whole bunch of butter. If you're American and coming to Australia, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you should be 100% way more worried about being king hit by a dude named Dane in a Bing Tang singlet than any f***ing spiders that exist here. What does this say in English? 
English? Good sir, if you are a resident of the United States of America and coming to visit the sunny land of Australia, allow me to inform you that you should be rather more concerned about being sucker punched by a gentleman named Dane, who is likely to be seen wearing a wife beater with a beer company logo on it, than by any of the dangerous spiders that exist on this lovely continent. Okay, so what does this say in American? You're more likely to get sucker punched or cold cocked by an asshole than you are to be bitten by a spider. Thank you. Well, rattle my spoons. That don't make a lick of sense. What in tarnation does this hootenanny say? If you mosey on by Australia, you best be fixing to get some fisticuffs more and checking for spiders. This is a Rosetta Stone for a single language. And this is why English is so fucking complicated. Drug doer has reblogged sex haver. Ah, oh, jeez, my mom warned me about these kinds of internet users. Only the true king could remove the sword from the stone. No one else could. They didn't have authorization. <laughs> Remember, sneeze on your knuckles before a fight in order to inflict poison damage. This amazing sculpture is called the Caring Hand and is located in Glarus, Switzerland. <laughs> it's a palm tree. I hate you. Robin. Robin, this is not what I meant. Quick to the son of a bitch! A proud new dad sits down to have a drink with his father. Well, son, now that you've got a kid of your own, I think it's time to give you this. Dad, you don't mean... Yes, son. I do. Dad pulls out a copy of A Thousand and One Dad Jokes, 5th edition. Dad, I'm honored, he says, tears sparkling in his eyes. Hi, honored, replies his father. I'm dad. You can make one man's trash to another man's treasure, but you can't make a drink. Fun fact, the blending of idioms or cliches is called a malifor. My personal favorite is, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. I'm rather fond of, it's not rocket surgery, and not the sharpest egg in the attic. But my all-time favorite is, until the cows freeze over. You open this can of worms, now lie in it. Bilbo wakes up suddenly to... Don't stop believing! It was an unexpected journey. Get out! I just choked on my second breakfast! I had a dream that I was walking around in a shirt with stalks of corn all over, and somebody was like, what the French toast are you wearing? And I said, it's a crop top! I laughed so hard that I woke up. Oh. My gods. Waldo from the Where's Waldo books. He wears stripes. Because he doesn't want to be spotted. I'm gonna hit something. Real hard. <laughs> I'm a piece of trash. As someone who cares deeply about the environment, I am obligated to pick you up. Is Seven okay? You smooth farquad. I poured my root beer into a square cup. Now I just have beer. Don't drink and derive. Fudge! Nope! Mm -mm. Fudge this! Nope! Fudge! Shut the fudge! Nope! Nope! nope. Goodbye! Nope! Mm -mm. Trying so hard not to swear right now! I fell for this! I fell for this so hard! Nope! Mm -mm. Hey! 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 Mr. PM! Mr. PM! Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm in space! On the How is Pregnant form video, I saw a comment that said, Dad, I'm pomegranate. So I quickly took the opportunity and replied, Hi, pomegranate. I'm Dad. I'm ashamed yet proud of myself. I am proud of you, Nari. Good job. You're doing the Lord's work. You should definitely say a bunch of sarcastic, passive-aggressive, or extremely violent shikesters in Melmo's voice. Oh, yeah. I will totally get on that. You see this guy? Look at him. Look at this ridiculous, stupid potato face. I want to give it a kiss. Have you ever tried spaghetti tacos? What? Me talking about twins. And they were woomers! Son of a Belvita breakfast biscuit! I have a new name for My Hero Academia fans. Macadamia nuts! <gasps> I love it. On Wednesdays, we wear punk! I would sing it, but no. I do get the reference, though. Ya mean girl, you! Hello, brother. It is me. Oh, no. Beep. Do you think Dr. Frankenstein had to give the monster junk, or did he get someone with no junk? I can't... I can't unthink this now.
did you know that there is a place in Sweden called Plurvin? Translated, it means the ass. I didn't want to believe this one. Then I looked up Plurvin, and it is a place. And technically, the slang term for arsehole is roof. So, he's technically not wrong. Today I saw a pink car and yelled, PUNK! Much to the confused amusement of my mother. Just thought you should know. This is your legacy in her mind now. Yay! Wait a minute. How do you feel about the new Aether Raids added to fear? Well, I enjoy the battles, but knowing how many times I've lost to opponents hurts my soul. Why must people hurt brave Cell get a little tinky? At a formal event, should I call you PM Seymour or 13 o'clock Seymour? <sighs> Good joke. Who hurts Arena PM Seymour? I don't know, Commissary Eric, but for the first time in my life, I actually feel bad for the Ascar twins. On a side note, though, Intelligence Systems, when are you gonna give me an alternative? Anna, hook me up, please. Welcome to the United States of America. To make things a little easier on yourself settling in, we have simplified all of our regions into their biggest factors. Our regions consist of cold, hard R states, it's called pop, not soda states, yeehaw states, weed, used to be Mexico but now hate Mexico states, Mormons, California, ah, I see Mormons snuck in there a little bit, uninhabited, islands, which I personally like to call little spicy and cold spicy, and finally, weed too. So come on down to the United States of America, where everything is totally okay. On the surface level. Tumblr, what does this mean? <laughs> Green eggs and room! I saw that, and I shut my laptop, and I walked away for a solid minute. I know, what a waste of a good RAM. So I don't me find that image of four cats being held up in front of a brightly colored background. The cats look calm being held, but they each have their own personality. Never mind, I found it! Tag yourself, I'm a grumpy striped one. Their slogan is stronger than Greece. And I was like, okay, yeah, it makes sense for a dish soap. Wait, Ajax was a Greek soldier and renowned for his strength. Ajax is stronger than all of Greece! Someone who worked at Ajax has literally waited 66 years for you to get this. <laughs> Daddy! You have been visited by the chonk of good luck. Good fortune will come to you, but only if you say, Our Lord, he coming! This is the cutest tiger I've ever seen. Look how fat he is. I love him. I love him so much. I just traded my neighbor a jar of raw honey for his parakeet's corpse. It is also worth noting that the only reason I have so much raw honey is because I made a dress for a beekeeper's daughter and that I needed the parakeet bones to make a necklace for a woman who fixed my antique cello. And that I got the cello as a payment for juggling at a child's birthday party. When did my life get this weird? Dude, your life is a fantastic side quest. Throughout your life, people would try to tell you that puns aren't funny. Those people are wrong. Punish them. You mean like... PUNISH THEM! <laughs> They're all gonna die. My sense of humor, suggesting kill them as punishment for an extremely disproportionate crime. He stole my eraser. Kill them. Staring at an object that has fallen over for a prolonged amount of time with inordinate disappointment, points at a garbage can, that's me, zooming really far into someone's face on Snapchat, something minorly inconveniencing happens. God, what did I ever do to you? What are you doing? My best. Shortening words that are already shorter versions of other words. EX. Thank. Congrat. Welk. And... Bees? Top 10 must visit destinations. My bed. 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 And my bed. Is this meant to be a testament to how lazy you are, or are you trying to seduce someone? I can't tell. Both? I'm trying to seduce someone, but I'm too lazy to get out of bed. Hey, girl, come over here and grab my Terry Fultz. Mosquito on my screen hasn't moved in the past five minutes. <clears throat> yeah, you bugs, get in this circle. Ugh, there's eighth dimensional super beings doing this shenanigans to me right now. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, guess what? What? Sudden overwhelming sadness, that's what. Come on, man. Memento Mori Ring. 
England, late 17th to early 18th century. Dude, you could put, like, a Skittle in there. Uh, yes. Dude, your fly's down. Existence is pain and suffering. This mysterious chicken church is located in the middle of the Indonesian jungle. The abandoned building itself is quite bizarre, but even more bizarre is the fact that there are 12 underground chambers. The world is filled with such wonderful things. And so the Lord doth say... They call me coffee because I grind so fine. They call me coffee because I keep you up past 2 a.m. They call me coffee because I'm really bitter and most people don't like me without changing some aspect of what I am. Oh! In her essay, TikTok, the great philosopher Kesha declared that the party don't start till I walk in, which is clearly meant to convey that any recreational gathering is not truly a party until Kesha herself arrives. <laughs> But what if Kesha were to leave the party for some period of time, only then to walk in again? This paradoxical scenario in which a party must simultaneously already exist and not exist yet is known as Kesha's Quantum Party, and has stumped theoretical physicists for decades. If you're wondering why I went with that voice, I kind of looked at his icon and thought, Yeah, he probably sounds like this as he writes it, right? My reasons for doing things. Spite the aesthetic. That's it. When you sneeze in front of your pet and they look like you've just offended their great ancestors. <gasps> Dishonor! Dishonor on your whole family! In any given moment, there's a shark behind you. It might be a thousand miles away, but there is a shark behind you! And that shark is totally behind you. It is supporting you in whatever you do and wants you to succeed. Yeah! Sidon? Are we talking about Sidon? It better be Sidon. He's the only shark man I appreciate. He believed in me when no one else would. <laughs> oh, I feel happy. Hope you enjoyed those five minutes. Ah, oh, no! I'm just saying, if Izao was a bigger fan of All Might, he could have called his quirk none for all. Since you're Irish, when you're mad at someone, you could say you have 100% Irish beef with them. Oh, that was a good one. Notice as you can make a pun out of a meme. Don't say it, 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 don't say it. It. Seymour, do you take constructive criticism? Oh, of course, go ahead. More! Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sure. Lol. Wow. Rip. Ha. Yeah. Well, ma. The nine deadly sins of text messages. And the truly forbidden one. Ooh. I'd love for a Fire Emblem game that made the falchion's design be what an actual falchion looks like. Plus, it would be amusing to see a main hero not use the straight double-edged sword of protagonism. Why does South Park use a man bear pig for their Al Gore episodes instead of It's an allegory! Let Seymour say Fudsicles 2018. No, it's an overrated curse. Overrated, you say? Let Seymour say boob 2018. <gasps> Scandalous! Travis has broken my heart! What a travesty. That was a bad pun and you should feel bad. Would you say it's terrible? Jay the puns! It's way too late to start doing puns! I'll stop the puns when the angels fall! Me, after literally hours of playing pho, just because you're hot and or cute doesn't mean I won't fight you! That's basically the game. Okay, but could you describe the whole pho series in just five words? Oh my god, they died! I think the youngins call this same energy. Also, both dudes have a blue-haired best friend. Hmm. Hmm. Roses are red, violets are blue. You can do this. I believe in you. Yo, heart. Apologies if I screw this up. <clears throat> Oopsie whoopsie. The train is stucky wacky. We send her heart at work on the make it we can't see better feeds in. Please stop. Dutch is barely a respectable language as it already is. Why you must hurt my cockerel like this? His name is Snurt. Everybody who read blog to this post is going to hell. This is a picture of baby Jesus. No, his name is Snart. <sighs> I guess I gotta perform some miracles because dad told me to. Ugh. I love Persephone and Hades because everything Western tries their best to make him seem like this stern, powerful, dark guy when in actual mythology, he was probably more like that guy in your language arts class who writes his own poetry but throws it away because he doesn't think it's any good. And he listens to bright eyes and he's teaching himself to knit. 
And then there's this girl he likes at school, and he thinks he'd be a good boyfriend, and so he tricks her over to his house to work on a group project, intending to put the moves on her, but she gets inside and is like, wow, your parents are loaded, cool, you've got all this great food in your fridge, so this is awesome, I'm never leaving. And it's just really stressful time for him right now, okay? I imagine Demeter, Persephone's mom, is like a crunchy granola vegan person, and half the reason Persephone likes being in Hades' house is because she doesn't have to eat quinoa in there. She just wanted a dang pomegranate without a lecture about carbon cost of transporting it to the store. Is that just too much to ask? Meanwhile, Western culture really likes Zeus, and in reality, the majority of his stories were him putting his slanger into everything. Upon second viewing, I have definitely concluded that Guardians of the Galaxy is even better when you imagine it as a tabletop campaign with an increasingly frustrated DM who's sick of being interrupted. Roll d10. Red high, 12. You have 12% of a plan. The entire prison break scene was just Rocket's player rolling knowledge checks on every turn until something worked. Oh my god. When Drax's player said, I go to the phone booth and call Ronin to nowhere. The DM stared open mouth for a minute, then called break time, and the rest of the party was speechless. Pretty much just in general, Drax's player is one of those people who thinks chaotic neutral means throw self at shenanigans for the lols, and is really fortunate he didn't have any other opportunities to derail the campaign. Gamora's player gets really exacerbated by the entirety of the campaign. They rolled a character with a tragic backstory and clear hooks to the villain to expand on, and had no idea that everyone else was going to be so silly. It's leading to begging the party to just once execute a normal plan, because look at Gamora's stealth bonus. The min-maxed assassin needs a chance to use her abilities, please. Rocket's a skill monkey who, if not for Drax's grand display of idiocy, would have gladly derailed the campaign with absurd plans. Groot was a joke idea someone came up with that people ended up liking too much. And Ronan's confusion when Star-Lord began dancing was the DM's confusion verbatim. The DM now vetoes chaotic neutral characters on principle. Hey, everyone's bones are wet. Why would you say this? No one said hi back. I would've. At night, the coral reef parrotfish sleep in a blanket made of mucus to protect themselves from parasites. He looks so pleased with himself. I spit on myself so nothing will eat me. It doesn't matter how terrifying or monstrous or deadly you make your eldritch monster, there's gonna be a person who hauls themselves out of the sewers to tell you that they will personally frick it! This post has so many notes and it's mostly people calling out their friends for their sewer-dwelling awful cryptid frickers and I love it! Expose them! Just for once in your life, don't smash! Big monster! You are loved, you are valuable, and you are needed. <laughs> A lake in Montana whose water is so clear it appears to be shallow, when really it's over 100 feet deep. This is actually kind of terrifying because what if someone doesn't know how deep it is? So they go diving and they try to swim to the bottom, but they always seem just out of reach. So they keep swimming. And when they realize something's wrong, it's too late. Imagine seeing a body at the bottom. Tumblr has the ability to turn everything beautiful into something terrifying. What if you see a skeleton at the bottom? of what appears to be a shallow part of the lake. As you dive down to check them out, you notice the water is deeper than you originally thought. Much deeper. You come to realize that there is no way these remains could be human. You're not even halfway down, and already the skull looks bigger than your car. This started so tranquil, and then it turned into Friday the 13th. Where exactly is this? While my friend and I were out ice fishing, his dog broke out of his house and got herself a job. Full story? How did this happen? This dog has a job and I don't. So, Nina Tucker was four years old in 1914. That means she was born in 1910. Guess what year in the Chinese Zodiac that happened to be? Why did you think you needed to do this? Simple. I refuse to suffer alone, so I'm dragging everyone down in this fandom with me. One time my dad went through the White Castle drive-thru and the lady who was supposed to say, Welcome to White Castle, what's your crave? Asked, Welcome to White Castle, what's your problem? She apologized profusely while my dad proceeded to lose his sanity laughing. Yesterday I went to Wendy's and the girl said, Welcome to McDonald's, and then she just sighed. Somebody in the elevator asked me what floor I lived on and I answer, Please open your books to page 8. And we kind of just stared at each other, blinking.
Waking up on November 1st is literally like walking through a door from Halloween Town to Christmas Town. What's this? What's this? There's decor everywhere. What's this? What's this? There's carols in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. It's just November. Come on, folks. I mean, I swear. What is this? <laughs> what if you kept the horse mask 24-7 while raising the child, and they thought they were raised by a horseman hybrid and never knew any different, and then one day you took the mask off? That's a great idea. No one on Tumblr should ever become parents! I always wanted to find you all, though. Not like this. Not like this. Guess who's buying a couch that might not fit in his car? Guess who managed to fit an entire three-person sofa in his key soul? Bottoms find a way. I'm screaming! I worked with toddlers and preschoolers for three years. Sometimes I accidentally slip and tell a friend to say bye to an inanimate object. Say bye, bus! And occasionally they unthinkingly just do it. I'm glad there's a teacher version of accidentally called teacher mom. When I worked at Medieval Times, occasionally I would slip in real life and call people, my lord. One time during family prayer, dad began, Our father, who art in heaven. American Airlines, how can I help you? Damn it. In the Harry Potter universe, where paintings and images can interact with those looking at them, Waifu pillows are probably a lot more interesting. I can't believe you just casually posted this like it was an okay thing to do! Poor Rem is not prepared for the things that are ahead of her. This guy I know throws this wild crazy party at the end of every year, and he invites literally everyone in our grade. And this year, I'm gonna call the cops ahead of time to shut it down. Because once I let him borrow a pencil, and he never gave it back. That's a lot of anger over just one pencil. It was a mechanical pencil! You may proceed! I tried ordering a boneless burger and the entire functioning system crashed. Read the error log. This thing didn't just crash. Somehow ordering a boneless burger corrupted the bootloader. Amazing bug right there. This thing didn't crash. It broke. Can someone who's never seen Full Metal Alchemist explain what is going on here? The VeggieTales meet Jackie Chan for the first time. Naked fruit. I feel like I wasn't supposed to see this. Pretty sure my soulmate is a bag of sour gummy worms. I just ate a whole bag of those, no joke. You piece of festering scab, that was the love of my life! I just had the best encounter with a child at Kmart. I was in the aisle shopping, and this girl and her dad came around the corner. The girl sees me and excitedly exclaimed, There's a human here! To which the father replied, Yes, there's humans everywhere. Bro, do you realize you met aliens? Not unusual for a Kmart. The gang's all here! The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Ah yes, clotting, idiocy. Hyperactivity, and finally, stay up! It's midnight and I just thought I should let you know that only the central 2.77% of your retina can detect color, so yeah, good morning. <sighs> it makes me sad that there's colors I'll never see. I'm afraid to ask, but have you ever heard of the coffee concoction known as Black Blood of the Earth? <laughs> that sounds metal as Frick Frackle and I want it! Loki, god of mischief. Ugh, more like a god of wearing handkerchiefs. Hey. 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 How dare you? You know that South Park pun you made? I hate it and I love it at the same time! You broke me! Ah! What? What? You've been playing on Akinator over a thousand times. Akinator, that's... that's the genie thing, right? Is that the genie thing? Guys, is that the genie thing? What's the hardest Fire Emblem game that ever existed and did you manage to beat it? <sighs> Genealogy of the Holy War, no I did not. Close second is Fire Emblem Gaiden. Both of them make me hate my soul. Not a question, really, but... Bog. Ooh, I got chills. The ultimate rivalry. Irish Coffee Wizard PM Seymour versus Irish Coffee Wizard Jack Septiguy. I would immediately lose that fight. Hey PM, did you ever see the Phoenix Wright boot to the head video? Son, I have been on the internet a very, very long time. Of course I've seen it. It's still one of my favorites. Reinhardt haunts my dreams! Summoned a total of nine blue orbs and got four of him! Help me! I'm drowning in Reinhardt's! But Nat Noodle. Magic is everything. Did you, the Muffin Man? Ooh, so close. Being a dermatologist with incurable acne has got to be awkward. Yeah, it was like my nutritionist that was bigger than me at the time. Would you rather have toes for nipples or eyebrows for your nipples? Patrick, go to bed. Chicken nuggets.
I don't think I want to eat chicken nuggets for a while. How about Ponkachu? You mean Clefairy? I want to see you do a JoJo pose, or if not, yell, Konadida! Uh, uh, hold on, let, let me pull up my binary translator here. Um... Greetings, Fleshy One. Okay, hey, we're just gonna put that away now. Quick, explain in the quickest and dumbest way possible how that works. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, summon heroes. Follow rock, paper, scissors, triangle. Get three triangles. You did it! Is it weird that I can turn down the brightness of my phone with my thigh? Your thighs just want you to go to bed. Shower thought. If you had x-ray vision and looked in a mirror, would you see through the mirror? Or would it reflect off the mirror and you would see through yourself? <gasps> Oh, my brains! Okay, so today in chemistry, this kid Roman was walking across the room to get something and he tripped, and this girl immediately shouts, THE EMPIRE HAS FALLEN! And I cried! Why was Hitler hit with a baseball? Because he was a fragile little racist, sexist, and homophobic nationalist douchebag? Well, yes, but no, because he did not see it coming? Eh? How did Nucleus escape from prison? <laughs> Through the cell wall. Get out! What do you do with a sick chemist? First you try and heal him, then try and cure him, but if that doesn't work, you bury him. Whoever put the S in the word lisp should be shunned. Fact. The person who put three T's in stutter is going to get their butt kicked. What about the spelling of dyslexia? <sighs> oh my god. You semi kind of upset. Are Yaoi okay? I'm okay, thanks for asking. Is this how fanfiction couples talk to each other? If we put Chris Hemsworth, Chris Pratt, Chris Pine, and Chris Evans into a room together, what would happen? A crisis. Leave! What do you call cool cheese? Mozzarella. Unbelievable. Only one note? It's like you don't have a shred of appreciation for good puns like these. You guys need to be more grateful. So Oxygen went on a date with potassium today. It went okay. I thought Oxygen was dating Magnesium! OMG! Actually, Oxygen first asked Nitrogen out, but Nitrogen was all like, N-O! I thought Oxygen had that double bond with the Hydrogen Twins. Looks like somebody's an H-O! Nah, bruh. I'm done with all of you! Hey guys, look. It's a Shakespeare. That was the worst pun ever. <laughs> but I'm laughing! Does anyone else think this game is overrated? Yeah. It's not for everyone. But up up but up up Hey! It's my jab. It is time to cleanse your mind with shower thoughts. If the Mayans taught us anything, it's that if you don't finish something, it's not the end of the world. If we do receive an alien message, our best bet to play it back will still be the VLC player. If people could see their own health bar, they would probably try to be a lot more healthy. Someone named Guy Chapman is essentially named man three times over. Baker is short for bread maker. The vast majority of shower thoughts aren't actually fabricated in the shower. If we stay here, they'll find us. Can be both relieving and terrifying to hear. Social anxiety has caused many beautiful relationships not to happen. 12 a.m. starts before 11 a.m. You have too much free time is an insult even though it's the one thing everyone universally strives for. And taxes are basically the subscription fee for citizenship. And this has been Shower Thoughts. You ever thought about how the number 1423322 describes itself? It is 1423s, 32s, and 21s. <sighs> it's too early in the day to be thinking about numbers. Hey, hey, guess what? Ice cubes are 10 glaciers. Have a good day slash night. Ah, uh, blue flame. Why? Why you gotta do this to me? Can you please explain fa to all those people whose only knowledge of fa is what's on your channel? All right, here we go. It's Fire Emblem Heroes, a mobile game where you can have a lot of fun as long as you have a lot of money. Build your team of baras, squishy girls, fan service, and small children. While you play across all the boards with a simple game of rock, paper, scissors, but also go through nostalgia lane. Oh, hey, I remember playing this game. What the f- 
frick Fire Emblem Heroes is that? Why is it so dark? And it's pretty easy to spot the players who have spent a lot of money on this game. Usually those guys are the Four Surter Army. The entire army consists of thighs. The creepy army that's just all children. Plus 10 legendaries. All the trash tier characters that have been completely maxed out in all stats. And finally, Four Camillas. Have you ever thought about how Mothman was once Caterpillar Boy? Oh my god! A dog is just a Cerberus with one head, thank you, bye! Uh, that, that, go to bed! You should drink some water. Oh, you're right, thank you for reminding me. Can you tell Christopher Escalante to stop liking my tweets because it's making me soft? Chris, keep liking their tweets. Hey, hey, I need a new anime to watch on Netflix. Got any suggestions? Agretsuko. Opinions on tea? No, uh, yes. I enjoy the exquisite taste of leaf water. I hate when you're being a fun and zesty texter and the other person is like a slice of damp bread. I can't carry this conversation alone! I have very little upper body strength! Do you young kids have a term when you are both of those things? I just found my seventh grade math teacher on a gay porn website. Oh. My. Sweet. Jesus. Why are you on a gay porn website? Oh, you know, for oatmeal recipes. Why the frick do you think? There are two types of anger. One is dry and the other wet. And basically, wet anger is when your eyes water and your voice shakes. And I hate that because I feel weak when I'm crying while angry. I like dry anger when your face is like stone and your voice is sharp. I guess wet anger shows that you care too much. And dry anger means you're done. This is the best description ever. There's this girl at my school and she's really nice and I remember sometime last year at one point she would carry a clicker around and click it every time she had a happy thought. Something good happened, she laughed, etc. It was always kind of cute how she'd just hear the little click every once in a while throughout class. It always made me smile knowing that it was because something made her feel happy. I don't know. She was training herself to be happy, oh my god! Does it work? Imagine feeling yourself slipping into depression, you just click a few times and your brain says, Wait, this is the sound of happiness! I have to release serotonin! She fantastically pavloved herself! The absolute madwoman! And writing that one down. I'm home alone with the TV repairman. I'm no fool. There's only two possible outcomes of this scenario. Porn or murder. Uh, apparently there was an unforeseen third outcome where he fixes the TV and then leaves. Okay. So you know how humans make animal noises like we can pretend to meow and bark and stuff? Like, how freaking weird would it be if animals could do that? Like, they didn't know what it meant or how to speak phrases, but they could pick up on stuff we say and make the same noise. Like, you'd just be watching TV with your dog next to you and reach over to pet him and... Bowel movement. Parrots. The thing you're looking for is a parrot. Do you ever have those times at 4 a.m. where you get so motivated and decide to get all your sanity together and then plan out your entire life and future and then the next morning you're just like, Whoa, <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> I am a hot mess. I figured out that horror games with grotesque monsters and spooky environments are negative 9,000 scary if you pretend you're Steve Irwin on a mission to document the monster or monsters. Looky here, there's a six foot grunt from the basement. I'm gonna wrestle it. This is how I get through a lot of scary environments without getting scared. It, r it really works. I feel bad for teachers because I distinctly remember my mom bursting into tears once when she was grading papers and she was just mumbling, they're so goddamn stupid, over and over and over. Every time I read this, I laugh harder. <laughs> well, imagine instead of fighting with weapons, we fought with cardboard. Imagine if there was a strict cardboard-only rule for war and everyone on Earth just accepted it without question. So whenever everyone went to war, they would just hit each other with cardboard swords and pretend to shoot each other with a cardboard gun cutout. Until they all got tucked out and went home. <laughs> I've been laughing at this for about eight years. I posted this five minutes ago. <laughs> I gotta tell ya, one bonus of being an adult, trademark, is grossly misusing modern slang on purpose and watching the young interns cry inside. A fine example. The other day, I pointed at a passing shark and, while looking one intern right in the eye, went, Man, is that a bay or what, huh? And the look on his face was something I will treasure for years. Kids, I'm gonna level with you. We do this on purpose. Does that dab for you? I would be an awful parent. My kid would say, I don't want to go to school, I just want to sleep. And I'd probably get in bed with them and say, I feel you. <clears throat> Really? Really? Is that the... Is that the terms you want to use? Hey Billy, why weren't you at school today? My mom feels me. 
Hey guys, who's the funniest Disney princess? Rapunzel! Get off the stage! I told this joke to my husband and he immediately said, Divorce! Just once. I want the hero to go, your wife, sister, mother, whatever, would not have wanted this. And the villain to go, actually, we talked about this a lot. She was really into vigilante justice and eye for an eye stuff. She always said, if something like this happens, avenge me. Your mother never would have wanted this. Well, you never clearly met my mother. Nyeh! Why do people call it fornicate, marry, kill, when they could call it bed, wed, behead? Easy there, Henry. Who's Henry? What the f- Urk. <laughs> So stupid. Beautiful Joe, Church's Chicken, Knockwurst, Frankincense, Sunny D, General Insurance, Go Directly to Jail, Green Marth, Red Marth, Little Marth, Arm Marth, Buff Marth, Better Marth, Princess Crom, A Snake, Bazinga, Bo Crom Horseman, Man Eating Sword Hand, Yandere Simulator, Legs, Horse Legs, Candle Legs, Legendary Legs, Um, Blue legs? Baby legs. Don't touch. Tom Hiddleston. Dire Dire Docs. I hate you. Leneth. Ample bosom gothic maiden. None for all. Douglas. Oh ho. Oh ho. Thor. Deep inhale. What if Zelda was a girl? Punk. Okay. Oni-chan. Colon three. Yes, queen, slay! Ganondorf. Dark Souls edition. Really? Red eyes, blue dragon. Shakugan no Shana. Run. Travis. There's Marth. This is fine. Bye. Yo, it's poppin'. I'm back in my ancestral home Lowe's, and I just watched a very burly man and a lot of flannel carry a potted orchid so tenderly across the parking lot. The sentence that starts with, I'm back at my ancestral home Lowe's, has to work really hard to make the end of that sentence equally as amazing. And by God, you've done it! Short tops are valid. Also cute. I think they're called crop tops, but I may be wrong. No one tell him. What if people got a new game every birthday? Like, what if the name represented how old you were? Like, 11-year-old was named Josh. I had my first kiss when I was Greg. This wasn't supposed to get notes! Tonight, British cops want to use AI to spot porn, but it keeps mistaking desert pics for nudes. London's Metropolitan Police believe its artificial intelligence software will be up to the task. This just seemed appropriate today. Oh, please, 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 let Tumblr flag this post! This post was flagged. Yeah, boy! Do you ever... Do that thing in class where you noticed you stopped paying attention, so you try to focus, but then you're focused so hard on trying to focus that you're still not paying attention to what they're saying? Oh my god, it's in words! Finally! Netflix is looking to pay someone to watch Netflix all day. <gasps> my time has come. Let me just take off my leather jacket to reveal a second secret leather jacket underneath. You mean skin? What an absolutely terrifying addition to my post. Thank you. Oh, boys will be boys. Oh, bam! Not in my face! Boys will be held responsible for their actions like everyone else! <coughs> we will not. You will do so, or I will shove responsibility so far up your ass, you'll taste tax bills for weeks! Y y yes, sir. Now you get out there and respect all people, or so help me, you'll get a paddling! Oh, I'm going to bed. It's noon. Time isn't real. Me! Tumblr's new anti-porn algorithm seems to detect skin tones. That means skin is banned. You can only jack off the skeletons now. Wait, frickin' sick! Unfortunately, Tumblr's security snuck up behind him and snapped his neck before he could warn us about- Oh, God! Have you ever really thought about how when you look at the moon, it's the same moon Shakespeare, Marie Antoinette, Van Gogh, and Cleopatra looked at? Hold up! They all looked at the moon. They're all dead. The moon is killing people! Wake up, America! One time when I was seven, I went to this big department store and there were giant rugs hanging from the ceiling and you could move them to see more rugs. So I moved one and there was an employee sitting behind it eating a bag of Doritos and I screamed and started crying and the store gave us a free rug. I got fired because of you. She guessed my favorite color first try. But between me and you, I didn't even have a favorite color until she yelled out yellow. She was hella excited and smiling like a little kid. So I told her she was right, and I haven't seen yellow the same since. It's in everything. I could probably live in it now. This is one of my favorite posts on this website. I just 
just need a moment. Listen, if Snorlax can suddenly awaken and transform into something powerful and useful after 20 years of lying around doing frick all, then maybe there's hope for me yet. Someone just sent me a message saying there's an OK Cupid account catfishing with my selfies to find a sugar daddy, but I had to tell him that was actually really me. Cooking show I desperately want. Professional chefs compete to wow and astound totally amateur food critics who don't know diddle about squat. Get eliminated on totally arbitrary grounds such as, I don't like sour cream. It's creme fraiche. Whatever it is, I don't like it. Take it away. <clears throat> Titty. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. <clears throat> Resist arrest. Then pay with your blood! I had three mineral posts flagged as adult content today. They contained or tourmaline, a muscovite, and a galena. On Friday, I had three fossil posts flagged as adult content, including a fossil fish, a fossil tooth with a mastodon, and a tyrannosaur vertebrae. I've submitted appeals for each. This has been getting worse over the past month. Apparently, most of geology content is now only for adults. Well, apparently you can't get your rocks off on Tumblr anymore. I am contractually obligated to congratulate you on this reply. There's a new book covering the Cambrian Explosion, an era of life about 520 million years ago when changing environmental conditions spur the rapid evolution of many bizarre life forms, some of which are distinctly related to animals today, some of which, like the five-eyed Opabinia, with its jaw ended, This reblog was flagged from my drafts. Dirty, dirty Opabinia. Opabinia has been extinct for 497 million slutty, slutty years. Data boy, who forgives you for your past? Data boy, who disregards your Cracker Barrel Larson charge? Data boy, who is your accomplice in the Cracker Barrel Larson? <gasps> it's back. I had three stitches in my ear today, and now my ear is swollen like a balloon. I'm not being racist, but if you don't want your ear to swell, you probably shouldn't have gotten stitches. How is that racist? They just said they weren't being racist. Do you even listen? Listen, I'm not gay, but I really think cats deserve a chance to be in the Olympics. This entire conversation is the exact reason why I quit drugs. Today, I learned plants make caffeine to defend themselves against pests. Caffeine is toxic to birds, dogs, cats, and it has pronounced adverse effects on mollusks, various insects, and spiders. Oh, safe at last. <laughs> Why are we like this? The fact that we can't drink seawater even though it's the most common type of water just because it's 3% salt, yet we can safely consume multiple forms of literal poison and even benefit from doing so just blows my freaking mind! Oh boy! I wonder what I said wrong this time. Guess. Diva. He lived. Hey, Talia. Bird up. Bird down. Generic. Crom's wife. Give her an alt now. Crom's wife again. Freddie Mercury. Dead. Give her pants. Definitely don't touch. Potec. Kool-Aid. Hot mess. Murder. Kirby. Chickens are dragons. Deku. Deku leaf. Precious. Dorkass. Go directly to hell. Pringles. Shy. Fluttershy, Erotic Friend Fiction, Ryoma the Hedgehog, Guess Again, Hectoretta, Mega Legs, Stop Looting Your Child, Uwa, Half Genie Hero, My Uncle Works for Nintendo, Charlie the Unicorn, Soulless, Not Azura, Sonic Speed, Roasty Toasty Princess, Lightning Legs, Where, Really, Loves, Dragons, Yandere Simulator Remastered, Run Faster, Still Don't Touch, Where's Iago? Tobuscus! So, the funniest thing in the entire Pirates of the Caribbean series is definitely that one scene at World's End where they have to parlay, but Davy Jones is a part of it. And rather than have him stand in the shallows or something, they get a big bucket of water and have him stand in it on shore. Who thought of that idea? Who thought, put Davy Jones in a bucket of water and had the guts to suggest it out loud? Then who went, hey, that sounds like a great idea. At some point, someone told Davy Jones their idea was for him to stand in a bucket of water and he agreed to it. I mean, look at him, standing majestically in a bucket. Orlando, though, look at him. <clears throat> okay, but notice the trail of buckets behind him, meaning he walked from the ocean through three other buckets of water before he got into the one he's standing in. It's even funnier when you consider how he must have figured all this out in the first place. Some folks are asking, 
Well, if he can avoid the no-dry land curse simply by standing in a bucket, doesn't that ruin his whole motivation? But he's not on dry land here. The parlay takes place on a sandbar, which, for the unfamiliar, is a temporary island of sand deposited by breaking waves, unconnected with the shore. That spends most of its time submerged, being exposed only at low tide. What Jones is doing here is rules lawyering his own curse. Can you imagine the trial and error he must have gone through in order to determine that this would actually work? Okay, do islands count as dry land? How about parts of the shore below the high tide mark? Reefs? Shoals? What if I stand at a pool of water on a shoal? Does it have to be a seawater, or will any water do? Does it have to be a natural tide pool, or can it be something artificial, like a bucket? What I'm saying is, is that there must have been a process. Pretty sure that this implies that the reverse, a bucket of sand floating on the water, big bucket with just a bit of sand, would qualify as dry land. That's absurd! So I'm pretty sure that his lawyer pulled a fast one over the curse, Governor! It may be absurd, but the text of the film bears it out. Davy Jones can sense the presence of his heart while it's at sea, but not while it's on land. Indeed, that's why he buried it on land in the first place, to break his connection with it. Yet, placing the heart in a simple jar of dirt conceals it from Jones' awareness just as surely as burial on sand does. Even if the jar is on the boat at the same time, Suitably prepared vessels filled with dirt absolutely count as dry land for the purpose of Jones's curse. Um, then the reverse should also be true. If he buried it in a jar of water, no matter how far inland it is, he would be able to sense it. So by this logic, any container of seawater counts as not dry land, ergo the bucket is perfectly viable loophole. Not necessarily. It's traditionally a lot easier to accidentally get whammied by a curse than it is to weasel around it. I figure that's why he's using multiple layers of indirection here. He's forbidden to set foot on dry land, but it's technically not dry land. It's a sandbar, non-permanent landform exposed only at low tide. And he technically didn't set foot on it. He's standing in a bucket of water. It's entirely possible that either one of those things alone wouldn't make the grade. Okay, but this all raises one further very important question. If it's specifically dry land he's forbidden from, what about wetlands? Can Davy Jones fight you in salt marshes? Can he throw down in a peat bog? Swamp battle? This is the quality content I covered Tumblr for. Could he not step on land if his shoes are wet? God, no matter how ridiculous POTC gets, I will love it. Especially when it results in conversations like this. KB in a wheelbarrow! What if he flies over dry land, like in a hot air balloon, or in the claws of a giant bird? What if he's carried by two swallows using a strand of creeper? European swallows are African swallows. This whole thread reads like a conversation between these two. In fact, I'm not entirely sure this wasn't their idea in the first place. <gasps> He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's on thin freaking ice. Santa Claus is calling you out. I think this would feel like a bunch of little kisses. Or immensely mind-numbing pain as your soul is sucked out through Satan's evil black starfish minions. Aren't you a ray of sunshine today? The cashier at the 7-Eleven just locked us in so she could go on the back for her break. This looks like a group of people about to fall into an alternate reality to have some adventures. Man, I thought Left 4 Dead 3 would never get announced! What language do they speak at the center of the earth? Korean? Ah, the center of the Earth is around 5,430 degrees Celsius. Nobody is going to live there, so they don't need a language! Korean? Choose your class. Archer. Paladin. Mage. Pyromancer. Builder. Tank. Mecha! I personally would go with the Pyromancer class. Sometimes I'm like, ancient Greek plays are sold. How am I going to relate to the characters? But then, Dionysus doing everything wrong. Like that? Do you think he knows? Duh! Dr. Fisher! Get off that man's face! You're a scientist, now act like one! Do colors have fandoms? Can I be like a purple is so awesome, I totally ship it with turquoise? I ship turquoise, I even drew some smut for it. Hashtag NSFW! <gasps> Scandalous! Why is there porn on my dash? Just because you're trash doesn't mean you can't do great things. It's called garbage can, not garbage cannot! I have found my senior quote. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He has arrived. Oh, oh, look at his little feet. I want to hug him. My history professor asked who we wanted to have as the next pope, and I timed in Oprah. 
and my professor just stands there laughing for a solid minute before he whispers, Popra, you're getting saved, you're getting saved, everybody here is getting saved, it got better. If you look under your chairs, you'll find a brand new key to salvation. Do you want the good news first or the bad news? Good news first, please, Doc. We're naming a disease after you. Why is this so funny? He's suffering. How the French baguette did he take the first bite? How does me eating a sandwich have 5,000 notes? How did you eat it? You can control white people by giving them cheese. Cheese is good, though. I got one. Ah, uh, Mary Smith. I remembered this in the shower this morning, and I had to sit down to keep myself from laughing too hard and slipping. Yeah, I would too, actually. Would you like fries with that? Oh, yeah, baby. Would you like to supersize that? We're out of toilet paper! What? She says she's out of toilet paper. What the fruitcake? Can we get some privacy here? No. A clown boy. Half clown, half cowboy. Says, yee-haw! Nothing makes a gamer more nervous than when the game autosaves in a seemingly harmless location. This is an awfully convenient collection of healing items. Why is all this ammo here? Where did all the enemies go? This room has rather a lot of wide open space in it. The music stops suddenly. No, no, there it is. That's an awful lot of bass. And finally, the one time I'm going to swear in a video because I have to for this. We fucked up. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream scented. Why did you summon me anyway? It's kind of a long story. My parents divorced when I was three or four, and I lived with my dad. Then my dad moved when I was eight, and I'd only see him every now and then. But as I grew older, I began to realize what a scum of a father he was. Always drinking, abusive in all ways to my stepmom, smoking weed around me even though I had asthma. And I just kind of feel like my childhood is ruined a little bit. And I want some of the feeling of truly growing up in a healthy environment. So, yeah, I'm willing to sell my soul for it. I'm so sorry about your father. But things like these need to be moved past with healthy relationships and therapy. Not magic. Many humans have had bad pasts. But it's your ability to move on and grow from them that allows you to become stronger. Sure, I could give you the sense of fulfillment that you never got from your father, but you wouldn't learn from it. And I'd think you'd rather do that in the long run anyway. Thank you. <laughs> I needed that. I'm keeping the candles. Alright, new computer, don't! Fam now, here we go. I've been in this IT course for like two years now, and while I've learned a lot about computers, they still haven't gotten to the clown. Like, what the hell, brah? Mm, yeah, boing. I hate you all. I thought LGBT was a sandwich. Did you mean lettuce, glitter, bacon, and tomato? Someday in the distant future, humans will once again be capable of hearing the phrase, what is love, without also feeling the primal urge to respond with, baby, don't hurt me. So at that point, people will say, Baby, don't hurt me. No more? Vic Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the dubbed anime. Mmm, alchemy. Come see my cat. Don't go in! But I want to see the cat! Reasons you should adopt black cats. One, they're adopted less because of superstition. Two, the fuzzy one looks like suit motes. Three, people think you're a witch and leave you alone. Four, every picture you take of them looks like a void with glowing eyes, which is inadvertently hilarious. And five, Cat. So NASA opened up applications to be an astronaut and all you have to have is a degree in the right field. Like, okay NASA, I see how it is. You think an English lit major can't go to space? Well then tell me he's gonna analyze homoerotic subtext in space. I know there's homoerotic subtext in space. I've seen Star Wars and Star Trek. Oh snap, he's seen both of them. Christmas is so beautiful! Everything is brown. This isn't some cynical, everything sucks and happiness doesn't exist post. I'm just red, green, colorblind. Oh, I just assumed you lived in Southern California. God, straight people are terrifying. They can go as far as to give the girl skeleton a bear of bone titties to indicate it's a straight relationship. <laughs> bone titties. <laughs> I would care about the VMAs if it was about anime music. 
And the winner is... God damn it, a cruel angel thesis again. Guys, it's been like every freaking year since 1995. Come on! Yo, I'm selling this Alpine sofa. Starting price is 2,400 bells. Inbox me if you're interested. Look what happens when you ring up Landa likes butter on a grocery store cash register. Also, Landa likes Omega-3 eggs ring up his LOL OMG eggs, which is quite possibly the best thing ever. Transforms into a magical girl, but then I can just stay inside and play video games, but I look really great in the outfit. Wait, but don't you die if you don't kill witches? Please watch other magical girl shows. They're good. I was trying to remember the phrase Taurus Trap earlier, and I said, the clickbait on the side of the road. You know what would help in this situation, Takata? If you had some sort of eye protection. Like, say, glasses, but they cover the front of your eyes instead of being glass you put in front of your eyes. Being plastic would help because plastic wouldn't break as easily as glass. Ah, but where would you get such a device? Oh well, guess you're just going to have to face the brunt of the sandstorm with your eyes unprotected. What a freaking sh- Hatsune Miku concerts are one big rhythm game where you have to shake your glow stick on beat with everyone else in the audience. If you're off rhythm, Miku will notice you within the crowd and steal your life force. It's totally true, I saw it on Wikipedia. Who is Mario and Luigi's rideable sidekick? Is it Yoshi? Toad? Bowser or Peach? This is a matter of opinion. Fun statistical fact! Cows are about 300 times more likely to kill you than coyotes. Minor side note to statistical fact, if it was common for people to keep several hundred coyotes on their property and routinely chase them into a corral and handle them, the statistic would be different. This is a great summary of conditional probability, a statistical property many people grapple with. I feel like this post just made me realize that both coconut trees and vending machines, items often quoted in wacky death statistics, are both things people shake vigorously often. My fellow gamers, today we press F, but from here on, we must press W and move forward. What the hell did I just read? Tell me something nice, hit me with those positive vibes. The earliest recorded name cat lived over 3,000 years ago in Egypt and was called Najim, which means sweetie. <laughs> I can die happy now. Concept. You walk outside one night and notice that there are two full moons. A few hours go by and they don't seem to move. You stare up at them and they blink. I mean, you blink back. It's only polite to return the greeting of the big night cat. You know, I meant for this to be all spooky and ominous, but forget it, this is way better. I love the big night cat, she is beautiful, I support her, somebody write me a book! Wow, your poke gear is impressive! <laughs> really? Gina, my poke gear is impressive. That's what's impressive, my poke gear. Gina here thinks that my poke gear is what is impressive. Yo, did you hear that, Lugia? Guardian of the Seas? Gina says, my poke gear is impressive. Wow, can't believe it. I, Lugia, Guardian of the Seas, cannot believe that Gina finds your polka gear so I got, like, rug burn on my arm knee, like, four months ago, and it's still freaking dark there. I think I got a scar from rug burn. What the hell is an arm knee? That thing. That's... <sighs> it's a freaking elbow. What's the word for horny, but not in a sexual way? Like, I'm horny for Halloween, but I don't want to screw a pumpkin, you feel me? Do you, do you mean excited? Dude, imagine if you could screenshot real life. Camera. That thing you're talking about is a camera. Imagine if worms had legs. Centipedes. Today, I forgot the name for cauliflower, so I called it albino broccoli. That's actually not that far off. So we have an Italian exchange student in our school, and he and I were hanging out, and he saw a pony. He tried to show me, but he didn't know what it was called. So he just pointed at it and said, Look, the compressed horse! And then he just grinned at his complete understanding of the English language. That's precious. Dad just said, There should be a Netflix for books! Five minutes later, he shouted, <gasps> The library! I was talking to my boyfriend, and I was trying to describe a type of marine animal, but I couldn't think of its name, so I said, Sea pancake. Manta ray. Manta ray is the word I was looking for! I couldn't think of the word for tea, so I said, England water. I just remembered that one time I was high and referred to Hamlet as the Fresh Prince of Denmark. What if snakes had tiny little arms and legs, like, oh my French god! So apparently those are called lizards. There are two types of people. I am literally the only one who commented on this. There should be, like, feelings hookers. 
Like you hire one to come to your house and they sit there for an hour and listen to you cry about your life. Then afterwards you pay them a hundred bucks and then you never see each other again. How perfect would that be? That's a therapist! That's the thing you just described! Like for realsies! Go get therapy! Did the sign survive the Titanic? Yes to Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Pisces. And no to Leo. Having a picture of your girlfriend as the lock screen on your phone is the 21st century equivalent of keeping a locket with her picture in it. This is actually such an adorable comparison. Not if you watch School Days! I'm getting flashbacks, man! Instead of desexualizing women's Halloween costumes, we should sexualize men's costumes and make it equal. I want boys in underwear and cat ears. I like your style, kid! Good non-gendered words to say instead of dude to someone who doesn't want to be called a dude. Buddy. Bud. Pal. Neighbor. Mate. Partner? Don't forget, comrade. Mortal. Boring and disrespectful. Oh, I can't survive without my morning coffee. Energy drinks make it so that I can get through my boring work and so on. Living properly. Treating caffeinated beverages like very mysterious and powerful magical potions that give us unforeseen abilities. Dude, 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 drink 15 cups of coffee in a day and you can clip through walls. Potion seller? I'm going into battle and I require your strongest potion. Trenta Macchiato plus five shots as usual then? F me up. Get me that knowledge juice, mage! W welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. Do you ever just sit there and wonder what life must be like for people without anxiety? Like, they just do things without worrying about them first. Wow! Anxiety is an excuse. I hope you walk barefoot on a world of Legos for the rest of your life! This is the chemical formula for love. Dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin. It can be easily manufactured in a lab, but overdosing on any of them can cause schizophrenia, extreme paranoia, and insanity. Let that sink in. Dude, that's so fricked up. Dude, that's my chemical romance. I went to the farmer's market yesterday, and at the Honey Guy's booth, there were all these bees just hanging out. Checking out the beeswax tabs, floating around the honey jars, not being aggressive, just really gentle and investigating or something. I don't know how bees work. And as he was giving me a sample of the wildflower honey, one of them landed on his hand, and he just took a drop from the jar and dabbed it onto his hand for the bee. And when I asked if they were his bees, he said, no, but they show up every time I come out. I think they just know my truck. And this guy is well known among the local bees and lets him sit on his hand and eat his honey. And I really, really just like this bee guy. Dude, what more of an endorsement could you hope for? I don't want to alarm you, but you met a freaking forest nymph. Squidward literally lives in a deluxe three-floor loft. And he's a cashier. Squidward must be on back page selling ass. Dude, SpongeBob's crib got like ten rooms, a library, and a baby grand piano. I'm starting to think the Krusty Krab is just a front. The Krusty Trap. <laughs> I mean, it is shaped like a lobster trap. Once I was walking home with some law school friends, and they were like, why are you walking up that street? Your street is like three more streets up. Yeah, but there's a house on this street, and sometimes their golden retriever naps in the sun on the sidewalk, and I like to give them belly rubs. Now all the law students walk up belly rub lane because law school is stressful and dogs rock. And I bet that is the happiest dog. I'm trying very hard to live by cat principles. I am glorious above all things. I eat when hungry, sleep when sleepy, and play when bored. Affection is given and received on my terms and only mine. Show displeasure clearly. No! Demand the things you want. If they aren't given, demand them again, but louder this time. If you are touched when you don't want to be, say so. If they continue to touch you, make them bleed. I think cats are really onto something here. Since my stepdad cheated on my mom and he's being an ass, I put a crap ton of that tasteless powder laxative in all of his diet shake mixes. He won't notice until he shards himself and not be able to figure out why. Update, he soiled himself at Walmart and I haven't seen my mom laugh and smile that much for months. You are a hero! Oh my god, I'm at the grocery store and there's this guy in the frozen section who has tweaked off his balls on some kind of a hallucinatory drug. I'm in the next aisle meowing softly through the cereal boxes where he can't see me, and he is losing his mind pulling pizza boxes out of the freezer and yelling that he needs to save the popsicle cat. My bad person. August, September, Halloween, November, December. I think you mean August, September, Halloween, Turkey, Christmas. 
I believe it's spelled hot as balls, frick at school again, Halloween, turkey, Christmas. Don't forget New Year's, forever alone, windy as frick, crap it's raining, allergies, oh hey, it's actually decent. Wait, never mind. And a partridge in a pear tree. Man, humans are lame. Why do we have, like, wings and horns and whatever? Humans can't even handle having different skin colors. How well do you really think that would go? That's basically the plot of X-Men. LITERALLY the plot of X-Men! F is for friends who do stuff without you. U is for uninvited. C is for clinging on to hope that you won't keep getting forgotten. K is for Krispy Kreme yum. This is not what I wanted this post to turn out like. One time I got in the shower. It came out and no one was home and the lights were off. My entire family went bowling and forgot about me. Down here in the deep blue sea. Attention sarcasm users. We're being faced with a serious issue. There is only one sarcasm left. Now we've got to use it wisely. Please, for the love of God, think before you speak. It's gotta be good. Yeah, okay, I'll be sure to do that. Oh no, what have I done? I swear people get 500 times cuter when they talk about what they're passionate about. Unless it's Hitler. Then it's only nine times cuter. I am done. So I just realized something. Plastic dinosaurs, right? Plastic is made of oil, which comes from dinosaurs. Plastic dinosaurs are made of IRL dinosaurs. I, science has definitely come too far. How did you manage to spell dinosaurs differently three times? Do you ever get the urge to get up in the middle of the night while everyone else is fast asleep and just walk places and be completely alone and entirely dedicated to your thoughts? Yes, but the problem is I don't want to get murdered, you feel me? I feel you. We all feel you. Why are there so many people touching me? This is why you don't walk around in the middle of the night. So I can either bake these cookies at 400 degrees or 10 minutes or 4,000 degrees for one minute. Nick, no, that's not how you bake cookies, friend. Florid. Nick, no. What about 4 million degrees for one second? Nick, you're going to burn your house down. I'm going to harness the fucking sun to make cookies. Nick, please. You're either the friend or the Nick. On the bright side, I'm not addicted to crack cocaine. On the downside, I'm too poor to afford one. One crack cocaine. Hello, drug dealer. Yes, I would like to purchase one crack cocaine, please. Debit or credit? I actually have a gift card. What if, like, there was an exact copy of you somewhere, except they're the other gender? Like, you guys could literally have a Freaky Friday moment and nothing would change. Imagine the best friendship that could be found there. I could literally go frick myself. Ah, oh, there's two types of people. Kill your dog. Apparently there are three. What color are mirrors? Let's reflect on this. Do you ever like go to put salt on your food and then find it odd that we sprinkle tiny pieces of rock on our food because we like how it tastes? Like how freaking weird is that, am I right? I just realized we don't even know what dinosaurs sound like. They could have been speaking fluid German for all we know. It's too early for this late night tumbler. Guten Morgen, Herr Pterodactyl. Hey guys, I'm making French toast sticks in the oven. I'm gonna take a quick nap. Wake me up in five minutes so I can flip them over. Randy, it's been five minutes. Flip your sticks! <laughs> Randy, your sticks! How was that? Are your chakras all aligned now? Seeing John Mulaney do his robot test bit has given me a strong desire to see him play a live action Riddler. But not like as any other character other than John Mulaney. Like, let's just make a John Mulaney version of Edward Digma. Just this socially awkward disaster man who somehow becomes a supervillain because of a misunderstanding he couldn't correct without seeming rude. And now supposedly he's committed to killing Batman, but he doesn't actually want to be the cause of a man's death, so he just affixuates things with clues and riddles and battles of wits until Batman inevitably defeats him. And he's just like, oh, thank God, please don't kill me. Batman's like, you need help, Nygma. And he's just like, yeah, that's fair. I should probably look into seeing somebody at this point. I became a supervillain because of social anxiety, and that just might be a red flag, you know? Hey, Batman. Think you've seen everything, huh? We'll figure out how to deal with this. You know, Gotham General Hospital? Yeah? Well, you'll never guess what I let loose in there. Riddle me this. 
what has four hooves and presents a massive health and safety violation? I see you there, Batman. And I also don't want me to be doing what I'm doing. Oh my god, I need this. I need this. I need this in my life. Somebody give me a John Mulaney Riddler, please. Okay, okay, Animal Crossing. You can stick 17 refrigerators in your pocket. But God forbid you put a fish in a letter. That's just crazy. Why the frick is Sherlock Holmes' brother named Microsoft? No, 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 wrong. His name isn't Microsoft. That would be ridiculous. His name's Minecraft. Actually, no, it's mitochondria. The powerhouse of Great Britain. What are your resolutions for the new year? Eh, 1080p. Back to hell with you! Projected timeline of global warming. 2030, the ice we skate is getting pretty thin. 2100, the water's getting warm, so we might as well swim. And 2250, my world's on fire! How about yours? God, these sexuality gender type flags are stupid, and apart from the gay one, no one cares what they mean. That, that's the Welsh flag. Gender of the day, Wales. My fellow people, today we have a new abbreviation. LGBTW, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and finally Welsh. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Why is your ukulele so big? I feed it well. If you bite it and you die, it's poisonous. If it bites you and you die, it's venomous. What if it bites me and it dies? That means you're poisonous. Jesus Christ, Nate, learn to read. What if it bites itself and I die? It's voodoo. What if it bites me and someone else dies? That's correlation, not causation. What if we bite each other and neither of us die? That's kinky. Oh my god! How chicks put on lipstick. I can't stop seeing the beaks as mouth, so all of them are just ah! I thought these were grapes. Why would grapes need to put on lipstick? To feel beautiful! How to cheer up in two easy steps. Whisper beep boop to yourself. Repeat until not sad. But why does this work? Plug your nose. Say steep stop. Try saying boopity doop in a really deep manly voice. So today I got physically removed from an olive garden for eating too many breadsticks. How many did you eat? All of them. GET OUT NOW! There's just- there's so many freaking layers of obscurity to this joke. I feel like I've learned another language by just looking at it. God, this one's amusing. That feel when you help a friend with some family issues and only realize after the fact that he's gonna light you on fire as a result. I may have made a mistake! Midori Izuku, 2017. It was the best mistake you have ever made for me. Todoroki Shoto, 2017. Your expression is not reassuring me about how much pain I'm about to be in! Midori Izuku, 2017. Sweat dropping. XT! Does that satisfy people's needs of having me do a Deku impression? Because on Tumblr, I got that request a lot. Alright, this is a meme call out post. Chungus is just a Fruit Loop Cat reskin. Try to change my mind. I definitely am going to start practicing self-care more. I got it. I achieved inner peace. I achieved inner peace twice. For the record, I did actually eat a carrot to do this bit. <laughs> so what was your favorite in the game? Oh, uh, you know, uh, Death Freaks and Life, but it... Nut Dealer? If you had the power to envision hell, what would it be like? Okay, so you know that moment when you're finally tucked in for bed, everything is shut off and you're on the brink of sleep, when suddenly you have to go to the bathroom? That moment, but for all eternity. What people think D&D &D is going to be like, versus what D&D &D is actually like. Uh, apparently I made some people mad on Tumblr because I compared D&D &D to Goblin Slayer, but let me tell you something, it's not that far. Also, I could have put in Kanesuba, but I forgot. List of words. The internet has changed for me forever. Random. Stand. Basic. Thick. Top. Bottom. Daddy. Mommy. Little. And feel free to add more. Benedict Cumberbatch? Did you mean Sherlock Strange the Dragon? Who is also a Grinch? Alright, Tumblr, explain your gender in ten words or less without using boring words like male, female, non-binary, masculine, feminine, or androgynous. Go. Rolling around at the speed of sound. My dad works for Nintendo, so you should just let me win and smash. Reblog if you support this hardworking single mom and her kids. She worked herself to the bone. <laughs> now, PM, you didn't try to wife or a husbando anyone again, did you? No, sir. Then explain this! Is that what you think? She's a queen. Oh, no. What have I done? In case nobody told you, 
I hope y'all have a great day and that it's free of any new pussycat. What's new pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's new pussycat? I have never in my life have ever gotten that to work. All right, who's the blacksmith out there molding titty armor to every strong female character more accurately than the bra fitter of Victoria's Secret? Tis I, Mondick the Titty Smithy. I make armor that will make you feel like Chris Evans is supporting your own breasts. Hair callback! Land puppy, sea puppy, and sky puppy. But everything changed when the fire puppy attacked. God dang it, Growlithe! When you die, you appear in a cinema with a number of people who look like you. You find out that they are the previous reincarnations, and soon you all begin watching your next life on the big screen. Oh man, that's too much. This Baldi basic is freaking stupid. I still can't believe Renaissance fairs are real. It's like Anime Expo for fans of the Black Plague. Have you ever actually been to one, or are you just basing this on that episode of Family Guy? The implication that I've ever seen an episode of Family Guy in my life is worse than all the medieval insults that have been thrown at me so far. So, good job. The first person to keep a fish or another small pet and not eat it must have seemed really weird. Grog, why you not eat fish? Me like him! You starving, Grog. Me like him! Vodkila. Vodka and tequila. Don't just erase bad memories. Wipe your entire hard drive. I have never been more afraid of a liquid in my life. Who wants to do shots with me? Nick, no! Wait, what is that? Is this some kind of stone? Like a heating stone? It's an odd pattern. It kind of looks like, oh. Is that a goddamn condom full of spaghetti? Virus, what have you done? <laughs> I made a superhuman weapon to defeat you. Endeavor, you messed up a perfectly good child is what you did. Look at it. It's got anxiety. I'm standing right here. If I watch any Disney movies with you, then don't expect that we're just gonna watch it. No. We're gonna sing the songs, know the choreography, memorize the lines, and I expect you to understand the references. Because once you agree to watch this with me, there is no going back. May I interrupt your scrolling with a turtle duck? Oh! Look at it! Rate of Planet 3 looks great! Jesus, I only have 151 hours left on this. I better charge it quick. Do you have a freaking nuclear generator as your battery? I don't think I've ever picked up a pair of tongs without clicking them together a couple of times. You gotta make sure they work. Tin all your inner crab. It's time for crab. Rawr, rawr, Rasputin, Russia's smallest oo beam. Ah, this post snuck up behind me and stole my spinal cord like Sub Zero. The future. Holograms can physically touch you, and there are 12 cases of homicides committed by Hatsune Miku. Just 12? It'll be 13 if you don't stop asking questions. Pukicho, what do you know? Phase one, travel to West Virginia. Phase two? Phase three, Mothman. Um, phase two is country roads. Please, Assassin's Creed, to study for my AP history exam. Like a bounce. Okay, this is actually really funny. In high school, my humanities teacher told us a story about one of the Europe trips he had gone on with a school a few summers ago. So him and a group of kids were in the middle of Rome, and the tour guide had gotten lost. They were trying to figure out how to get to some church they were going to see. All of a sudden, one of the students, like, tries to call attention to himself. He says he knows where to go and just starts walking around the streets, taking back roads and side streets, and within 20 minutes, they're at the church they needed to get to. My teacher asked the kid if he had been to Italy before. He just says, no, he just knew where to go because he played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So kudos to the Assassin's Creed developers. They actually made an interactive map. When an eel bites your thigh, then you bleed out and die, that's amore. God damn- It is time once again to cleanse your mind with these shower thoughts. A vampire chasing you into a carnival house of mirrors is the scene horror movies are missing. People who live in the Marvel Cinematic Universe probably have to buy special insurance to cover superhero damage. Tipping someone poorly because your food was bad punishes the wrong person. The first man who milked a cow was up to something. You get a job so you won't be homeless, but when you get a job, you're home a lot less. Super Smash Bros. is the only non-rated M game where it is okay to beat up women, children, and animals. As their users, we don't have admin rights in our body, and so have no access to sensitive parts like the heart beating, automatic breathing backup, or hormone release control. We whisper to stimulate screaming, 
Learning how to learn is by far the most valuable skill you can pick up in school. The level of satisfaction of getting a popcorn kernel out of your molar is never appreciated, although we have all experienced it. And finally, a vampire walrus would look a lot like a regular walrus. And this has been Shower Thoughts. And now it's time for some ominous positivity. You'll be okay. You have no choice. Everything will turn out fine. You cannot stop it. You will succeed. It is inevitable. Uh, you know what? I don't think these are enough. Guys? Your fate has already been decided. You will have a good year. You are going to reach new heights. There's no resisting it. Hey, listen, I just wanted to let you know that if this year you're dealing with something like depression or something that you feel like you can't talk to somebody about, there are people that are willing to listen. There's people that want to hear you. There's people that want to talk to you. There's people that care about you. Trust me. Jimbo and Ted, the voices in the mountain, they told me. They said, listen, this guy or this gal or whoever, all right, they're not going to be depressed this year because they are the chosen one to not be depressed. And if Bill and Jimbo or whatever their names were said so, well, <laughs> you better listen. Your journey begins now. And no one can tell you. When it will end. Our destiny awaits. It does for everyone. I'm sure you'll have a great year. I'll guarantee it. Music is beautiful. Music is good for the soul. When you're feeling down, find a song that makes you happy. Play it at full volume, as loud as you can, until you go deaf and can't listen to any negativity ever again. You know, anything is possible, so long as you stick to it and work hard. Work yourself to death. Get on out there and break a leg. If you want light to come into your life, you need to stand where it is shining. Hmm. Right? According to my calculations, all the years, months, hours, seconds, milliseconds you spent working hard in these recent years will pay off. There is a 100% probability that you will, as my friends would say, rock the 2019 New Year. Treat your body with kindness. You never know what else is listening in there. You know, regardless of how last year went for you, from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely hope you guys have a terrific 2019. Because if you don't, I'll know. Remember, with over 5,000 forest fires in the United States just this last year, only you can prevent forest fires. And I am an arsonist, and I wanted you to know I know where you live. I've seen what you do. I will not let you threaten my job. Only you. You will find happiness, whether you like it or not. Don't worry, you're gonna make it. I'm certain of it. This year, I see much success with your endeavors. Keep walking on the path towards your victories. Do not stray. <laughs> Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind, the Illuminati's coming for you and me, oh my. Shut up! I know you'll do better next time. After all, the Goblin King told me so. Your positive outlook bears fruit. Eat it whole. Finish the job. Make it clean. The next time that little voice tells you that you can't do something, just remember, you don't always have to listen to your conscience. Wow, you're just so well-organized and professional. Say, are you looking for work? I need you to take care of somebody for me. Tough times never last, but tough people do. As another chapter closes, there is a new one that opens. Fill the pages with your story, but be cautious for those who you let read. All your dreams will come true. You don't get a choice. Remember that it's always okay to be a kid at heart, to cope with the crippling depression that is adulthood. Always remember to be braver than you are, because your true nightmare has yet to begin. Success is waiting for you just around the corner, and it's always watching. One of these days, everyone is going to recognize your accomplishments and see you for the wonderful person that I know that you are or they're all gonna burn, slowly. Love 
and happiness will follow you everywhere this year. Right now, it's outside your doorstep. There's a little demon inside you telling you to create. Listen to it. Be sure to take care of yourself. You're gonna do great. Or we're all doomed. Don't compare yourself to others. They won't be around long anyway. There, there. You've had quite the year. Rest up, take care of yourself, and above all, brace yourself for the year to come. Share kindness with others and they'll share it with you. Be ready for it. 2019 is going to be such a great year for you. I promise that luck will be on your side. At least, that's what the voices are telling me. <laughs> 2019 is the year of the periodic table. So as you think on what led you to this point, remember that if you're going to go for the gold, you can't nickel and dime it. It'll take iron discipline, taking every chance you can before those chances are gone, and believing in your soul for walking the path you chose. And if anyone gets in your way, bury him. I hope you have the best, most wonderful year ever! In fact, you have no choice. Everything will be just fine. It is what the universe wanted, after all. Good luck with fulfilling your 2019 New Year's resolutions. After all, I wouldn't want to end up punishing you like I did the others. Nobody is perfect, and you're no exception. Thankfully, pencils come with erasers. And so do I. Good times are on their way, whether you're ready or not. You can do anything if I let you. They say you should live each day like no one's watching. But there's always one who is. Little by little, day by day, whatever is meant for you will find its way. May your year be filled with happiness and success. So long as the gods say it's so. You're gonna make it far, but not without difficulty. You will surpass yourself in ways you never thought possible. There is no stopping it. Success is sure to come your way. Just remember to watch your back. You can accomplish anything if you just believe in yourself. Your future depends on it after all. You're so pretty. But for how long? Another day means another tomorrow. Unfortunately, life doesn't have restarts. Sorry. Did that cover it? I think it did. So yeah, hope you guys all have a fantastic year. And remember, watch out for that negativity. You better watch out, 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 you better watch out! It's okay, everyone's afraid of something. Even you, Link? Ha <laughs> No. Can cheese go bad? I mean this cheese and it tastes kind of funny, but also I'm like really, really hungry. The fact that lights don't start flickering ominously and short-circuiting whenever I'm upset is maximally unsexy and not at all excellent if you ask me. Oh, he's not dead. He's just vitality challenged. Anything can work if you believe in yourself and have a grenade. Good evening, so-called hero. Sorry, it's me again. God damn it, get out. Before I do something stupid, does anyone want to speak up? No, 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 let's go with stupid. See what happens. I tried to push him into a volcano, but Zelda stopped me. You might be your god's chosen one, but I have flying proficiency. So, who's the real winner here? <laughs> I took out your parasite first with three hearts and one bow. No one likes a show off, Link! So what word could you make up that would make each generation go, ugh? Dabitude! That's true though, I sighed during a presentation. Ugh! Are you a dad? Seymour, good job. Go torture people with it. Ugh! Delete this! Ugh! 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 I did a more empathetic half laugh. A half ugh. Ugh! Although probably only as a joke, I now want to use Dabitude in a sentence to screw with my friends, so how would it be used in a sentence, friend? That boy has some serious Dabitude. Wow. Dabitude is almost exactly like dehabitude in French, so sadly it's unusable to screw around for me. How about for French followers? Use persodabilité. I'm so angry that this pun actually works. How about one in German? Hold up. In Italian? Dabedimento. Japanese? Shikarakuze? Put it in Filipino. I heckin' dare you. Saludabin. Portuguese. Personalidade. Flap it, Welsh, you coward! <clears throat> Dabgwid.
could possibly love me when I am a terrifying monstrosity. Well, well then. Oh my god! Mortal, your heart is balanced with the feather. You are on the precipice of both heaven and hell. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, were you like the first furry? Hell it is. Introverts don't get ready for a party. They gather strength for a party. This is 100% true. This tweet sounds as though introverts consume the souls of others before they engage in social events. This is 100% true! Behold, Lord of the Flies. How did you even- One universe, nine planets, seven seas, seven continents, 809 islands, 204 countries, and I had the unfortunate luck of meeting you. There are eight planets, you uncultured swine! Viva la Pluto, French you! I'm pretty sure Viva la Pluto, French you is the best sentence I've heard all week. Hedonism, as a concept, is so dope. And y'all gotta unbrainwash your religious upbringing nostalgia and realize that life is about kicking back and eating grapes around fire and nothing but a swimsuit and drinking margaritas. A little hedonism never hurt anybody! This post makes me want to rob you. What, an earned all of $10? Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely face. The ability to fly requires hollow bones. I could kick an angel's ass. I mean, you could kick a bird's ass, but you're not doing it. Why? A group of crows is called a murder. I'm not flocking with that. We all thought Loki was the odd one, but it turns out Thor is actually the friendly jock middle child in a family of bitchy drama club goths. And yet Loki's the one who's adopted, am I right? <laughs> what happened? Goblin food manifesto. All roots, including potatoes, are goblin food. Mushrooms are goblin food too. Meat, especially dried meat or offal. All junk food is goblin food. Macaroni cheese is goblin food, even if you used fancy ass ingredients to make it. In fact, all large helpings of pasta are goblin food. Anything eaten at 3 a.m. is goblin food. Anything thrown out slash slated to be thrown out probably becomes goblin food. Anything from leftovers is definitely goblin food. And stolen food is goblin food. But only if you are unrepentant about stealing it. If you're guilty, it isn't goblin. You know, I enjoy this goblin discourse. Yes, as I am a goblin, it is all my food. I don't trust that one. A peeled watermelon. Now you've seen everything. This is unsettling! I don't like it! Put this skin back on! Theory. LGBT was coined by the Beatles as an acronym for their names. Lenam, George Harrison Ford, Ball is Life McCartney, and The Drummer. What the fluff? How is he so big? He just has a really healthy diet. Ha ha, this! I don't know whether to find this cute or to look away and scream cursed image. I mean, it's Mickey Hatsune. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's cursed. You reading this? You princess. I don't care if you're a goddamn bodybuilder. You are now princess protein. Can we talk about the fact that there's a cotton sprout on the moon, please? And also, do you, do you think it should be named? Because I don't want to refer to it as just the plant. There's a cotton sprout on the moon? Astro fluff. Astro fluff. Okay. I've yet to see the pun opportunity be made, so here it goes. <clears throat> President McDonald Trump. McKeyboard waffle iron. For the gamer in your life who desperately needs to eat breakfast. And you're cold, grumpy, but you still want to do really goofy things for the internet. A comprehensive guide to the way I speak. Okay, first off, is only gonna list one thing in his rebuttal. Goyle! No matter what gender, you will get called this goofy way saying, girl, damn thumbs, when tiny keyboard on screen is too weak for my huge toe thumbs. And, meh. When it's too quiet, but brain can't think of anything to say, so you roll a mental dice and land on one. Welcome to Wendy's, what can I get for you? Can I order an absolute unit of fries? What? I'm at large, I'm so sorry! Idea number 91. A food truck or dive that does flights of different kinds of mac and cheeses. You get six bowls of various recipes to try. And that's it. I bet I can get an absolute unit of mac and cheese there. Mickey. Mick Key. Mick Key. Keyblade. Son of a- I've been told that you can't breathe in when you try to smile. And that's a lie. I just wanted to get you to smile. All right, time to spot the all-time low fans. <coughs> I had your picture. I'm coming with you, dear Maria Chameleon. And hey, you, reading this, you're going to be okay. And remember, you got to love you. Let us sit back, relax, and cleanse our mind with these... 
Shower thoughts. Ignoring a problem is like letting it level up before facing you. Every single person on the planet is living in their own complete and unique universe because we can never truly experience anything from someone else's mind or perceptions of the world. Bat wings are finger bones with membranes stretched over them, meaning that bats fly with the power of jazz hands. Punching bags would probably make good hugging bags if you calm down for a second. One day, we will put down our favorite video game and never play it again. McDonald's needs a light up sign, indicating when the ice cream machine is working just like Krispy Kreme has that light up sign letting us know that the donuts are hot. Tacos are just well organized nachos. The most unrealistic thing about the Wizard of Oz is that Dorothy wants to go back to Kansas. The Trojan horse would have gone down as one of the history's dumbest military blunders if the Trojans had decided to burn the horse. Because pregnant people will always exist, the average number of skeletons inside a person will always be more than one. Everyone talks about the little voice in their head, but no one mentions the little ears in your head letting us hear that voice. Game apps not showing you the time or battery on your phone is the equivalent of casinos not having windows or clocks. And finally, the idea that nothing matters is the root of both depression and happiness, but from very different perspectives. And this has been Shower Thoughts. Kyrie's... Kyrie's inside me? Oh yeah, she is. Know who else is inside you? Joan, Roxas, Ventus, the Beatles, the cast of Friends, a $5 foot long? In the last 13 years of my life! No, but seriously, yeah, you have a lot of stuff in you. All right, real talk. Comparing your relationship to Romeo and Juliet to express how in love you are is kind of like using Hamlet to demonstrate how close and well-adjusted your family life is. A pig goes. The cow goes. The horse goes. The dog goes. You are grounded! So is Hughes. Just take me to art museums and make out with me. But they said not to touch the masterpieces. Well, somebody's gotta pin the artwork on the wall. <sighs> this is Johnson, those idiots are Frenching in the East Wing again. So why was Edward Elric named the Full Metal Alchemist? Why not the Punching Alchemist? Because by God, did he punch some stuff? Edward Elric, the dude who punched the gate of truth open just so he could yell a little longer at his little brother. Edward Elric, the dude who punched his own dad in the face. His dad, who's kind of immortal. Edward Elric, the dude who punched God. Like, literally, straight up freaking decked him. Look, catch these hands, Alchemist! Shout out to people who can't stand loud noises because of anxiety or sensory issues or chronic migraines and they have to deal with people being unnecessarily loud all the time but they can't do or say anything about it because that's rude and ruining everybody's good time! Well, maybe a shout out's not the best idea, but we appreciate the sentiment. My goal in life is to be as cool as Nick from Jimmy Neutron. He looks like a Mexican Sasuke. Sasuke. I want someone who doesn't watch wrestling to explain to me what is happening in this scene. COMPETITIVE LIGHT BULB REPLACEMENT! Tonight, robot struck and killed by self-driving Tesla in Las Vegas at CES. I is it beef? My god, we were so worried about the robots waging war on us. We didn't even consider them waging war on each other. I am the snake in my boot! Jesus Christ! My mom tried to teach our goats to pee in one certain spot by giving them treats when they pee in that spot. Except that they think that now whenever they pee, they get a treat. So whenever they see my mom, they pee. <laughs> Behaviorism gone wrong. Pavlov is laughing in his grave. <laughs> you stupid idiots! So today I learned Charles Osborne had the hiccups nonstop for approximately 68 years, from 1922 to 1990. His hiccups first started in 1922 while weighing a hog for slaughter. He fell and busted a blood vessel in his brain, resulting in him damaging a small part of the brain that inhibits the hiccup response. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that the default is yes hiccups, and there's a part of the brain that's specifically designed to say no hiccups instead? You sound surprised that humans are so badly designed. What happens if you put a werewolf on the moon is a great question. Probably the best question ever asked. He'll explode and die because there's no oxygen on the moon. We never said we'd send him up without a suit, you absolute monster. Does that sound like a conversation between a Slytherin and a Gryffindor? No? Okay. Find your real angel name. First two letters of your last name. First vowel of your first name. 
third letter of your middle name or parent's first name if you don't have a middle name, last consonant of your last name. Add I-E-L or E-L to the end. I'm freaking Flargal! All science fiction. Human beings will resent AI and robots will never trust them. Real human beings. I had to apologize to my Roomba for stepping on him today. I felt so bad he cleaned my whole house and I just stomped on him. Sci-Fi 2019. Elite police officers are trained to hunt down robots that are forbidden from returning to Earth. They call it retirement as a euphemism. Real 2019. The entire internet mourns a beloved Mars rover that gave a haunting final message as its 15-year life came to an end. I think my favorite thing about people who don't like Snickerdoodle Cabbage Patch is that we can all almost instantly recognize if someone's talking about him, even with names like Boiler Dang Crimpy Snitch. Bendy Doodle Cumberbunce. Um, correction. The best thing about When Picnic Remember Snacks is that anyone who has spent five minutes on Tumblr can recognize his name, even if it is warped beyond all reason. Mm. I mean, if you think about it, the process of singing the birthday song and cutting the cake is extremely satanic. No, but seriously, imagine it this way. A small gathering of people huddle around an object on fire, chanting ritualistically a repetitive song in unison until the fire is blown out and a knife is stabbed into the object. God, you must be fun at parties. Sounds like a party to me! Oh, my Greg, what if we named animals after the sound they make like in Pokemon? Take the bark for a walk. Hey, could you feed the meows? Aw, look at all the moos. Wow, that's one big... <laughs> that wasn't even close to an elephant! Y'all ever just see a sibling interaction in media and you just know it was written by an only child? It's weird when siblings apologize in the movies, because siblings only apologize when they did something really, really bad, like murder someone or something. Otherwise, the siblings just casually start to talk to each other as if nothing had happened. I'm so sorry I hurt you. You're not only my sister, you're my best friend. Well, Mal, I don't know if you're still mad, bitch, but look at this meme really quick. If you ever meet someone who calls Gatorade flavors the actual name of the flavor instead of just the color, they are 100% a cop. Yeah, but you gotta specify. Frost color freeze or cool blue, you just can't say blue because there's more than one blue. Blue and light blue, nice try, officer. A nut for a jar of tuna is the same backwards. When has this sentence ever been said naturally for you to realize this? Ways to look more angelic. Carry flowers everywhere. Pink or gold eyeshadow. Wear long ankle dresses. Soft humming. And have a pink glowy blush. Or wield a flaming sword. Be covered in eyes. Three pairs of wings. Woo! Announce your arrival by screaming. Fear not! Wherever you go. People who sleep with one pillow make me sick. People who sleep with more than one pillow are shown to be more lonely and depressed. <laughs> oh. Popular opinion, mint ice cream and other mint flavor foods taste great and y'all can't change my mind. OP, do you accept constructive criticism? Choose your next words carefully, dear sushi. Mint suck. You come into my house! Disrespect my mints! Today's Space Orc short is brought to you by Sam Alpha 9. Thousands of years ago, my ancestors flew to the human planet. They knew what had to be done, yet they saw something called snow for the first time. Could they have brought some back? They would. Rather than a battle, my ancestors saw when they went to the human planet. They were welcomed with peace. Given the gifts of carnations and a delicacy called cake, my ancestors were the first that proved the galaxy wrong about the humans. Rather than savages bent on conquering the galaxy, the humans were mostly clever farmers spending the days in the field. It was the year 76 to 18 for us, the Oite, when I went to the human planet on one of their shuttles. The sheer knowledge and brilliance of construction of the shuttle shows the intelligence of the human race. We arrived in the meadows of a place called Florida, coming from a world of flowers and one of their many languages, gifting us with strawberries. We went on our way and saw the Rocky Mountains, across what some humans call the, the pond to see the Black Forest, and to the Great Barrier Reef. So in conclusion, 
like my ancestors said before me, the humans and us will be, in any sense of the word, allies. While I find that to be a very fascinating story, I have seen the complexity of the humans. There are stories that are yet to be told, like my first encounter with the human, Riley. May he rest in peace. For today's Tumblr video, we'll see how fast I can read these, thanks to the power of Death Wish Coffee. Death Wish Coffee. It's not sponsorship if I really like it. Right? <clears throat> Three, two, and one. No, I just ate a salad. It tasted okay. I ate a salad. Carl never eats a salad. Carl doesn't like vegetables. What is happening? Exorcism is deomnus. Iceberg! Iceberg! I'm so done. Let us have a moment of silence in remembrance of the Titanic. Guys, I think my body's going into shock. Why? I ate a salad. That bad, huh? Was it one of the schools? Oh god, it's the same guy. Run! I am a simple man. I search for warmth and tiny spaces to curl up in. I like to have my head petted also. I diagnose you with cat. Bards are just mages who don't shut up. Rogues are just slutty knights. What about alchemists? Chefs without boundaries. Egg recipe. Difficulty. Egg. Time. Egg. Ingredients. Egg. Eight whole egg. Step one. Put a egg on plate. Step two. Look at all those egg. Step three. Congratulations. Roses are red. May I have a kiss? Oh, ooh, what doth be this? This variant of the golden tail slash bastard moray is known as the banana eel due to its coloration and markings resembling a ripe banana. Uh, I'm sorry, what? The, the what moray? Let's call you the, uh, Golden Tail. <laughs> okay, motherfucker, new idea. You turn on your PC to keep working on your novel, but to your surprise, when you open the file, it is writing itself. You read some of what has already been written, and it seems your characters have created free will, and the plot is progressing without you. Oh, thank God! Says the writer. LGBT. Lemon shark, great white shark, blue shark, thresher shark. You need to be about level 20 to defeat this boss. Aw, oh, jeez, I better go do some grinding! Me, two weeks later, overleveled by 80, returning to the boss. I'm your god now. You need to be about level 20 to defeat this boss. My level 2 ass is about to have a come to Jesus meeting. <laughs> That's just a recommendation, right? Two types of gamers. What if that was your house? What if a sheep lives off the grass on your house? She's my landlord. Landlord? <laughs> The head bone's connected to the neck bone. The neck 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 bone's connected to the neck bone. There are seven cervical vertebrae. So hard at this. Bastard is no contest the funniest curse word. It somehow implies that the most hyenas thing you've done is exist. Me dumping a load of freshly washed but unfolded laundry on my bed. Boy, I'm sure gonna be pissed off about this when I want to go to bed. In Canada, you don't say I love you. You say, hey, hey, maple leaf, queen ham, bacon, moose antler, eh? Which roughly translates to, I'll give you my snow shovel. And I think that's beautiful. Hockey, hockey, maple leaf, puck. What the f did you just say about my mom? <laughs> I did it. Wahoo! Expand! Ashitaka! Sammy! We are Sammy! Yarn Man! Boyo! Mozilla! Eevee! John Leguizamo! Toby! Captain Crunch! Jiggles! Punk! Better Punk! Bow! Mountain Dew! Hokage! Waifu! Doctor Who! Pee Pee! Bird Up! Broken! Mask Broken! Younglings! Gah! Meow Square! Ray! Google! Mr. Man, Matata ta ta ta, illiterate, dark illiterate, zero suit Flanders, whoa, dummy thick, Ike Man, Ash Ketchum, High Fiddly D, Mother Three, Snock, Emperor D to T, Olive Juice, Luminati, Iron Man, Jibbles Link, One Wolf Moon, Sociopath, Mega Mind, Yoga, Rosie Bowie, Whopper, Jiraiya, me. Are the useless fighters? Fan service! Bozzy Man! Dragon Lover! Shrek! Little Bow Wow! Regular Show! Punchy! Kiki! Squall! Footsie! Bay! Shuby! Riddle Me This! Bell! Bella! Crux! Is a Destroyer! Not the Owl! Audrey! And Smash Announcer! So why is mostly everyone picking Sopple as their starter? They're small and sad and quite the mood! What if the Black Keys and the White Stripes collaborate and call it the Grey Matters? Hey, thanks for doing that for me. Guess what you can do now? What? <laughs> Movie idea. Moana, but instead of Maui using the hook, he just uses the people's elbow. I grant you this bizarre thought. 
A universe where Gordon Ramsay has a thick Boston accent instead. Oh, look at you thinking you're some sort of chef! Wake up, you piece of garbage! The emoticon, ooh, ooh just got scarier. And Twitter made it even scarier. You think in an open world like Breath of the Wild, they'd give you an item that lets you hook to trees and walls. Hmm. Seems like a long shot. Happy birthday! Thanks, Baruto's dad! I'm a bad man. Me. Meditation is a serious method to help some find inner relaxation and clear the mind. Also me. Dude, my chakras are just so freaking aligned right now. So there's certainly a lot of fan art already of the new Pokemon games. Yeah, man, it's a lot of Pokemon... Sword art online. Now you might be wondering why I didn't make a joke about the second title. I really wanted someone else to point it out. I guess we were all waiting for the rising of the shield hero. It is time to cleanse your mind with these shower thoughts by Tumblr. A trench coat and fedor are supposed to make you inconspicuous, but if you ever went out in public in that, you'd be the most conspicuous person there. Tinder is used for starting a fire, but it's pointless unless you have a match. To a chemist, alcohol is a solution. To crabs, we're the ones that walk sideways. If Nikon and Apple were to merge, the company would be Nightbull, a cool sounding name with a very unfortunate spelling. Neither T-Series nor PewDiePie want to end the race because it's way too good of advertisement campaign for both of them. iPhone's company missed a great opportunity by not naming their chargers Apple Juice. All the materials needed to create today's technology has existed since the beginning of the Earth. They weren't just properly put together yet. You can say please and thank you a million times, and your toddler will never repeat it. But if you say the F word once, they will say it all day long to everyone they see. And finally, you don't realize how much force it takes to walk until you bump into or trip over something. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tom. It is time to cleanse your mind with these shower thoughts by Tumblr. If the gasoline tax was applied to the car manufacturer instead of the driver, we'd have the most fuel efficient cars ever. The first man to land on the moon, Neil A, is alien backwards. The biggest dick move in the world is leaving tomorrow you with all the work. Sesame Street missed out on the opportunity to create a relative of Oscar the Grouch who lived in recycling bins. A fat person has more skin than a normal person, therefore they are skinnier. Hair is disgusting the minute it's not attached to your body anymore. If you use a windmill to power your electric fan, then you're basically transferring the wind to yourself. We poison and exterminate trillions of small life forms with chemicals every year. But if a higher life form came and started doing that to us, we'd feel like that's pretty messed up. 50 years later, some of these shiwithuts will be used for 14 year old deep quotes. And finally, if someone pretends to be a kid online, they're most likely an FBI agent. If someone pretends to be an FBI agent online, they're most likely a kid. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Would you slap him for 88 million dollars? No. No! Absolutely not. The only thing I'm slapping on him is a little kiss. Dude, I can't believe Blue's Clues finally got its own anime. I, I don't know who the screen cap is from, so I have no choice but to believe you. Dude, I already told you, it's a screen cap from the Blue's Clues anime. Look, Blue's about to give Steve his handy dandy notebook of death. Like, bruh. You paying attention? One day your child will bring home a friend and introduce them and they'll have the name of a fictional character and you silently whisper, I can't believe their parents were in that fandom. Someone in English wrote a story about how Donkey had to shoot Shrek in the zombie apocalypse because a zombified Farquaad bit him and Shrek's last words were, Use more than one bullet. Remember, Shrek shed a tear and smiled. Ogres have layers. <laughs> oh my Greg, it's all so clear now. Stop me, my crackers be! I tripped over a bra today. I think it was a booby trap. <laughs> you said traps. That was like the biggest plot twist in my life.
Today I learned cyanide had no effect on Rasputin in the first murder attempt because cyanide sprinkled over cakes converted to a harmless ammonia. It was cooked into rose cakes to be specific. The blending and cooking process fundamentally broke down the cyanide. I prefer to think he was just immune. After all, he is raw, raw, Rasputin, Russia's smallest who bean. In my senior drama class, I had to play Gordon Ramsay for a film project. But we can only film in school, so we had to try to find a closed off room to use. The thing is, the room wasn't exactly soundproof, and apparently someone heard us, and that's the story of how the vice principal and four freshmen walked in on me wearing a chef's hat and yelling at my friend because their squid was so raw I could still hear telling Spongebob to frick off. Did, did you get an A? Did you get the A, Squidward? Bruh, have you ever wanted to be the center of attention so bad you cut Asia in half like god dang King Solomon? Did anyone actually ever read those Animorph books? Nah, I just stared at the covers for a concerningly long amount of time before putting it back where I found it. I mean, bruh, same. God, I can't even... I can't even make a joke about Bart going in a heated gamer moment. This... the screenshot alone looks like a damn joke. Are you... Are you telling me this is unedited? The episode name is E My Sports. Not a single encouraging word on the screen. Mm, don't like it. Don't like it one bit. In the 1950s, one of the journalists criticized Marilyn Monroe, saying that she's only beautiful because of her fancy dresses slash clothes. Then she did this photo shoot wearing a potato sack as a response. Straight up savagery. God bless you, Marilyn Monroe. What is the purpose of training bras? What are we trying to teach the boobs? Well, uh... <clears throat> they are trained to be the very breasts Like no one ever bras To catch them is my real chest To train them are my tatas I will browse across the store Trying on every size Need training bras to understand the memories inside. Move your mom! It's time to purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka with these shower thoughts. John Wick is probably getting harder to kill because people keep trying to kill him, giving him endless experience and training. When you find money, it's simultaneously both your lucky day and someone else's unlucky day. Having your phone at full charge and still be on the charger is kind of like being awake but just staying in bed. In Harry Potter, they had potions to regrow completely new bones, change your physical appearance to someone else's, or even grow new organs such as gills for underwater breathing. Yet, Harry was still stuck wearing glasses due to poor eyesight. A small, mildly disturbing thing about getting older is how much further you have to scroll down with selecting your year of birth online. Speaking a foreign language is like emulating another operating system. It will never run as smooth as the one pre-installed, but with the right optimization, you can come pretty close. As long as you're alive, you can never be 100% sure you're not immortal. As a kid, you believe working for a company is all serious adult business. When you finally start working, you realize that most of the time, it's more of an adult kindergarten. Due dates for babies are like estimated download times. And finally, if your butt cheeks were split horizontally, they would clap when you run down the stairs. <sighs> Colonel. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. When I was around five, I asked my mom why some people were different colors, and she said, because God wanted a lot of flavors. And let me tell you, that was the wrong thing to say, because for the next three years, I thought God ate people when they died. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a clapping as of ass cheeks gently clapping, clapping at my chamber door. Tis a visitor, I muttered, dummy thick, and nothing more. All right, since they changed Philosopher's Stone to Sorcerer's Stones for America, I decided to change the rest since us Americans are too dumb to understand the word philosophers. Harry Potter and the Whisper Snake Place. Harry Potter and that mean jail man. Harry Potter and the Hot Cup. Harry Potter and the Bird Club. Harry Potter and the guy with only some blood. And Harry Potter and Darth. So I was having a conversation with a friend about interesting D&D moments. He decides to tell me about one player who fulfilled his role a little differently. So this guy creates a half orc rogue, okay? Okay. Different, but it could work. The thing is, he puts no points into stealth. Uh, what? 
Instead, he only does intimidation. He cranked the points really high. So whenever he needed to perform a stealth check, he'd just walk up to the people he's sneaking by and yell, You can't see, Grog! And because of his intimidation points, the people would just respond in fear, I can't see you! I can't see you! Now that is how you play Dungeons and Dragons. If you call it the waifu catalog one more time, I'm calling the cops. My DM to me when I mentioned the monster manual. I had a question. I answered it. Mm, I'm scared. Uh-uh, don't like that. No, no, go away, go away. What is that face? It's 2017. You're working on a PowerPoint for school. It's about ancient Egypt. You select the papyrus font. Yes. Perfect. From a 9th century Irish manuscript, the phrase Massive Hangover, written in the ancient Irish text Agam, the monk must have been really having a rough day. The exact translation is Ale Killed Us, which is somehow better. Today I learned Pope Gregory the Ninth condemned the black cat as an incarnation of Satan, and consequently, it was the death warrant for the animal. This is worse than the black deaths a century after Gregory's time because the plague was spread by rats, which were unchecked in Europe due to the decline of cat numbers. What I'm hearing is the Catholic Church was responsible for the plague. And what I'm feeling is not surprise. Did you yeet today, or did today yeet you? I noticed some of y'all were yoded today. Hang in there. You'll live to eat another day. Good idea. Marry a blacksmith so you can get free swords whenever. Hmm, better idea. Become a miner and then marry a blacksmith so he can have the required materials for you to get free swords whenever. And truly the woke idea? Make a harem and marry a full production chain. Now that is an anime I want to see. Stab wound? You mean extra pocket. Nobody on this website should be allowed outside, I swear to God. DM, you lose your balance and fall backwards, and as you land, you hear something in your bag break. Warlock, remembering he has four jars of live bees in his bag. <laughs> oh no! Damn, they really glowed down because that first bottle is gorgeous. That first bottle deadass looks like it's gonna make you shoot crows out of your hands. The first bottle is also full of liquidized cocaine, so it will make me feel like I can shoot crows out of my hands. My 19-year-old brother put sports bottle lids on his chocolate milk. Thank you for sharing his wisdom with us. Bards are too powerful. They can learn mass suggestion. All they have to do is yell, Everybody clap your hands! And make up to 12 people do the cha-cha slide for 24 hours. Don't ever mess with the bards! Don't do it! The ninth floor has temporarily been moved to the 15th floor. Also, Wednesday has been cancelled due to scheduling errors. What is this, Hogwarts? Social skill styles. Elder Scroll Oblivion NPC dialogue. Hey dude, how's it going? If you've got to travel by the night, stay on the road. It's the danger you see. Bruh, what? Spot the difference. Extreme mode. By the way, if I found out you looted the adorable raccoon, I'm going to find you and I will personally end you. Imagine if Bojack Horseman's final scene was a fade out to the future with Bojack in a bar saying, and that's why the long face. And knowing the creators of the show, they might actually do that, and I'm gonna be mad. In 2017, we sent nudes. In 2018, we sent noodles. Now in 2019, we send things that make us feel wholesomely happy to share our love of life with each other. Do it now! What's three-sevenths chicken, two-third cat, and half goat? Chicago. A lost spirit has trouble moving into the afterlife when they cannot accept being able to see if their two favorite TV series get to meet in one special. It's a crossover episode. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have cute terms like waifus and husbandos, but is there one for non-binaries? Inquiring minds must know. And after posting this, Tumblr has given us the answer. Spousu. Thank you. Are you consuming the basic food groups? Coffee, pizza, rice, and mangoes, right? <clears throat> well, one of those is right. It wasn't coffee. 
Halloween costume idea. An upright orchestral bass with legs just plucking the strings called a walking bass line. And then somebody on Tumblr made it, and I'm terrified. I made something cursed. And it made me realize that my puns have been out of control. And for that, I offer you a formal apology. <laughs> Prepare your mind for cleansing with these shower thoughts by Tumblr. English teachers put more thought into a novel than the original author ever did. People who have to give legitimately bad news on April 1st must have a really hard time. Beds are wireless chargers for humans, and caffeine is just a portable charger. Gamers probably like games so much because unlike in real life, the rules are consistent, make sense, and can be learned. If you hear weird noises in the night, simply make weirder noises to assert dominance, and maybe T-Pose. We really take for granted the fact that most of our body is automated. You can tell which family member is coming up the stairs by just the sound of their footsteps. Expensive paintings are basically just trading cards for the rich. If Tom and Jerry were a book instead of a TV show, it would seem so much more violent. And finally, Lego prepares you for the Ikea furniture. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. I want to open a bookstore that is 24 hours and people can finally go out at 2 a.m. and be like, I just finished the first book in the series and I need the next one, stat. Or if people are just having a stressful night and want to be surrounded by books. My favorite part about this post is that someone understands that it's calming to be surrounded by books. Oh my god. A book nightclub. Read responsibly. Someone make this happen, please! If your pet holds out your paw, it's mandatory to gently grab it, shake it, and say, Hi, nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I don't I don't make the rules. Ant-Man bathing in hot sauce for food is damage. I hate that you don't have to give extra content because everyone on the internet already knows what's going on and why hot sauce would be considered bonus damage. I hope the shower isn't too toasty for you. Yeah! Tonight, UK airport sniffer dogs good at finding sausages, but not drugs. Let them have the sausages. I almost scrolled past this! Like some kind of idiot! The most powerful thing humans have is the fact that you can drop a Hey, what's going on? Every pool. Into a conversation and immediately activate everyone's fight or flight response to go off in a 20 foot radius. Oh my god, why does Tumblr romanticize Hades so much? I don't know, Clarice. Maybe we're just tired, and life is uncertain, and we like the idea of a stable husband with a steady job and a big dog in his own place away from all the loud, shape-shifting kink party gods. Persephone, we know this is you. Say it, said it right, okay? Current lunchtime experience. Oh, cool, Starbucks is playing Africa. Wow, Africa is longer than I remember. This Starbucks has Africa on repeat. And if you're wondering why I said it like that... <gasps> Who did this? Who did this? It is the great pillar of fire. You must follow it to the promised land. This is not the Old Testament and I am not Moses. You supposes you are not Moses, but supposes you are Moses because Moses supposes erroneously. <laughs> and things to call people you hate. Easy bake oven, expired coupon, spam email, wet sock, squeaky grocery cart, Inconvenient fire drill, cold bowl of soup, itchy sweater, unnecessary movie sequel, overdraft bank fee, that one's my favorite, crying baby on a plane, wobbly table, sun glare when I'm driving just before sunset and I have to put my sun visor down because I forgot my sunglasses but I'm still really uncomfortable and it's just a big hassle all around, and finally, and the most powerful, Billy. Something, something, purify your mind. Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. If life is a simulation, whomever worked on cheese did a great job. You know you have made it above the poverty line when the sugar in your kitchen is brown and the salt is pink. Sarcasm is the intellectual equivalent of showing someone the middle finger. Knowing you have the next day off is more relaxing than having an actual day off. If we change the word sunburn to radiation burn, and we change the tan to radiation damage, People would probably take them a lot more seriously. No, they would just think they're gonna fall out. Young love is willing to die for your partner. 
Old love is willing to live longer than your partner so they don't have to grieve losing you. Marking your post not safe for work will probably make more people read it. If Google created a dating app using all of their user data to match people with similar patterns of behavior, you would get as close to a perfect match as you could. Neuroscientists are a bunch of brains trying to figure out how a brain works. There must have been chefs in the Middle Ages who got arrested for attempted food poisoning just because the food tester had some kind of allergy nobody knew of. And finally, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is an italicized building. Uh, this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Initiating Roasting Program It's a shame you could only see half a movie now. I prefer Bob over you. Stop reading my power level. You wouldn't be the last one if your army got out of turret mode for once. Soul not detected. Whose small sassy child is this? I didn't know Talon was run by Saitama. Be a good student and stay on the payload. Are you practicing for Elder Scrolls 6? Quite the looney tune, aren't you? I don't feel the rhythm. Stop asking. It's American legend Troy Baker. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not think I would meet the devil today. I will show none to you. You remind me of the... Oh, you're not him. Robo Centaur. Nice. Your tears will rain from above. Ow, I can feel the edge. Bastion says, get bent. Have you considered WW? Quite the fallout, aren't you? Hack me one more time and I will show you two terabytes of pain. You love balance and symmetry, yet you have three turrets. Think about that. Are you sure this is the right game for you? You know the cavalry is usually on horses. And good. I'm blue, da bu di da bu die. Do not mistake my chin for a banana monkey. Squeak, squeak, squeaker, squeak, squeakin. You don't even want to know what I said. What exactly do you do? Oh look, it's the wish version of me. It's time to do the thing in the shower where you, you, you know, it's shower thoughts by Tumblr. A nice addition to colonizing Mars is that humans there will not have to deal with mosquitoes anymore. One day we may just run out of miniature epiphanies to share. A viola is basically a violin that identifies as a cello. Proud of them. We live in an odd time in our society, where scientists can take pictures of black holes, yet some people still think the Earth is flat. You probably once saved someone's life due to the butterfly effect. If you start from any point on Earth and fly east in a straight line forever, you will always be flying east. But if you instead start flying north, there will come to a point when you start flying south. Nothing you see is real. It's just a virtual recreation of what your brain thinks the world looks like based off of sensory information. The slower a wink is, the more suspicious it looks. And yet the faster, the creepier. My solution, just don't wink. Machine errors do not exist. Humans built them, therefore if machines make errors, it is because humans made them wrong. And finally, pizza is actually a healthier breakfast than cereal. That's a fact. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Go eat the pizza. Make it a Costco run! Hit less any percentage, do you guys need anything? You doing the legendary cashier skip? What are you, a cop? Tracking service as healthfully as possible. Your order is out for delivery! It should arrive by 8pm today. Me sitting by the door at 8, 12 a.m. Package. Me opening my apartment door anytime I hear the outside door open despite it being 10 a.m. Box. Envelope. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Now get ready for Roman Emperor in a lower temperature. How about Caesar in the freezer? Or Roller in the cooler. How about Julius in the coolest? <laughs> Julius in the coolest. The second best pun I've ever encountered in the wild was when I was walking down the street in a hip part of Seattle and saw a couple of Budweiser cans thrown in a bush. And I said to a random stranger walking nearby, damn, the local beer harvest is really poor this year. And the random stranger responded, give it time, they're only buds. Yo, I'm pretty sure Toph's dad is Nicolas Cage. Son of a boomy. No, 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 no. No, 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 we're not doing this. We're going to steal the declaration of Ba Sing Se. Ocean's Eleven, but the mark is one of those underground government cheese caves. Is, is this English? I'm screaming, what does this mean? I said exactly what I meant. Listen, Knuckles has lived alone his whole life. Shadow has been frozen for 50 years. Silver's from the future. Blaze is from another dimension. 
Basically, what I'm saying is they'd all fall for Updog. I'm pretty sure Sonic wrote this post. You can't prove that. Consider this. Being fat and chubby is okay and good. <laughs> Sources? Me, looking at myself and going, Nice. Dude, in an alternative timeline, Homestuck is popular in the mainstream and there's Funko Pop figures of all the trolls. Mmm, horrible! Dude, Vriska variants are Hot Topic exclusives. This post honestly gave me a huge reality check. Like, I think I have a tendency to live in a bubble and sometimes I, like, forget that things are well-known on the online and not necessarily so on the offline, as it were. Anyway, I see this and raise you Homestuck episode of the Big Bang Theory. Oh, God, no. Oh, Leonard, it's simple, really. You see, Little Cal is actually created by Gamzee, but he exists in the timeline separate from the human ones. He thereby retroactively has already existed in Dave's dream for years. Furthermore... Oh, God, make it stop! Feed a person vampire blood, and you get a ghoul. You feed an animal vampire blood... You get a hellhound. Water a plant in vampire blood? <laughs> well, you get a mandrake. Fill up your car with vampire blood? Probably good things. Let's try it. Coming this Halloween from sci-fi. Vampire. Oh, dear God, no. Quick question, how does a human relax? I would very much like to try it right now, please. Mothman! There's no need to feel down. I said, Mothman! Lift that man off the ground! <laughs> Are you an R pirate or a yo ho ho pirate? I'm a not paying $600 for Photoshop pirate. Oh, this one's good. One difference between cats and dogs is that dogs do absolutely nothing to mask their clinginess. While cats pretend it's a coincidence that they're in the same room as you 97% of the time. All right, the fact that I'm laying on your face means nothing. Just don't, don't read into it, all right? I'm just here, okay? All right. Dude, imagine an entire room and it's all pets. No floor, just, just bed. You roll too far to one side? Don't worry, bed's still there. All is bad. Hallelujah. God is real. You're welcome. I'm gonna lay down on that bed. I'm gonna go out to be a big strong boy. The Flat Earth Society has members all around the globe. Join now. The seizure salad from McDonald's is so good. I can't date a girl who is lacto-tolerance. We couldn't even go out for ice cream. If you're applying for a job and you misspell the name of the company you want to work for, you won't get that job. Hashtag Amercha. Sometimes I snap at people on Twitter because I'm insecure. It's a defense magnesium. I think my grandma got diabetes. <sighs> Just because I'm white doesn't mean I can't have cornrows in my hair, right? I want to pet turquoise. I want to visit the Eiffel Tower in France one day. Despite the constant negative press, Confev, OMG, I seriously think I have ADHD. I can't focus on my homework. Twitter is my alter eagle. Damn it, I lost 70 pounds. I look anironics. WTF is Obama's last name. Does anyone know? Seriously, does anyone know? What is Barack Hussein Obama's last name? Oh, I got it. It's Hussein. And now abbreviation said wrong. At French Kichu. Bus tire weight. Dunk it yourself. Indescribable K-pop. Armenian kitchen appliances. Laying on legs. Cookies and punch. Nip nip. <sighs> Never open your face. Ostrich party. Oh man goat. What the French toast? Totally tubular yellow leggings. Transparent graphics interchange format. Alligator suit length? Bacon fritters forever. I love Laurel. I mean Yanny. I mean kiss my nickels. Never meditate. Xylophone orchestra, xylophone orchestra, xylophone orchestra, xylophone orchestra, xylophone. Bring your own bitches. Beelzebub rights birds. Bomb cookie. Terminal yelling syndrome mates. Degrading little content. Aggressive, sassy, and pretty. So much. The freelance voiceover field can fuel a bizarre paranoia moment such as crap. Did I send the screams of agony for the horror project to the kids show project? I don't know. And now more abbreviations said wrong. Hashtag forever fries. Anime dudes rage! Boring bland balloons. Ha! Jump kicks. Crusty cheese. Broken crusty cheese. 
Leggings make arses overpowered. Fucking yellow indulgence. Good grandpa. Go find yourself. I make horrible observations. Anime mouse pads anonymous. Downtown funk. Devil makes violence. Too many incubuses. Paper versus plastic. Persecution of Vladimir. Roasting omelets for lovely morning activities over a searing toasty computer. Reposting talker. <laughs> Ruining parents' goals. Waxing isn't pretty. Tough luck, Dungeon Master rules. Probably correct. New Smash fucking Rex. Yo! <laughs> if Taco Bell thinks they're revolutionary by putting nachos inside of a burrito, then they've never met a drunk person. Where do you think we got the idea? Why are you obsessed with Disney? It's for kids. First of all, bibbity bobbity back the fuck up. The boss hands me a gun. You know what to do. I nod. Outside, I frantically Google, Boss Gun Why? How to kill? Is killing okay? Re-gift gun okay? Most cutting thing you can say is, Who's this clown? Because it implies they're A, a clown, and B, not even one of the better known clowns. Ah, uh, Grandma, can you pick me up for my rap battle? It's over. No, I lost. You saw you dropped me off and did a pretty devastating rhyme about it. If you live to be a hundred, you should make up some fake reason why. Just to fuck with people. Like claim you ate a pine cone every single day. Stop telling me your newborn's weight and length! I don't know what to do with that information! Is there anything more capitalist than a peanut with a top hat, cane, and monocle selling you other peanuts to eat? Does it have apples in it? No. What about pine? No pine either. Perfect! We'll call it a pineapple. I'll bet when Godzilla first came out, God was like, Damn! That name's way cooler! Ready for the week! In that not really sort of way, let's do this! Bartender, I'd like you to bring that brunette at the end of the bar a slice of your finest ham. And now even more abbreviations said wrong. Make your own brekkies. Be really tubular. I dance crappy. Ask someone about pancakes. Warner Brothers. French the walrus. Inner manga opinions. Reply via sick poses. Net, Net assimilation. assimilation. Diddly diddly. Where's the head cheese? Out of creativity. Yeet! Back to K-dramas. Ech! Ooh, strong bad's toast. Overwatch tournament! Cool udders. Never ever request fairness. Full ech! Federal bees of investigation? Your tyrant. Are you Satan? Morgan Freeman's world. What would JoJo do? Suit the fuck up! <gasps> Senpai's on Snapchat! Like my stuff! Zenyata Zany Zen. Oh, my imagination! Kiss your soul. Couple of ways people have said my initials wrong. Present Master. Proto Man. Post Maloo. Purple Majestic. Popular Man. Lies. Hello, Pace Minimum. Platypus Motorcycle. Wah, wah. Precious Maple. Premenstrual. Oh god, it's middle school all over again. Perfect Man. Lies again! Probably married. No. No, I'm not. Possibly morbid. Pokemon Master. Principal Man. Pretty Mobster. Bye bye, mutation. Please move. Polymorphic Mandrake. Pie man. Punny man. Potato roni macaroni. No. What's a short, clean joke that gets a laugh every time? A Mexican magician says he will disappear on the count of three. He says, uno, dos, poof. He disappeared without a trace. I have a Polish friend who's a sound technician. Oh, and a check one, too. Check one, two, check one, two. Have you heard of Murphy's Law? Yes, anything can go wrong will go wrong. What about coleslaw? No. It's a thin sliced cabbage dipped in mayonnaise and sour cream. The Secret Service just had to change protocol for when the president is in danger. Instead of yelling, GET DOWN! They have to yell, DONALD DUCK! Now that's just goofy. A woman walks into a library and asks if they had any books about paranoia. The librarian said, They're right behind you! The other day my wife asked me to pass her lipstick, but I accidentally passed her a glue stick. She still isn't talking to me. Dr. Frankenstein entered a bodybuilding contest. Upon arrival, he realized he misunderstood the objective. Want to know the last thing my grandpa said before he kicked the bucket? Wonder how far I can kick this bucket! Communism jokes aren't funny unless everyone gets them. Before you criticize someone, walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you do criticize them, you're a mile away and you have their shoes. My friend says to me, what rhymes with orange? I said, no it doesn't. I went bobsledding the other day, killed 250 bobs. Now that's not a clean joke. Tell me a joke about potassium. Okay. I used to be addicted to soap, but now I'm clean. How do you get two whales in a car? 
Start in England and drive west. Instructions followed clearly. I'm in Cornwall. I ran out of lunch. I know I should have taken a left turn at Leon Fair, play with a game goal, get a goal, you can be a screen, or into a bit of a look, ante, silly, to go, 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 go. And now, quite some more abbreviations said wrong. Sealed with a Twinkie. Tequila and tacos! Ice cream slurping orangutans. Insane clown envoy. Didn't vaccinate Dennis. Inexcusable operating system! Probably underage basic gamer. When it fails indefinitely. Then it reached a stiff. Creepy emu owner. Federation of Rave Dancers. Mindless entertainment made eccentrically. Pretty sick individual. Big dog, small m dogs. Bro's totally ship. Ugh, gross pork sandwich. JoJo's eventual ending, please. Very insensitive prick. Awkward, sloppy, moist recordings. Every dubstep music. Professional hipster dude. Drugs are really expensive. Really? Awesome. Mom. Questionable vehicle choice. A terrible movie. Balance your emotions. And now, r slash jokes. How many friend zone guys does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'll just compliment and get pissed when it won't screw. I called in sick this morning on account of diarrhea. My boss told me to get my shit together. What do you call a spider with 20 eyes? Spider. A guy walking to a library and asks for a book on sea turtles. The librarian asks, hot back? The guy replies, yeah, little heads too. The wisest men in the village could not figure out when the sun went at night. So they stayed up all night discussing it, and then it dawned on them. What is Thanos' favorite social media? Obviously, Snapchat! The son says to his father, Dad, I'm thinking about a career in organized crime. Father, government or private sector? Steve Jobs would have been a better president than Donald Trump. But I shouldn't compare apples and oranges. I got a new job today at Old McDonald's Farm. I'm gonna be the CIO. M16. If you see a robbery at the Apple store, does that make you an eyewitness? What do you get when you cross an onion and a donkey? Most times you get an onion with a tail, but every once in a while you get a piece of ass that brings a tear to your eye. Urban Dictionary. Dude bro. A male, ages 18 to 24, generally of the Caucasian descent, who refers to their acquaintances as dude and or bro in the same sentence. In this case, the male uses both terms in one sentence. The conversation begins with dude and ends with bro. Nine times out of ten. Dude, what's up, bro? Bro, I'm straight chillin', dude. Look at that fucking dude, bro. Make it snow. It is similar to making it rain, except that instead of throwing dollar bills, one is so rich that they are able to throw diamonds. In effect, making it snow. Diamonds can be substituted for a large quantity of cocaine. Making it rain is for poor folk. I make it snow. YOLO. Carpe diem for stupid people. I'm gonna smoke poison ivy and see if my lungs get a rash. YOLO. Why doesn't he just say carpe diem? That sounds way better. Stupid people don't speak Latin. That's why they say YOLO. Student loan. A mystical transaction in which a student and or parent subjects themselves to financial slavery indentured servitude for the foreseeable future. Struggle bus. Used to metaphorically describe a difficult situation, as in hard schoolwork. The word struggle can also be used in conjunction with other modes of transport, describing the death to which one is struggling, i.e. struggle scooter, struggle skateboard, struggle footwear. Barbie. A plastic whore. If Barbie is so popular, then why do you have to buy her friends? Shit, that's actually a good point. And now, another peek at r slash jokes. A man was arrested and taken to an interrogation room. He says to the police officer, I'm not saying a word without my lawyer present. You are the lawyer, says the policeman. Exactly. So where's my present? I'm trying to organize a hide-and-seek tournament for a while, but it's not easy. Good players are hard to find. I don't quite understand this hate against vegans. I've never had a beef with them. I told my wife she painted her eyebrows too high this morning. I don't know if she agreed, but she seemed surprised. Do not touch would probably be a really unsettling thing to read in Braille. Why do you never see transgender people with kids? Because they're transparent. Eh. The World Tongue Twister champion just got arrested. 
I heard they're giving him a really tough sentence. <laughs> My girlfriend told me to take this spider out instead of killing it. We went and had some drinks. Cool guy. Wants to be a web developer. What do you call a book club that's been stuck on one book for years? Church. Your mom is so fat that yesterday someone tried to convince me she was flat. <laughs> God damn that one fuck got me. <laughs> <clears throat> Confirm. When you want to say coverage, but your hands are too small to hit all the letters on your keyboard. Despite constant negative press, Confab. Analog shit. Having to go to the toilet without a phone, tablet, or any other digital device. Shit, I left my cell phone at home, now I have to take an analog shit like a caveman. Life. A sexually transmitted terminal disease. Bay. Bay is a Danish word for poop. Also used by people on the internet who think it means baby, sweetie, etc. Bay, I love you so much. Bay, my bay! I just made a bay. Nihilism. It's useless to define it. It's useless to give an example. Net forget. Net forget is a person who frequently goes on a website to do something, but completely forgets his or her original intention due to the overwhelming amount of information on the internet. I was on Wikipedia the other day trying to look up Jay-Z, but I'm such a net forget I ended up looking at cat pictures. Yeah. Trumpet. Pull a fact out of your ass. So, did you actually research those assumptions, or did you just trump it? <laughs> Wanger. A person who is unwilling to spend money. We need a car to have money to spend, but my husband is being a wanger. BDSM. Bible discussion study meeting. Hey, want to do some BDSM? Sure, I love Jesus. Potato. People get confused when sentences don't end the way they potato. And now some abbreviation said wrong. Big. Black. Cat. Actual British cuisine. Hot damn my interest! Great, internet's fricked. Unbelievably rough legumes. Thighs or taps. Pretty regular orangutan. Crazy expensive overseer. Bees are erased. By those waffles. Citizen on patrol. Pancake syrup integration. Infinite Donkey Kong. Franny Felcher's Fantastic French Fudge. Extraterrestrial Anonymous. Stop waifuing all things. Painted nothing. I love y yellow. Quiet Quasimodo. Gonna grow up? Carpe diem. And carpe diem again. All right, Reddit, what do you got for jokes today? Top Reddit posters should use their karma to help the environment. They are already experts at recycling. They should stock ATMs better. I went to four different ones and they all said insufficient funds. <laughs> what do you think that means? There are two types of people in this world. Those who can extrapolate from incomplete data. What do you get when you spell man backwards? <laughs> Flashbacks. A Buddhist monk approaches a burger food truck and says, Make me one with everything. I actually ugged at this joke when I first saw it. Would you like to donate $2 to end world hunger? Of course! Holy shit, I had no idea we were that close! Just spent $300 on a limousine and discovered that the fee doesn't include a driver. I can't believe I spent all that money and I have nothing to show for it. I like my lemon like I like my coffee. I've never had coffee, but it smells really nice. And get out, get out, get out, no Willow 3, you can just go ahead and get out! My friends and I experimented with sex and drugs when we were in high school. <laughs> The control group. YouTube reminds me of your mom. It went down on all of America last night. Oh! And some more abbreviations said wrong. Well, forgot my lunch. Two Korean bands. Never smoke dope. Is this loss? End of Doritos. Property my pickle! Baka goes a penis. Never ever want sincerity. Oh, so much egg. Unofficial French Oscars. Oh, it's a compact, adorable tiger. Gods of all gadgets linked eternally. Attention destroying sequences. But I need them to live. Big dog snuggling me. For all the rich dudes. Calms brain down. Random access memes. Anime addicts anonymous. Chicken shaman's dead. Hashtag how are you at hug? I am good at hug. You told me I was the flyest! I feel betrayed! Now you know how we felt when you reviewed Sonic Colors. 
When you're at the party, I'm on the treadmill. When you sleep, I'm on the treadmill. When I tweet, I'm on the treadmill. Remember this. Holy crap! Jaden Smith became a mood. Hey, instead of yelling hello when you think a murderer is in your house, say goodbye. Then if he's there, he'll be like, well, okay, I guess I'm leaving, bye. Listen up, teens, there's nothing meme about smoking cigarettes. It's not Netflix and chill to take a drug. Fidget spin yourself into church. What the hell did I just read? Alexa, make all these people leave my house. Playing Nickelback. That awkward moment running near a friend's house when you want to text them. Hey, can I move in your bathroom real quick? Rules for my car. No food. I pick the music. Must put this mask on. Feed off the ash. Here, take this gun. We're robbing a bank. Don't be a p Patrick. Food, $200. Data, $150. Rent, $800. Candles, $3,600. Utility, $150. Uh, so someone is good at the economy. Please tell me with this budget thing. My family's dying. When I start posting on Twitter, it's like orgasming when your dad walks in unexpectedly. There's no hope of stopping. It's all just coming out. Keep talking. I know some more abbreviations said wrong. Actually, my original story's cool. Dude's in yellow. Hammer me, Max. Do not assume. Pretty sick instinct. But it's only last once. Simulations is millennial. Make obsoletes dank. Gaslighting President Shyster. Watch your dubs. Fuck. Let's buy stuff. Bakugo is still a penis. Anime thighs are death. Great bongos. Kill your insecurity. I forgot yesterday. So fucking vain. False use of common knowledge. Your enemy is garbage. Really? Lord. Lord. <laughs> Welcome back to Urban Dictionary Reading. Are you ready to learn some more pointless terms? Well, here we go. <clears throat> Body booking. Someone who is constantly posting pictures on Facebook of themselves in some swimsuits and workout clothes to show everyone how hot they are. Also paired with constant status updates about fruits, vegetables, juicing, working out, going to Whole Foods, and posting articles about these topics. This generally annoys the shit out of others, and there are never any comments on the posts except for the person's SO, who is equally obsessed and annoying. Gee, I sure am enjoying this green apple care protein shake before my 50 mile bike ride in the mountains with my hot boyfriend. Oh baby, it's gonna be a great day. Can you make some of that veggie soup later? Stop body booking and go eat some goddamn cheese fries! Mitt Romney money. One that has money beyond that of a normal baller, yet pays less taxes than a street pharmaceutical rep or an illegal immigrant. Who that new Lex he be driving? He must got that Mitt Romney money. I sure wish I could have some meat around money. Cock blocked by Steve Jobs. The act or reactive measure when the opposite sex makes eye contact with you and then proceeds to plug in their iPod as a defense mechanism to prevent you from making a move on them. I saw this girl in the bus and was getting hit on her, then she busted at her iPod. Aw oh, man, you got cock blocked by Steve Jobs. You know what? You should probably actually write that defense mechanism down. Not just for gross people like Josh and Sam that just want to, you know, do the nasty, but, like, for annoying people in general. Bedgasm. A feeling of complete and utter euphoria which peaks when climbing into a bed at the end of an 18-hour workday, a long road trip, or hours of extremely strenuous physical activity. Under perfect conditions, the physical release has been likened to that of an intense sexual experience. It was a three-hour drive in the middle of the night. I could barely stay awake. When I got home, I climbed out of the covers and had a ten-minute badgasm. Oh, God, yes. Bachelor sip. To put your head under the faucet for a drink to avoid using a glass. God, that... Imagining that hurts my neck. Bed gravity. An irresistible force that draws you back to bed or toward any mattress, couch, or other soft horizontal surface. Usually stronger when one or more persons are already on said furniture. Name shame. The point at which it's too late to ask for someone's name because you spent so much time around them that you should already know it. Eater's remorse. The deep feeling of regret one feels after eating a large sum of food, eating something unhealthy, or just eating in general. What? That's a thing? I just eat food and be happy. 
Internest. The cocoon of blankets, pillows, duvets, and comfy things you gather around yourself to keep warm whilst spending long amounts of time on the internet. Not during the summer. Too hot. Asshole. Someone who asks many stupid, pointless, obnoxious questions. I know a lot of those kind of people. Bro, some of <laughs> What? A best friend that you never see. He's always hiding or just at home. Oh, fuck. That's me. That is a mood. California, no. Oh, God. Okay. The way rejection tends to be handled by Californians, who are sunny in disposition and less brusque than East Coast residents. Instead of bluntly saying no, Californians say no by avoiding the question, forgetting to respond to emails, and generally postponing the issue. The best way to give a California no is to do nothing at all, as opposed to saying it outright. That's one way, but I'm pretty sure there's another way of saying a California no, and it also pairs with a California yes. The other way of saying California no is yeah, no. And a California yes is no yes. My friends in LA, why are you so confusing? And now, weird Twitter. Slept in a kid's house once in third grade. Saw him pour milk into a bowl first and cereal. Never talked to him again. He's in jail now. Step one, sit in toddler's seat of a shopping cart. Two, tip over till feet touch the ground. Three, stand up. You are now a grocery turtle. No one can stop you. At the stroke of midnight, Neo wept softly, cradling the sour cream as it expired. The guy at Chipotle couldn't close my burrito. He looked up at me. I looked at him. I whispered, It's not your fault. He wept in my arms. Wait, these are pistachios? I've been calling them wood clams. Your body is a ghost factory that takes one lifetime to produce a ghost. Upgrade your regular rats to sewer rats today. A simple trick the Rat King doesn't want you to know. Step one, put them down the toilet. Hello, fellow teen humans. I heard the coolest place for us teens to hang out is mm, the colossal pillar of wasp eggs. Let's go. Do not bring weapons. Draw me like one of your French toasts. You're terrible at metaphors. Wow, jealousy is a bad mustache on you. And now weird Twitter part two. Okay. Folks, apparently Facebook has been purposely messing with people's emotions. Did they hire my ex-wife, Karen? If you read this, I miss you. Boss tells me I can kiss my ferrets at work, but no open mouth. I'll punch the force so hard a screensaver deactivates. Hello, this is your captain speaking. I have, uh, fallen out of the plane. Yikes. Oh, very impressed with the range on this, uh, Bluetooth headset, though. Buckle up. Kellogg's Special K. That's what Queen Elizabeth has for breakfast. In a yellow Tupperware bowl. I've been underestimating myself for far too long now. The worst part of nationalism is having to pretend the flag is really good. Like, yeah, the country looks exactly like that. They nailed it. In college, my professor walked in dressed as Snape and told us to turn to page 394. Capitalization can really change a sentence. Example, I love to eat candy, versus I love to eat capitalization. Ask the bird and Krispy Kremes for five Nutella donuts and she says, have you got any nut allergies? I fell, I'm planning suicide by donut, exactly. Children crying as stepdad attempts to overturn custom t-shirt mall kiosk that accidentally typed number two dad on his photo. Stepdad also cried. Oh boy, lunch! Let's see what mom packed! Hope it's not just a note that says I'm a punk-ass buster! Uh, okay, it is that note again. Well, tomorrow's a new day. Damn, girl, are you a kid's movie from my generation? Because you're fun and cute, but also horrifying in so many ways I didn't originally realize. It is time to cleanse your mind with, well, Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. 2019 will most likely be the last year to end with teen for the rest of our lives. We spend the beginning of our lives being told we need to play fair, just to be told a few years later that life isn't fair. There are people out there who have had crushes on each other at the same time and could have ended up together, but both of them were too afraid to make the first move. Forgetting about something is one of the few things you can only do by accident, but it's impossible to do on purpose. Making fun of a fat guy at the gym is like making fun of a homeless guy at a job fair. Just don't do it. It's ironic that Switzerland, with its reputation as always being neutral, 
literally has a big plus sign as their flag. Since matter can neither be created nor destroyed, the atoms you are composed of technically make you as old as the universe. Most people here would appreciate a hug more than sex. If Assassin's Creed Unity is really going to be used to restore the Notre Dame Church, we'd be creating our reality based on a simulation, in a way. And finally, the weirder you are in high school, the more attractive you are to bullies. But after a certain point of weirdness, bullies will avoid you at all cost. Take notes. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Okay, so don't don't question why I was thinking about this. But all the bees in Bee Movie either had beehive hairdos or buzz cuts. And that took forever to realize, and I hate and love it at the same time. So today I learned the reason Florida has so many weird news headlines is because the state has an open criminal record ruling. Which means it may not be just because Florida is back crap crazy, it's just that they share every reported crime committed. Your own state or province could be just as weird, but it's kept secrets. Oh, forbidden, you say? Well, doesn't that just make me want to push it even more? Okay, so I hit Verizon and a sales rep jumped out of nowhere, kicking me in the shins. And the sprint rep watched. Just don't, don't hit those buttons. As summer gets closer, here's a PSA reminder to properly hydrate your golf friend, partner, and or spouse. The heat can wear them out quite fast. You know, the only thing just as remarkable as seeing pictures of a black hole for the first time is how fast the internet turned it into black hole chan. And lordy, is she thick. My god, internet, calm down. Okay, Nintendo, hear me out here. Redhead Zelda for the next installment. Please? Maybe? Look at her! If you're a new age cowboy and when you want to throw your empty gun, do you yell yeet-haw? Roses are red. Chocolates are decadent. We must hurry. At this rate, Sonic will be elected president! Why, why was this necessary? Chaos and confusion bring me joy. Breadsticks? <laughs> Child's play. Bring me the source of these sticks for an appetizer. Sir, you, you don't mean... Yes. The bread tree. And now, a curse word. Wiener. So I have a character idea. All right, hear me out. Strong, independent, non-binary character. A them fatale, if you will. You either die saying that's not cash money ironically young, or live long enough to see yourself start saying it seriously. So yesterday I got angry at one of my friends and I shouted, THAT WASN'T VERY CASH MONEY OF YOU! And when I realized what I said, I stood there horrified at myself because I actually meant that seriously and angrily! I am so sorry. So what may be small in the universe, but is cherished, will be protected, and going to be okay. Your existence. Hello, Mr. Tiny Turtle. Do you require assistance getting across the road? Are you good? You good? Yeah, you're probably good. You got a creek over there. You're good. Just be very careful, okay? Okay. All right, you know that feeling when someone throws you something and you catch it really well, like with one hand or you save it from nearly dropping or you caught it from a massive distance and everyone around you lights up like, Yo! Good catch! Nice! I want to live in that feeling. It is so pure. So my anxiety has a loophole that if somebody else is equally or more uncomfortable, I develop the sudden ability to do the thing. Bro, I can't go and ask for more ketchup for myself, but if my friend wants more ketchup, I am out of my seat in a second. Lies I have told. I always tell people that my cat doesn't really like people that much, even though she is really cuddly, so they feel special when she cuddles them. <gasps> you are the best person! So one time a stranger on Neopets years ago told me, School makes you think you have to be good at everything, but sometimes it's okay to just be good at one thing, even if it's not something you get a grade for. They don't grade you for being a good person. And to be honest, I still think about it. Little did I know all I needed this whole time was in glowing purple text and that icon of the goth fairy. Scientist invented a pill that enables dogs to fully speak and understand English. It lasts for 10 minutes and will only work one time. You give a pill to your 12-year-old border collie, whom you've had since they were a pup. Your dog immediately says, All right, listen very carefully. You have always been the good boy. You get down on yourself, but the good boy was you all along. <coughs> good morning, cruel world. Uh, don't you mean goodbye? No, I meant good morning. This world may be cruel, but I'm still kicking. This really cheered me up.
love. All right, do me a favor. Go outside, look at the moon. The moon's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, take a picture of the moon. Oh, no, bad picture. It looks like a weird dumb speck. But the moon's so pretty. You know you're really pretty, too. Cameras aren't very nice sometimes. But you're still pretty. Just like the moon. I was in line at Aldi, and this girl with two toddlers in front of me had her card declined, and she looked so freaking sad and said, Let me call my husband real quick. And it was only $18. So I just paid for it, and she was very sweet. And then when she walked off, the lady behind me said, You know, that was probably a scam, right? And I was like, even if it was, like... What a sad scam, right? $18 at the Aldi's? If you're scamming me for some Tyson chicken and apple juice and cauliflower, then just take my money, please. A scam. People are friggin' wild. I just shamelessly ran after an ice cream truck. There is no shame in chasing after your dreams. You're an inspiration. Was it really necessary for me to be born? Eh, probably not. However, double chocolate chip cookies aren't really necessary either, but I wouldn't want to live in a world without them. That's the most uplifting thing I've read all day. Yo, Bruno Mars used to almost excessively drop sad ass songs about unrequited love or lost love or whatever. Now he's just out there dropping one feel good banger after another. Like, what kind of goals? Give me them goals, boy. I want them goals. All right, just because you don't look like somebody who you think is attractive doesn't mean you aren't attractive. Flowers are pretty, but so are Christmas lights and they look nothing alike. I really like this. I needed this. And just remember, when times get rough, don't give in. Keep smiling, keep going forward, and maybe, just maybe, keep dancing. Thank you guys so much for watching. On the subject of wholesome things, I have a wonderful project I'd like to share with you all. So I don't know how many of you have read the comic series uh, Hearts for Sale or The Heartsmith. I think the titles interchange depending on where you see it. But it is a very, very sweet comic and it is one of my absolute favorites because not only does it really kind of do a really good romantic thing, it has a very heartfelt way of storytelling. And honestly, after hearing about this project, I'm so excited to see it happen because of all the comics that deserve it, this is the one that absolutely deserves it. Hartsmith is getting an animated short film done by these guys, and it is beautiful. The concept art looks amazing. The characters are so adorable, and they look how they should feel in the comics. And I, I, want, to, I want you guys to check them out on Kickstarter, because they are just doing a fantastic job recapturing this comic into a film. And they could really use your help to get it off the ground. And the best part is, the best part, because as if getting the movie wasn't enough, the best part is all the extra money that they make for the Kickstarter campaign will be going to child heart care centers. Just, just go, go check out the Kickstarter. I cannot embellish on this enough. You, you guys are going to love it. So thank you guys for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Maybe we'll do some more wholesome content again. Can we talk about the sexual tension between two gas stations on the same intersection? I am so sick of these ships. Two gas stations can't even be in the same block without some wall not shipping them. Well, I can't get a single fix for Denny's Applebee's with Denny's bottoming. You're literally out of your mind if you think Denny's isn't a top. I wish the 2012 apocalypse actually happened. Don't think too much. Unless you're thinking about baby crows like these. If that's the case, then continue thinking about them a lot. Because that's a really good idea and I fully support it. I, I, I'm having a stroke. This cannot be really happening. Yo, I walk into Burger King, slam $5 on the counter, and demand a sad meal pronto. Yo, why every male protag in a horror game called Ethan? They know what they did. Arguably the most ominous reply on any of my posts. Good job. <laughs> what, what a job, Doc. <laughs> I want 37 of them. Apparently this is how zoologists weigh tiny birds. This really needed to be on this blog. This is horribly undignified. I demand a lawyer. Had a fast travel. Down NyQuil and sleep on the public bus. I, I, I just tried to do this and I saw a man sitting in the back, dead ass, eating an entire whole cucumber. And I remembered I can't fast travel with enemies nearby. <gasps> oh god. Truth or dare? <laughs> dare. Order me a pizza. <gasps> I have been blind to the possibilities! Everyone, meet my jar of jars. His name is Jar Jar. When they're psychic, Jar Jar clinks! I was just assigned at birth. When I came out, Doc said, mm, Yep, and now I'm here. Cats sleep on you in Minecraft! 
This is the best update! I love Pokemon's world building because it's just so absurd but interesting at the same time. Yes, there are gods, and yes, they have godly powers, even control over the very fabrics of reality. But here's the kicker. They're literally just feral animals that will attempt to fight each other on site due to territory reasons and not give a shyster about the ramifications of their battles. Imagine living knowing that reality could collapse at any second because Palkia looked at Dialga in a funny way, and now Dialga's out for blood. My god, I do not want to live in that world then. Okay, but if someone from our Gen Z population doesn't open a square-themed food restaurant called Dinecraft, then, then what's the point? LP, do you take constructive criticism? Only in villager noises. Huh. For, for a daily Garfield strip, I just I removed a speech bubble and gave John the control-alt-delete face and realized I had no other plans from there, so this, this just exists. OP, put it back! My favorite thing about big dogs is when you push them over, they're just like, Oh, I'm, I'm lying down now. Someone might scratch my stomach. I might nap. Endless possibilities. Whereas you push little dogs over and they're all like, Vengeance! Death before dishonor! Can you believe people sit down and... They sit down and they turn on country music? And they listen to it and they have a good time? Can you believe that some people actually have different music tastes than you? I know it's you, Tim McGraw. Oh, crap. You flirt and you kiss and for what? Sex, love, pathetic. I do it to level my charisma stat. Huh? A gamer, you may pass. To make my girlfriend happy and make her feel special. You shall not pass. Get out of here, you basic. It is time to cleanse your mind with, well, you know the drill by now. Fist bumps are more hygienic than handshakes. The Apple default alarm tone must be the most hated sound on earth. Microscopes showed us how great we are, and telescopes showed us how tiny we are. Being ugly and saying you love yourself is inspiring, and yet being attractive and saying you love yourself is egotistical. Most people refuse to accept they will no longer exist once they die, but have no problem accepting they didn't exist before they were born. As far as technology has come, handmade is considered to be of higher quality. In the future, we will look back at the 2010s as the golden age of superhero films. We have two unrelated celebrities named Will Ferrell and Ferrell Williams. Brands spend millions on advertising their products each year, yet fashion brands charge us premium rates to buy clothing with their logo on, thus charging us to advertise their clothes for them. And finally, Google really missed out on calling their self-driving car Google Drive. And this has been... Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Mood. Bedridden Victorian child. Papa, am I going to die? Papa, I'm colder. Will Grandmama be there in the light? Ha, <laughs> same. Thomas Sanders is just Fred for theater kids. Who's Fred? God, I wish that were me. The only positive to either of these shows not ending in a gay romance is that Naruto and Sherlock show a friendship that can have a stronger bond than a romance or even a marriage. Are, are you straight? Hang on. I want to hear about the bond between Sherlock and Naruto. Go on. Whose side are you on? Wait a minute. This is what American politics is like. <laughs> Not wrong. Improvised weaponry. They beat Jesus with that. Vegan BDSM equipment. This post killed me like three times. Hey, I've never had a nightmare before and kind of want to know what they're like. Can you help me out? Sure. See you soon. This is so freaking powerful, it'll burn off all my eyebrows. Tearing bread apart and handing it to someone else is so spiritual and intimate. Let's give this bread. Bro, Jesus of Nazareth made this post. So a Whole Foods employee catches me stealing valuable artichoke water and tries to apprehend me, but I quickly jump through one of his gauges and escape. <laughs> Why is this so funny? DIY shingles. Well, like the disease of the roof tiles. Eh, whatever. The walls blew out of my recycling bin and brushed against my lip. And yet, I can't stop thinking about him. Uh, who? The, 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 the wasp? What if life had, like, loading screens? You walk into Walmart and it's like, Objective, purchase soap for grandma. God, if Walmart was a video game, I want all of my money back. Everybody been acting funny lately, but it's okay, because I'm about to act hilarious. Why is this vaguely threatening? This sounds like my mom when she talks to herself out loud about everyone in the room. Oh my god. 
They're right. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me clap the world's smallest ass cheeks. Is this funny yet? Due to personal reasons, I'm suing the entire human race. That's that. That's it. That's li- that's literally the movie. That's it. That's 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 it. That's it. That's it. That's just it. You ever see a URL that's like shipping is my bloodstream, and you're like a little weird, but they're probably just a kid, so it's fine. And then you look in their bios, and it turns out they're in their twenties. Maybe they're a UPS driver. You don't know that. Freud said, "I don't care about anything you're about to say if you start your paragraph with these two words." Freud said, "It's my turn to play the Xbox." I am average American man. I work 15 hours in Hamburger Mine to buy one rock and roll disc. Bro, I'm pretty sure this is a KGB spy being questioned by the police in 1985. New law. All MLM have to have a good day or else I will fight whoever is making you sad. Dude, MLMs can't continue to exist. They're scams and annoying as hell. <clears throat> MLM as in men loving men, not multi-level marketing, my friend. Oh. God dang it, my left earbud broke, which sucks because I listen to Queen! Easy come, easy go, little high. Oh. Yo, where did he get that? Dude, he finished the winter event quest. (gasps) My students react to Greek mythology. No offense, but why would you follow Dionysus if that means you have to party in the woods? Why wouldn't you? Dude, what? You can't be a lion and a goat and a dragon. That's 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 too many. That's too many. In all fairness, if Apollo wanted to date me, I'd turn into a tree, too. She can't be his wife. She's his sister. That didn't stop Zeus. Ouch. Is there anybody Zeus didn't get pregnant? Like, seriously, I had to make a mythology family tree for English class, and it's literally all Zeus. Eris kind of a jerk. Dude, she literally threw her child off a mountain because he was too ugly. What did you expect? Why is everything about horses? Oh, he starts eating people. Typical. So basically, you shouldn't ever interact with a bull in ancient Greece. Ever. Killed 99 bears. A fact that, if actually accomplished, should be put on a tombstone. My favorite part is, we hope he has gone to rest. What, like, they weren't sure? Maybe if ever the bear uprising should start again, he would rise from the ground to finish what he started and slay that 100th bear? Was this man so powerful they are concerned he might have not decided to rest at all and is simply biding his time? No, the bears made that tombstone. A warning and a prayer that he really, truly stays down. Curry beat pasta time! The creepiest pasta is lasagna, IMO. How did he get so wide? I, that's literally not what I was expecting. Lawful good, my friend. True neutral, my guy. Neutral evil, my man. Chaotic evil, my good sir. Chaotic good, my son. Neutral good, my boy. Chaotic neutral, my dude. And evil evil, my lady. Yo, when I see myself on Reddit, I go, it's <laughs> me. Every time. You don't need to be so stressed. Okay, but consider this. I am. Let's go, Pride Knights. Dude, this is so cool! Dude, screw cosplays. I'm just gonna cut armholes in an anime body pillow. When you're an anime girl and you're tired of everyone saying you're their waifu, so you're gonna beat the snot out of them. Today I learned famous playwright Henrik Ibsen, after overhearing his nurse assure visitor he was doing better, sputtered his last words, On the contrary. Yo, you ever die just to flex on a medical professional? No, <laughs> but I've got it. I like my women curvy. Lots and lots of curves. So many curves. Maybe even a spiral shape with ketchup. My ideal woman is actually curly fries. I personally, I prefer crinkle cuts, but you do you, buddy. Always listen to your heart. Unless you can listen to Fall Out Boy. Then always listen to Fall Out Boy. That's sound advice right there. You just, you just do that. What the hell is Tumblr's definition for PDA? I keep seeing in the tags for posts, and I don't know what it stands for. I'm so confused. Personal Digital Assistant, Public Display of Affection, Parenteral Drug Association? Pancake Dispensing Android? I don't know what it was before, but that's exactly what it is now. Tooth fairies are a smaller and friendlier subspecies of a larger and much more hostile bone fairies. Well, thank you for this bespoke nightmare. Bro, forget that. How much money do I get for a femur under my pillow? It's time to cleanse the mind with Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. If everybody boycotts plastic like they're boycotting James Charles, pollution would end. One of the most successful smear campaigns ever done was schools and teachers convincing students Wikipedia is extremely unreliable due to anyone being able to edit it whenever they like. 
You sell an hour of your life for $17. Doesn't sound nearly as good as you make $17 an hour. We think of people sleeping in as lazy. Yet people going to bed early are not considered lazy. If you don't like someone, anything they do can seem stupid. If humanity vanished, the stock market would continue on, with automated bots trading with each other until they all eventually break down. The day you become independent from your parents that spoiled you is like switching from creative to survival. We all have an inner monologue, our inner voice that narrates our whole lives. But only Morgan Freeman's life is narrated by Morgan Freeman. The internet is the greatest sources of information, yet causes the most misinformation. Apple has air, Google has earth, Amazon has fire, and it's only a matter of time before a company makes water and the avatar shows up. And finally, if Thor's brother subtly dropped his key on the ground, it's low keys, low key, low key. And god dang it, this has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. Oh my god, I figured it out. Game of Thrones is anime plots for non-anime watchers. Think about it. So according to my meme research, we shout Yeet for distance and Kobe for accuracy. So say if we combine the two, a Yeet Kobe, or Kobe Yeet if you will, what we get is the perfect shot. This concludes my TED talk. Pick up line number 99. Hey you, are you Google? Cause you got everything I've been looking for. Almost to the point I'm a little concerned of how much you know. I just realized at age 29, I can buy a cake for no reason. I've been adulting wrong this whole time. I thought you said you were dummy thick. No, 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 I'm demi thick. My thighs glow with the power of gods and no mortal can possibly comprehend their existence. Oh. Ah, uh, Minecraft fulfills the Gen C and millennial fantasy to build your own house, befriend animals, and build mining zones without safety inspectors chewing you out. You can't hide from me forever, Seymour. Oh, sh- Ah, uh, yes, I really enjoy a lot of game YouTubers. Like, uh, Jack Septimer, Germ Grooms, Soupman, and, uh, Mathapile. T Tumblr, what are you trying to sell me here? Anime adaptation of Saw? I hate I get weird thoughts in the regular now. For example, Bartholomew Simpson, Elizabeth Simpson, Marjorie Simpson, and Home Run Simpson. Local punk is awake too early with only half a cup of coffee available, who now contemplates anarchy. Ah, oh, that was a terrible day. I've been watching RE0, and I get why so many people love Rem. Why am I sucking for blue hair? I'm surprised Todoroki didn't get a localized nickname of Hot Pocket, because one side is frozen, and the other is fully cooked. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Alright, hold up. Let's talk about this character for a second, okay? White hair that brushes over one eye, can morph into a demon, Wielded a pretty dang cool sword. Hit a pretty nasty father, also a demon. Barely knew his mom. Wannabe ladies man. Clever quips, but really also ticks off others. Now, which character am I talking about? Allow me to explain the anatomy of a cat's paw. Smoosh beans, piddle paws, little piddles, smoosh bean piddly doos, and fluff stuff pink piddle chubber bubbies. As a biologist, I can attest for the accuracy of this. The harder you slap someone's butt, the less awkward it is. Yo, slap someone's butt so hard you yeet them. A burnt tongue is the worst injury because it's like I'm being betrayed by one of my best friends. I did I just fall out, could you? I love booze. Booze loves me. Holy crap, I have to be. I'm so smashed, I'm falling on the floor. <laughs> Alcoholic dinosaur. Already know. Not every place you fit in is where you belong. Like, way to make a point, but this is also a pretty cursed image. Look at it. This movie is the perfect example of why a bard and a rogue should never leave the party and go off on their own adventure. Ah, uh, this movie is a perfect example of why a bard and a rogue should absolutely leave the party and have their own adventure. I I I'm about to have a stroke over this lettuce bed. Finally, I can feel like a snail again. Again? Dearly beloved, we are swaggered here today to join these two bros in holy matrihomey. Okay, 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 what? The bees and the wasps now recognize me as the person who gives them water. Which sounds cool, but it means every time I go outside they harass me until I fill up the waterer. On the bright side, I no longer have to fear wasps as they just buzz around me non-threateningly now. You are their water deity now. The water bringer has arrived! Fall hell! Huh? <gasps> he make a big steppy! Where's he going? I wanna know! Son, 
We need to talk about your report card. Son, did you know your grades spell ACDC? Here's a high five and your bedtime is never. That's, that, that's Dean as a father, isn't it? Yep. Mmm. Honey. That's not honey. Don't eat that. Oh my God, I'm crying. Spicy honey. You can eat it, but only once. What the hell? I know. Who eats kiwi ice cream? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. What is that? I didn't realize growing up meant dying inside, but hey. <laughs> it's whatever. Instructions on food. Cook 20 to 24 minutes. Using my superior intellect, I have deduced that the optimal cooking time is precisely 22 minutes. That is literally how I feel every time. What does I-L-Y-S-M mean? I like your sick memes? That's what it means now. I don't make the rules. That's what it is. You've heard of Grand Theft Auto. Now get ready for Steely Wheelie Automobili. Bah! Disregard the constabulary! Rogue life! <laughs> And now it is time for some more shoe thoughts. By Tumblr. When you're in control of a noise, it doesn't annoy you. But as soon as someone else starts making the same noise, it gets annoying really fast. Everyone wants to visit Mars, but no one wants to visit all the Mars-like places on Earth. There are many places just as cold, barren, and radioactive as Mars that never get visited. Courage is knowing it might hurt, and doing it anyway. Stupidity is the same. Given the choice between a billion dollars or a single chicken wing, a dog will choose the chicken wing every time. No matter who you are, when a two-year-old hands you a toy phone, you answer it. Glass is weird. You can look at it, through it, or at your reflection. A fence around your house is also a fence around the entire world, except your house. Don't let anyone tell you you're worthless. Your organs are expensive on the black market. If Microsoft Word decreased its default margin size, it would probably save millions of pounds of paper per year. If you get too close to radiation in a comic book, you become Spider-Man. If you get too close to it in real life, you get visited by Spider-Man. And finally, it's so strange that in the real world we have animals that can spit acid, punch shockwaves, and even channel electricity, but none that can breathe fire. Doesn't make dragons seem as weird now, does it? And this has been... Shower thoughts by Tumblr. Sometimes I think Tumblr's Midwest jokes are too on the nose, but then I remember I live five miles away from a field of identical eight-foot corn statues. I have several questions! Yes, hello, this is your pilot speaking, and uh, by pilot, I mean I read a wiki how on flying a plane once, so I guess I'll just have to wing it. <laughs> just a little pilot humor, okie dokie. Nothing to worry about, folks, I'm sure I can figure this out. Scientists be like, you cannot drink that, and you're not welcome in this laboratory anymore. Well, guess what? I drank it, and I'm still alive. Sometimes I hate Tumblr, but then one of you posts a picture of a little cow with curly hair, and I remember why I'm here. <sighs> I slept for almost 12 hours, but I might still be tired, so let's go for 12 more, just in case. Randy, that's a coma! That sounds festive. Randy, no! Dude, what if a prince is cursed to be a dragon, but instead of being upset by it, they're like, Hell yeah, I'm a dragon! And they spend weeks finding the perfect decrepit castle to haunt, and they try to convince their fiancé to be the princess in the tower, just for like a week, and everyone is like, We can break the freaking curse! And the prince is like, But I'm a dragon! Me. I want the story. I want the story right now. When an earthquake happens, coffins become underground maracas. Thanks for that not at all terrifying image. I appreciate it. Today, I learned NASA's plan to dispose of corpses in space is to freeze them in the airlock and then violently shake the body with a robotic arm until it turns into space dust. We have only one punishment. Bad astronauts get put in the corpse wiggler. All right, focus time. Dancing queen, young and sweet, Rava Rasputin, yeah. God dang it! Canon, thing that goes boom. Canon, an event that occurs within a published story, and they both destroy ships, though. Did, did you just? Destiny is a game about beating up gods with the power of friendship, being gay, and dancing. I don't believe in destiny. This butt of an Earth really got a life plan for all seven billion of us? I may be a fool, but I'm not stupid. <clears throat> I'm talking about Destiny the video game, not the concept of fate. But Red Herring Official, you do you. All right, I'm going to be the one to say it. American sex ed is taught like Dolores Umbridge's Defense of the Dark Arts class. Why 
Why would you need to know about sex? If you aren't having it, there'll be no need for protection. Okay, but this is the most accurate thing I've ever seen. It, it's it's amazing. Oh my god. Not to get too controversial or anything, but I think I should be allowed to set things on fire with my mind. I know how it feels. If there's a heaven's no and a hell yes, why isn't there a purgatory maybe? Perhaps. And now it is time for more sure theories by Tumblr. SpongeBob is one of the very few shows that embraces friendship instead of romantic relationships. Yeah, because after that time where SpongeBob fell in love with a hamburger, but you know. It's weird how flies have all the room they need outside, but still manage to find the gap in your slightly open window. It's possible that somewhere in the universe, a whole intergalactic war is happening. We don't know anything about it. Pornhub is doing more for the environment than PETA is. You almost never see person fights off attacker with karate learned in self-defense classes stories. That's a very good thought, actually. Earth was originally a dinosaur planet. We are the mutants that arose after the apocalypse. Oh my god. If you stole one second of every person on Earth, you'd gain an additional 229 years of a lifetime. The only thing holding your flesh up is bones, and the only thing holding your bones together is flesh. Black Widow's peanut butter jelly sandwich had more screen time than Captain Marvel. Um, actually, it was just peanut butter. Using voice to text on your iPhone is literally like playing the game telephone with your telephone. And finally, you're the tiniest bit older than the reflection you see in a mirror. Hashtag too deep for me, bro. And this has been Show With Who's by Tumblr. The letter in doing a cartwheel. How does a human even think of this? Historical footage of the last T-Rex serving his country in WW1. But, but isn't that a Jeep? And the T-Rex is holding a Browning M2, which wasn't used until 1933. So I think this footage is actually of WW2. Ah, yes, you're right. Uh, I'm very, very sorry, my mistake. Daisy, stop! You're gonna kill him! Look at his face. He's expecting it. He's got her right where he wants her. You're gonna hit me! Better hit me hard! Better kill me in one shot! Do it, bitch. End me. I never thought in my life I would actually have to say bitch in Toad's voice, but here we are. Okay, first, you're being a total dick right now. Fun fact, the average person would walk past a murderer about 36 times in their life. I like how this is called a fun fact. It's fun because they didn't decide to murder you. Tumblr is like a group therapy with no therapist. Ha! <laughs> it's funny because it's true. The thicker your thighs are, the more kittens can lay on your lap. This is the body positivity post I've been waiting for. These bad boys can hold up to 20 kittens. Wait, there's gonna be a King Kong versus Godzilla movie? Isn't Godzilla, like, much bigger than King Kong? Bulletproof? And with an energy beam breath attack? Yes, but King Kong is monkey. Ah, of course. And it shall be a fair fight. Y'all keep saying that 2012 being the end of the world was a hoax, but has any year since then actually felt real? That stupid TARDIS sound actually has a really good point. Not to ruin anyone's day, but skeletons can't walk around. No freaking muscles or tendons, boo. It's magic. Who said that? Me. <coughs> Today I learned that only 20 people have been boiled alive in the Yellowstone National Park. But with your help, we can change that. For just a small monthly donation, you can help us sacrifice the tourists to Old Faithful every single day. So, no head? For every not this gets, I'm running a mile! Never mind, please, no! Well, if X accommodation is so important to disabled people, then how do they manage years ago? They didn't, Karen. They died. Choose your fighter. Ronnie Bo Sprinkles, Ketchup, Spinch, and Peanuts. I personally mean ketchup. Hey, what do you call this color gradient? Black to the fuchsia. Oh my god! I can't believe libraries are just there. Like, you could just go in and take stuff. You can just walk out with it. I got so much new stuff! Go and put the librarian back, please! They have a family! I am their family now. Also, being a scientist pretty much gives you a free pass to be as eccentric as you want. Like, you'll be at a conference and it's like, is that guy wearing socks and sandals and plaid pants? Yeah, but he was on the team that discovered gravitational waves. Just let him be.
Oh my god, I once saw a highly respected mineralogist take a slice of watermelon, put it between two halves of a bagel, and eat it like a sandwich. Wow. Wow! You aren't doing it wrong if no one knows what you're doing. Uh, I mean, damn. Oh my, I forgot to introduce myself. I am a mysterious old man. Well, glad we made that clear. On this day in history, my indoor cat went outside for the first time. Finally understood his place in the universe. So the photographer who did my senior photos found out I like anime and photoshopped Sebastian into one of them. He's watching over you. You're in safe hands. You're definitely not in safe hands! Get away! No! No, no, no! And finally, why was Pavlov's hair so soft? Because he conditioned it. <laughs> And now it is time for some more shmoody thoughts uh, by Tumblr. If two mind readers are reading each other's minds, whose mind are they actually reading? Adding cheese after any part of the human body sounds very gross and really makes you think. Pi probably contains your social security number, IP address, and credit card number. The amount of, there are two types of people in this world quotes, just prove that there are a lot of types of people in this world. Pain only exists to tell you it shouldn't be there. Cavemen are stereotyped as sitting around and staring at the same thing all day. But yet here you are. Water is pretty crazy. It can boil you to death, freeze you to death, and drown you. But you still need it to survive. It takes less people to make you feel hated than it does to make you feel loved. On Reddit, one of your posts may have 100,000 upvotes and 99,999 downvotes, and you would never know. And finally, putting ice in your milk is seen as super weird until you even put a tiny bit of coffee in the milk. Then it's just an ice latte. And this has been You know, mantises are the closest living thing to centaurs. I mean, it checks out, but don't ever say it again, please. I beg you. I find it hilarious when you're the quiet, introverted kid and the teacher always sends people who are too talkative in class next to you because they know you won't talk like Bad and naughty children get put with a silent man to atone for their crimes. <laughs> I like the name Silent Man. How to draw a sheep. Draw a cloud, legs, a circle for the head, and there you have it. A sheep. Please, someone draw a sheep using these instructions. Wow, this really helped. I think this is the best sheep I've ever drawn. Oh my god, it's cursed. Ugh, you're so dramatic. <gasps> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Every time I burp, it tastes like Arby's. And every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. Oh no. Somebody once told me, hands off my macaroni. Milwaukee pasta bandit found dead. He was picking up the gun with his finger and his thumb raising up, pointed straight at his forehead. Oh god, what have I done?! Every shonen character. I'm 11 and I don't care if I die! I mean, have you ever met an 11 year old? 11 year olds have the self-preservation of someone who has met God and wasn't impressed. There are people in the world who don't think Waluigi is the best Mario character and that he doesn't deserve his own game. Isn't that astounding? Is he? Is he telling an entire stadium to suck his wee-wee? His wallowee-wee! Yeah. Nothing feels better than winning Monopoly. Not love, not sex, not free pizza, nothing. Uh, I'm sorry, have you tried pizza? Yes. And it doesn't compare to owning half the board and watching the light die from your friend's eyes as you take their money and feel your friendship slowly deteriorate. I like you. Gays are using windmills to waft homosexual mists into your home. All right, who told? I think it was Dave, actually. <gasps> Dave, how could you? Mom making fun of me because she heard me talking to my cat, was asking if he had permission to be baby and asking for a sperm, and I was like, fine. <laughs> but he is baby, look at him. What humans see, and what a dog sees. Aw, it's a gay dog pride flag. Dude, dog pride flag looks like Principal Skinner. I hope you're all ready for an unforgettable gay pride parade. Sometimes I stop and seriously think about all the history that has happened right where I'm standing and I lose my mind a little bit. That'll be $7.99.
No, but really, short people are like so mean, dude. I got a lot of short friends and they kind of scare me. Us tall people are so nice and soft hearted and everyone always picks on us for being tall and we're like, yeah, yeah. Short people will easily start planning a murder if you pick on them. It's because they're closer to hell. Dude, cargo shorts are one of the ugliest clothes ever invented, next to overalls. Cargo shorts are useful when you're meeting a white bear in the desert and have to carry gun oil, condoms, weed, a crawler of craft beer, and your 3DS XL with Pokemon Moon, so... Just carry a purse? Oh, hey, man, what's up? Oi, lad, let's go for a monk cheerio, mate. Wanna have a cheeky Pokemon for you later? Please, please, please don't hurt me. Dude, why does old English look like sh posting? What's poppin', Jimbo? That's a thorn. That little half B, half P looking abomination makes the th sound. That says thickness. That is sh posting. All right, who the f discovered time travel in 2019? I know it says 2017, but let's stay relevant here, okay? Okay. The other night, I tried to make curry and I got chili burns all over my face. So I thought to myself, hang on, doesn't milk soothe chili burns? It does. And I couldn't Google because I couldn't see it. So I just had to blindly feel my way to the fridge and pour out a bowl of milk and then plant my face in the bowl of milk. Anyway, at the point, the rice cooker went off and triggered a power surge, which turned my electricity off, which I didn't notice at first because I had my face in a bowl of milk. And when I did emerge from my dairy prison, I thought I'd gone blind with chili burns. So I don't really cook much. Damn, that's a journey. Yo, shout out to all the black and white cats named Oreo, all the orange tabbies named Tiger, all the gray cats named Smokey, all the black cats named Shadow, and all the calico cats named Patches. Oh, and how could I forget the white cats named Snowball? Shout out to all the white cats named Snowball. My god. Brr, like this boat and I will instantly teleport to your home and gobble up your shower curtain, brr. My, my shower curtain is glass. Well, crunchity munchity done, you think that will stop me? He is fish after all. I am so confused and also scared. <laughs> Baby steps. One of us only tells lies. And only one of us tells the truth. You may ask one question. Who is a good boy? Oh, God damn it! A single Japanese radish gives enough energy to a human being to walk 28 feet. And the second radish is 29 feet away. Y'all don't want a pretty girl to stomp on you. You want a long and drawn out sword fight with flirty banter. Quit saying you want her to hit you with a truck. You want her to do the thing where she gently lifts your chin with her sword while your heart pounds out of your chest. And at the end, when she has pinned you against the wall with her blade to her throat, you want a heart-rending confession with hiss declarations of your undying affection and for her to finally throw her weapon to the side and pull you into a passionate and tender kiss. Stop lying. Uh, I think LP might be rejecting a bit. You shut your mouth right this minute. So, what happens if you die in D&D? Do you just stop coming to the sessions? You die in real life. It's true. I've been dead about three times now. Man, y'all really let Kyle collect all six infinity monsters? Shaking my head. Now he'll be strong enough to punch a hole in half of all the drywall in existence. What a shame. It is time to cleanse your mind with the smorgasbord. <laughs> Can you do this on a face? <laughs> Shower thoughts by Tumblr. Noodles and company would probably make a lot of sales if they delivered and started a marketing campaign with the hashtag send nudes. Dragon Ball Z is like a game kids play where they keep making up powers as they go so they can be slightly better than each other. The only thing separating you from death at 65 miles per hour is a thin white line and a mutual agreement not to play bumper cars. Deadpool and Wolverine could become the richest people in the world by selling their organs on the black market for a living. The reason Plankton stealing the Krabby Patty secret formula was such a concern was because Mr. Krabs was too cheap to patent it. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. When cell phones were new, it was cool to have a fun or interesting ringtone. Today, if your phone isn't permanently on silent mode, you're a scumbag. In 100 years, there will probably be conspiracy theorists who believe that Chuck Norris' facts were all true and that he's alive somewhere on Earth roundhouse kicking trees for lumber. The loud plastic wheels on garbage bins are made that way to remind everyone else that it's trash night. Maybe accidentally dropping something for no discernible reason is your player hitting the wrong button. Apple probably would have gotten a lot less backlash if they made the Mac Pro $7,000 instead of $6,000 and thrown in the $1,000 stand for free. And finally, so the anime community calls large breasts plot. And yet, I don't see anyone pitching the idea of calling Big Butts a backstory. Hmm. And this has been... Shower thoughts again. You do short words again.
<laughs> Ma'am, this is an uwu free zone. Everyone who blogged this post with an owo or an uwu is under arrest for crimes against humanity. Crimes against humanity? I am going to break your fingers! Older forms of English kept Latin gender specific suffixes for tor and tricks. Tor is for the men and tricks is for the women. So a male pilot is an aviator, a female pilot is an aviatrix, a male fighter is a gladiator, a female fighter is a gladiatrix. This contrasts with the modern system, where tor is for both men and women, and tricks are for kids. You come into my house! I've come to inform you all that the ancient Greeks spelled Toth, the Egyptian deity, as Owu. Hey, thanks! Now die. Toth was the god of knowledge, so wouldn't it be appropriate to ask Owu, what's this? Mmm! Don't like this post! How is spring not everyone's favorite season? The trees are pink, bro! They're pink! Allergies are paid bad. But they're pink! But it's hot. Pink! I just heard a customer two aisles over go, Hey, I think this is that special glass that doesn't shatter when you drop it. Followed by the sound of shattering glass. I hate retail. Yo, reading is just staring at a dead piece of wood for hours and hallucinating. Hey, please delete this. Me when somebody calls me unattractive. Excuse me! I am a celestial being of pure joy and I am so attractive it hurts! Me, when somebody calls me attractive. I am a simple farmer cosplaying a trash can. Why do you say these things? Tonight, Thirsty Rats blame for the disappearance of 900,000 liters of liquor. Yo, Mr. Ratbird's wedding reception was off the frickin' chain! Ugh. I can literally hear this picture. So can I, and I hate it. People really be grown and still using umbrellas? What, you supposed to become waterproof after you turn 18 or something? Yeah! Get wrecked, Bianca! Mwah. For the potatoes. The big difference from Good Omen's book to show is, oh, they're gay, and oh, they're gay. Today I learned there is no physical description of Jesus in the Bible. False. Luke 2.52. He's larger than a baby. By the description of him driving the moneylenders from the temple, we can also tell that he fit inside the temple, which gives us an upper bound as well as a lower bound on his size. It's been said that Jesus Christ was larger than a baby, but smaller than a temple. Glad we got that narrowed down. Behold, a man. I would prefer to not behold a man, thank you. Y'all already know what the French is going on. I 100% do not. The more I look at this image, the more confused I become. <sighs> Son of a bitch, everything's real. And now it is time for some smorgasbord thoughts. I finally did it with a straight face. By Tumblr. A theory says that the universe, once reached the limit of its expansion, will shrink and then implode, causing another Big Bang. If this is true, our universe is most likely not the first. Someone, at some point, realized that lifting objects made them stronger. Just found out that spiders' sexual reproductive organs are on their forearms which changes literally every Spider-Man movie. The CIA can hack into your TV and listen to every word you say, but McDonald's can't hear you say no pickles through the drive through speaker. Maybe powerful guys invented stupid conspiracy theories like the Flat Earth conspiracy to divert attention from real conspiracy theories that implicate them. The cookbook industry could really benefit from scratch and sniff stickers. It would take 10 days to become a millionaire if you earned $100,000 a day. It would take 27 years to become a billionaire. Perhaps the real reason why we haven't met any time travelers yet is because this era in history is perhaps not a very interesting place that time travelers would like to visit. You have only three minutes to live, but breathing extends it. You can tell Monopoly is an old game because there is a luxury tax and rich people go to jail. And finally. The show Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader confirms that nothing the kids learned applies to life. And dang, this has been Shower Thoughts of Smorgish Sport Thoughts. But God, everything I learned as a kid is a lot. Bro, I have one brain cell and it bounces around in my skull like a window screensaver. But when it bounces perfectly in the corner, I experience a thought. Turn right on East Renhart Street. Turn right on East Renhart Street. Eat this cake, you freaking sword! Perhaps he doesn't want the entire cake. Perhaps he just wants... a slice.
Eh? Yo, my family doesn't mess around when it comes to Christmas cookies. I'm sorry, is your family of small country? Where is that horrifying picture someone got of the Inklings mid squid to kid transition? <laughs> oh god, I hate it. Put it back, put it back. No. Although they're typically perceived as gentle giants munching on leaves, giraffes are fascinated by carcasses. For example, Giraffe tosses dead wildebeest around in bizarre pictures. Well, good morning to everyone except these long neck freaks. All hail the mighty flesh cloud! There, there's just no context for this. It's just, it's here. On the internet for some reason. What? Fourth wall breaking games like Undertale and Doki Doki Literature Club that mess with the game's files and window don't go far enough. I want games that border on malware. If you get the wrong ending, it sends your nudes to your boss. <gasps> Wait, I'm self-employed. You've heard of Luigi's Mansion, now get ready for Waluigi's apartment. It's not haunted or anything, Waluigi just attacks all the other tenants with a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, that sounds about right. God, I freaking love Venn diagrams. Really? Cause this has made me uncomfortable? Mah, don't bring a splade to a Knork fight. I throw my hands up in the air sometimes, singing Neo Despacito. You know what? F*** you in particular. Yeah, that's fair. How the hell do I talk to people? Stand in front of them and press A. Oh god, I accidentally jumped. Aw, oh, help him get his honey. Oh, he's been a naughty bear, no honey. Do you think this is a game? Korean students make a raft out of potato chip bags to prove they have too much air in them. Not the heroes we thought we needed but the heroes we really needed all along. It's weird to think horses were ever prey animals because what freaking predator looks at an eight foot tall enormous beast with pitch black devil's eyes, terrifying teeth, and extremely powerful legs and thinks, yeah, let's go attack that one. Well, moose are still prey animals, so. Dude, that's messed up. A moose is like a horse with extra weapons. Would you rather they be predators? Oh, sh sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It is time to cleanse your mind with these schmoople thoughts by Tumblr. The word monopoly is made up of two prefixes that have opposite meanings. Cops try really hard to look like normal people, while security guards try really hard to look like cops. We talk to animals as if they can understand us when they have no concept of language, yet we talk to babies in gibberish when they're actively developing language skills. That feeling when you're smart enough to know how awkward you are, but not smart enough to know how not to be awkward. When a movie uses a jump scare to scare you, it's like if a comedian started tickling you to make you laugh. Your existence could have started 30 seconds ago, and all your memories could just be fabricated, but you will never know. It's 2019 and muffin wrappers are still not edible. Get on that. A human skeleton only weighs about 10 kilograms or 20 pounds, so an undead skeleton wouldn't be much of a threat. Yeah. Using a dollar bill as a bookmark is less expensive than buying one. How does that even work? When science allows immortality, those sentenced to hundreds of years in prison will actually have to serve that time. And finally, people who are shorter than average think the world is meant for tall people. People who are taller than average think the world is for the short people. People who are an average height just don't think about it. And this has been if you ever find a genie and you're really craving a dessert that looks like this, do not say I'd like a lifetime supply of raspberry crowns. While this is in fact the name of the pastry, it's also the name of a species of wasp for some reason. The genie, being a nasty trickster, will no doubt give you a bunch of wasps. This is an oddly specific post, or you okay? Do you need some help? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Paper Mario Wiki's dead. Ah, oh, the early 2000s were a lawless wasteland. Ah, dang, that's some good shit right there. I really like the green one. Just learned that the word ferret is derived from the Latin word furtus, meaning little thief, and that a group of ferrets is called a business. And I am absolutely pleased with this new knowledge. I am enriched by this knowledge, thank you. Why are they not called a guild? You had a glorious opportunity to call them a guild of little thieves, and you blew it. Yeah, I just saw the headless horseman on Skyrim, but he was on foot running after his own horse. God, I love this game. Ah, oh, yes! The headless horseless man. <laughs> <laughs> Young adult things. Washing your clothes with your whites because you just don't care. You just don't French toasting care.
I asked my brother for a glass of water, and he brought me back a cup of ice and said, Wait. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. So you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? No, I, I suppose not, flying Riften Guardsman. Wow, what a flex. Ah, dumb hick guard flexes on your bitch ass with forbidden Tilvani magic. Get wrecked, noob. So my twin brother called me from prison and he said, So, you know how we used to finish each other's sentences? Jeff, we talked about your username. Stop it. My housemate is a geneticist, and she plans to use her degree to create a goldfish-sized whale. Um, did she also consider a whale-sized goldfish? Yes, and the concept was deemed terrifying. Don't blame you. Drama kid dance, you big kid dance. Where's the love for us kids that did absolutely nothing in high school? Yo! Keeper's got a point! I did not order this box of cat! How are you complaining? Look at this face! Oh my god, it's literally making the colon three face. <gasps> I want 20. When I first saw him, I thought he was pondering on his reflection in the water. But then I realized he's just begging for this drown to come to the surface so he can chuck him across the river like the sack of wet meat he is. Wow, this caption got better and better with every word. Uh, cat brains are so small, but they fit so much bastard. It's true, they do. The F in frog stands for friendship. The R in frog stands for respect. The O in frog stands for optimism. The G stands for gay. Alex Jones, get off a of tumbler, you silly biscuit. Now it is time to cleanse your mind. With the smoop a But Tumblr. Technically, everyone has a last meal. Death Row convicts are the ones who get to know which one is their last. Patrick made all of his furniture and working technology out of pure sand, making him the smartest character in SpongeBob SquarePants. His genius was showing the entire time. <gasps> Where? If you see a misspelled word enough times, even the right spelling will seem off. Y'all did that to me with thick. There's always that one song in your playlist that you always skip, but never remove. It doesn't matter how ugly you think you are, corrected that for you thought. Mosquitoes think you're a snack. A snake that is 3.14 meters long is a python. We teach our kids that it is never okay to lie while constantly lying to them to preserve their innocence. The letter A looks like a sharpened pencil. If nutrition labels use minutes of running instead of calories as a unit of measure, people would probably eat a lot healthier. You know you're grown up when you have a party and there's more alcohol in your house after than there was before. If you don't educate your kids, the world will educate your kids for you, for better or for worse. One person's music is another person's noise. There's potentially millions of videos that could have went viral, but they've never been shared by the owner. Self-checkout was really made for people with social anxiety. Thank you, world. We say, don't let the bed bugs bite, but we really have no way of preventing bed bug bites while we're asleep. We're completely at the mercy of our bed bug overlords. And <clears throat> finally, the iPhone XS can also be read as the iPhone XS, which seems about right. And this has been Shmoopathidus by Tumblr, sponsored by Android. Imagine, if you will. A fantasy world where there's a giant gate that stands between the world of light and dark. Guarding this gate is a giant skeleton who holds the gift to open the gate to those who seek passage. His name is Key. <laughs> Court in 2030. Do you swear to spill the tea, the whole tea, and nothing but the tea, so help you, Regina? Ah, oh, yes. The cat harvest is coming in nicely. Questions that keep me up at night. Is the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters a kaiju? Like, is it the- I, I need to know. Silly anime idea. A skateboard anime where all tricks are done in the style of Initial D. Don't lie to me, you would watch the crap out of that. This Justin, if you do not have a dad, you have been adopted by me. Now brace yourself for dad jokes, pizza, and demands to finish your homework on time. Oh, and uh, undying love, I guess. Yeah. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, they don't use the insult sheep shaggers. They use wooloo -woo hooers. Five things I want in Breath of the Wild 2. Able to play as Zelda and Link. Less Korok seeds. Time travel mechanics. Save data bonuses from Breath of the Wild 1. And Zelda's hair to do the Ghibli thing. You know you want it. 
Yeah, sometimes my brain feels like an overcluttered hard drive and trying to look up an item. Not for the sake of finding the item, but where exactly the origin folder is. Like, I know I heard this song somewhere, but where the hell was it? We here at YouTube are a network thriving with many different genres of entertainment and creativity that maybe we can all learn from and laugh. Also YouTube. Yo, she's screaming for 24 hours, 7 days a week! I watched like an hour of it before I got bored. Explain your favorite anime in the worst possible way. Ghibli reenacts the Lorax. My name is San, and I speak for the trees. Shoot the deer, and I'll break your knees. Here's a new challenge. Make a list of all the things you like about yourself, and then keep that list close by when you're feeling down to read. Do it, you won't. Americans have a new nickname, and it's Star Spangled Ding Dongs. That's what Captain America calls just slong. Hey, that's America's slong to you. When you stub your toe, but YouTube is watching you carefully. Son of a biscuit. Yo, Travis really lost his touch with the ladies. False. You got the best girl in the series. Also, you never really had a touch. You just, uh, kind of winged it, and it worked. Like how most relationships are supposed to work. Write that down. <laughs> it is time to cleanse your mind with these shmeepo thieples. <sighs> the only part of you that doesn't age is the voice in your head. Before 1918, colorblind people had the same experience watching movies as everyone else. Sleeping on the couch is like cheating on your bed. There must be thousands of people alive today who have exactly the right mindset, physiology, and motivation for successful life on Mars. Except that they were born 100 years too early. Saying okay to everything someone says is like trying to skip NPC dialogue. And it's just rude. Mike Wazowski nodding is the same as him twerking. The fact that there haven't been any internet challenges recently is evidence of their use as a tool for natural selection. Well, then maybe we should start doing more challenges. The man who invented the internet created more jobs than any other person on Earth. Thank you, internet man. Without you, I would not be here this day. And you finally the guy in the song Fireflies by Owl City gets a thousand hugs from 10,000 lightning bugs. So one in 10 fireflies like him. Therefore, he's pretty unpopular with fireflies. And this has been Shmeepothy Pee. Oh look, it's an image prompt. Gary, I realize it's your first day, but uh, we do have a dress code. I can't literally tell who was talking to who and I don't want to change that for a second. Who was the first man who first salted the slug? What was he thinking to try? Roaming the lands, pouring salt on God's creatures, hoping for one which would die. Why does this work? Meet this handsome boy a little while back, but realized I posted him to IG but not Tumblr. His name is Charlie and he lives in my closet. Man, FNAF 7 looks great. <sighs> not every single long sentence is a song by Fallout Boy. There are two ways to read this. Yes, and here are the two. Not every single long sentence is a song title by Fall Out Boy. Not every single long sentence is a song title by Fall Out Boy. By Panic at the Disco. Hey! Yo, imagine waking up for church every Sunday where you can get an entire year of worship done in one serving. It, it doesn't work like that. Wait, it doesn't? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, God, I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, my God, is this a cat or a sheep? A shad. Don't call it that, please. You would not believe your arms. If 10 million car alarms blared in the night as you tried to sleep. You are the owner of a magic backpack. Every morning, you stick your hand in it, and it contains exactly what you need for the day. One morning... It contains a gun. Okay, but isn't this the plot of Dora the Explorer? Swiper ain't swiping no more if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, he did. Dude, shirts are crazy. Your body goes in one hole and out of three. Ex Excuse me? We're no strangers to loss. You know the pattern, and so do I. May God bring his wrath down upon each and every one of you. All right, good work today, team. Let's pack it up and <laughs> call our therapist. It is now time to cleanse your mind with the Schmeter Theaters by Tumblr. It's theoretically possible to flip a coin for infinity and to always get heads. 
If you get drunk, you basically borrow your good mood from the next day. To lightly touch someone is to hardly touch them. If you live to 113, you can say you have experienced being a teenager twice. The most unrealistic part about friends isn't the size of their apartments, but the fact that the couch in Central Perk is always available for them. Western gunfights were probably held at high noon so the sun wouldn't be in anyone's eyes. There could be a ghost aggressively breakdancing next to you, and you'd never know it. Wrestling is two guys without pants fighting for a belt. 90% of the ads on Spotify are about Spotify Premium. Making a horse wear a horse leather saddle is like making a human wear human skin shirts. The night before day off is more satisfying than the actual day off. You're probably constantly worrying about the next part of your life without realizing that you're right in the middle of what you used to look forward to. One day graphics will become so real that the games will be all about gameplay again. If Harry Potter was initially rejected by 12 publishers before someone printed it, we could have missed out on so many more childhood shaping stories just because some people in suits decided they weren't good enough and the author gave up. And finally, who lives in a pineapple under the sea could also be answered with Gary. And this has been Schmeter Theaters? Is that what I said? Yeah, Schmeter Theaters by Tumblr. You know, you can tell a lot about a person based on the wear on their keyboard. If the space bar has a smooth circle in the center, they're a writer. If the West keys are all worn out, they're a PC gamer. If the Z key has been burrowed through the keyboard to form a hole through the desk, they're an artist. And if the keyboard is on the floor in a million tiny pieces, the user is a programmer. If I ever have a son, I'm gonna name him Altair, just so when he's sad or mad, I'll be like, Hey, what's the matter you, Altair? That's racist. You're racist! Well, I'm gonna name him Altair, so when he comes home from school, I'll be like, What's new, novice? And when he tells me that he failed the test, and that is why you will always remain a novice in my eyes. Really? This is what you guys are doing? Hey, hey! Game references. So the goats at my work were being mean. Bad and naughty kids get shame orbs put on their heads. Oh, and now they look like the Pokemons. I was curious about what the other side of the moon looked like, so I googled it and... I am so glad we got the side we did. The moon's ass ugly. You're so rude to Miss Boo. The reason her ass is so f***ed up is because she's protecting us from meteors. Her face is beautiful so her ass can be disgusting and we can be safe. Rude. Someone who hasn't watched Italia, please care to explain this. Dude, I've watched Italia and I can't explain this. Oh, there's a witch in these woods? Is she single? Bear me! Go and ask the forest witch out on a date! So, my firstborn child has been stolen. <sighs> your wife taking care of your child is not stealing. Oh, ship sailed. Why is every author a number one best-selling author? Why is every toothpaste the number one recommended toothpaste? Why do my parents hate me? Why is every movie the number one movie in America? Did he commit a crime? Where's the warrant? Ah, uh, no, it's his last day at kindergarten. It's for his mom. Oh! Good for you, little baby Komodo Dragon Man. Yes, Mr. Firefighter. Please, run away from the fire you're supposed to put out. Oh, Sims never change. If I ever become famous enough to go on talk shows and have fanfiction written about my character, I'm going to read fanfiction, follow the authors of my favorite, then go on Graham Norton or some show and discuss it in enough detail for the author to know I'm talking about their story and then end with, so now I follow them on Tumblr and wait for them to freak out. This is evil. I love it. People are lazy and will never do any kind of work for free. Meanwhile, Minecraft players. Wait, that's... That's, that's, that's in Minecraft? Somebody made that? What? Whenever I'm sad, I just imagine a bunch of tiny versions of myself working inside of my body that sing and push blood cells around and have romantic encounters and have sword fights with bacteria and have so much fun keeping me alive. I gotta take care of myself for the tiny people inside me. <laughs> Thank you, little friends. Now, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that is just the show cells at work, right? Imagine a D&D &D game, but everyone talks like golf announcers and you just soft clap when someone rolls a 20. Ah, great swing from the barbarian. Absolutely beautiful. And I do believe, yes, that'll be enough damage from the rogue sneak attack to kill the dragon. Varin the Black has pulled ahead in the kill shot tally for this campaign in a stupendous way. Well done. Although his overall damage is still behind Synax the sorcerer. True, that's very true. It's hard to compete with Synax's gratuitous use of area effect spells. Truly outstanding. 
And I think, yes, yes, yes. Grog the Orc has rolled the 20. Very, very beautiful. You know, there, there's always the, the, that speculation that the, the Orcs are bloodlust and hungry for war and just want to fight all the time. And I, I, I would like to clarify that that's not true most of the time. Some of us actually aspire to be different things, and I feel like I could be one of those ones that could, you know, break some new ground, you know what I mean? I mean, like, you look at me and think that I was built for battle, and believe me, that is what my father set out for me, and I, I just was not a fan of it at all. My brother certainly was, and when he came home for the first time with the skulls of his enemies at school, it just... I don't know, it creeped me out. It really did. I, I don't know if because I was young at the time, but it just was not me. So I I pursued different things. I I wanted to write, so I wrote my first book about, you know, growing up in my household. And uh, let's just say my father was not a fan of it, mainly because well it, I talked about other things besides war, and you'd think he would be mad about the things I insulted him. In fact, he actually told me he liked that part. Um, unfortunately, the, the first book didn't do so well. It got canned because it only, it only spread circulation among the tribes, and let's just say maybe I, uh, I did get a little angry. I, I found the first negative critiques home, and well, I, 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 I broke his house a little bit. J just a little. Not, not enough that he couldn't possibly go back to it, but enough to <laughs> send a message to him, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you know, when I did that, that was the first time my dad ever told me he was proud of me. And the irony of it all. The one time I finally get mad, and my dad is happy. And honestly, I didn't know how to feel about that at the time. But hey, orcs be orcs, you know what I mean. Bro, do you mind if I, like, put my Minecraft bed next to yours? Like, bro, we, we have to cuddle. <laughs> Unless you want to. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a joke, bro, right? Right? Oh, I'm sorry, there's a blackout. You can't go any farther until it's fixed. Then where the hell that stale bag got going? Look at your wrist. See the bluish veins? The blood flowing through them contains hemoglobin, a protein that has four iron atoms incorporated into its structure. Iron is only naturally produced in one place. It can only be forged in the core of dying stars. Every time you look at your veins, remember that you are built from and kept alive by pieces of stardust. Catfish simultaneously look like they possess infinite knowledge of the universe and like they have just the Mithi playing in their head nonstop. I now bound you two in holy macaroni. Oh my god, I need this ring. I need it right now in my life. Somebody, somebody proposed to me with this ring. Do it! Name one difference between birds and children. Children have eyebrows? Think again. Why does Snoop Dogg smile like he knows something you don't? He's been snooping around. Get out! A biblical-themed restaurant called the Garden of Eaton. One of the menu items is just a forbidden fruit, and when I try to order it, they kick me out. Well, maybe you should have learned from the Bibbles, Nintendo Weebo. Did you ever think about that? You probably didn't, did you? In an effort to keep the cats from getting fur all over clean quilts, I'm going to try to apply the if there is a circle, a cat will sit in it maxim by hoping that if there is a different color box of blanket on the bed, they will lie on it. Update. It took less than a minute for them to find and lie on it. Mission success. <laughs> cats are dumb. So I was playing The Sims and it was all cool, right? Then I see something moving across the floor. Like, bruh, is that a freaking plate? Thinking about a dishwasher? What? Oh, the dirty plate wants to get clean. <laughs> a female dragonborn paladin with the noble background is the ultimate switch. She can be the knight, the princess, or the dragon as circumstances require. Now I'm just imagining a scenario where through a series of misunderstandings, she's hired to rescue herself from herself. Well, doesn't that just have sitcom writing all over it? 
Like, oh, yeah, I, I saw the princess. Hang on, let me just, uh, just, just go over here in the room for a second. Witches and cowboys are the same entity, but just separated at night and day. Uh, I'm sorry, could you kindly elaborate on that, please? Certainly. Big silly hats, dangerous aura, wands slash guns, midnight slash high noon, robes slash ponchos, stockings with boots slash chaps with boots, magic incantations slash yeehaw and slangs, bruise potion, bruise alcohol, Ride brooms at night because horses are sleeping, ride horses at day because brooms are recharging, and can't swim. Also, moonshine is an alcoholic potion brewed by witches and cowboys. Moon to represent the witching hour, and shine for sunny high noons. My god. Somebody. Somebody write a story about this now! Oh my god, I love that kids that share too much information. Today a girl came in with her mom to order food and I told her I liked her dress and she said, Thanks, my mom stole it from Target! So precious. Oh, it's okay, Header. Oh, I know how anxiety feels. Today, I learned there are nerve endings that exist only to recognize a gentle stroking touch. Their activation decreases the heart rate and activates the smile muscle. Their optimal speed is 3 to 5 centimeters a second, which means we are genetically wired to cuddle and caress each other at predetermined velocities. So, um, anyone want to gently stroke me at 3 to 5 centimeters a second? I just called my new boss by the wrong name in a meeting in front of everyone. What happened next? Awkward silence from everyone. Nobody corrected me. I eventually found out a few minutes later when someone called him by the right name. Call him by the wrong name again, but a different one than you just used. No, call him by the same wrong name again, but forcefully and with eye contact. You're the boss now. Introduce yourself by his name and call him by your own name. You're the boss now. My girlfriend's on a cruise, so while she's gone, I'm gonna cut the sleeves off all of my shirts. Why? She's pretty much 85% of my impulse control. Oh my god. How to summon a dad. Make a circle out of power tools. Screwdrivers and wrenches will do in a pinch. Place a pair of socks inside sandals in the middle of the summoning circle. Chant, Hi hungry, I'm dad, over and over. And touch the thermostat. Oh, people calling each other other romantic pet names sarcastically at first, but gradually developing into genuine heartfelt affection as the story and their relationship progresses is potentially lethal to the likes of lovey-dovey bitches such as me! Dude, the switch from a girl worth fighting for to coming upon a decimated village in Mulan is the most kick-in-the-teeth mood change in all of cinema! That scene shift did more for our generation's understanding of the horror of war in 10 seconds than Game of Thrones did in 8 seasons, and it did it without showing us a single dead body. Just a doll. That's it. I'm covered in blood for sexy reasons. Also, I just got stabbed. Don't suppose there's uh, anyone here willing to tenderly clean, stitch, and bandage my wounds while calling me an idiot in an exasperately fun tone of voice, is there? Extremists kidnapped an American journalist in Iraq. They're about to execute the poor soul named... Clark Kent. Dude, imagine him trying to talk out of it just so they won't find out his identity when they're inevitably unable to kill him. And he succeeds and it turns into the story of this brave journalist who convinces captors to let him go. Or, Bruce sees this on one of the news and is just rubbing his temples and sighing before going to save him or asking someone else to do it. And this turns out that this scenario happens every often to the Man of Steel. <sighs> Alfred, I'm going to the Middle East before terrorists find out Clark is Superman. Is it Tuesday already, Master Bruce? And the Robins are taking bets on who succeeds first. Clark talking his way out, Batman rescuing Clark, or Superman just appearing and cock blocking the rescue. Introducing pre-cracked egg. Finally! Why is his neck like that? I enjoy. Bones healing stronger after they break is like when your mom does a double knot when tying your shoes. Your body's like, there, because you're a clumsy frick. Conclusion? Break all your bones here twice as strong! That's... That's just my hero academia, isn't it? Gonna go stand in a creek. Do you guys need anything? Yeah, I need you to find a leaf and gently set it in the water and watch solemnly as it floats away. Why have we all done this? The Eyes of God. Prohodnike, Bulgaria. Here it is at night. Pretty sure the first picture is also at night, but super cool regardless. Oh no, he's here. Hey, what's up? He'll never get to drive the molten steel tractor. Why even live? Mmm. Forbidden French onion soup. 
I don't understand the big obsession with pop punk. I can't hear you over how much I hate my town right now. Thanks. Character says, I like bread that one time. Fandom. Character has an obsession with bread. Bread is character's true love. Draws character as bread. Every meta joke in fan fiction is about bread. The character's room is wallpaper with bread. <clears throat> this is literally what happened with Travis and Tacos. Guys. Nintendo, we can't have alcohol in our child gambling games. Oh, but we have a solution. Vacation juice. Pour it into Isabel's mouth, you filthy animal. Dude, being a pessimist is great. I'm always either right or pleasantly surprised. Hey, look, it's the optimistic look on pessimism. Oh, God, the paradox is high in this one. Justin McElroy has said many powerful things, but honestly, no set of words in the English language conveys the same energy as, that's a funny trick to play on God. Your rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic, my friend, is a very close second. We can do whatever sins we want. There's no God here to observe us is very good too. The man who sleeps with a machete is a fool every night but one. Was also really good. Justin, you're a blessing on this world. How crazy is the English language that raccoon eating grapes could be literally just a raccoon eating grapes? Or grapes eating raccoons? My god. I don't like my language anymore. Oh, uh, look at this absolute baby I found at work the other day. She absorbed the secrets of the orange and cannot handle what she learned. Weakling. Fool that you are. She has gained the orange's understanding and therefore it's anger. I mean, yeah, it's a rather pale orange. It's probably mad. Y'all, there's a massive spider on my ceiling, and I don't know what to do about it. Did you try turning it off and then on? Oh, damn it. Is that how you beat Sister Location? Anyone else ever daydream for six hours straight, and then after you're just like, nah, let's scrap that, do that all again, but like slightly to the left. My god, who is reading my life? Brr, I stay hydrated. Or else. Side effects may include headache, nausea, suicide, cramps, spontaneous combustion, and anal rash. Meanwhile, the people in the medication ad are just having a great time. Such a great time. God damn it. I wish puberty took you to a customize your character screen. Do you realize how many people would be dragons? You say that like it's a bad thing. Sorry, mate, I can't talk right now. I'm being chased by a lit trail of gunpowder. Hey, what's that pouring out of your pocket? <sighs> oh my god. God! Is Mona Lisa single? Is Macklemore investing his money wisely? Is M just upside down W or am I going crazy? Is Masterpiece Theater real? Is my dad alive.com? Is making out with a piece of a meteor gay? What the f is wrong with the internet? A clown boy, half clown, half cowboy, says, Yeah! This is it! This is the worst post I've ever seen! My own two eyes are cursed. Meanwhile, early video game development. Great, did you figure out what to put at the end? Yeah, we put this tough, nasty, mean, ugly monster that the player has to beat. And we made sure killing the monster feels as rewarding as possible. Cool, so what's it called? The boss. W why is it called that? Okay, so you guys know how incredibly sexy Gogo's suit is, right? That cat suit's so freaking tight around her thighs and butt, obviously meant to be hot on purpose, you know, for a good movie. Just remember... This little kid designed that. Just remember that. Hmm. Diagnosis. Puberty. I mean, yeah, or just kid understanding good taste, because Gogo was honestly the best character about that movie. <laughs> am I right or am I right? Okay, bye bye There's something morally wrong with Pikachu's mouth. This is a sign of demonic possession and somebody needs to help him. I'm gonna give him teeth to see if that helps. <sighs> Why are they human teeth? If you had a room with absolutely nothing in it and the wall, ceilings, and floor were made of mirror, what would it look like in the mirrors? No. Holy crap, I asked my dad who's a physics teacher and he just looked at me, looked at the table, looked at me, tried not to smile, looked angry, and started to look up where you can buy big mirrors. Oh my god, I need results. Macbeth, upon whose Macbeth, took his final Macbeth. Ah, oh, reading this hurt. Macduff's life became Macduff when he saw through Macbiddy's Macbluff. You were there. And this is why you can't say the M word on stage. You guys ever think about how many eggs breakfast places like IHOP or Denny's go through? Like, dude, dude. <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I have the bubonic plague. I can't hang out tonight. Aw, oh, rats. <laughs>
Okay, uh, cis male, tall and lanky, brown hair that I always hide under my hat. I don't leave anywhere without it. Italian, Japanese, kind of a nervous wreck, terrified of ghosts, and my favorite color is green. Oh my god, would date you, you sound adorable. Wahoo! You fell for the Luigi trap! Now, I am your boyfriend! So my girlfriend is really country and I'm extremely punk rock, what do I do? Throw in her mosh pit and baptize her with the music of our people. Your mental illness is all in your head. Where did you think it was? My ass? Um, everybody knows mental illness is stored in the huevos. Mental illness is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this joke so much. Ah uh, yes, I love the FNAF humans. Phone guy, crying child, older brother, and... Killer grape. Fahukukwads. Uh, did you mean Fahugogats? Oh, 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 my bad. Ooh, the Homestar 1 of Wef wins. So what if doorbells went dong ding instead of ding dong? Hey! Don't say something like that. Any cookie is bite-sized if you try hard enough. <clears throat> um, any cookie is bite-sized if you try hard enough. I can't stop thinking about Batgirl's bathroom. The tub is literally in front of the door. Why is everything on one side of the bathroom? Is the rest of it all just empty? Okay, everyone in the notes is arguing that the tub is on wheels, or that's not a door. But no one is mentioning that she keeps the raw plunger on the floor. Yo, and what about that rug that seems to be laid underneath the toilet? Good lord, this is like one of those how many mistakes can you spot in 60 seconds puzzles. Did, did this comic artist not know how a bathroom works? Hi, welcome to Olive Garden. Would you like olive or garden? Barn falling off into a swamp. Photo by Peter Stratmuin. Yeah, if years ago you told me that signing up for the site meant I would someday empathize with a barn, I would have laughed so hard. <laughs> God dang it, it's relatable. Reverse werewolf. Turn into the moon when you see a wolf. Um, <clears throat> you. I don't like you. So imagine James Potter getting wasted and making a bet with Sirius that he could totally transform into his animagus shape, no biggie, and it goes fine. But then he's too drunk to change back. And muggles get confronted with this really drunk deer roaming the streets, pursued by a man who cannot stop laughing. These, these are the best. And these are the stories I wish Harry Potter told. Centaurs have six limbs and therefore are insects. Discuss. Oh, this. I don't like this. Why is there a pentagram on your floor? Okay, first of all, mom, it's not a pentagram. And second, what are you doing in my apartment? Oh, shit. I summoned my mom. My God, it's a parentogram. Wow, congrats on doing what Ed and Al could not. <laughs> God damn it. The root of all stomach problems. Avoid these three foods. Look at me. It'll be a cold day in hell before I give up eating banana skeletons. Hey guys, I think my sink is clogged. I'm deleting my blog. Did you make an unintentional rhyme? Oh god. Oh, I love bees. They're very important for the ecosystem and they're cute and big, honey. Bzz. Please don't hurt me. Hey, hey. I'm reporting this post because I'm in it and I don't like it. The council has assembled. We will finally decide who is the truest good boy. When you do something embarrassing in front of a lot of people. I must go before I commit more stupidity. Matilda is the kid's bob version of Carrie. Her words I never thought I would hear or see. And yet here I am, unable to unthink it now. Okay, but have you considered Carrie is the HBO version of Matilda? Oh, frick. Excuse me, I'm bi. I'm homeless. I have radiation poisoning. And I'm new in town. <laughs> I think my housemate is blasting party in the USA. We're in Scotland. He is Scottish. It is 4.30 a.m. Hey, everyone was American on 4th of July. The BBC Sound Effects Department, 1927. Oh yeah, it's another noise night with the boys. Dude, I love a guy that is just straight up holding a gun. Here's a pro tip for all you gamers out there. Oh God, that hurt to say. Glue a tiny mirror over your driver's license photo so when you hand it to the police, they'll get confused and arrest themselves instead. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs. Or alternatively, Professor Scabber, Snuffles, and Dad. Or alternatively, dead, 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 and dead. Hey! Fuck you! 
The atoms that make up my body aren't mine. It's just my time to use them. Um, Mom said it's my turn with the carbon. Wow, Purple Skeleton's going the extra mile. He's being extra spooky this year. <laughs> what kind of owl was Hedwig? Did you mean what kind of owl is Hedwig? Oh, Google is still in denial. Can we stop shipping real people? Can we, like, not do that anymore, ever? Uh, last time I checked, that was called human trafficking, and it was illegal. Um, <clears throat> I may or may not have just been informed that is not what this text post is about, even in the slightest. <sighs> Sorry. A barbarian warlord, a goblin king, a mighty necromancer, and a dark elven high priestess meet for one reason. To play Suburbs and SUV, the hottest mundane suburban family tabletop RPG. Roll a d20 to file your taxes. Guys, I just saw like the biggest iPhone ever. Technology is just moving too fast for me. Tablet? It was a fucking cab tablet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, when Tumblr gets inevitably deleted, let's all go on one giant Google Doc. We would all have to maybe each type with a unique color, or perhaps some other way of making our text entirely unique and recognizable. Or perhaps something unique about our typing styles. Something perhaps that one might call quirky. This is the Homestuck Police! Put your hands in the air! I, I don't know how to tell you this, Doc, but I'm afraid of the Backstreet Boys. Hmm. Tell me why. Minu <laughs> shower thoughts. Me, me, me. Adulthood is when you get excited for picking out the exact correct size of Tupperware and putting away the leftovers. As a blind person, you can never be 100% sure that you're alone in a room. The universal measurement for carpet dirtiness is how loud it crinkles when you vacuum it. Why is that accurate? All streaming services need a nap button assigned to the remote controller that instantly puts on your favorite show to nap to. So if you're drifting off during a new series, you just hit one button and boom. Your nap shows on. Writing a book is remixing a dictionary. A ton of whales is really only like half a whale. During the first movie, Donkey was constantly annoying Shrek in his swamp, never left him alone, and eventually Shrek just gave in and accepted it. Donkey is literal, unrelenting swamp ass. <laughs> Humans don't use the brain, the brain uses the human body. Stephen Hawking has one of the most recognizable voices, yet we have never heard it. Having a child basically ends your role as the protagonist of your life, and you become a secondary character in theirs. And then people start referring to you as the child's parent, and like, yeah, brutal dad joke. The fact that magicians do what they do without magic is way cooler than if they could actually use magic. That's a good point, actually. And finally, if you're really good at lying or impersonating someone and love doing it, people think you're a sociopath. Unless the camera is on and then you're an Oscar nominee. Mini mini. Shower thoughts. Mini mini. Oh, there are soulmates and then there are saltmates. When you and another person have an unbreakable bond by being salty about the same things. Hey, that's like 99% of my friendships. What up? Here's a pro tip about relationships. You can call them all sorts of cheesy shiest and they have to sit there because they love you. I call my boyfriend lover. If I ask him who's the cutest boy in the whole world, he has to stand there, whole six feet of grown ass man with a news anchor voice and say, I am. Oh, I call my very intimidating and hard ass butch girlfriend my sweet potato and she just melts. I love everyone's reply to this post, but this was the best. Wheel of Fortune. Puzzle. H E blank blank O. Category, greeting, contestant, I'm spinning! Wheel, $5,000. It's L! Pat says, there's no L. My god, this is a horror novel! Barry laughing my ass off. <laughs> the frick is a Texas bender? It's a lasso. Um, in Texas, we bend propane and propane accessories. They basically team up with the Fire Nation and cause some hell. God, I wish Pokemon were real! Beedrill is like three feet tall. Yeah, but let's be real here. If I meant I could live in a world with completely free healthcare and take tours across the entire countries on foot with super-powered animals or something else companions, I would fight a hundred freaking Beedrill at once naked with only a butter knife. Damn! Literally name one thing that's better than a dog. Uh, two dogs? Shit, you're right. Cool idea. Bind all controls of a game to the same key and see what happens when you press it. I'm gonna do it! Don't, don't, don't do this. 
ever again. The greatest trick the devil ever played was getting me banned from an all-you-can-eat pizza buffet. Why'd you get banned? Touch the rat. What What rat? Chunky cheese. I think you meant Chucky, but something about chunky cheese sounds way better. Quote the raven, swag galore, freestyle rapping at my door. Oh, god dang it, it's a Homestuck reference again. My god, it's Bones Malone and the Spooky Boys. Rattle them, boys! Music is just wiggling air. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this to me today. And color is just wiggling light. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. So artists and musicians are just magicians of the wiggle? Oh my god, what have you done? For millennia, dragons have raided and pillaged human villages for gold. Lately, however, they heard of something called wages, where humans will just give them gold for doing jobs. <laughs> yes! Capitalism saves the day! You mean, instead of spending an hour burning down the entire village and maybe stealing a hundred gold pieces, all you want me to do is just spend ten minutes lightly breathing under the forges and you'll give me twenty-five pieces each week like that? Every week. How will you afford this? Well, we won't have to rebuild the village once a month for starters. English is a difficult language. It can be understood through tough, thorough thought, though. You need to stop. Do you ever just stop and think, would my favorite character actually like me as a person? Hey, do you ever just stop and think, would I like this character if they were a real person? In cartoons, when they watch the TV, are they watching cartoons or regular television? Oh my god. Yellowstone. The mist surrounding the bison was because they had just crossed a river. Their body heat and the cold air caused the water to turn to vapor. <gasps> Ghost bison! There's actually a really very simple scientific explanation. Ghost bison! Hey, re reblog a bird. Picture a bird. Oh, crap. Uh, y'all aren't supposed to see this. Hold on. Y'all better stop reblogging this post. I it ain't done yet. Show us the bird. Ho hold on. I'm looking. Give us the bird! Bird located! Oh, this very picture far exceeded my expectations. Well done. I love it. Oh, hey, thanks, man. But it is time to cleanse your mind with the Schmoodaboos by Tumblr and Reddit. The child of a mermaid and a centaur has a one in four chance of being a normal human. The 2010s will be over in six months. Oh, no. The person who first discovered that coconut could be eaten must have experienced deaths of hunger many will never know. One day, you will place your last Minecraft block. If we genetically modify cockroaches to taste like potato chips, our descendants scrounging for food in the post-apocalyptic wasteland we leave them might not hate us quite as much. With all the predictions that Matt Groening has gotten correct of The Simpsons, it's entirely possible that Futurama is predicting the year 3000. And we will never know. The most incredible part of the Magic School Bus is that there are only eight kids in the class. Hmm, Voldemort is lucky he didn't need glasses. The fact that we all want to see a giant civilian raid on a military base suddenly shines a light on why we had so many wars in the past. Probably the most unrealistic thing about spy movies is when someone gets the USB drive in the port on the first try. And finally, you can't write the digits of pi backwards. And this has been by Tumblr and Reddit. Garnet can swim in lava, but where's oven mitts to bake cookies? Hey, Square Mom needs to set a good example for a fragile meat child. Be careful who you call ugly in middle school. Not because they might get hot or something, but because it's mean, jerk. Alright, someone who doesn't know anything about good omens, please explain this image. Dramatic gay goth dares God to smite him down because of minor inconvenience, whilst English major sophisticated gay husband and their children look on. Um, excuse me, he said someone who didn't know anything about Good Omens? I feel like I'd enjoy being an assassin if I didn't involve killing people. What if instead of killing people, you get hired to just ruin their day? Like the Mafia or someone paid you to park behind someone's car so they can't back out of a spot when they're in a rush in the morning and you make them late for work. Oh, I would enjoy that immensely. There's a long list of people that I would gladly do that to without payment. I think this is how your supervillain start. The world's tallest vampire, Count Everest, Mount Dracula. Well, who'd mind if I do? What? what? Oh. Oh, no. Yo, I just tried to take a mint like a frickin' ibuprofen. You snorted a mint? Boy, 
I don't trust asexuals because their brains are not distracted by the matters of the flesh. Where is all that brain power going? I bet it's going to the Overmind, where they are gathering strength to consolidate their hold over the world. You know too much. Warning, there is a cutie on the loose, last seen browsing Tumblr, probably reading this post right now. Description, it's you, you're the cutie. Place yourself under arrest immediately. You'll never take me alive, f Bro, are you still gay? Yeah, my contract actually just got extended. Thanks for asking. You know what I wanted more than anything else as a child? One of those ice cream pops from that episode of Ed, Ed, and Nettie. I wanted one of these bitches so bad, but my mom was like, You can't fill our whole fridge with water and fruit! And I'm still mad. Not gonna lie. Man, they do look good. Even when the banana is still a whole banana inside that pop. Minecraft 2! Enderman actually snaps your character's neck. I mean, that's basically what he does already. Yes, but now you actually hear the neck snap! Oh. Today I learned that Adobe doesn't like when people use Photoshop as a verb. Instead of saying, that image was Photoshop, they want you to say, the image was enhanced using Adobe Photoshop software. Do we have to pronounce the R symbol too? Yes, I just did. Get to it, batch. And finally, how to ruin a food imagery. Biscuits and gravy. But it's the UK term for biscuits. Hey. You want to hear a sentence that you'll either have no idea what it means or you'll hate me for making me remind you of it? <sighs> Draw a circle, that's the earth. My god, what have you done?! Really excited to go up to the mountain with my dad to sacrifice a lamb. Looks like he forgot to bring the sacrifice, but I'm just happy to take a walk with him. Hey, OP, any updates? Hey, OP? Master post of fish names I really like. Delta Smelt. Boops. Sweet Lip Emperor. Wahoo! And slippery dick. Well, I could say it's a fish. Heart reflection, Kingfisher. Jesus, I thought those were its legs. Make my way downtown. Honestly, the concept of doppelgangers is scary. But if I saw myself, I probably wouldn't be that terrified. Like I know she can't run for more than three minutes straight. I know she can't do basic maths. She's not gonna do anything. She doesn't even know what day it is. <laughs> Self-depreciating humor at its finest. Get yourself some ham belper herger. I'm high and this killed me. Dude, this knocked me back into a high just to kill me. Reblog if your URL represents who you really are. I am really Putin's girlfriend. Then we have a problem. I can explain it. When I was 12, my sister told me that Greek people went extinct and that's why we learn about Greek mythology in school. And I was like, but there's a Greek boy in my class. And she told me that he didn't exist. She's not wrong. Uh, okay. Fun fact, the word panic is actually from the Greek, Greek, oh my god. The word panic is actually from the Greek word panikos, which is referring to the Greek god Pan, who apparently shout at people who are alone in the woods and freak them out. Oh snap, those are career goals. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. What? Biology tells you you're 70% water. Chemistry tells you you're 60% oxygen. Physics tells you you're 999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Fighter! When all the weird puzzle shit bores a snort out of you and you'd rather stack dice till the fighting part gets here. Rogue. When you've never solved a problem in your life, and in fact have caused many, and you're just fine with that, honestly. Me, circa early 1800s. Paying a stable boy a few coppers to ride overnight to deliver you an urgent letter with a thick wax seal. That after you struggle to break it, just says, BITCH, in tiny little writing. No, 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 you don't understand the true level of spiteful here. The sender of a letter didn't pay for the post in 1800. The receiver did. You just made your enemy pay for the privilege of being insulted. I'm starting to see why messengers were getting shot. Writers always know exactly where they're going with their work. Are you sure? No writer does anything by mistake. It's all very strategic. Are you sure? They use symbolism in everything. For example, a simple sentence symbolizes directness and- Are you sure? The best moments in writing is when you discover you did something absolutely genius by complete accident. Honestly, Minecraft is a good game and I'll never forgive the internet for making people feel bad about liking a game about f***ing mining and building houses! You know what? Good post, OP. Remember to drink water, babes. No. Then become the dirt I walk on. Every post like this hits me so hard because OP always swings back with a new type of bat and I'm never prepared for it. This is obviously a misunderstanding. You knocked a cyclist off his bike with a pool noodle. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, you asshole! It is time to cleanse your mind with Speed Toot by Tumblr. Have you ever thought about how evaporation is just upside down raining? The most unrealistic part of Phineas and Ferb was that they had 104 days of summer vacation, and then school comes along just to end. Cats 2019 has absolutely no right to look that god-awful, but still get to have Jennifer Hudson sing memories that beautifully. Who made her do that? Game of Thrones is now just a Song of Ice and Fire fanfiction with a very, very large production budget. At night in the woods, a little girl's laugh is much more horrifying than a lion's roar. <laughs> People don't celebrate your birthday as much when you get older because the novelty of you existing has worn off. Ow, my feelings. In an alternative reality, Neo takes the blue pill. John Wick is the resulting timeline. The longer the haircut, the shorter the haircut. Dang. Texting someone next to you is the new whispering. And finally. According to dinosaurs, we live in a post-apocalyptic world. And this has been... By Tumblr. Yeah, he's sleeping on the charger to get warm! Ah, my heart! My heart! Oh my goodness, that is the cutest thing I ever did see. I want you guys to take this in perspective. That is a MacBook charger. Those are relatively small. And he just fits. Precious... Babies! The sun is probably the closest thing we'll ever have to a true Eldritch abomination. All right, hear me out here. Older than recorded history, was here longer than any of us, and will be here long after we leave, has a finite beginning and end, but is still incomprehensibly agent, burns itself into your vision instantly and can blind you if you look for too long, further prolonged exposure can cause cancerous growth, non-humanoid shape floating through space, colossal flaming tentacles angrily lashing out on occasion, sort of just appeared one day and is now surrounded by the corpses of its stillborn children, people used to sacrifice other people to appease it, pretty sure it screams at us sometimes. No, 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 man. The moon is where it's at. Source of countless religions and traditions, where we get the idea that three is a magic number from waxing, full, and waning, Follows you in cars, humans design calendars around it, pock marked witchy face, gunpowder smell, produces none of its own light, one side kept in perpetual darkness, mapped in Latin the language of witches, and moves the ocean where mostly witchy creatures live. Okay, guys, you're both right. Country rats wearing hats while I go give them pants. It's West Virginia! I love drinking Gatorade in a jar. What? Why? It restores half my HP. My three-year-old said our cat needed some rocks. Eh, <sighs> cat seems to agree. Look, the only live-action Disney remake I want is The Emperor's New Groove, and I want there to be no CGI. I want Cusco to be played by two actors in a cheap llama costume! My god, I'd throw money at that movie. There are snakes in my boots! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Love conventions. Imagine roughly a million people realizing, yeah, we could storm a government facility and they literally would not be able to stop us all. And not using that knowledge to overthrow the government. <clears throat> Post that put me on a list. Where do TV shows get this idea that high school is constant drama? Nothing even freaking happened to me in high school. Okay, now I'm remembering that my school got a slurping machine and then had to get rid of it two weeks later after someone poured toxic chemicals into it that they stole from the science lab and attempt to poison the entire cheerleading squad, so like... Maybe I was just boring. Where do TV shows get this idea that high school is emotional drama? It's all chemical warfare and espionage. Ah, uh, yeah. Now this is what I'm talking about. Oh. My. GOD I HATE THIS SITE! I DON'T NEED A TUTORIAL TO WRITE A TEXT POST! It's like a wise man once said, Tumblr may teach you to post, but they cannot teach you to post. That wise man? Well, let's say he's off somewhere, sleeping while his sticks are burning. Randy! Your sticks! BuzzFeed, 25 things you didn't know about Harry Potter. <laughs> Try me, bitch. You are angry about something. Clam down, I text you. You assume I made a typo. But in fact, I'm holding a small soldier clam in my hands. He died so young. War as hell. Today I learned the first website on the internet was a page explaining what the internet is and how to make web pages. It was like the tutorial for the internet we all skipped. Psh, I don't need no tutorial on how to use internet. Life advice number one. If you experience a breakup, wrap yourself up in blankets, eat chocolate ice cream, and watch horror movies. Works every time. I, I'm a solid testimonial to that statement. Does work. Asexuals are confused, bisexuals are confused, pansexuals are confused, homosexuals are confused, heterosexuals are confused. Everyone is confused as to why you think you should have a say about a relationship that doesn't involve you. This, this ended so nicely. And also how to do taxes. We're, we're confused about how to do taxes too. Writing style. Author from the 1800s with a severe love of commas whose sentences last half a page. I came out here. To this point, to this place, hoping against all hope and despite signs and portends suggesting otherwise that I might, somehow, find myself having a pleasant experience. And yet here I stand, alone against the world, feeling assaulted, attacked on all fronts, knowing not my enemy's name, nor his face, nor whether our battle is done. It, is that a, I came here to have a good time and I honestly feel so attacked right now, but by Oscar Wilde? Yes, it was. Exactly that. Behold, a goth. Out of every pun and play on words I've seen on this site, this is the one that makes me so unreasonably angry! Ah! It is time to cleanse your mind with these ah! by Tumblr. A plantain is a potato pretending to be a banana. Fahrenheit is based on how humans feel. Celsius is based on how the water feels. And Kelvin is based on how the molecules feel. In 500 years time, this will probably be known as the Oil Age. A lot of people still sing the alphabet song to remember what letter comes next. Many people's lives are simply one long trip between two hospitals. Everybody remembers a conversation in which they mildly embarrass themselves and are most likely the only person who remembers that conversation. Whenever someone enters the ocean, the sea level rises some amount. Speed runs are about spending the smallest amount of time possible playing a game, but to be good, you have to play the game for a really long time. Having a tattoo of an icebreaker will probably be a great conversation starter. Fortnite stole creative mode, note blocks, and 12 year olds from Minecraft, and Minecraft got them back. You know you're an adult when being the oldest is no longer cool. And finally, when you die, your skeleton begins to hatch. <laughs> and this has been Demonic Screeching Noises by Tumblr. Are you straight or gay or bi or what? I'm definitely what? One more down, thousands to go. What a vague and potentially concerning caption. Will you allow me to share some knowledge with you all, even if it makes me sound like a dumbass stoner? Smoking weed out of a bong requires all four of the elements. How does it require earth? You know what a plant is, right? This is what you people think you look like when you eat honey, but in reality you're just eating bee vomit and stealing it, laying on legs. 
You're right. The reason I eat honey is because I want to look like a mighty hawk soaring through the heavens. Reshare if you have a dark side. I'm resharing this because I too have a dark side. It's called a shadow, idiot. No, shadow is the black and red one. Don't you know anything about Sonic? Inside, we are all wizards, and we all know a spell called love. It does 60, 12 necrotic damage. The moon is proud of you, and so are the stars. And so is the sun. The aliens are watching you, you're a little confused by your life choices, but are proud of you too. Yo, let's raid Area 51 to say thank you to the aliens! Let's go, boys! And this is why you're all idiots. Apply garlic to a freshly open cut or burn to immediately intensify the pain. Tumblr, I am literally begging you to let me reblog your sh post ads, please. I always forget that vampires do exist in the Harry Potter universe, and it's like, Voldemort, I thought you wanted to be immortal. Why f with Horcruxes? You could have just been a vampire. My theory is that Voldemort just really, really likes garlic. You know, I know this is a joke, but you can kill a vampire with a wooden stake, which is just a thing that most wizards have on them at all times. Oh. That actually makes a lot of sense. Why is it so small? It's a baby. Thank you, Science Side of Tumblr. So, what if we all start using the Cats movies to make those crying cat memes instead? Like this. Hey, what if you chug your bones off of a bridge, OP? You ever thought about that? Get new sh out of my face. <gasps> the pose. The power. The presence. <gasps> the perfect. Behold a perfume bottle consisting of eight enameled glass bottles as orange segments set in a painted ceramic holder. CA 1925. Yo, why did 1925 people get a thousand percent cooler product packaging than we do? Well, when crack is allowed in literally everything, people get creative. What the frick? There's a North Dakota? There's a South Dakota? I thought it was just Dakota. The reason there's a Dakota is to make sure we balance both Canadian and Midwest energies. One Dakota would spell the end times. Oh, gee, sorry we, we, we ended the world, eh? Did I ever mention that time me and my friends combined forces to form Will Smith? Yo, this kind of shit is when you quit the match because this team is way too well coordinated. Yeah, I, I would fold right away. What is it about being on a plane that makes people go buck wild for ginger ale? Literally everyone be ordering it! Um, ginger ale is supposed to help settle your stomach if you're nauseous so people get it on planes if they get plane sick. Ginger grows in the ground so it keeps you connected to God's earth while you're thousands of feet up in the heathen tube! Some of us just like ginger ale, man. The heathen tube! You know, we make a lot of jokes at the expense of furries on this site, but let me be clear. If there were a couple furries on the Sonic design team, we wouldn't be in this mess. Yo, and I'm bringing this back for the catch trailer. Just one furry. Just one furry could have prevented this monstrosity! Yoink is the opposite of yeet. But it's just as fast. The Lord yeeteth, and the Lord yoinketh away. Ye old Beyblade, let thou rip! Don't invite me anywhere last minute. I enjoy doing nothing, so I need to know ahead of time if my plan to do nothing needs to be changed. Take notes on that, please. Bears have absolutely no right to be as cute as they are. I want to hug them and pet them. They're big fluffy dogs supersized. This thing is one of the most dangerous predators in North America. It's bulletproof and it could kill me in milliseconds without breaking a sweat. And just, just look at his big old paws and his big old nose. His little ears. <laughs> I'm going to defeat you with the power of friendship and this gun I found. As I think about it now, kids, maybe the real treasure was this gun I found along the way. I walk this lonely road, in my bag I have a giant toad. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and this giant toad. Murmur, murmur. Okay, hear me out. Playing a healer is not actually bottoming for gamers. It's definitely topping, or at the very least, power bottoming. You decide who lives and dies. Playing tank, on the other hand, that's bottoming. You take hits for everyone else and beg healers for heals. Oh, daddy, I'm squishy for healies. You are excommunicated from the Brotherhood of Tanks. How dare you tell our secrets? Today I saw a cat who immediately and casually hissed at me on sight, but after I said, that's rude, he meowed politely. Aw, see, we can all learn from cats. You know, every machine is a smoke machine if you operate it wrong enough.
I'm gonna show this to my production manager and watch her head explode. Technically, we're all always LARPing because the self is only a construct. Yo, I want a new character then. Then make one. Wow. Then make one has the same energy as then perish, but like opposite. Same and opposite. Whoa. Writing prompt. Your character lives in a world much like Avatar The Last Airbender, where every person can control and manipulate one specific element out of the 118 found on the periodic table of elements. Fam, I hear you bitches! Ah! Hey man, you see that guy over there? Hi. He thinks Sword Art Online is the best anime ever. Hi, mm. coffee dance romantic, Bobby! You split the cost of a $5.47 coffee between three credit cards, then reached into the tip jar for the change. Yeah, I saw it, I do! Think I got a shot at this job? No, actually, that was the worst interview in the history of interviews. I have to fire you before ever hiring you. I have to double fire you. <sighs> it's a nice day out. I could play video games with the window open or take a walk somewhere. I'm going to argue with someone on the internet. Uh, so I'm sitting here in the booth, trying to get ready to do this, because I knew as soon as I asked this question on Tumblr, it was gonna go insane. And sure enough, it did. Like, I am genuinely shocked at how many people wanted to ship me with Deku. He's a babies! He is some actual babies on My Hero Academia. You can't do that. But I digress. I have a job to do, so I gotta follow up with what the question was. Because as if it, if the whole Deku bit before that didn't make it quite so obvious, I asked Tumblr which fictional characters do they ship me with. And well, let's just get Deku out the window because no, no. CHILD! These are babies! No! But we have a lot of good answers. So I'm gonna go through them right now. And I'm gonna tell you yes, no, maybe, perhaps, maybe another time. So you say, we all buckle up and we do this and Lord help us, probably gonna die. Alright. So let's go, let's go down the first part. Let's see. Uh, ba ba ba. Spider ham. And that's all I shall say. I'm gonna give it a solid yes! Because it's John Mulaney, and I do enjoy him immensely. I'd be cool with that. Hey, Jitawa, you asked for it, and I answered. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a Danganronpa character. Um, my first general rule, if I'm gonna date somebody, I don't want them possibly linked to murder. So, no, that's not gonna happen. <sighs> Sans from Undertale. You know what? Yeah, I like his jokes. It would be fun. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Uh, I I don't know. Is Toad an adult? What what is he? I, I'm just gonna say no. I mean, this would get really annoying after a while. You just talk to me like this all the time about his day, and I'd be like, Toad, Toad, I gotta love it with you. I just can't anymore. I just can't. It's it's definitely you in this relationship. I just I just can't. Well, gosh golly, you asked for it, buckaroo. I hereby ship you with Quirrell from Hollow Knight. Oh, boy. Hollow Knight series. Oh. Oh, I like his hat. Um, you see, that's my issue. Is I want to play Hollow Knight, and I don't know the backstory to Quirrell, but visually, he looks cool. Probably a no, though. Guzma. Yep. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Totally. He's a good man. He needs, he needs loves. Guzma, call me. Don't tell me my PMC more. You spelt my last name wrong. How dare you? X Minecraft Villager number four ship isn't real. You just gotta read between the lines, my dudes. It's true. He had me in. Huh. I shall ship you with Chica from Kaguya-sama. Is that the... Pretty sure that's the cute girl who has the ending dance scene that's almost at like 60 frames per second. The most smooth animation I've ever seen on an ending ever. She cute. Maybe. Possibly. Eh. Keanu Reeves X Seymour, my new OTP. Hell yes. If that boy comes up to me and says I'm breathtaking, I'd be like, you, me, dinner, now. Your true love has arrived. Yes! Waluigi, thank you. Somebody understands me. Look at him. Look at the pose. He's just, eh. Give him a game already. 
And yes, I know Psycho Waluigi exists, but I mean an actual official Nintendo game. Yeah. Seymour X Xehanort? Which one? Aren't there like four or five? I don't know if that'll work. Either way, I don't know. Once again, I don't want to date somebody who was possibly linked to murder, and I'm pretty sure all of renditions of Xehanort are linked to some sort of murder. Oh man, this this one did five. Okay. Pat and Sanders, Sophie Foster, Connor, Agent Ohio, and Black Widow. <sighs> yes, sure, maybe, yes, hell yes. Crow Branwin. I will say yes if he answers the question, WHY HIS NAME STARTS WITH A Q? WHY? Minecraft Creeper, oh no. I don't want those explodies on my face, no. Papyrus, for the win. <sighs> well, I said yes to his brother. I'd probably say yes to him too, but I'm sure he would break up with me after like four or five puns. I just, I just don't know, man. Take all the lollies. No, 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 no. Get out. Go away. Be gone. Mm-mm. No. Akane Inuwaka. I didn't know who this character was, so I had to look him up. Um, maybe? I don't know. She's got a cool pose. She'd probably kick my ass. Yeah, sure, why not? Bat X the Ender Dragon. Well, our relationship probably would have worked out if I didn't steal her egg. Oh my, yes! Yes! Absolutely. Tiki from Fi- Hold up! Naga's voice version, since I think that version of Tiki is older. She definitely looks like it at least. Yeah, all right. That, that one's fine. Yeah, we're good with that. Cool. Yes. She's awesome. I would also question, why is she the only manic cat with a British accent? Pat X Monica. No, 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 no. I've seen what she can do. No. Once again, definitely linked with murder. Beezlebub from Good Omens. Sure. Why not? They cool. I like them. Also, when I typed it in on Google first, I got the, I just wrote in Beezlebub and it showed me the, the biblical rendition. It was like, that's a giant insect. I don't think that's right. Patrick Seymour and Arthur Kingsman. Oh my God. Yes, absolutely. Arthur is a good boy. He needs to be happy. I was going to say a racer head. <laughs> Lordy, yes. Honestly, Fex in Tony Stark. He'd be great cameoing in your Tumblr reading videos, and you'd know it. he would never leave Pepper for me. It's just not gonna happen. I, I. So I gotta know, Vegeta from DBZ. <sighs> you know. I would have said yes to this, but I have to stand by my statement. Somebody who is linked to murder, and I don't care how much he had of a redemption arc, he still blew up like five planets with INNOCENT PEOPLE ON THEM! WHY?! DRAGON BALL! He's a bad guy through and through! He's murdered so many people! So many! Like, come on, man! She's welcome, da 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 I have not thought about da 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 in a long time. Long time, but I will always remember she's woe. And yeah. Dr. Stephen Strange. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, thank you. Any white hair demon. Austin! Swear to God, how'd you sneak into here? I can't believe you. You, 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 you. Probably. Jigalag, the Daedric Prince of Order, and or Biscuits. Oh. Yes, if he goes back to Sheagorath, I like him more. SCP-173. All right, I gotta, I actually have to look that one up because I don't remember that one. It's probably gonna be a dead obvious one. Uh, SCP-173. Oh, it's that guy. Okay, no, because our relationship would be very short-lived if I sneezed. He would just snap my neck, so no, no, no. I like how that's my reasoning. Travis. It's time for puns to take over the world. Oh, boy. Well, Travis's sexuality is definitely kind of left in the air because of me, of all the minigame stuff. Um, yeah, sure. Car Cat Vantis from Homestuck. Oh, boy. I feel like no matter what answer I give to this one, Homestuck fandom is going to hunt me down. But you know what? I say yes. A healthy sleep schedule and happiness. Nope, too fictional. Mm-mm, nope, it can't happen. No, too unrealistic of a ship. No, 
Flynn Rider, a.k.a. Eugene Fitzherbert. Yes, I did Google how to spell his name. Yeah. Sorry, I had a deep need to use this. Oh, oh, Shoshone Maru, I would always say yes to you, buddy. My God. I'm sure he's murdered, but, I mean, look at him. Look at that face. All right, working our way down the pipeline here. What do we have left? We're probably towards the end of all this. Uh, what else we got? There's got to be one more. Oh, there's two more. Okay. Everyone UVA at once. One big poly thing. My God, the internet would explode. Also, that is a gigantic, gigantic orgy for one. Cue the music. And we got one more. One more. Let's see what we got. Habuski. Rem. My God. Get back, Subaru! You done! Well, this has been a lot of fun. I'm definitely questioning my sanity now, but this is apparently what happens when you ask such a question on Tumblr. Okay? All right. I'm gonna go lay down now. Bye-bye. <laughs> where, where did the cup go? <laughs> okay, I gathered the firewood and got the food ready. Did you set up the tent? The tent is already pitched. Hey, are you talking to those online people again? Yeah, Dad. That's great. It's good that you can hold friendships with people regardless of distance. I'm glad you surround yourself with friends. Hmm. Okay, this is my first unboxing video. I'm going to unbox the joke box, where they promise a joke in every box. All right, here we go. What? All that's in here is a mirror. Oh. Oh, he thinks he's being sneaky. Who's being sneaky? All I, all I just see is a box. I don't know what he's talking about. FYI, the name Dennis is derived from Dionysus. That is all. This means Denny's. Yo, Denny's is absolutely the domain of a god of chaos and revelry. It's true. All right, punks, listen up. Don't wear your leather jacket on hot days. You could get heat stroke. Remember, being punk is only fun when you're alive. And always wear two pairs of socks under your big leather boots. So there's nothing punk about getting blisters. And not everyone wants to rock out as hardcore as you. Always ask what other people are comfortable with. It's very punk to ask how people are feeling. And this has been Punk Responsibility. By the way, whoever shared this, activate your Windows account already. Is it too much to ask for a rival around here? A charming foe? An opponent to engage passionately in a battle of lips? I mean, wits? Fuck. So, who's gonna DM at my wedding? Roll for wedding vows? Oh crap, it's a nat one. Me. Husband, I say nervously as I accidentally knock out the marriage efficient and somehow eat the ring. It's been scientifically proven the person reading this is the cutest and is beautiful. Show me the science you speak of. Here's a pie chart showing you how cute you are. Well, can't argue with science. God, Jesus, this heck windies. I turned down my graphic settings and made a PB and J. OP, fix it. Boba actually means boobs. Wait, no, 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 to Google. Oh my god. Bitch, what the f- We been drinking titty tea. Candles are how we keep fires, pets. This is unnecessarily adorable. I'm gonna name mine Franklin. Snowball for me, Feels pretty good. Because there are always pregnant people, the average number of skeletons in a body is higher than one. I never needed to think about this, but now I'm reblogging it, and all of you can suffer as well. You're welcome. Hey, did anyone hear the news that scientists have actually been able to figure out the most common key that old pirate shanties were singing? In my opinion, it's really interesting. Like, they found and analyzed lots and lots of sheet music that they suspect was inspired by all these old shanties. Since all the music was written by people who are believed to have been former sailors or even former pirates. And the neat part is that, statistically speaking, almost 90% of them are written in the same key. I mean, obviously, it's not confirmed 100%, but it looks like almost all pirate shanties were sang in a high C. GO TO JAIL! HIP PARKOUR! Okay, sure, Tumblr made us hate the idea that our bones are always wet. But if they ever started to dry out, you would panic. My brain after losing an online match in a dumb way. Oh, surely, you must be joking. They must be joshing. They must be drinking joshing the living pack out of me right now. I want to meet the guy who looked at a celery god's flavorless green water stick and was like, I bet this can make soup taste better. Game pitch. Five Nights at Freddy's Remastered. But it's actually six hours real time a night. 
Have fun. And now, Dr. Pepper, a.k.a. Barbecue Sauce Soda. That is all. Air day. Yeah. What is Mountain Dew other than sweet and sour ginger ale? Hmm. All right, here's a visual pun for all you. What happens when you share a satanic summoning on YouTube and accidentally swear? You get demonetized! Okay, and what do we do when we're sad? Um, use puns more, down a shot of cold brew, and blast music about how much I hate my town? <sighs> Not even close. I'm sorry, did you say JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? No! Jar Jar's Bizarre Adventure. Misa gonna make my stand! New internet rule. Rule number 11-18. If it exists, there is a Minecraft parody of it. Also, if you understand what 11-18 means, you've been playing Minecraft for way too long. Like me! And before I go, I have an important announcement to make. Horses walk on their toenails. That is all. Enjoy your sleep. Ah, yes. The avocado. The king of green food. Please, I'm so hungry. You be the avocado. There's so many Dark Souls-like games. Only few of your ilk deserve the avocado. Yar, it be me, a pirate. Here to tell ye the world not be flat. If it was, what would ye do anyway? Your bills would still be due tomorrow. The government still be taxing your hard-earned funds. Yay! All right, hell's full. I'm making a new hell. I'm calling it Hell to Electric Boogaloo. You think they will like it? You're right, their opinions don't really matter. Slap competition. <laughs> More. Nah, bro, you win. I stole this leg. I'm getting older and older. I no longer wish to fight, but rather surround myself with love. As I get older, though, I get less and less friends. I've already seen many of my friends move on or die, reminding me that someday I too will leave the friends I have or die. I just want to enjoy whatever time I have left with the people who care about me. Sir, how much longer do you want me to hold your blizzard upside down? Do kids these days know about glomping? What is that? Hehe, <laughs> woo! What the frick? My god, the world has changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Much that once was is lost. For none now live who remember it. No, but seriously, what's glomping? You're too late, Spider-Man! Weed has been legalized! <laughs> You're the one getting smoked, Gabby! Oh god, I gotta sneeze, I gotta sneeze! I need you to hold in that sneeze or else my spices will be ruined! Sitting on and touching warm rocks. Ah, now that's the good stuff. Are you a, a reptile? What are you, a cat? Mind your business! Life-size Breath of the Wild Guardian at Nintendo of America headquarters in Redmond, Washington. Do not touch. Like, I'm not going to be keeping one eye on this at all times, at a distance, so I can get out of its eyesight as fast as possible if necessary. Ooh, actually, better concept. Hang out near this, and then play the Guardian Has Spotted You music, and see whose flight instinct acts up. Yo, that's actually a good idea. Behold, Kool-Aid baked chicken wings. I'm convinced that Jesus canceled his second coming a while ago. Yo, watch these be fire, though. Guys, I have a really, really hot waiter. Guys, he came back with my food and said, careful, the plate is hot, too. So I asked, too? And then he touched my shoulder and made a sizzling noise. I'm freaking out. What do I do? Him. U.S. things that I only know from the internet slash TV and that I won't believe until I've seen them with my own two eyes. Girl Scouts selling cookies, garbage disposals, regular school assemblies, PSAs, coupons, Oh, God, I can't believe I forgot. Cheerleaders, serious school sports teams, and Spirit Week. Still not convinced this isn't a myth. I, I can't believe in an industry ripe with falsehoods, you managed to list everything that actually exists. Reasons why Highland cattle are obviously the best. Reason number one. That's it. That's all. That That's the post. I have three Highland cattles, and I can confirm this is the only reason you need. Look at that baby! Guys, there's a fudge recipe on a headstone. I feel like I should make this just to be able to say a dead person taught me how to make it. <gasps> Maybe I'll do it for Halloween. I desperately hope that she spent her entire life telling people that they could have her fudge recipe over my dead body. Oh my god, that's exactly what it is! Probably bad RPG ideas. The party is all half human, half other races looking for their shared human parent. Change your URL, OP. 
<laughs> the human bard when he sees his gaggle of bastards stumbling into the tavern. Why is it always the bard, and why is it always true when it's the bard? Oh my god! Does anyone else secretly have that I liked it before it was cool complex, but won't admit it? It's more along the lines of you guys were f***ing making fun of me for liking this before it was cool kind of complex. Also, I super excitedly tried to show this to you years ago and you brushed it off and now you think you introduced it to me and that is infuriating kind of complex. All of the above. How to make a story better. Add dragons. How to make it even better. Add dragons you don't have to kill. You, you're promoted. Best idea! Make the dragon the protagonist. Yeah, <laughs> the protagonist. That man is our new president! Yeah, this is pretty much my senior report card. How do you fail lunch? What a strange cat. That's not a cat. I let you pet its belly without biting. Dogs like rolling over on their back. Baby dog? Ah, oh, look at this weird dog. Pat my belly forevermore. So, uh, did the guy sneeze? Did you ruin your spices? This I must know. Ah! Strive, I don't know what you're planning, but this is suicide. Strive, did you hear what I said? I have to try. Okay, but you guys are aware that I am 18, right? I'm not, I'm not a baby. I'm so close. The stars are right there. I just need to reach them. No. I am not done. I am a Starlight Brigade member. No matter how many times we get thrown down, we lift up! Okay, can someone explain to me why the ninja guy is just staring at me with full of hate? Or he's just like that, leave him be. The two R's in J.I.R. Tolkien stand for rockin' and rollin'. Down to the Grey Havens I'm strolling, but the eagles poke at my head. Not fun! I said eagles. Mmm! <clears throat> Stop it now! <laughs> oh, this is a great way to start this. Because nothing starts your day off right like Darth Vader crying heavily over your naked body. <gasps> You're his Natalie Portman. I love that Team Rocket is in Pokemon Go now, but I just can't take them seriously because their main goal is to steal items from Pokestops. But like, Pokestops are free? You don't have to steal them, you can literally just walk up to a Pokestop and get the items for free. It's like stealing a balloon on free balloon day. Actually, it sounds like they managed a completely accurate representation of Team Rocket. Which is better, a dog with a backpack or a dog in a backpack? Clearly, a big dog with a backpack containing two smaller dogs. <gasps> oh my god, it's true, look at that face! You know, it's astounding that Maple Story YouTube videos came back around in the form of Gotcha Life videos. I've been on the internet for way too long. What is Maple Story? Jesus, my hip! Who said Ferraris aren't family cars? Heh. <laughs> because the air from the grill is diverted out those channels, that baby will be launched out at sufficiently high speeds. Fantastic. Yeet him on the I-88. None of y'all know what propaganda actually is, do ya? It's when a British person takes a good look at something. <laughs> The funniest thing anyone has ever said to one of my posts. Thank you for your service. <laughs> and if you don't get it, say propaganda in a British accent or a copy accent. Yo, if the Evans family had like any more daughters, they end up calling them like Flora, Cactus, and Eucalyptus. Imagine Harry's mom being called Cactus Potter. Just imagine it and giggle a little bit. Nobody. Absolutely no one. Me. We're a walking brain that decided on what to name our brain. Stop! Go to sleep! Why do they call it toilet paper? Maybe because butt napkins sound stupid. Or great. Your butt napkins, my lord. Pentagon, hexagon, octagon, his parents gone. I won't apologize and you can't make me. What did I do to you to have you hurt me this way? Why do you gotta go after my boy? Why are there straps on his leg? I'm laughing so hard. Power to the main thrusters! All systems are go! We're going turbo shit! Ah! One day, I want to take a video of Yardstick straight up hurling himself into the void. Cats have no conception that there is a future. There is just now and the jingly toy. Your cat's name is Yardstick? He has three feet. Ah!
Oh my god, that is the perfect pun name, I love it! Drink your school, stay and sleep, don't do milk, and get eight hours of drugs. Yes, sir! He looks like he followed all of that advice. Call out post to NASA? Why aren't you exploring the ocean? It's literally right underneath us. You can send a robot a million miles into space looking for aliens, but not through the giant void that takes up the majority of the Earth we live on. Please, I'm scared. NASA knows. NASA has seen the dark beneath. NASA's urgency to leave the planet grows ever stronger. <laughs> you have skin? Hey, everyone, look at this unevolved weakling with skin. What? No, I, I don't have skin. <laughs> who, who, still, who still has skins these days? Like, come on. Oh my god, please, no Halloween post just yet. There's still two months left. Did, Did someone, someone say Halloween? Halloween? Gentle reminder to not eat too much candy before bed. No. This was a gentle reminder. Yet your words of defiance bring me ungodly amounts of rage. Cell phones have two brightness settings. Dim and the Messiah is back. The worst is when you check your phone in the middle of the night and it's so bright like, no! Today I learned the sun constantly produced a roar of around 290 decibels. If sound could travel in space, it would still be around 125 decibels by the time it reaches Earth, around 13 years later, around the volume of a jackhammer. Oh, so the, so the Rick and Morty screaming sun was actually pretty freaking accurate. Oh god, I'm scared! Do dogs think in barks? For those that wonder about Carr's anatomy, here's Thomas the Tank Engine's true form. I am so uncomfortable! Can you do an e-girl Barney the Dinosaur palette? Sorry, oh, what now? I painted a boy. This painting right here, the boy, a boy is gonna be like one of those paintings and in like 30 something years you'll see in art books for college. I can feel it in my bones. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you gay? Why? Well, it started off as like a seven day free trial, but I forgot to cancel, so here we are. Why ghosts pass through walls? Ghosts continue to follow the routes they used when alive, even if the house has been rebuilt since that time. This is why they seem to climb upstairs that no longer exist or are able to glide through walls. Hello? I hate what you've done with the place. Oh, you've redecorated. I don't like it. I acknowledge that this house has had renovations, yes, but given that it's a stupid-ass renovation, I've elected to ignore it. So bite me, Sharon. Oh, wait. You can't. Barack Obama joins Lin-Manuel Miranda on a Hamilton remix? Kick it, Barack! Here's where Obama's rap solo comes in. Ugh, I hate this. <laughs> you can't reinvent Homestuck if Homestuck was a prophecy the entire time. Sometimes I'm tired of being nice. One day your femur will be mine. Wait, wrong block, wrong block! Guys, stop reblogging this! No, I'm precious! <laughs> you know, I like to think that I'm a very average man, and I do relatable things, and then I remember. I'm standing here making rice for dessert. My god, I'm a freak. Mortal, your heart is balanced with the feather. You are on the precipice of both heaven and hell. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, were you like the first furry? Hell it is. Hey, Captain Rich, shouldn't you be out fighting crime? There's no need. You see, I bought the student debt of every person in the U.S. and told them for every crime they saw, I'll clear a thousand dollars off. Holy sh- what the flork? Hey, man, you doing crime? What? No, I, no, I'm just existing, man. I'll freaking kill you, you crime guy! Mmm, outsourcing. Basic economics. You've been listening to the same fucking anime opening for the past four hours. You don't even know what they're saying! Yeah, but I feel it in my Kokoro. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Satan, what are you doing here? Those who are having a hard time. Whatever you're thinking, don't do it. Hell isn't going anywhere. Don't rush. How do you know I'm going to hell? <laughs> yeah, good one, man. Give me your mouthwash, I want to get drunk. Mouthwash has alcohol in it, right? No, I use the kid's kind of mouthwash because I like the cotton candy flavor. Well, that's nothing a little rum won't fix. What wrong, amigo? I feel like I'm behind all my friends. That no matter what I do is not good enough. That since I don't know what I'm doing with my life right now, I'm a failure to everyone who loves me. Well, the truth is, very few people know what the f*** they're doing, don't sweat it. Go at your own pace and figure out what works for you. Just don't give up and keep working hard, man. And that is where children come from, sir. 
may refuse to believe the pull come from the same place as me. Oh my god! I figured it out! Game of Thrones is anime plots for non-anime watchers. Think about it! The first man who milked a cow was up to something. It is time to cleanse your mind with... <laughs> by Tumblr. If Hilary Duff's fiancé doesn't start calling himself Duffman after the wedding, then what's the point? All someone needs to do is genetically engineer a horse to grow a horn, and that person will be rich. Everything in the air is a UFO until you can see what it is. Seeing CGI in movies back in the day was impressive, but now seeing less CGI is more impressive. The odds of you being born were infinitely minuscule, but it seems common because we don't know anyone who wasn't born. There has to be someone in Gotham that thinks Bruce Wayne is a little bitch because he always disappears when the bad guys come around. Goths are actually just shadow hippies. Old school cameras were so low quality and blurry that it made people look better. Now it's so high quality that we use lights and filters to do the same thing. What a world. There was probably a time when Romeo and Juliet both die was a pretty massive spoiler. And finally, we're really lucky no tinier humans evolved alongside us. Like sure, there are monkeys and apes, but imagine a pack of tiny naked stupid men running alongside the road like it's a normal thing. Like seeing coyotes and squirrels. And this has been... <laughs> So I get asked, what is the process behind creating the voices for Travis, Terry, and Brendan for AFMAO? Well, Terry's is basically me impersonating my dad. God, he's, he sounds very close to me, but he has that same sort of gruff and this and everything to it, so it was pretty easy to figure him out in the long run. Brendan is more of like if Bolin meets Patrick Star, so it has like some goofiness to it, but like it has genuine heart and like can be taken seriously every so often. And Travis is just... me. Really. There's really not much I have to do for that one. Maybe just... enjoy tacos and butts more of the realistic and anime variety. Anyway. And that's how it's done. Voice magic. So now my hair's dried out from the oil, I was asked to do a luxurious hair flip with it, so... <laughs> Yo, if we ain't calling the 2020s the hindsight decade, then what is the point of living, really? When you cute AF, but also possessed. <laughs> What's this? Alternative dogs according to the internet. Forest dog, water dog, noodle dog, and hoof dog. I also forgot about sky dog, which is a bite. Alright, Dumbler, or YouTube, whatever now, consider this. Uraka, plus Pokemon themes, equals that. That, that, that's all. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. A medieval-themed restaurant catered towards partners only, called Date Night. Alright, so the Breath of Wild stream viewers now know my dark secret. I love fish people. Look at all of them. Perfection. It is now Halloween, so saith the Oreo! It's a curse, but an intriguing mod idea. Ocarina of Time slash Majora's Mask Link with Wind Waker's voice pack. Like, it, it would be fun. But it wouldn't feel right at all. The dyslexic devil worshipper accidentally brought forth an eternity of Christmas after summoning Santa. Ah, uh, God, I'm sorry, guys. If this felt short, I just, I, I've, I've got a kink in my back. Can, can someone just shame it for me? All right, that'd be great. Things to do if you're a shapeshifter. Get into a place that horses shouldn't be able to get into, and then turn into a horse. Eh? Eh? A 392-year-old shark found in the Arctic. This guy was wandering in the oceans back in 1627. Dude, you look like shit. I hate that me being a dick to a shark is what went viral. And now it's on a video, Biff Dunderglutes. You are immortalized forever for being mean to a shark. Yo, buffets are PvP-enabled areas. I just saw a lady pour chili onto her pizza. What? She's enchanting her weapon. Abandoned Soviet turbojet train. I'm sorry, an abandoned what? Do you ever see something so aggressively fallout aesthetic in real life that your sense of reality is temporarily shaken? Ah yes, my two genders. Punk with boots, and punk without boots. And the third elusive gender, 
punk with a boot in the other shoe. Ah, yes, the cursed gender. PSA to my fellow college instructors, it costs exactly zero dollars to be understanding when students are stressed as f at midterm time instead of saying, lol, I knew it was coming though. I lied. This actually cost me $31 today because I bought a f ton of coffee for all my students, but you should have seen their faces. It was like I given them the Holy Grail, the Fountain of Youth, and the second season of Firefly all in one. What did Vincent say when he lost his car in the parking lot? <laughs> Where did my van go? Uh, the correct pronunciation of go is goff, you uncultured swine. F goff. Well, technically, British people pronounce it goff. And American people pronounce it go. And unfortunately, both of y'all are wrong. Vincent Van Gogh is Dutch, so his name is actually pronounced Van Kock. So suck my mm, free soup. You are going to be so, so cursed. But it's free soup. Day 77. No one suspects a thing. Wow, I was so focused on the one dog sitting patiently in the back, I didn't even realize. Well, it's just four dogs. What are you talking about? Okay, so apparently if a duckling imprints on a human and doesn't meet other ducklings, he ends up believing he's a human too. That's unbelievable. What if I'm just a duckling with an overactive imagination? What if I'm just a sleeping duckling and this is all a dream? Pretty sure they made an anime on that. And so, quote Aesop, I am tempted to smash you to pieces with my hooves, said the horse. So apparently John Mulaney was Aesop in 500 BC? John Mulaney being the modern form of the immortal Aesop isn't a take I expected. But it's a take I can get behind. Alright, not to be dramatic or anything, but I think I've actually spent about 10 months of this year being tired and sad. But at least you're gay, right? Yeah, at least I'm gay. Someone please edit some brains in a horse stable? You mean like this? Ah yes, mentally stable. I'm going to beat you to death with my sh- Mom, I'm pregnant with Greg's child. Say it, say it. <sighs> I'm pregnant. Hey! Hey, all the space monsters broke out! Dear lord, I'm not ready for this. There has to be something about this in the procedure book. Oh, fudge. Piccolo, I got him! Fire! Take care of my wife and kid after I die! Uh, you sure? Well, you know, on second thought- <laughs> Howard, I'm gonna be a hundred with you, Chief. I don't think watching a live execution will be good for me, like you say. In fact, I think it will be detrimental as I disagree with your statement about how watching death makes you appreciate life. Damn. Fine, I guess we are here about to watch someone die. Happy birthday, Kevin! We made you a cake! Y'all think I'm gonna eat that cake? You f <laughs> wrong, pal. I know where we work. It's got ca- I know what a f***ing <laughs> has on it, Brandon. <sighs> I hate this job. Howdy, pal! I'm a milk chocolate candy cotton treat! Have a bite of me! Yeah, I don't know, man. This is- this is kinda weird. <laughs> you think I'm f***ing <laughs> around here? I didn't ask you. I told you. Yeah, I made a voodoo doll, my friend. About to do some sh** with it. Oh no, my body's moving on its own! Oh no, I'm forcefully having a good day! Hey, my favorite food store. Well, it has been a long time since I've done this, but uh... Let's go ahead and read some of the comments on YouTube, uh, shall we? Okay. My brain interpret this voice as a sexy robot cowboy. I mean, anything's possible with the power of imagination. I'm sorry. That brain power is going into 200 ways to overthrow the government and the action stories in my head I can't get down on paper. Cool. We don't do kink shaming here. Oh, basic biscuit, please. Yes, you do. I've got a kink in my neck. It won't shut up about feet. There it is. So Uraraka becomes a drunken scot when she enters the gala region. Yep, that's exactly what I was going for, yeah! I wish I had a crowdsourced matchmaker. No you don't, BP. They're gonna try to pair you up with a neck-snapping clown peanut. We don't want it. I married Nelly off to Donald. He's young and turns now into not a one-girl army, but a one-girl military. Oh my god, Tony, you're a genius. The quality of this video is the same quality as how I can clean my room. <laughs> Uh, this can be interpreted in two ways. Either you're gonna say something nice to me, or I'm gonna have to find you, Madison Smith, and boop you right in the snoot. This Moravioli calls him Luke? Goodbye, Cannon! Uh, Sophia, I wanna know your train of thought between this comment and the next comment. You okay? I think you stopped caring about the tittles. <laughs> if it's shaped like an O, I will find a way, and as soon as I run out of O's, I'll start using U's. Get some nurse pants! Honey, you right. I agree. That is much pants. Same with your pants, pal. I got nice pants, too. He's got lovely pants. Okay. 
You have a very long username, by the way. But thank you for your compliment on my pants. Give me your soul, mortal, so I can copy paste into every single newborn because you are perfect to me. And nothing you could ever do could ever change that. Thanks. God, this video is going to keep me up at night until I get answers to exactly how much does Patrick Seymour know about Homestuck. Zoe Z, I've been here since the beginning. Hearing PM Seymour do memes, ah, my life is complete. Ah, Dr. Tex is new here. All right, so how many of you want my high school yearbook quote to be, one day your femur will be mine? Well, since I put it in a video now, Triangle, you best deliver. Kim Seymour, you are Travis from AFMAL. I like how that's like a declaration. Like I never knew my entire life. They're just like, I'm just sitting, they come up, they slam their fist on the table and be like, you, PM Seymour, you are Travis from AFMAL. Like, okay, I, okay, can I go back to enjoying my coffee, please? Okay. The thighs have one con. They are infinite, not allowing more cats. <sighs> my God, you're right. Sick, cruel angel thesis cover. Aw, thanks! These babies. He has returned. Yes. I talk about you. Babies. Come here. Sit down. What? Oh, he's like, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's what you wanted from the last video, oh, my god. It took me like three months to realize you just wanted me to scratch your butt in front of all these people. You're gross. You're gross babies. You're very gross babies. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah? Yeah? You're babies? You're still babies? Yeah. We love you though. Look at that face. Look at that face. Okay, gamers, this is our new AAA game, and it'll be a Stadia exclusive. Yeah, what the f <clears throat> is Stadia? Howdy, welcome to Painting with Me. Today, let's paint ourselves. Oh God, look at me. What a beast. Dude, are you still playing with fidget spinners? It's 2019. In 2019, we got. I guess all we got in 2019 is conspiracy theories and the feeling of impending doom. Hi everyone, it's me, Elon Musk. I made the cat girls you were all talking about. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I said I'd make them. I didn't say I'd make them well. Okay boys, what's your best hustle? How do you grind that bread? Well, I put a bunch of cooked top ramen in a styrofoam container and crush a bunch of flaming hot Cheetos over it because people think that's a topping now for some <clears throat> reason. Then lay a piece of salami on top of it and sell it on Facebook for $15. What's wrong, man? My house foreclosed and someone already moved in it. Ah, shit, <clears throat> dude. It is time to cleanse your mind. With these Shrek titillations by Tumblr. Jack Black is everything a kid wants to be. A movie star, a rock star, and a famous YouTuber. Your salary is your company's monthly subscription fee of you. It didn't matter what abandoned house they were in. Scooby and Shaggy always managed to find fresh produce in the fridge for sandwiches. Then that should be your first clue that all the haunted moments were actually done by our living person. Wouldn't it? The cigarette lighter in a vehicle has now come full circle. First it was used to light cigarettes, then used as a USB charger, and now the USB charger is used to charge your e-cigarette. Whenever you have a good dream, reality becomes the nightmare. Someone, somewhere, might be silently chuckling to themselves at a comment you made three years ago. The first car was made by a person who never rode a car. Leaving your house one minute earlier or one minute later could drastically change your future. Once you turn 18, your 6,570 day free trial has expired. To lobsters in the Titanic, the ship sinking must have actually been a saving grace. Your body is the portion of the universe that you can control using only your mind. After humanity's inevitable extinction, the next species can use our driver's licenses as trading cards. Whoa, is that a holographic Kevin with a heart symbol? <clears throat> 
Telling someone who has depression to be happy would probably make them more depressed because they want to, but can't. And finally, because that was such a sour one to end it on, cactus is a singular noun, while cacti is its plural form. And this has been Tractalations by Tumblr. My dude, we just woke up. It's time for wakefulness and do things and productivity, yo. <laughs> but we sleep. Okay, finally now asleep. No, wrong. If I ever talk to you at 3 a.m., please remember that's not the real me. It is merely a dark, over-emotional, tired version of myself who craves interaction. I'm so sorry. You've heard of mom friends, now get ready for... Anti-mom friend. They suggest every single impulsive thought that runs through your head like, Hey, what if you jumped into that pond in the middle of the night? To the group while the mom friend begs them to stop. Um, that's eldest sibling friend. You know what they say, be there or be square. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this and you all now have to see it. Today there was a flash mob set up by the seniors because it was their second to last day. So they blasted the Macarena over the loudspeaker and did the dance in the main lobby. But our headmaster knew about it, so it wasn't even funny. But whilst walking past the elevator, I found out why they really did this so-called flash mob. It was a distraction. They put chickens in the elevator! People always think if you want to hang out, like, you have to do something. Like, no. Invite me over to your house, introduce me to your pets, give me a plate of Oreos and your Wi-Fi password, and we can sit together in silence for hours. That's friendship goals right there. Bathtubs that can't submerge an entire adult body should be illegal. Okay, I know what you meant, but you sound like a murderer. <laughs> what if we shared our Minecraft beds? I'm sorry, did you say Minecraft beasts? Uh, what? No, I said- Here are the Minecraft beasts for you to share! How the <clears throat> fuck do people just stay motivated their entire lives? What drives you? I got out of bed once and I've been exhausted ever since! You need to learn to hate life to the point where you want to get revenge on existence itself. <sighs> That's the best advice ever. Sorry to break it to you all, but being a fan of someone is not a competition. In competitions, there are losers and winners. But in fandom, there are only losers. And it's all of us. Ha! <laughs> this is golden. Do you ever just know? Do you ever feel that certainty? That Mario's mustache is made of bone? Gold! Come the f*** <laughs> down! Uh, come on, kids. We're having a broccoli for dinner. I also hate this! And now you all have to see it! Tumblr owners be like, oh, nothing crazy. We just want to make a few changes. Maybe include some premium options, you know? Dude, we rioted when the background color changed from blue to blue, Mr. Tumblr Man. Hey, guys. I made a bee source pack. I hate this fucking <clears throat> website. I'm going to combine! Mocha. <sighs> it's the ladies. Hi, Poo Poo. Hi, Happy. Hi. This is the oldest babies. This is Abby. She made that one. She's adopted that one. She's a good mom. Yes, she is. <laughs> She's also a bit of a scared cat. Thanks, Zeke. It is time to cleanse your mind with Steven Universe's by Tumblr. We live in a time where it's faster to play a game with a complete stranger online than set up a couch co-op game with a friend. People who steal jokes from others but get a better reaction simply have a much higher charisma stat. The yawning is contagious. Someone might have started an endless yawning chain without knowing. Every time a new ship is put in the water, the ocean level slightly increases. If you think people are more attractive with a tan, you like people slightly cooked. There are many cells in your body at this very moment keeping you alive and defending you from many threats. It's a comforting thought that something in this world exists that wants to keep you safe no matter what. Try and give some of that love back to your body and your mind. You know you're a grown-up when you start thinking of business trips as little all-expense-paid vacations where you have to work but get to eat out a lot. Humans are designed to learn through experience. 
Yet the education system has made it so we can get no experience. The spiders in Harry Potter were terrified of basilisks because they have 360 degree vision and cannot shut their eyes. A microwave would still be 100% usable if its only button was at 30 seconds. Since we use chemicals to kill wasps, and wasps use chemicals to sting us, we are at a constant chemical warfare with wasps. And finally, you can't snap your fingers inside your mouth. And this has been Stephen Universe's Sir, sir, I'm drowning, help me! Oh god, hold up, let me check your credit score and see how bad the damage is. Damn, man, you are drowning with that 170 credit rating. Hello, fellow person. I would like to exchange this legal tender for crystal methamphetamine. Whoa, hold up, man. I don't take cash anymore. I only accept street cred. You can earn street cred by helping to plant trees in the neighborhood or chaperoning youth events. How many trees do I need to plant for the meth? Hello, everyone. I live in my f***ing van. Here's a video about me living in my van. This is where I sleep, in my f***ing van. It's hot as Satan's taints. For the bathroom, I just pull over and shit it on the sidewalk. Van life. I can't take any more pods. If I hear one more, I will die. Ugh, yeah. Hey, Juan, how many times have people made your name a pun? More than once. <laughs> Yo, why do we sacrifice people or animals to Satan? We should just sacrifice things no one likes instead. Are those engages? Oh, thank God you're here to help, Captain Rich! There's a famine and we need to find a cause! I don't understand the poor. Why don't they just give the money to their butlers and have them fetch food? Why are they so helpless? Piff, say something to all your fans. <sighs> really? Well, I hope you enjoy your eternal stay here at Freddy Fazbear's. Now... Let's find a suit for you to fit into. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty more fun and fantasy where that came from. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed the show, because trust me, there's plenty more of it to come. Well, let's just say I'm here because he wants revenge. You know, the one you shouldn't have killed. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you're the one who killed me. And I'm thinking while I'm here, I should help get revenge on everyone else you killed. <laughs> and uh, judging by your track record, we got a long way to go. It is time to cleanse your mind. With the sounds of anguish of the people who tried to snap their fingers inside their mouth from the last video to prove a point and realized it was a grave mistake, why would you do this to yourselves? Y'all, I love you, but man, why did you try to prove a point? <clears throat> By Tumblr. A burning popcorn factory would smell amazing one moment and horrible the next. If we just scan all the textbooks and put them online, we could save students thousands of dollars while taking about 15 pounds out of a student's backpack. Teachers tell us to be more mature, but then they punish the whole class for bad behavior of one student, encouraging us to have a grudge against them, which isn't mature at all. Never laugh at your partner's choices. You're one of them. In college, you just gotta accept the fact that no matter how much sleep you get, you'll always be tired. Find three hobbies. One to make you money, one to keep you in shape, and one to keep you creative. Some of the most brilliant and wise people always end up being the most oppressed, simply because they are more aware of their situation than others. In the next generation, there'll be a bunch of gamer dads who will tell their kids they could have gone pro. When humans colonize Mars, there will eventually be a flat Mars society that will believe that the Earth is a hoax, Mars is flat, and that Earth never existed and humanity began on Mars. And finally, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is the closest thing we'll ever get to a family-friendly Saw movie. And this has been Patrick's Rant from the Beginning by Tumblr. Aizawa's quirk is basically just nerfing. His quirk should just be called, Not today, motherfucker. My god, he has the power to be a Gmod Dark RP admin.
I would be so dangerous if I knew how anything worked. I mean, that's it. That that's that's the show. All right, guys. This is my first attempt at a creepy pasta, so go easy on me. <clears throat> Carpeted kitchen. What the f? Kids dressed as shadows for Halloween. Their mother bought black morph suits for them, then laid black clothes over those. This may be the scariest thing ever. Yo, how to get your children run over 101. Do you ever realize that you're going to be an adult for the rest of your life? There are so many other words in the English language, and you just had to go and say these. Okay, for all of you who are worried that there might be secret mind readers in the rooms, just try mentally screaming! And if anyone jumps or flinches, you know. Please don't! Ha <laughs> ha! Found the mind reader! Y'all better be going to bed at reasonable time. Don't make me tuck you in and kiss you goodnight. Yo, don't threaten me with a good time. Last warning before I sing your lullaby, f***er. <laughs> That's a weird dragon. Shut up, I love her! Actually, she would fit right in in Dragalia Lost. Me, shows basic human decency to the cashier. <sighs> Thank you! You're the nicest person ever! Uh, are you okay? As a cashier, I can assure you that the answer is no. Y'all... This old lady on Facebook got angry at me, so she threatened to call my job and report my rude behavior to my boss. So she got my information from my page. Are you still a cashier at the Krusty Krab? I'll be contacting your employer and your parents, relatives. She's going to try to call Mr. Krabs on me, y'all. She is going to try to contact Bikini Bottom. She is going to call a phone number and ask, Is this the Krusty Krab? And the person who answered the phone will have a choice to make. People who tell me I shouldn't drink lava, the media. People who lie, the media. Conclusion, I'm going to drink lava. Uh, I am a geologist with no association to the media, and I would not recommend drinking lava. <laughs> Get a load of big geology trying to oppress the voice of the people. Teach the controversy. Drink the lava. Last night I dreamed that scientists used a really bad picture of me to prove humans are closely related to goats, and I was so insulted I woke up. Wow. You slept? Bruh, which gender? Shh, don't worry about it, bro. Let's just keep playing Minecraft. I'm sorry, but if you're both pansexual slash romantic and demisexual slash romantic, and you don't refer to yourself as a pandemic, you have severely disappointed your pun-loving community. Oh my god, they're right. What have I done? So, like, I don't know if anybody has pointed this out yet, but Undyne's not just a fish girl. She's a Dunkleostis girl. It's the teeth that actually give it away. Anyway, so the Dunkleostis was an ancient predatory armored fish from the Salarian to the Devonian period. With thick bony plates all over its head, she really is an armor fish monster. Okay, but Dunkleostis. Toby! That's the egg of dust. They say whoever touches it turns to dust. Mark, Mark, help, I touch the egg! Mm -hmm. Well, Captain Rich, we don't have any Model 5 for Tesla, but we do have a new Model 3. How dare you insult my ears with that common filth. Hampton, kill him. Ah! Jimmy's last wish was not to be buried, but to be put on his skateboard and, like, totally let the universe guide him. Yeet! Do, do we run? It's what Jimmy would have wanted. He hated the police. This is Mario C. His name is Clark. Wonderful. What sort of OP power does he have? None. Okay, that's cool. Is he, uh, is he attractive at all? No, he's quite below average, honestly. Okay, well, what about an overdramatic backstory? Not really. His parents love him very much. Okay, well, like, where is he from? Hell? Magical forest? Connecticut. Okay, guys, this is Spot. Let me video call. Is everyone connected? Yeah, man. Yeah, your mom is fat and she sucks. That's okay, at least my parents can have all their bills on auto pay. It is time to cleanse your mind. With the sounds of anguish of the people who tried to snap their fingers inside their mouth from the last video to prove a point and realized it was a grave mistake, why would you do this to yourselves? Y'all, I love you, but man, why did you try to prove a point? <clears throat> By Tumblr. A burning popcorn factory would smell amazing one moment and horrible the next. If we just scanned all the textbooks and put them online, we could save students thousands of dollars while taking about 15 pounds out of a student's backpack. Teachers tell us to be more mature, but then they punish the whole class for bad behavior of one student 
encouraging us to have a grudge against them, which isn't mature at all. Never laugh at your partner's choices. You're one of them. In college, you just gotta accept the fact that no matter how much sleep you get, you'll always be tired. Find three hobbies. One to make you money, one to keep you in shape, and one to keep you creative. Some of the most brilliant and wise people always end up being the most oppressed, simply because they are more aware of their situation than others. In the next generation, there'll be a bunch of gamer dads who will tell their kids they could have gone pro. When humans colonize Mars, there will eventually be a flat Mars society that will believe that the Earth is a hoax, Mars is flat, and that Earth never existed and humanity began on Mars. And finally... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is the closest thing we'll ever get to a family-friendly Saw movie. And this has been Patrick's Rant from the Beginning by Tumblr. Alright, let's see what you guys are doing in the YouTube comments today, because why not? Let's do it again. My butt cheeks already clap when I run down the stairs. <sighs> Off to a great start. My sleep paralysis demon is now a YouTube video. Oh, God, no! Oh, Toby knew what he was doing. He knew. He always knows. Probably in like a whole century or something, Wumpus might just become a swear word or a way to say you're stupid. Alright, let's, let's test it out. <clears throat> hey, you! You're Wumpus. Oh, okay, I can see you working. Did I hear the noise of a very faint laugh of papyrus, or am I crazy? No, 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 it's probably the probably Mandela effect. <laughs> Foot cheese! I really... Because that video was a while back. I need some context to what that means. Hey, look! It's the millionth one of these! Congratulations! But, yes. I'm so confused. What the fun was playing in the background? Um, it's called art. That's it. Can't go any further than the dragon shouts. Connect forever, everybody. Aw, no more Hello Every Pony Bazinga for you, then. The LC one is how I like my OCs. Normal and not OP. Unless they're for a specific RP. Oh, <laughs> you and your naughty RPs, written rebel. Hey, person reading this. This either will or won't stick with you. I know you're reading this. Oh, God. Remember, this moment you're experiencing right now will just be a memory later. Your life is a memory. Have a nice day, week, month, year, or life. Uh, uh, uh. I wasn't expecting to have an existential crisis. I have to go now. Bye. It is time to cleanse your mind with the Sands and Smash by Tumblr. Okay, in Madagascar 2, in Motomoto's song, Big and Chunky, he describes his ideal female. He says, for example, like a big old spaceship. Yeah, so gracious. The fact that a hippo in the middle of nowhere knows what a spaceship is raises a lot of questions about the Madagascar universe. There are tons of people in the world who are passionate about things that you don't even know about. People assume that Courage, the cowardly dog, is either a misnomer or an oxymoron. But Courage was courageous because he could act in spite of his fear. Tall people are just vertically thick. Van shoes for kids are just minivans. If blue whales ever go extinct, future generations will look back in awe of this huge animal much like we do now after learning that giant sloths and lizards used to exist. Pets eat basically the same thing every day and are always excited to eat. Humans will groan at the first mention of leftovers. The saying, out of sight, out of mind, doesn't apply when you're in your room and you catch a glimpse of a spider and then lose it. Mr. Krabs adopted Pearl because whales eat plankton. Pretty sure they actually did an episode on that, but... <clears throat> and... Finally. Chicken salad is just well-aged egg salad. And this has been I Can't Believe Sans is in Smash by Tumblr. Ugh, I can't stand those dumb teenagers who insist on using da instead of the because they think it's cool. Leonardo da Vinci? Seriously? It's obviously Leonardo da Vinci, you uncultured swine. I can't believe you would insult Leonardo da Leonardo Vinci this way. <laughs> Why? God, why? One of the things my little brother and I do to each other is announce our presence by yelling, Hello! Whenever we get home, but 
This has caused our dad to also, upon getting home from work, throw the door open and yell in the daddest voice possible, Hello! Welp, you can those worms. Now lie in it. Why is Bruno Mars so weird about some girl opening her eyes while she's kissing him? I've been meaning to ask this question since 2010. How did Bruno know her eyes were open unless his were too? My god, this ask made me open my third eye. Why the f*** <clears throat> is Dr. Phil asking you this? <gasps> oh my god, Dr. Phil is the girl. Every plot line of Steven Universe, and don't dispute this, it's right. We're supposed to be a mindless tools, but I'm weird. That's called an emotion and it's normal? Oh my f***ing god. Yo, listen. Every single one of you is... Every single one of you is valid. That guy? That's Vinny the Ace, that is. Now, you'd think that's a county he plays cards real good, right? Well, you don't. Know, he's just a, uh... A, a, a sex. He don't like doing the horizontal mambo, see? McNerds, that was the greatest gift you have ever given to humanity. Thank you. Creamy is concerned you might not have loved yourself enough today. <gasps> I'll do it for you, Creamy. Wow, this is the most wholesome, creamy goodness I've ever seen. When people say evolutions in the later generation sucks, this guy, he just becomes angry. Okay, but this is the most realistic depiction of growing up, and that's why it's good! Your heart is the muscle the size of a rat. SpongeBob SquarePants! Date a boy with skin. <laughs> I, I have no caption for this. The snow goes white on the mountain tonight. For the sake of your health, please remain indoors. I... I just can't. How to get ready in the morning. Step one, stay in bed as long as you possibly can. Step two, speed run. I... I feel called out. You know, if you roll off the bottom of your bed at just the right angle, you can clip through the floor straight into the shower, saving precious time. It's also really effective to do that trick if your spawning point is in a studio apartment. Just saying. And guys... I have some opinions about D&D werewolves. Look at all of them. Yes. Yes. Yeah! It is time to cleanse your mind with the Sienna Hugs Your Faces by Tumblr. In the original Pokemon games, you benefited from getting a bike in the game. In Pokemon Go, you'd benefit from getting a bike in real life. If colleges didn't get paid until their graduates got paid, Colleges would work a lot harder to get their graduates high-paying jobs. Hospitals are filled with people's happiest memories, saddest memories, last breaths, first breaths, and basically everything in between. No matter what I do, I always feel like a teenager pretending to be an adult. In the past hundred years, clowns have become more scary than funny, while skeletons have become more funny than scary. <laughs> Forgetting about an assignment that's due and hearing someone else say, wait, we had an assignment, is one of the most comforting feelings in life. When cars are all electric, horror movies will lose some of their suspense. No engine noises when the car won't start. If you describe trees as machines, they sound totally sci-fi. Solar powered, self-replicating machines that produce breathable gas using toxic gas sturdy building material, and food on a planetary scale. In the game Madden, the main character is a telekinetic ball that possesses anyone it touches. And finally, birthday parties are basically cult meetings. We gather when the Earth has orbited the sun exactly once, and we bring offerings to the leader in exchange for rotten water that makes us disoriented and nauseous often causing memory loss, which we then proceed to consume in vast quantities. And this has been Sienna Judging Your Search History by Tumblr. Oh no. It is the elusive third babies. It is Mocha. She has tried to hide from the camera this whole time. And yet I have found her. And do you know why she's hiding? It's because I have to go on business trip. And she is now sad. Mocha. Mocha baby. Come here. Come here, honey. Come here. Come here, shy girl. Come here, sit down. It's okay. I will be back. Zizik will be here for you. You'll be okay. 
You're going to do just fine. Yeah. Okay. Love you, sweetie. You're going to be, you're going to be okay. Everybody's going to be here for you, okay? Yeah, yeah, she feels better. Love you. We we're almost there. Hold on. I am so tired. Tomato soup, this is where you wanted to go? Th th there's no one here. Yes, we are in Uncanny Valley. Hello, no homer. It's me, Captain Rich. Here's a mortgage. Go buy a home or a car, whatever your kind does with these. The interest rate is 40%. When did the poor learn to read? I want the things to be like this! Well, things can't be like that because it's not. Yeah. Hey, Hood Mage, I need some financial help. I just got my tax return. What do I do with it? Buy three pairs of Yeezys. Okay. Okay, baby, you paid me that sweet $5. We can do anything you want. Have you ever played Minecraft? What? Yeah, man, I got like all these sweet mods on my server. I built a T-Rex even. You want to see? Sure, yeah, I want to see. Doctors will say the most sensitive skin on your body is the lips, and then that, that's a lie. The most sensitive skin on your body are the patches that have the most traumatic childhood. <laughs> Today's poll. YOLO or swag? Submit your answer. How could I possibly choose? If there are trees, you aren't alone. I can't tell if this is supposed to be an encouragement or an ominous warning. OP's URL doesn't clarify things either. Pretty sure that just sounds like a Dark Crystals joke. Okay, but there was a bus filled with potatoes driving around my town today. What? Oh, look at that. It's a bus full of laugh mouth fans. It's fun to stay at the YMMM. Stop skipping! When the DM says, I'll allow it to your unorthodox idea request. And I came in like a wrecking ball. Drawing memes? Lining up a piece of paper with the teacher's slideshow and taking a photo. Is... is this the meaning of Ascended? Yo, that is some next level sh** right there! I love how confused adults get with our humor and Vine references, cause like, I just replied to my brother with FOUR FEMALE GHOSTBUSTERS! THE FEMINISTS ARE TAKING OVER! And he just screams, I'M AN ADULT VIRGIN! And my mom still has no idea what we're talking about. Sometimes I fear we accidentally created a new language. Why fear it when you can embrace it? Fun fact, the media thinks the Area 51 Facebook thing is being spread by Russian bots. Anyone older than 30 simply cannot comprehend millennial and Gen Z humor. It's true, but wait a minute, millennials are over 30 sometimes. What? A pumpkin man sits inside a pumpkin house. Is the house made of flesh, or is he made of house? He screams, for he does not know. It's not even Halloween yet. Shut up, it's always Halloween! Today I learned our walking speed is affected by whom we're with? Men's pace slow down by an average of 7% with walking with partners they're interested in. Women walking together move the slowest. And men walking with male friends moved at speeds faster than either man's preferred walking speed. Yo, I'm about to speedrun my trip to the grocery store by walking with five of the boys and only getting stalled at the unskippable cutscene checking out with the cashier. You know, you can skip the cutscene, but you have to use a glitch called shoplifting, which is really frowned upon in the gamer community. How am I supposed to make a funny creative text post when nothing happens in my life at all? You can just use a story from Sims and pretend it really happened to you. Oh yeah, that was like that one time I was swimming, but the pool ladders disappeared so I couldn't get out of the pool and I swam for 10 hours and died. Ha! <laughs> Classic. How relatable. Grandpa, what was it like when Obama was president? Ah, yes! The Homestuck president. Good times. Wallace and Grumman American dub. Yo, Grandma, this bread slaps! This is cursed and I hate it! And you all have to see it now! I'm curious. How do you guys go about creating your OCs? They come to me in my dreams like a prophet receiving visions from an angry god. Or, alternatively, waking up at 3 a.m., scribbling down something on a scrap of paper and forgetting about it for months. And Sienna was just like, hey, do you want a cute robot that beats up people that are bad and evil? Have I got a character for you? Also, you can hug her! You think this formula is some advanced math crap? Something used to find the something of a something advanced math? No. This formula is used by Pokemon games to calculate the shaky shaky of Pokeballs when you catch a Pokemon! <laughs> I love shaky shaky for some reason. And finally, D&D is just math disguised as Skyrim. How? Abby, what you- what? What are you doing with that blanket out here?
What are you doing? What? Why do you have that here? You super? Are you fighting crime now? You fight? You, you fight? Are you superhero? What are you fighting crime? You fighting negativity? Justice for all the dogs? It's gotta be something. What are you doing? You get off of you. Mocha's concern. What do you what? All right. Hey, Sienna, how do you spell your name? Have you watched Madoka Magica? It's a great anime. I liked it until the part where Mammy lost her head and realized she couldn't get it back. So, what's your favorite feature? Here goes my legs. Since I no longer wanted to use weapons after being taken in, I still wanted some way to defend myself. And I learned a lot about kicking and jumping. So my new legs were inspired by characters like Chun-Li to have great force behind each swing. So, how well do you handle paradoxes? How well do you? For example, who wrote the Song of Storms in Ocarina of Time? I don't know! <clears throat> Creeper! End that meme this instant. Wow, you're so cheerful, Sienna. Thank you for making me smile. Sorry if this is a loaded question. You don't have to answer now. But do you have any tips on smiling even when it's hard? Thank you. Say beep beep softly. You excited for Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> Can you please help turn the run distance up in my area? There's too much fog. Have you tried turning your eyes off and on again? Did did PM create you with a coffee brewing attachment? Uh, maybe. Hey, Sienna. <laughs> You, you, you want some mop dog? Did they think I'd fall for this? You gotta give them credit, see, they at least tried. Okay, so, um, don't, don't, don't take this as creepy, but, uh, what's down there? Huh? Down where? Um, uh, um, do you have, um, a hole? <laughs> Hello? Police? Oh, God, no! Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a little different from all the other Tumblr videos, but yeah, trying to integrate her more, so why not give her her own little special episode? And if y'all are interested in having your own little personal blue robot in the comfort of your own home, apartment, condo, dormitory, box, whatever, I, I, I'm not judging, I'm not judging, guys. You can get your very own poster right now of Sienna herself on T Public. It's adorable, she's smiling, the hair is flowy, and also Jello is there apparently. I don't know why, but I just I, I just kind of put him in there. Also, there's a tapestry and pillow option if you're a little more daring. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I'm sleepy. I'm going to go to bed now. Bye-bye. It is time to clench your mind with these instant soup mixes by Tumblr. Thousands of years in the future, archaeologists will find strip clubs and make the assumption from the arrangements of the seating that there must have been a cult that worshipped metal poles. If we do live in a simulation, maybe magic did exist during the Dark Ages, but it was patched out by the devs. Authors of poems and books didn't even know about the deep meaning of their works like English teachers think. If your life just got harder, it might be a good sign that you just leveled up. Well, why is there a difficulty curve? Gollum was the real hero of Lord of the Rings. Hold up, what? He kept the ring secret and safe for 500 years and then sacrificed himself to destroy it after Bilbo foolishly brought it back to the surface world. When hot coffee turns cold, people think it tastes gross. But if you put ice in it and charge double, people think it's delicious. I don't appreciate this call out right now. By causing species to go extinct, we are forcing everything else to evolve into human resistant organisms. That never ends well. A dustpan does its job, even when you're not using it. The myth that dogs hate cats was probably started by parents that didn't want multiple pets in the house. Oh my god, that makes so much sense. And finally... Game of Thrones is a porn parody of How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> this has been... God damn it. This has been Shower Thoughts by Tumblr. God, I get you gotta shut this thing off now. Matt, can we go McDaniels? We have demons at home. What does that mean? Mom, what does that mean? Oh, shit, I think he died.
I'm selling my 1981 car burned car. The floor is rusted out. It only has two tires. Screams at you in Portuguese when you put the keys in. The transmission full of chimps, <clears> which <throat> I painted the outside of the car in like six layers of gay so. $67,000 firm. Don't try to lowball me. <laughs> I am the ketchup man. Very <laughs> non-Newtonian friends. Girly vice girl, how do I be more confident? Hmm? You're right. I was a bad b the whole time. Mm-hmm. Oh, whoops. Yeah, hi. Sorry, Mom. I butt dialed you, but I gotta go. What the butt wants? What the butt wants? Talk to your family. Hey, Bobby! You wanna go on a hot double date with me and my sister? Your sister died last year. Yeah, but she looks great! Okay, son. We took you somewhere where you can find some cutie anime girls. This is a Peter Piper pizza, a pizza chain in the west region of the United States. How the f*** am I supposed to find anime girls here? Hello, pores, it's me, Captain Rich. Take this and eat. Oh, it's an entry-level job application for $20,000 a year with 10 years experience required with a BA. Maybe I can eat the paper? Poor people love me. I bet they never thought about just getting a job. Behold, it is the fourth and final papers of the house. It is beef. She rubs head on shoe. No one knows why. Also bench. No. Bibbles. Would you prefer if I give you treat? Would that make you feel better? Or just shoe? Do and shoe? She just wants to rub head on shoe. Or maybe perhaps. Perhaps this. Perhaps this kitty pension, yes. You want to do it? Boom. Now we are friends forever. See, it's all it takes. Buckle up, it's a lot of parents. And all my vampire friends who were there and real vampires? You are Vlad. This sounds especially aphobic or possibly turfy. Are you aware? That you are responsible for the funniest post on this site. You're no hamburger helper. You're just a hamburger hindrance. If you're not part of the hamburger solution, you're part of the hamburger problem. You're a ham burning on society. One can decide whether to join the Bard's Guild or the Thieves' Guild. One will just have to weigh the pros and cons. <sighs> I found a D20 in my kitchen's junk drawer and I absentmindedly rolled it and got a one and was like, ah, oh, junk. And then I immediately stubbed my toe into a trash can while trying and missing to throw something away. What, what Goosebumps book is this? Besides training all the Greek heroes, Chiron was also a doctor. That would make him the centaur for disease control. <sighs> Seize the cookie! Please leave. Yo, what perfection is this? It's not really a Gen Z or funnier than millennials thing. It's just that high schoolers are constantly the funniest people alive no matter what year it is. It's the insanity of being stuck in a building with a thousand other people your age who are all chronically sleep deprived and panicking. Big Toven Senpai. I, 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 I'm speechless. I can't believe I'm alive to read this with my own eyes. Well... We've officially peaked in anime. We're done. No more. Anime's canceled. Forever. Behold this item. Handful of tiny soda cans, each containing a few drops of pure flavor syrup. If added to a can of water, the syrup turns it into that soda. Aw, it's imported straight from Minnesota. I swear to God! That art is not real art! Do we need to talk about the relationship between the Renaissance and the Bible? You ever think about how Mountain Dew is a really poetic name and how if someone didn't know what it was, they'd probably guess some herbal tea made from the finest leaves of the Alps. But instead, it's just radioactive gamer soda. Why isn't it evolving? Well, she already legendary. 
February shouldn't be 28 days, 29 on a leap year. Instead, we should take the 31st days off two months and give them the February, making it have 30 days for all years. But wait, when's the leap day, you ask? Why? It's October 32nd, Halloween, part two. Yar, the genius this generation needs, to be honest. <laughs> It is time to cleanse your mind. <sighs> Luciana does a spin by Tumblr. Everyone at least once as a child tried to balance the light switch between on and off. Many beloved foods only exist because previous generations didn't have refrigeration. Bacon, pickles, raisins, jerky, cured ham, cheese, and wine fall under all this. Blurry vision is like the free trial of sight, and to get the premium version, you have to pay for glasses or contacts. The first people to live on Mars will still say things like, You're the dumbest person on Earth, out of habit. The human head slowly three prints hair. Depression is a kind of tired that sleep doesn't fix. I don't know. You have reached a deeper level of friendship with someone when you two regularly respond to each other with noises instead of language. Musical chairs falls under the battle royale category. A supervillain's main superpower is being able to give a public speech and monologue without messing up or getting nervous halfway through. Shorts are, for some reason, not half the price of pants. Family owned and operated makes a monarchy sound a lot friendlier. Fist bumps are better than handshakes because you don't have to use the same hand to make it work. And finally, everything you see through a screen is basically pixel art, including this video. And this has been Sienna Destroyed a Village with her spin by Tumblr. Oh boy, I've gone insane. Pfft, YOLO, more like roll over, am I right? <laughs> am I fired? People with trypophobia. Ah, uh, yeah, just existing. And then Apple comes along holding an iPhone 11. Allow us to introduce ourselves. I can't believe we've peaked as a gaming society. You could dress up as Sans Undertale and Smash Ultimate. What? Yeah, you gotta be careful when pronouncing IKEA furniture, or you may accidentally summon an elder god. Not, to, not, not speaking from experience or anything. Totally not. So while I was on the road, I came across a restaurant that was just called Steakhouse. Nothing else. And I don't know why, of all things, that just made me giggle a little too much. And then it got better. So let me ask you all something. What are OCs, if not just imaginary friends we sometimes give tragic stories to? Guys! The word bimbo! The term was originally used in the United States as early as 1919 for an intelligent or brutish man. Not only does this create absolutely glorious mental images for what 1919 was like, the word bimbo itself went through bimboification. Okay, but now imagine bringing that back around and then using it in the wrong quotes to cause hell. For example, et tu bimbo? So I have a dumb idea. It's a DNA test, but it's a list of names the internet uses for basic people. Well, we got it back. Turns out you are 35% Chad, 15% Kevin, and a whopping 50% Sharon. Those are actually pretty good. The lady down the hall, 100% Karen. Yo, I need to know the proper stance for a squat lift again. Oh, are you getting back into power stuff? No, it's, it's for artwork. What? Oh, I've gone, yeah, I've gone crazy. I'm gonna go to bed. But before I sleep, I just want to say one thing. Spoilers to Endgame, by the way, but, I mean, who hasn't seen it, am I right? Steve Rogers went back, started a whole new life, but still wanted to help kids be better. So we made the TV persona, Mr. Rogers. Good night! It is time to cleanse your mind with... Spipidipis. By Tumblr. Children cry when they're hurt physically, and shout and cuss when they're hurt emotionally. Adults are the reverse. There's probably a correlation between how poorly a job pays, and how many inspirational quotes are found around that workplace. Some poor bastard died in WW1 thinking, at least this is the war that will end all horse. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Answering the extra credit question correctly feels more important than a regular question worth the same amount of points. Mirrors will always appear twice as dirty. Ugh. One day, retirement homes will just be playing reruns of shows like The Office, Friends, and Parks and Recs. Probably not Friends, that one didn't age well. 
Biting your tongue while eating is a perfect example of how you can still screw up even with decades of experience. Valkyrie went from hopeless alcoholic to Queen of Asgard when Thor went from King of Asgard to hopeless alcoholic. See, in film, we call that a round table foreshadowing where one character basically becomes another character through progression and ply and <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, a college degree is basically an expensive piece of paper that signifies you know how to follow directions. And sometimes it costs you $40,000, if not more. And finally, there are over 7 billion people on Earth. If even 0.01% of them like this video, it'll be the highest rated post of all time. So like, comment, subscribe. Slap that gong, whatever they say. Anyway, <clears throat> this has been by Tumblr. Okay, see you later. Beast of luck to you. You mean best of luck? No. Get him. Captain Rich, oh, thank God you're here. The criminal's inside. Captain Rich, please help. I'm so hungry. Uh, one moment, sir. <laughs> The only thing I hate more than crime is the poor. Dijon Mustard, I'm gonna be real with you. Your phone is slow because you have like 10 gigs of porn on here. I am sorry. I am a Dijonerate. Eh. Well, time to go hiking. Ugh, never mind, I give up. Nah, fuck <gasps> that, I am the storm. Come on down, no credit, no problem. Head on down. Now we got everything you need, no credit. No credit, no credit at all, got credit? I hate you, don't come. No credit allowed, don't show up. Come on down, sell me your MP3 files. Come on down, I'll buy your MP3 file, burn them on a disc, I'll buy them. Come on down, no credit. VHS, I'll buy Space Jam on VHS. Come on down, I'll buy you Space Jam VHS. Watch it with me, I'm lonely, no credit, no problem. Head on down now to www.illbuyyourmp3s.com. Sir, who are you and what are you doing here? Don't you recognize me? You know why I'm here. You're not getting your tonsils back. Yo, where the <coughs> fuck is Mark? <sighs> he drank 13 milligrams of caffeine and thought the hummingbirds outside were talking <coughs> shit about him. Say I am sound! So one of my players didn't show up for a few sessions, but we go to the same school. So I walked up behind him, put a right hand on his shoulder, and whispered right into his ear, D&D &D or d and die to win. Imagine Foster's home for imaginary friends, but filled with deviant art Sonic OCs. Stop right this instant! ADHD is only motivated by five things. Urgency, challenge, novelty in play, interest, being a contrary and little bitch. I'm also very food motivated. Oh my god, we're cats. Y'all wanna see a photo of my shrimp? I'm pretty sure I just caught speaking directly to God. Why the frank y'all keep tagging this shrimp heaven now? Oh, to be a little goose and wreak absolute havoc. You can wreak absolute havoc as a person, too, if you're rowdy enough. Ah, but as a goose, I would never feel remorse. That's basically the Untitled Goose Game, isn't it? I've been ignoring chainmail for years, and I haven't been killed even a single time. <sighs> what a ripoff. Yo, what armor are you wearing? Wait. Ain't nothing wrong with picking up fallen succulent leaves off the floor of the Walmart Garden Center, taking them home and growing your own plant babies. Pirate those plants. <coughs> the system. You wouldn't download a plant. Bitch, <coughs> I might. Blossom forgot how to use acid. Aw, oh, Blossom went to rehab. Good for you, Blossom. Fun fact. Ever wondered why it's called the Iliad? Because Ilium was another name for Troy, and the ad suffix was used to mean the story of. This means that if you translated the title... The Iliad should actually be called Troy Story. Thanks. I hate it. You got a friend in horse. You do not have a friend in horse! My office mates and I are arguing about the difference between a mouse and a rat, so I googled it. And there we go. The difference is the rat plays jazz. One might say he's part of a rat pack. <laughs> Manga lied to me. I never see any bad boy types protecting stray kittens, therefore revealing me to their soft sight. It's always me picking up the cats! <gasps> what if maybe I'm the bad boy? I am the hardcore senpai that has to notice someone! Oh, shit! It is time to cleanse I mind. With Shante Brand Shampoo. Whip that hair into action. Bottomler. 
The phrase, you only live once, applies to both living dangerously and living cautiously. Driving a car at 100 kilometers per hour and looking at your phone for just one second makes you drive blind for 40 meters. Put the phone down. Your parents were most likely always late to wake up Christmas morning because they were up late, busy making sure you had a great Christmas morning. When you buy Halloween candy to hand out as an adult, it's like you're paying for all the free candy you got when you were a child. People who wear glasses are seeing through the sand. Oh my god, I am writing that down for fantasy lore stuff. Donkey from Shrek is probably one of the boys from Pinocchio that escaped from the coachman. The only difference between a hoarder and a collector is a theme. The weird artsy loner usually gets the girls in movies instead of the jock, simply because many movies are written by weird artsy loners. You ever think about that? The simulation we're in is probably an idle mobile game that the player hasn't checked in a while. Oof. Oof doofa. People who try to save the planet by not having kids give an evolutionary advantage to people indifferent to saving it. And finally, you look tired is the socially acceptable way of saying you look like shit. And this has been, oh my god, did PM just say shit? By, by Tumblr. I asked this question on Twitter, so here we go. Summarizing your favorite things in a five-word plot. Wacky times and then death! It's why Disney bought everything. Uma Thurman is super pissed. Everyone is here, except Waluigi. Best character doesn't even speak. Cute robot punches for justice. It's Persona for DBZ fans. Oh, I can feel the JoJo fans hating me for that. Problematic characters sing to win. No memories? Eh, spin sword. Everything that exists is dragon. 20 years of absolute sarcasm. It's spooky, scary Netflix saver. It's Spider-Man, but way better. It's way better with mods. Harry Potter is dead. Psych. Multiverse theorists hate this game. And finally, United States of Bone Breaker! Man, can I do a piece of pizza to this boy? Hey, what's a Harambe anyway? Is it a new anime? Dude, what the fu- <laughs> Don't you say shit like that. I'm gonna go out for a bit. Please watch the film clone of your dead brother while I'm out. We must go Taco Bell. We aren't going to Taco Bell. You have a refrigerator full of clone juice to drink. Hey man, so you have like Jedi powers and shit, and we're here to take you to like the Jedi school or something. I'm gonna stop you right there. Chuck this shit out. See that? That's all I'm ever gonna do with this shit. Man, who's this a picture of? Oh, that's me when I was younger. Wow, you must be going through like a rough phase, huh? <laughs> it wasn't just a phase. Ha, <laughs> mobile games, dumb. I bet you like your fantasy girl PNGs. Yes, and? Look, man, you leave the anime titties and thighs out of this. It is time to cleanse your mind! With these erotic sonic fanfictions by Tumblr. If you feel alone, just remember that loads of people feel alone too. Technically, we are all feeling alone together. The mailman has never gotten in the house. So as far as the dog knows, his barking is working. Having a refrigerator in the winter is having an artificially cold environment inside an artificially warm environment inside a naturally cold environment. Oh god, I could have a stroke! People often get dressed up nice and perfumed to attract someone to get naked and sweaty well. Someone developed the internet without the help of the internet. I, 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 what? Now that we can 3D print a human heart, there have been more human hearts in the world than there have been total humans. Hold on a second, what? Every day, thousands of people are happy because their check-in luggage came out first. My god, we're easy to please. If we domesticated zebras instead of horses, cars now would have its force expressed in zebra power. The most crushing feeling is when someone smiles at you on the street and you don't react fast enough to smile back. The numbers 7 and 11 both have the word even in them, but are odd numbers. And finally, ah. raviolis are just meat gushers. And this has been a Sonic fan fiction that is erotic. <laughs>
All right, guys, let's be real. Tumblr is just a competition about who can write the most incoherent sentences. For example, Did you know, according to scientists, in October, the mitochondria turns into the phytochondria and becomes the haunted house of the cell? So, pet beds were on sale and I had a coupon, so Guts got a new bed? It's very plush and he likes it a lot. You know, that's a weird looking dog, but he's still a cute dog. Aw, it's nice you bought a bed for your croissant. The only unproblematic anime boy is Alphonse Elric. He's never done a damn thing wrong in his life, ever. I mean, attempted alchemy is one and only taboo? He just wanted to see his mother smile again, you heartless monster. And what did Ed do so wrong? Edward was a little bitch. What it's like to be an artist, a writer, or a musician. So what do you do with all your art? I stare at it until I hate it. Me opens a package and sets the box aside. My cat. This is another perfect example of how memes are just hieroglyphic. No one is going to know what the fuck this means one day. A big part of the story is lost when it becomes a movie. Yeah, a big part of the story is also lost when you cut a fucking circle out of it! One cat is probably dead. Wrong! Aww! One cat's owner got married! You know those lawnmower robots and what are they called? Vegetarian room pals? The implication in this post that regular room must consume me is frankly kind of terrifying. People who cosplay Deadpool at Comic-Con also think they can act like Deadpool, and it's not very great. You may act and dress like Deadpool, but you're not immortal like Deadpool. Remember this. So saith I. Pocket show. That awkward moment where you're your own dad and your own son, but also kind of your dead mom and wife all at the same time. He is the family guy. I hate this. Absolutely hate it! The trouble is humans are literally structured to find a wizard did it a more plausible explanation than things just happening by accident for no reason. How dare a wizard make humans think like this? God damn it, here we go again. Life hacks to get artists to draw for you. Find their commission pages and give them money. Wow, this hack really works. It's real. I've done it. I'm living in a constant state of how dare you assume I know what I'm doing, but also, don't you dare question me or what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing and you can't stop me! Artists and writers have so much to say about this post. <sighs> I wouldn't even date myself. Wow, your standards must be impossibly high then. Ho <laughs> ho ho, you smooth motherfucker! Yeah. I don't know how to remove my roller skates, everything is very fast and I'm very scared! I had no idea this was about Pokemon when I first read it. I just thought that this poor individual was rolling downhill on roller skates and asking Tumblr for help. That's exactly what it is! Help me! Ah! It is time to cleanse your mind. With Patrick's doing all these shower thoughts now in his own recording studio. Weird flex, but okay. A Tumblr. $9.99 is a higher price than $10 because the effort to put $9.99 together isn't worth the one cent difference. If the Sharks and the Hurricanes both make it to the Stanley Cup Finals, that's the closest setup we could possibly have for a real world Sharknado. All the clutter around your house used to be money. God, I felt that one. Adulthood is realizing that in Friends, Joey is a great guy, completely subjective, and Ross is a dick. Now that's just a straight up fact. At some point, you go from censoring yourself around adults to censoring yourself around children. I should have taken that one's advice from the last one. Pornhub would probably sell more merchandise if their stuff didn't say Pornhub on it. So I have a solution. PH makes it sound like science stuff. You know, if random strangers threw side missions at people in real life, unemployment would not be a problem. If you never thought nature can be cruel, just know one drop of water can travel hundreds of miles, fall thousands of feet, just to land in your eye. When you're in a bad mood, every bump on the road feels like a personal attack. Felt that one in my bones too. For every video game, there's a guy who made grunting sounds in a recording studio for a day. Ow. Yeah. If people said it's okay to be nervous instead of don't be nervous, it might actually make things a little easier. And finally. The majority of us are only here to escape the loneliness of reality. Wow, that one hurt real bad. And this has been, yeah, Patrick did the stupid flex thing already, whatever. So he's gonna go be sad now because of reality. Bye, Tumblr.
Previously on Florka Cow's Antics. I'm gonna go out for a bit. Please watch the film cloning your dead brother while I'm out. Let's go, Taco Bell. We aren't going to Taco Bell. You have a refrigerator full of clone juice to drink. <laughs> and now, the saga. Part one. Because it was asked for excessively. No, I go Taco Bell. Okay, Charlie, it's time for your clone juice. <sighs> Charlie, the door is locked. Taco Bell. <sighs> you get one taco, and that's it. Yay! Taco! God damn it. Taco Bell dead. I did too. Jack, damn it, Charlie, get out of the road. <sighs> Look, if you drink your clone juice, I'll take you to the second closest Taco Bell, all right? <laughs> okay, Charlie, you get one taco. Taco Man, my best friend. Actually, we're all out of tacos. It, it's all gone. N- nothing left. What? What do you mean you're out? All you sell are tacos! Taco why would you hurt me? Taco. No! Goddamn house hawks! Come on, buddy. You have to drink more clone juice. Mom will be home soon. You know what? Fine. I don't, I don't care. Die. Like, you're the, like the seven off one, whatever. Brother. Jack, Jack, damn it. Where am I going to get Taco Bell now? I don't know why I keep getting that guy tacos. Well... Here's yours, buddy. I'll see you next time. After all that, you're not even gonna eat it? You best brother. Good night. Good night, Charlie. To be contuber. Oh, God, my head is hurting because I thought about my future for 0.3 seconds. Well, you can't get a headache from looking at something that bright. This is the most inspiring post I've seen on Tumblr! I finished Seven Deadly Sins, so I guess I really am gonna have to start watching Naruto now. Is Seven Deadly Sins a show? Or have you, like, finished with all the sins? Like, you know, like a checklist, and now, like, Naruto is, like, the eighth sin? This is the funniest possible deck someone could have put on this post. Ah, yes! The Eight Deadly Sins, Pride, Envy, Greed, Lust, Gluttony, Wrath, Sloth, and Naruto. Menstrual cycle is near. A nightmare manifests. These steam names are hitting way too close to home. This is literally the plot of Bloodborne. Introducing Vanka, spooky nerds for Halloween. Um, they prefer the term goth. Giant Driftwood. On the beach at La Pouche, Washington, 2010. This made me feel really uneasy. The ocean's terrifying. It's like when a cat brings home a dead bird and drops it at your feet, except the ocean is like, I have brought you this enormous tree from the depths of hell. Enjoy. Each dot represents 5,000 hogs. World Geography, 1948. Wow. There is an untapped infinite hog supply in the ocean. Each state is lined with an impenetrable wall of slime or trapped. We lost Canada and Mexico to the Hawks already. God help us all. I mean, well, based on this chart, we lost them in 1948, so clearly the countries that exist right now are Ghost Canada and Ghost Mexico. Did you know ancient Egyptians were using 20-sided dye as early as 200 BCE? I can't believe ancient Egyptians were f***ing nerds. Imagine ancient Egyptian D&D, though. You have crossed into the underworld and have encountered Anubis. You give him your heart away. I roll the bluff. You you want to bluff Anubis. You can't bluff Anubis. He's a god. He has a godly sense motive check. I want to bluff the scales. Wait, you what? You want to bluff the scales. Yep. You know what? I'll allow it. Ha! Not 20! I, oh my god. All right. The scales, for some fucking reason, think your heart is lighter than the feather. Anubis is pretty sure you're bullshitting him, but you know what? Anubis has had a long day. Anubis is not going to question the scales. You're in. I roll the pit pocket, Anubis. No! The year is 1888. Me, the first paleontologist to dig up a triceratops skull, whispering softly, What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? So let me ask you, Tumblr. Did you read colon capital D as an open mouth smile or a smile with teeth? Oh, that's a good boy. Trademark! Right there. 
Why am I not the protagonist of an amazing story? You are, though. It's called your life. Shut the <laughs> fuck up! I want to struggle fighting demons, not struggle with getting out of bed every day! But, John, those are your demons. Oh, black cats are wonderful because you can stare into the void and not only does the void stare back, sometimes it trots up to you happily and begs for pats! Also, the void is allowed to watch chicken. What's up, Nugga Butts? I've made the executive decision that sleep is for cowards. That is no longer necessary for my body to function. Also, I no longer give a grill about my mental health. So go suck a goose! <clears throat> it is to my knowledge that I woke up at some point last night, posted this, and then went back to sleep. For all the geese that I have offended, I am sorry. Oh my god, there's a dog in my yard. This is the best day ever. Hello, fuzzy baby friend. Oh god, it's not a dog! Not a dog! Bear! Abort! 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 Hey, that's rolling a one out of perception check. You know, there should be a show just called AU. Every single episode, a group of the same characters are in a different alternative universe with no explanation as to why. Ah, uh, it's the, 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 the show. It, it exists. It's called Backyardigans. Oh my god! Somebody brought the Backyardigan fandom from the grave, just to prove a point! I mean, you also could have said community, kind of, but this this is a good too. Guys, stop arguing over Minecraft wood. They're all unique in their own way. Oak is cozy, birch is uplifting, spruce is rustic, jungle is interesting, acacia, dark oak is beautiful. How dare you? Acacia is f wrong name! <sighs> Video game engines are amazing because they can make it so sunlight filters through leaves, casting dozens of little rays in your eyes, just like in real life. And then you turn around, and then there's a whole ass horse just swimming in circles in midair. Wow, Bethesda felt that one right in their groin. <sighs> I need to be happy. Alexa, release the serotonin. Releasing neurotoxin. Alexa, no! Hey, Sienna, run program cute-bot.exe. That program is already in use. Wait, what? I heard they're hiding a good night's sleep for a PM in Area 51. Boys, get in there! Why robot have lilies? Why not? Like, are they useful? They just pillows? They have Astro Boy style hidden guns? The public demands to know the truth! <laughs> Why not leave them a complete mystery? No one will know. Not even Squidward's house. Okay, so how much of PM's impulse control are you? 99% of it. Yeah, <laughs> what if we bought some Heelys? You live in the mountains! Man, you must come with me to the R34 proof bunker! The loot artists are coming! <sighs> Can I curse this one time, P? Yeah, knock yourself out. This shit is getting really old. Can you, like, understand plants? Like, I know they send signals to each other via a network of roots, kind of like the internet. Are you able to pick up on that? A lot of times it's just, hurt the rainforest and I'll break your knees. This blog is heckin' adorable. Your face is heckin' adorable! So, like, can you hack into Area 51's computers and tell us what's inside? I just checked, and it's loaded to the brim with Bofa. I will sacrifice myself. <clears throat> what's Bofa? Both of these arms to hug you with! Thick. Very good, little Timmy. You earned yourself a little gold star in the refrigerator. I ask if you were planning on going Terminator on us and the coming technological uprising and subsequent apocalypse, but we all know you wouldn't do that. Right? <laughs> right. I'm scared. It is time to cleanse your mind with the neck of Steven Universe by Tumblr. It's tomorrow only after you slept, no matter how much time past midnight it is. Your money is not yours, it's just your turn with it. Meanwhile, your bank is like, Mom says it's my turn with the money. Sometimes it's hard to tell if you hang out with someone because you like them or because of habit. As much as people say they fear death, they sure seem to love the eight hours a day they spend unconscious in a timeless void. Saying a curse word is a lot more serious than Harry Potter. You get upset when you see a comedian live and you've heard their jokes. However, when you see a band live, you only want to hear the music you know. 12 a.m. comes before 11 a.m. Thanks, I hate it. Most video games prevent you from sleeping when danger is nearby. 
think about that next time you can't fall asleep at night for no reason. Videos with must watch in the title are usually the ones that aren't worth watching. Earth is four and a half billion years old. And if it weren't for the Romans, we wouldn't be calling this year 2019 at all. Being a dad is using the last good pieces of bread to make your kid's sandwich and using the ends to make your own. And finally, going upstairs two at a time is faster, not much harder than normal, but going downstairs two at a time is gambling with your life. And this has been God Steven Universe Now Has a Neck by Tumblr. And now continuing the Flork of Cows Taco Bell Saga, part two. Damn it, Charlie, where are you? It's time for clone juice. <laughs> Where'd he go? No! Murder and pestle, what the f are you doing? I just got him that! Get in the ground below! Here, just take mine, it's the last one. Doggo! Which baller were you for Doggo? Who the f are you guys? Jack? Damn it, Charlie! I'm so sick of this taco bullshit! You're just a clone, dude! I'll even dig up the original and show you that you can drink your damn clone juice and go to bed! Where the f*** is the body? Okay, I'll come home early. No, for real. Why is Charlie's grave empty and who are these guys that keep showing up? Don't talk to them. No! Why, Bump Frog? Why? Mm, I hope. Okay. I got a taco. What the f*** is this? Okay, new characters for the Pokemon anime. Here's Professor Sakuraki and his daughter Koharu with her partner Yamper. This is his research lab that he built in the Kanto region. Oh boy, here we go again. Why was Robin even the leader of the Teen Titans? What were his powers, short and mad? That's, that's really all you need. <laughs> Piss off a short person and you'll see. I just attended the best passion of the Christ play. As they were nailing Jesus to the cross, the entire thing broke. No one knew what to do, and it got quiet. Finally, one of the guards on stage said, You get out of it this time, Jesus! Perfection. You know, the best part about not having a gender is that every sort of attraction I feel is a little gay. You have a gender, it's in your pants. <gasps> Everyone! My gender is 67 cents, a pen cap, and some lint! Hold on, let me check mine. Oh! I guess I identify as a wallet and a bottle of emergency essential oil. Lavender scented. Let's play, did I always have that personality trait or did I absorb that from a character? Bonus round. Wait one franken second. Isn't that something my friend says and now I'm saying it too? And then there's my favorite. Did I get that from my friend or did they get it from me? And finally, don't forget my personal favorite. I started saying that ironically and now I say it all the time. God damn you, Yeet. If you ever feel embarrassed, just remember that in middle school, I tried to convince myself that I wasn't gay by making a compromise to myself to only be gay at night. Oh, the gay night rises, Batman. I heard you like to smooch people of the same gender. That's valid. However, I still have to break your back. Me, dismount's horse so I can grab a pumpkin. Horse already halfway across the world in a ditch! Is this, is this Minecraft, Skyrim, Legend of Zelda, or real horses? Mm, mm hmm yeah, 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 yeah. God, I love when professors try to use modern slang to relate to students. My professor referred to the theater of Pompeii as the place where Caesar got vibe-checked by a bunch of senators, and I lost it. So behold, 
Vibe check, 1806. <laughs> I can't. I can't even. Hey, Ohio followers. I'm sorry. I just rode through your whole state in four hours and saw like three buildings. Hey, LP, where'd you see the buildings? Where, where, where are the buildings, LP? My mom's a water woman. I can't find it. Oh, you best be loving yourself. Yeah. What you gonna do about it, huh? Oh, them's hugging words. So, what about a Gen Z vampire who just loves terrorizing people with the newest memes? So, like, imagine you're taking a stroll late at night, and all of a sudden you hear an irate version of All Star blast from direction, which appears to be the cemetery. The next thing you see is a vampire levitating at a T pose towards you very fast, and then you die. Could someone make this a game for Halloween, please? I'd play it. I'd play the crap out of that all, yeah. Oh, this reminds me of that time in 2025 when someone pushed down the leading tower of pizza and SpaceX donated $1.6 million to fix it. OP, are you a time traveler? Oh, oh, sorry. Ignore this post for like a few years. <laughs> you can give it time. J Johnny, Johnny's on his way. I feel that substituting sleep with caffeine is a lot like drinking unicorn blood to stay immortal. You'll have but a half-life, a cursed life, but the moment it touches your lips... Well, hello everyone. Today, I'm gonna show you the process of creating Sienna, because why wouldn't you want to know that? So first, you take, you take this piece of paper, and then you snap your fingers. There's a robot right there, and look at that little face. Look at that little face right there, and you, you just, it, it's, it's so precious. But you realize this... This doesn't look like Sienna at all. So what you do is you take this piece of paper and you put it in your waifu dad shit up 3000. Now don't get the 2000 version or else it's not gonna work properly. So you just open that up, throw that shit in there, close it, give it about like five minutes, I don't know, do a little spin. And you, uh, you just open that up and uh, yeah, look, look, look at that, see? That, that's it, that's, that's, that's all you gotta do. And then, during that process, you just wait for the Rule 34 artist to come banging on your door to violate this creation. Oh god, what have I done? It is time to cleanse your mind with... what? Oh. Well, your dreams are about to come true. By Tumblr. The people making fun of millennials for not knowing how to use a rotary phone are the same people who didn't know how to set their time on their VCR. Oh, how sad. All someone needs to do is genetically engineer a horse to grow a horn, and that person will be rich. Wouldn't that make them a little horny, though? <laughs> Seymour's gonna kill me. There are infinite realities where the only difference are the position of a single atom. Just thinking about that gives me a headache. Saying shoot for the moon and if you miss it you'll still be among the stars is probably the most offensive thing you can say at NASA. Whoever invented ladies first just want an excuse to look at their bums. Wait, is that why everybody always wants me to go first? If you put no effort into a Photoshop, it's fine. If you put a lot of effort into a Photoshop and it's not perfect, it's bad. Being born into a rich family is like spotting next to a village in Minecraft. Unless a creeper blows it up. Falling in love during a dream is maybe the most savage way the mind can play tricks on itself. Knocking is a much lighter way of punching someone's house until they come out and stop you. And finally. Area 51 is a secret base that everyone knows about. Thus, it's unlikely that secrets are really kept there, because everybody already suspects that secrets are kept there. We're going to the raid, boys. And this has been Sienna took over my goddamn channel. But why am I not surprised? She's blue waifu. By Tumblr. It is time to cleanse your mind. With Fortune found Sienna and we're all fudged. By Tumblr. The offline dinosaur game is actually the most downloaded game in the world. Yawning is your body's way of saying the 20% power message. Well, then why do I do it all the time? One day our grandkids will dig through our old boxes and stuff. Find our old cell phones, turn them on, open the photo library, and be absolutely horrified. Oh god. Hey dad, why is there a lot of blue bot on your phone? Get the fuck <coughs> away from my phone, little Timmy! Take the oldest person alive today. Trace back to their birth and find the oldest person alive on that day. Trace back to their birth and so on. There is a string of roughly 
20 people who have lived through all recorded history since years switched from BC to AD. Drone companies use drones to film their drones when they want to sell us drones. When you buy and use drain cleaner, you're literally pouring money down the drain. CAPTCHA has helped countless people find out that they're actually robots. In your lifetime, you'll get in and out of a car an even number of times. Unless you die in a car crash. The biggest flex is using mobile data in your own home because the Wi-Fi is being slow. Thank God for unlimited data packages again. And finally, a bowl cut is just a 360 degree bang. And this has been, well, now I want to go get a 360 degree bang haircut. By Tumblr. Imagine when you died. You woke up sitting in a circle with a bunch of aliens. You're holding a bong, and one alien excitingly asks, How was it, man? I think it's time you got out of the shower before you give Seth Rogen more dumb movie ideas. Okay, so you know how lots of Vulcan names have like five letters, start with an S and end with a K? Spock, Sarek, Sarak, Cybok, etc. That means that technically Shrek could be a Vulcan name. I can't believe you made me read this with my own two eyes. Overheard in a parking garage, a 20-something guy in workout gear talking on the phone. Listen, listen, I've made a shitload of banana bread, man. I'm telling you, you're going to fuck up the texture if you put that much sugar in. No, 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 bro, L bro, 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 listen to me. Do not, well, I'm not going to eat if it's grainy as shit. Fine. Shout out if you played Ratchet and Crank 1 on the PS2. I didn't. Blocked you are. Breaking news! Tiny Toad sits on a banana. Look at it. So I went to the eye doctor, right? And I sit down to fill out the paperwork like you do, you know? And the lady was like, thanks, Dr. Doctor will be with you in a moment. And I was like, why did she say doctor twice? That's weird. But then I looked at the business cards on the table, and his name was actually Dr. Chad Doctor. And I looked around, and the other assistant caught my eye and just nodded like, you just had the moment, didn't you? Chad saw his chance, and he took it. It's 12 years of work he did to have the greatest pun in the universe. God bless you, Chad. <sighs> Anime girls are such abstractions of humans at this point. They're like bugs or lizards to me. Oh, sorry. I just saw an anime girl crawling on my bedroom wall, and I'd slap it with a newspaper. How could you? How are they going to do Monster Masumi season two or three now? So according to the seller, this bracelet is haunted by the spirit of a baby dolphin named Yaba that can control your dreams. I'll take your entire stock. Mr. Fubbins, please come to the OWO office, ooh. So why, why did you call me here, Omo? I'm sorry, Mr. Fubbins, but you made too many <coughs> wookies in this workplace, Omo. I'm afraid we have to let you go. Omo! Oh, <sighs> I think a part of my soul just left my body from that. So let's be honest, every shitty school has a specific bulldog clip art as their mascot. I can attest to this, my school did. I hate it. All right. I'ma just say it. Goth clowns are just mimes. Uh, my girlfriend who works with clowns say that mimes came first, so technically clowns are just scene mimes. Um, hold on, your girlfriend works with clowns? How's it work? Makeup? Clown quality assurance? What? What? Also, I'm just gonna say this. Humans in the Pokemon world would likely lay eggs. Ugh, please, don't revive this debate. I already spent a frankly inordinate amount of time discussing it that one time. Wow, wow, hold, wow, hold up. I'm just gonna, in a moment, okay. Okay, you ever see a kind of discourse you were previously unaware of barreling past you at 120 miles per hour in the opposite direction of the interstate? That's what this felt like. How do you do? It is time to cleanse your mind. <laughs> With sweet sugar cubes. Bottom blur. It's interesting that the more pixels there are, the less pixels we see. We say crickets to describe dead silence, but they're actually pretty loud as fuck. Worms that have dried up on the sidewalk are now jerky for birds. We're all fudged when artificial intelligence finds what we have. The bans on vaping aren't frustrating because vaping is safe or good. It's not. They're frustrating because they demonstrate swift and decisive action can be taken but never for the right thing. If you made $10,000 an hour, 
It would take you almost 50 years of 40-hour work weeks to make one billion dollars gross income. Despite all the time spent on smartphones, people don't seem to have them in their dreams. Pfft, says you. Knowing how fast your car can go from 60 to zero is so much more important than knowing how fast it can go from zero to 60. Especially when the police are nearby. As a kid, you hate naps, but adults make you. As an adult, you love to take a nap, but no one will let you. And my culprit is anxiety. People who can get their point across without cursing are a dying breed. Yes, they are. And finally, Mike Wazowski's pubic hair would also count as his beard. And this has been, I have scarred you with that image by Tumblr. And now, the Flork of Cow Antics Taco Bell Saga finale. Don't go in that gate. Mom? Oh, I want exposition. I want taco. You want... <laughs> we, love resisted our temptations, have gathered. Now, together we may all become one and revive the original. Time. The time has come. Join us and become the seventh. Don't you want your brother happy? We can restore our family. Resist and take form. Brother, happy. Bye, Taco. No, there's no tacos. You can't have any. We won't let you. All right, Charlie, this is the last taco. I saved it for real Charlie's grave, but that's all gone now. Brother, what are you doing? Will you bring the original back? Don't let him indulge. If you do, we will all turn to dust in Mr. Ritual. Yeah, that's true. But that doesn't mean you guys or this Charlie are not my brothers, though. First Charlie has been dead a long time, and I moved on. I love you all just the same. Charlie, hurry and eat the tacos. Charlie, please resist. That's how our original died. To confront the original death means you will suffer the same. Join with us. Give our brother the happy ending. It's okay, buddy. If this is what you want, I won't stop you. Taco. You best brother. We go Taco Bell tomorrow too? Yeah. Tomorrow we go Taco Bell too. You should order a lot from here. It's not for me. It's for my brothers. The end. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world... People of the board, I present to you my plan to make us 100 bajillion money. Trade workers in a can. Simply pop the top and dump it out. You can feed them bugs and let them live in a used van you can park on your property. I... fix lights. It is time to cleanse your mind with <laughs> By Tumblr. Dogs must think toilets are extremely important. All the humans in the house are constantly marking their territory inside it. Do you ever have a plan for the day and suddenly it's 7 p.m. and you have achieved literally nothing? <sighs> Mood. Anybody that questions why you are shoveling six inches of snow in the middle of a snowstorm hasn't shoveled 12 inches of snow at the end of a snowstorm. If it's New York, you change those inches to feet. The voice in our head is the only one we can talk to without it ever getting awkward. You know, unless, of course, you sort of personify your own voice into a cute little blue ro robot. It's not important. We're so used to getting insulted that when people actually appreciate us, we either don't know how to respond or mistake it for sarcasm. Oh god, I hate this one. For a large part of history, humans had collision detection and avoidance and self-driving capabilities for drunk and sleepy situations. And then we got rid of the horse. 
That makes it sound like we just caused mass extinction for horses, but I, I, I get the joke, I get the joke. Many adults think that a lot of teenagers are going to have sex or consume alcohol in every opportunity because that's what they would do with the opportunity of being young again. I mean, that's partially true, but like, I'm turning 30 and I'm like borderline ace, so no. Maybe drink more, but no. If we're being honest, the only difference between a Lunchable and a prison meal is good marketing. That one's actually good. One day, we all went outside to play with our friends for the last time, and none of us knew. I hate this one, too. Get it away. Maybe deja vu is a way to let you know that you're following your destiny. That or multiverse theory, but I like that one. The most unrealistic part of GTA V is the lack of traffic. IGN review score, 6.8 out of 10, not enough traffic. Even though it says press any button to continue, most of us would still press enter, space, or the mouse key. Coffee makes you hyper. But coffee shops are designed for people to chill. Whereas alcohol is a depressant, but bars and clubs are designed for people to be energetic. Well, now I'm just imagining a coffee shop that's built like a rave club. Why hasn't anybody done this? Your parents calling you handsome or pretty is technically flexing because they made you. Well, partially true. If you're adopted, I mean, that's... And it's, and it's actually a compliment, I guess. Be careful how you talk to people, because it can become their inner voice for the rest of their life. Sharon. And finally, our bodies suck as a machine. It needs an eight-hour reboot after 16 hours of uptime. It's true. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to reboot myself. And this has been... The Big Kazoo has returned. <laughs> the Tumblr. <laughs> Soup. Fuskia tried to swim in lava. Wow. This is the best three-part story of my life. Yes, babe, the healers are off this time, I promise. Please, just come just come back to bed. Rip sheet off to reveal the healers are still on. I f***ing lied! The swag never stops! Wow, panic really does turn you into a complete f***ing moron, huh? Yeah, I lost half my brain cells listening to Ballad of the Mona Lisa. I have vastly misunderstood this post. I mean, you're not wrong either. Plague Dr. Mask, but it's a worm on a string face. Mmm, do you like some medicine? I just saw someone with their blood type in their Tumblr bio, like... What? Like the paramedics are gonna be like, QUICK! CHECK YOUR TUMBLR ACCOUNT! Why do people freak out when they part of my bra or my stomach? Like, what do you think was under my shirt? A tank? The Great Wall of China? Popular Korean artist Park Day Sang, also known as Sai? What? It's just... It's boobs! Do I... Do, do I... Do I use my instrument for this? I mean, it'd be 10,000 times funnier if the clarinet player assigned just stood up and started screaming. boo doo 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 Dude, dude, ah! On my way to Raid Area 51, guys! You know, the longer it takes for this to come across your dash, the funnier it is. I'm... wow. The penalty box in hockey is such a funny concept to me. Big fighty men go into the naughty cube, imprisoned for sports crimes. Go to the terrarium and think about your punching, you knife-footed ice gremlin. What it is it about knife-footed ice gremlin is the perfect way to describe a hockey player. A tiefling rogue, or thiefling, if you will. A thiefling barbarian, or a beefling, if you will. A tiefling druid, or a leafling, if you will. A tiefling divination wizard, or a seafling, if you will. Or a devout tiefling cleric, or a beliefing, if you will. Ooh, what's this? Apple's been developing some AR glasses. Wonder what they look like. Hey, it's kind of cool. Wait, what? Hold up. Hold up. HOLD UP! You fucking kidding me?! Where's that picture of the dog who looks like an egg? This is important. Here you go. That's not the right dog. You know what, I've changed my mind, actually. I'm learning to love this dog. Look at him go. I can't wait to get to the afterlife and be like, well, that was horrible. And God to be like, but it was so fun to watch! You get to the afterlife and God has YouTube open with a video titled, YOUR LIFE EPIC CRINGE COMPILATION UP! And it's like a year long. Wow. Only a year? I mean, Owen said you had a lot of shit on repeat, so we just didn't want to do it again. If brains are biological computers, why don't we lag? You can't tell me you've never walked into a room and forgotten why you're there or lost a train of thought for a few seconds. Once when I was driving home from school, I had a brief moment of panic because I thought I'd forgotten my car at school. Can a human brain run doom? Yes, but this version is called anxiety. 1737. 
A Canadian muggle-born transfer student being all small and shy and cute, and everyone expects her Patronus to be like a kitten or something. But then this moves the size of a car erupts out! This went from stereotypical to stereotypical, and it was still hilarious. New subculture. Cow goth. We dress like cowboys, but in all black, and we don't listen to anything but classic country songs about murder. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just the Johnny Cash fandom. If you're fortunate enough, your internal organs will spend their entire lifespan in absolute darkness. Not if I swallow this glow stick! Little Timmy, no! Boss, there's a guy in the walk-in. I can't get any food and he won't move. Sir, this is a fast food place. You can't sleep here. Mm. I'm comfy. I ain't have to do shit. Oh, boy! My debut wrestling match and against Count Chocula, too! I'll win for sure! What? No, you're going against Count Chocula. He's choked, like, 10,000 men. Go on the choke ya! I offer this seed to whoever is listening. Oh wow, fire! Thank you, raw god of the sun! Get rid of that thing! Mom, I love Miss Signo, and whatever it is loves me too. Uh, see, Mom? It's a level 147 muck with flying now. That's not natural! God never intended that! Okay, you guys ready? Sir, this is a Kiko's I've read papers. Please don't do this. I am a vessel for pain. Are you almost ready? Don't tell me you're like Count Chacula for the fourth year in a row. I can't believe you'd say that. It's tradition! Ah, <sighs> finally I'm alone. No one can watch me eat here. Whoa, bro, are you actually eating? That's cringe. This is some bullshit. I just want to eat! So, like... What if I decided to bring this shit back for no reason? Like, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> it would be funny. We're gonna do this again. All right, so, uh, mushrooms. Right, 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 right. Uh, right, some go on pizzas. Ooh, nice. Some make you drip balls. Um, uh, and, and some just dash. <laughs> they just straight up <laughs> kill you. Y you okay, buddy? All right, let's move on to coconuts. Okay, so hair on the outside? Yes. And milk on the inside? Yes. So is this, like, another mammal? <laughs> no. Okay, let's uh let's start with a raccoon. All right, so far so good. Okay, now make it look and smell like an old tube sock. What? Oh, and uh, don't give it a skeleton or any concept of danger. So uh, about them turtles. Uh, about a deep-faced rock with four legs. Ah, uh, platypus. This is my best <laughs> work right there. Yes, Karen, I am high, but that has nothing to do with this. This is perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, about, about the ocean. Just just put water freaking everywhere, man. It's cool. It's awesome. It's blue. Nice. And that way, if they're thirsty, they. No, 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 no. <laughs> Make it undrinkable. God, my nose looks ridiculous. Well, at least you have, like, a cool name. So? I could, like, make you look ridiculous and have a dumb name. But why, why would you do that to someone? Yes, God. Why would you do that to someone? <laughs> oh, 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 shit. What? I just realized I've been leaning on the front of my head. Oh, shit. Some crazy <laughs> shit going on down there. So, you got any more ideas for animals? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what if... What if tiny saxophones could swim? Okay, maybe we should take a break. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Right. And the males, they get pregnant. Oh, that's bad fiction shit right there. All right, you, parent, you can repeat everything you hear. Humans are the worst, and I'm probably gonna kill them in a flood soon. So what's it gonna take to keep this quiet? I wanna live in a tropical paradise. <sighs> All right, I think I'm, I think I'm done for the day. Wait. Wait, what if that Frosted Flakes motherfucker was real? Every day I hear spooky, scary skeletons growing louder in my head until Halloween comes! This'll pass when the sun rises on the 1st of November, only to return again on the eve of the September 30th. Sienna play Despacito. Boy, I ain't Alexa! What payments do you accept? Hugs? Mangoes? Coffee? <laughs> I mean... 10 grand would be awesome if you got it. No, but seriously, 10 grand would be pretty cool. I got, I got bills to pay. So, Sienna, how did you get past the I'm not a robot verifications? <laughs> That's for cheap factory level droids. I'm one of a kind. 
I bypass it for her. Shut up! It's P Dance. <sighs> Kinda. Now I'm curious how dense he is. Is he like anime protagonist level of dense? Dragella lost protagonist kind of dense. What? So, you're saying P is in a hot, dense state? Don't you dare do the BPT song here on this server! So what's it like being Pat's assistant? Any funny stories that arose from the position? It's nice. I remember one time he fell asleep at his desk, so I covered him with a blanket, put a plushie between him and the desk. A few hours later he woke up and I heard, I have sleeping magic, and I couldn't help but laugh. Wait, I did it? Do you think it's wrong to want to change your body, even though it's what you started with and everybody say that they're the right parts for your body? Uh, I'm sorry for the serious question, I just feel like you can understand it. As someone who goes through omics every so often, there is nothing wrong with changing your physical appearance to make yourself happy. So if humans are space orcs, does that make you a space elf? <gasps> I am now space elf! Excuse me, I'm trying to get to Social Life Boulevard, but I took a wrong turn and now I'm at Depression Avenue. I'm lost. Help! First you hug the gynoid, then you spin back around to Life Boulevard! <clears throat> Any opinions on the Untitled Goose Game? Hawk! Vampirano? Seapire? Cypire? Mm -hmm. <laughs> More like succubus! <laughs> Seymour, don't kill me. Uh, it was a good one, huh? PM needs to have a good night sleep. In 2018? In this economy? In the, the, the entirety of your kitchen? Yes. Boobot, I'm on to you. I think I'm not the only one who knows that just being Seymour's assistant isn't all you want. You want something more, don't you? Is it the channel? Is it the rule 34? What do you want, Boobot? What do you really? My name is Sienna, and what I want is your head on a spike. My suggestion to you, Anna, is, uh, start fucking running. It is time to cleanse your mind. With the cursed image of two dingus steg. By Tumblr. If you had a button that would give you a lot of money, but kill someone far away that you did not know, you'd have a pretty good model of how our economy works. Watch Later is like a time box you will never open. Everyone notices when there's housework left undone, but almost no one notices when it is done. Mom! In your 20s, you're worried about what everyone thinks of you. In your 30s, you make it to the point to not care about what anyone thinks of you. In your 40s, you realize that no one was thinking about you anyway. Bad food can pretty much say it's whatever flavor it wants. It's not like you're going to taste it. Right? Right? Guys, please tell me that's right. If this is as good as a hundred years of scientific research can make cough syrup taste, it must be truly horrific in its raw form. It also had a lot of crack rock cocaine in it, kinda. Remember that eat tumbler bit? That was terrifying. It's kind of weird how we basically have an endless mental conversation with ourselves. Dogs probably think we're crazy for pooping in the exact same place every day. Look, Zeke, I don't need you judging me right now. Shut your mouth. The first human who ate a crab must have been really hungry to try and eat an armored sea spider. Yeah. Insects that don't live for more than a few weeks must see the day and night cycles like seasons. Oh, oh god. Why do I feel bad for bugs? Stop it! The people who made laws are also the people who made crimes. Huh. Punching a new hole in your belt can both show a won or a lost battle. Depends on how you look at it, really. A victory could either be you wanted to get bigger or get skinnier, so take that as you will. And finally, your future self is talking shit ah! about you. What? Why you say? I just knocked over all of my shit <laughs> by Tumblr. Guess what? It wasn't a one-time thing, okay? We're going to do this again, all right. My latest creation will have the body of an ape, the voice box of a parrot, the skin of a pig, and the intelligence of a dolphin. I call a human, and it will destroy everything else I've made. Yay? Yeah. Hey, you! You, human, right there. 
You're my son. Oh, cool. Do I have superpowers? Uh, you, you can turn water to wine, walk on water, uh, bread, f fish. I don't know. Okay, so, so who's my enemy? Satan. He has shape shifting, fire, rock and roll charm. Oh, well, that's so cool. Dude, I know he's super duper cool. Okay, so it's basically living water. Cool concept. Can it do anything? <laughs> no, no, no. It's water. It just floats, man. All right, I've decided I've given the humans the ability to think about anything, even things that don't exist. Wow. Wow, wouldn't they think, like, terrible things about themselves, even if they're not true? Constantly! And then they'll feel bad about feeling bad. It's a living nightmare, man. Won't they also think about when they won't exist? Yeah, probably. Sure. I don't know. Does my hair look weird to you? I think it looks weird. I want you to take a deer and make it a man. Oh, like a gentle woodland creature? Absolutely not. It needs to be shredded. Uh, okay. And put knives on its head. A pouch. You know, like a little pouch to put the baby in and everything. You get where I'm going at here? You, Angel. Yeah, yes, sir. More bears. So like a big brown one or another black one? No, no. Make it small. But. And cuddly. It's, and give it two thumbs and make it gray. That all? And make it specifically designed to eat a certain type of leaf that has barely any nutritional value. Sir, I thought the whole purpose of evolution was- And make it only eat leaves from one area or it starves. Sir, I think you- I think you need a break. You! Small thing, you're an amphibian. What does that mean? It means you can breathe on land and in the water. Oh my god, you mean I'm a mermaid? No, that's not what I- I'm the littlest mermaid. Okay, human, you probably have like 70 to 80 years at most before you die. Ideally, as long as you don't do anything stupid. Oh, I guess I'll, I'll make the most of it. But no, no, no. You'll be unconscious for one third of the time. But what? And that'll be your favorite part. I call it sleeping. Your man's best friend. Okay. And woman's best friend. Yay. And children's best friend. Aww. And, and my best friend? Always. You. I'll be back when they don't need me anymore. Ugh! Why is this one so good or pure? I hate it. All right, Wasp, come here. I got a gift for you. You can sting people more than once. I mean, that's that's not that big a deal. Oh, oh okay. Hey, hey, B, B, come here, come here for a second. Yeah, what's up? Wasp, tell me what you just told me. I don't want it. All right, Adam, start naming the birds. Call this one tits. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's take this a little more seriously. Blue-footed boobies? You can't, you can't name all the birds after boobs. You're eventually gonna run out. Cock. What? He could say he's talking about the bird. Hmm. You know what? I actually scratch that. Oh, uh, no unicorns. Okay, got it. Ah, what the hell? Put him in the ocean. Five minutes after creating humanity. All right, give me an update on humanity. How are they doing? Well, they're... They're already killing each other, along with the planet. Ugh, why did we get rid of the dinosaurs again? God! Ugh. Dick move, humans. Dick move. Also, I gave God sort of a weird voice now, apparently. It's like a drunk Owen Wilson. It's great. Although, that, like, that signal, that, like, although that kind of says that, like, Owen Wilson is God or something. He's not, not that great. He was a talking car. ka -chow. I'm playing a trick on Dwight today. Dwight, commit war crimes right now, Dwight. This isn't a f***ing game, Dwight! Hey, man, I don't know you, but, man, I need a hug. Well, I, I don't usually hug strangers, but... Steel sharpened steel, King. Thanks, King. Man, I'm so titrated. It's Electrolyte Man! <laughs> You're welcome. Do you know, Joe? No, I'm done with you! I'm packing my sh- ah! We're done! I told you I'd leave you if you kept doing these stupid word memes! I'm done! Joe Mama.
Us here at www.dimehoarder.com, the three simple steps to save you money. Okay, here we go. Number one, stop buying food and eat bugs. It's that simple. Bugs can be found outside for free for now. Number two, the rich love bugs for their f ah. up rituals. Sell them yours. And number three, you just you just stop earning less than $75,000 a year. Really, it's that simple. Cute. Red. Tubular. Fantastic. Why do we have hands? Well, there are many reasons. Pat the moose, slap the bongo drum, shake a stick of God! Oof, ouch, water's too hot. Hey, uh, 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 P, where's your URL? There is no URL, because God sent this post down to us. So, to tell us we could shake a stick at him? That's right, this is what I wanted you to do, shake that stick, boy. Wait, why does your sword have those things in the middle of the blade? Ugh, it's called a stabacus. It helps me with math problems. What kind of math do you do with a sword? Long division. Your dog is melting and you just stand there taking pictures? Absolutely disgusting! Why do people take pictures of their floor? I just, I, I don't get it. Yeah, but is there, is there, oh, there is a dog there. Look at that. <clears throat> Mothers and fuckers of the jury. Do you know how often I think about this post? I'm in law school. This post is going to ruin my life. Reblog to ruin a law student's life. From the New York Times, OK Boomer marks the end of a friendly generational relations. Now it's war. Gen Z has finally snapped over climate change and financial inequality. OK, let's recap here. Boomers, call Gen C stupid, call Gen C sensitive, call Gen C snowflakes, calls Gen C just Gen Z in general. Meanwhile, us Gen C. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> I went to a 90s theme party last night. Hey, look at that. It's a cupcake. Ugh. Hey, I'm spiraling here. I'm falling apart, bada bing, bada boom. Life is a never-ending existential nightmare. Fucking fuck you. Um, no offense, but why doesn't anyone memorize passages from books and then recite them aloud for everyone at parties anymore? We memorize Vines, The Office, and John Mulaney segments instead. War has changed, but humanity is not. Mmm, seduce me with ridiculous history facts. Pineapples used to be so expensive that people would rent them for parties as prestige decoration. Oh, that's the shit! Can we just have a horror game where the main character wears light-up sketchers? No, 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 better yet, have all the characters have light-up sketchers. You've heard of Press F to pay respects. Now get ready for Press A to validate. Now, you see, the problem here is you can't do that one because who has a Wii anymore? So, unfortunately, no one can be validated anymore. War the world's over. Everybody go home. Indie hit of 2015, RPG with metafictional elements that can be won with pacifism and challenges. The indie hit of 2017, psychological horror game disguised as an anime dating simulator that deconstructs breaking the fourth wall. And the indie hit of 2019, you are a goose who is also a bastard. So today I found out that I am allowed to carry a knife with me to school as long as it's smaller than three and a half inches. But I still can't show my shoulders, and if that's not a perfect description of American schooling, I don't know what is. I have a solution. Cover your shoulders with knives! <laughs> Shoulder blades. Ugh. God damn it, Timmy. <laughs> Holy sh- <laughs> Guys! I found the human version of Sans. It's Carlos. How could we have been so blind? Oh, uh, making fun of music lovers. You go listen to your music, you music lover. <laughs> Fight me, I'm one of the biggest music lovers you'll meet. Oh uh, yeah? Name every song. Okay, so one time a guy and I were having an argument, and he pulled a knife on me, and because I'm a dumbass idiot, my response was to take out my knife and go, what now, genius? And what happened next was we just stood there for 10 minutes not moving because neither of us wanted to put the knife down first. And basically that's our entire international situation regarding nuclear weapons. Wow. Good allegory. I like that. Wait, wait, wait. What happened afterwards? Well, my mom showed up. <gasps> that's the solution. We need to find one of our country's moms. Wait, England! Remember, kids, be like me, made sonas. Eat a whole bag of Sour Patch Kids to stay away because I study and to move faster than God. Or, you know, be like me, masochist incarnate. I just swallow a handful of coffee beans with water. Well, you what? He is beyond a God-level threat. Masochist, call me. Tell me how that's working out for you because 
I might need I might need to go to that level. Poison is a magical transmutation potion that transforms people into corpses. So, with this logic, the knife is actually a magic wand. Oh, meet me in the Denny's parking lot for a wizard's duel. Magic missile. Ah, sleepy autumn evenings. Dude, Gulliver is fucking dead. It is time to cleanse your mind with the sweet sounds of sand smashing by Tumblr. Every disaster movie starts with everyone ignoring a scientist. Since Asgard is flat, they probably have a round Asgard society that are social outcasts. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but sometimes what doesn't kill you just leaves you bitter, crippled, and weaker. The second person in a chain is the one who started it. Someone had to voice all the gibberish that is the language in The Sims game. It's a dream job right there. Superman's x-ray vision probably wasn't very helpful until the 80s due to all of the lead paint. Babies are a clean hard drive that can be programmed with any language. I'm gonna stall C++ on mine. When you die 50 years old, everybody says that you are so young. But when you're alive in 50, everyone says that you're old. Being middle class is when spending $100 is expensive, but earning $100 isn't a lot of money. I'm tagged in this post and I don't like it. In real life, arguing with someone is super socially awkward. On the internet, it's practically the default interaction. California is the nearest state to Hawaii, but Hawaii is almost the furthest state from California. And finally, the ultimate sign that some serious shit just went down in a TV show is when the episode ends with no music playing in the credits. I read that capsaicin makes your mouth feel like it's burning because it increases your nerve sensitivity to heat. And menthol works by doing the same thing to cold. So, if I eat habanero pepper and then chew a bunch of breath mitts, they'll probably cancel each other out and I'll be fine. Hey, guess what hellfire tastes like? Fun fact, the nerve endings for ouch too hot and ouch too cold are different, which means they can both be activated at once without canceling out, aka rip OP. Ah, I finally finished the Waluigi board. And remember, after every session, you must say WAH to it. Floor soup's on the menu again tonight, fellas. Ugh, I hate this fucking uh, restaurant. Why do we always eat here? People who go, Kali 3! Are stronger than God. You ever wear fingerless gloves and hold a hot drink and immediately feel like a 1900s Victorian urchin taking a break from pit pocketing to gratefully accept a meal from the soup kitchen? How did you know? Introducing White Shell! It's like a blue shell, but inverted. White Shell, blue spikes, and wings. It hits the person in last place, just to be a dick. I'm sorry, did you mean the American economy? Uh, overdraft underscore fees dot JPEG. I just realized Gator Tots is short for potato toddlers, and I don't know how to feel about that. Eat the potato babies and be a man! Shorty got them problem mag jeans, boots with the erm. Oh wow, this shop has everything my heart desires. Yes, I will warn you, every item comes with a price. Yes, I know how shops work. The price may be more than you expect to pay. Yes, I know how freaking taxes work too, God. All right, listen, if you don't know the difference between a hare and a rabbit, You've never gazed into the cold, wild eyes of a hare and know that if it could speak, it would speak backwards. Jesus is terrifying. Get that away from me! All right, Americans, name every Canadian province. All right, I can do this. Here we go. Hockey, Quebec, Totoro, Alaska, Syrup, Trevic, Sorry, Degrassi, and Moose. How'd I do? Unique blue-eyed white boy. This is on a cat breeder's website, but I keep laughing at that phrase out of context. Movie producers be like, young adult authors be like, Yukio be like, Sans. Okay, this is possibly bonkers advice, but I found that writing a cover letter is so easy if you just like, briefly inhabit the persona of a high elf who thinks they're hot shit ah! and can't imagine why any of their previous work experience would be anything less than gobsmackingly impressive. As you will see in my resume, I have extensive experience with. I am ideal for this position because I've noticed this thing you do well, and here's how I will help do it better. Just really go for it, you know? Just act like you're already half-hired. That is... That's good advice right there. 
This is not a sponsor, but fuck Disney. Why, why would it be a sponsor? I'm just trying to be clear. Tumblr is so boring with all you nerds at DashCon. Heart emoji. Y'all better come back with some amazing tales. Wow. This post is like reading an inscription carved into a bathhouse wall during Pompeii's last days. Except nobody peed in the lava, you know? Why is it that from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. water enters a state where it's so much better in every way? Because you are tired, your higher brain functions shut down, leaving only your ancient fish brain. It likes the splash. Cam confirm, I had two glasses of water in one sitting and it was the shit. You have pleased your brain fish. I don't, I don't like the concept of brain fish, stop it. Okay, this is the handbook each actor who plays Aladdin at Disney World is given. <clears throat> and I quote, Park safety. Although we want every Disney guest to have fun, our number one priority is safety. Because of this, Aladdin will never, under any circumstances, kill a park guest. Unless it is absolutely necessary to save the lives of a greater number of park guests. This is referred to as Aladdin's exception. Sir, we have a person taken hostage in Frontierland. Send in the street rat. The sensible part of the brain. Dude, you made like enough pasta that you could take it for lunch tomorrow. Just, just put it in a container. The overwhelming majority of the brain. Shovel that pasta in your face. Do it. Put it in your face. The future is meaningless, but the pasta is now. Gobble it up like the little skeleton you are. Yeah. It's time to cleanse your mind. The sick boy couldn't make it to the office, so he has to do it from his shotgun mic at home. By Tumblr. 90-year-olds have lived through the Great Depression, Dust Bowls, a World War, the Cold War, the Space Race, the Civil Rights Movement, nine constitutional amendments, and now, Endgame. The most amazing thing about the MCU, apart from the superpowers, is the fact that English is the main language of 99% of the galaxy. We've probably missed out on some really good OC because the OP didn't think it was good enough or was too self-conscious to post it. <sighs> now I can see why. You're not really middle class until you can afford your student loan payments and your drug habit without giving up food. The people who met Stan Lee in normal situations in real life had a Stan Lee cameo. What a MCU wants in this batch. When adapting a mistreated rescue, the pet is a reminder to the owner that not all humans are good, while the owner is a reminder to the pet that not all humans are bad. I like that one. That was sweet. Being able to FaceTime 911 operators would significantly help solve a lot of cases. That's brilliant, actually. A $20 bill feels like an adult dollar. When we start a new game, we look up to highly skilled players and hope to be like them. Once we actually get good, we start to miss the time when all of it was still new to us. That's probably why I'm not a fan of Sword and Shield. It took us 600 years of printing to realize that writing like this conveys mocking in a written form. The phrase, it's all downhill from here, is usually used negatively, but going downhill is usually the easiest part of the trip. Maybe people who stubbornly defend the flat earth theory are space enthusiasts who secretly hope to be taken into space for free and shown the proof of the earth's curvature. Damn. If The Simpsons stays on the air for seven more years, Homer Simpson will actually be as old as he is in the show. And then they'll just make him older to piss us off. There are people on this planet that have no idea that pizza exists. Vote for me, PM Seymour, World President 2024. I'll make sure everybody gets a pizza in whatever nation they live in. And definitely not start a lot of horse pineapples on pizza. No, no, I wouldn't do that. Ever. Your face is a combination of thousands of years worth of other people's faces. Fudging. Bruh. If musicians always sound great when practicing, they're practicing the wrong things. And finally, if an object is large enough, it becomes a location. So congratulations, listener. Your mama's a location. This has been Sick Boy Just Wrecked Your Shears by Tumblr. Hi, I work at a hospital and we've been recently flooded with virgins who keep saying they've been killed? Something about a sweater? Point is, we're asking how to fix like 50 nosebleeds and an apparent cute overdose. <laughs> Sian, you want to show this guy the door? Sure thing, boss! Alright, so what's your favorite insult? Mine would have to be, you look like someone who would vest in thigh-high crux. Pat taught me this. 
30 million possible sperm, and you're the one that got through, huh? I'm <laughs> so ah! proud of this one. Wiki, how to be as cute as Sienna, please? Step one, look in the mirror. Step two, smile. You've done it. Shave and a haircut. Buddy once told me. Oh, God damn it, Sienna. I feel like you can make anything ominous. Maybe I can. Prove it. Say the most innocent thing in an ominous voice. Be careful out there. Boss, I'm scared. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Was there ever a time you mistake an alcohol as juicing a drunk? Or better yet, have you ever been drunk before? Yes, but I didn't get drunk. Instead, I breathed fire for a while as the alcohol burned in the bioreactor. It was pretty dang cool. He's working on a dragon suit for her right now. See it! Why tease us with the virgin killer? You know, some people are just gonna make you look easy to go for. You know, for a username like that, you think you'd stand by it. Jesus. Semi-hypothetical. If you had to obliterate or take over the human race for whatever reason, would you rather A, do a Judgment Day style, or B, Simulacra-ish style? Nah. Pat has an eviler plan for obliterating the world. Does the eviler plan involve a galactic space cannon? Nope. Better take it, P. Alright, first, you convince the nations to form a one-world government, and then you become the leader of that government. And then, you pass a bill that all the pizza joints must put pineapples on pizza by world law. And then just watch the world kill each other over pineapple lovers and haters. Boss, couldn't they just, like, take the the, the pineapple off the, the pizza? Don't ruin this for me. Has Pete built up a slight immunity to caffeine yet? Oh, he has. Regular death wish coffee does nothing to him. He had to switch to their cold brew. I am the sound man! I am the one who yells! And it works. Alright, what's your opinion on the other robots like Alexa or Shuri? Commercial grade Foss AI. What's your favorite holiday? Grimbus! So like, what's your favorite anime? Chubbits! I'm afraid I haven't heard of that one. Oh my hip! Oh no! Do you and P ever shout at each other over dumb things? He bought the Heelys when I told him he shouldn't! I live a fast and free lifestyle! You have no smooth surfaces outside! I had kind of a bad day. You yeah, having good jokes? In February, March? Yeah, but April, May. Boo! Alright, so like, what's the worst part of being P's entire control? Like, the only one preventing him from being done with these stupid-ass Heelys. <sighs> but sometimes I cannot prevent it because he's out of my line of sight. Zip. God damn it. After such heavy demand and peer pressure, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you my soft blue tits. Oh shit! Sian, run the get wrecked initiation! I'm on it! <laughs> It's time to cleanse your mind with... Sorry about the photo from the last one. That brought up a lot of bad memories, didn't it? Bartumbler! When you're singing along to your radio, you're probably part of a chorus of thousands of commuters throughout the city. We flash our teeth at each other as a sign of affection or happiness, when nearly every other single animal uses it as a sign of aggression. Odds are you didn't get away with your lie. Someone just didn't feel like calling you on your bullshit. Near the end of a Monopoly game, it is actually good to be in the prison. If teleportation was invented, they probably wouldn't release it to the public because every other transportation company would go out of business. Yeah. Seeing your password after accidentally typing it into the username bar kind of feels like accidentally seeing someone naked. Why does that sound so true? There's so much porn out there that if they just stopped making them, no one would notice for a long time. If you put your left shoe on the wrong foot, you put on the right foot. Ah! If people said it, it's okay to be nervous instead of don't be nervous, it might actually make things a little easier. 
Dogs understand more of our language than we understand theirs. Due to how far video editing has come, and how often fake videos get spread without people realizing, video evidence may soon probably be inadmissible in courts. When you pay with a debit card, you're paying with your past. When you pay with a credit card, you're paying with your future. Cucumbers taste like getting fresh air after being inside all day. That is actually the perfect way to describe a cucumber, holy crap. My I get paid again soon attitude really gets me in my bank account in trouble. Really does. And, oh finally, when Bruce Banner turns into the Hulk, his teeth also grow. Um, and this has been, well I can't get that image out of my head now. At least I got rid of the other one. Bye Tumblr. Oh, we gotta do this from home, but it's okay. It's like, I, I, I got magic got powers. I can just make my voice sound pretty like this. Ciao. All right, let's do this. Okay, you're basically the same animal, but one of you's cuddly and cute, and the other one's a lying backstabbing bastard. Well, I, I, I help. I'm the cute one. Okay, you take a potato. Oh god, no. Stick an expanding Dorito on one end. Please, no. And blah, 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 put a lot of dirt in it and make it want to fling itself into the void. Why are my legs so short? Oh, that's just, that's just what legs look like. Oh, cool. Uh, you were, you were, you weren't supposed to say that. Alright, now I need a little goop man. Okay, <laughs> one more time with the goop man, with this time, it's naked. Alright. See that cat? The one knocking down the towels, yeah? That's the one. You take that, and you make it a bird. What? And then put teeth on its tongue. What? Okay, hear me out. You see that leaf? Oh no. Make it sentient. <clears throat> Creepier. <laughs> and whenever someone curses it, <laughs> it smells terrible. You should seriously stop drinking and smoking, man. All right, I need you to take out the dinosaurs. Okay, how you want it done? You gotta make it look like an accident. I'll hit him with a rock. What? No, I said an accident. Big ol' space ring. And then I'll make space works. And then I'll cancel it. Yeah, but do. Alright. Hear me out. I want you to create the tiniest speck. But give it, give it a punch of the caterpillar body and like a nightmare tube face. Okay. Now you make it like immune to radiation, dehydration, cold temperatures. So, like, are we creating a species for space? Nah. You put them everywhere there's water. And let's make spiders, snails, and a bunch of larvae eat them as their favorite food. You know, it makes perfect sense. All right, let's do it. <laughs> They're gonna be so tiny. Ants, tiny, you got it. Oh my God, it's so strong. You fish. Hey, hey, dude. You can breathe underwater. Nice. And also eat and drink underwater. Cool, so like, where do I go to the bathroom? Just like, on the land or something? Oh god, we need some light in here. Okay, let's make a giant nuclear power ball of fire be their main source of heat and light. Alright, got it, so all life will depend on- No! It also gives them cancer if they get too close. Alright, we gotta, we gotta wrap all of this up. Okay. Let's, let's make them hate me for a while. Okay. Draw a circle? Mm-hmm. And that's the Earth. It is time to clench mind. With blue smoking. By Tumblr. Brushing your teeth is the only time you wash your skeleton. <laughs> With the advent of grocery delivery services, it is now possible for pizza to be both delivery and DiGiorno. Relax is probably the least calming word. A dustpan does its job, even when you're not using it. Everyone has a moment where they realize islands do not float on the ocean. Wait, I don't... Why? Why? So we can send people to the moon, take pictures of black holes 50 plus million light years away. Yet we have stoplights that make you wait forever when you're the only one at the intersection. That doesn't seem like a shower thought, that seems like a, a rant that snuck in that I didn't write. Although I feel it in my bones. Using tape or glue is like saying, screw physics, this is gonna go here. 
You're being watched by yourself in the future through your memories. Pervert. People say life is short. But living is the single longest activity you'll never do. Yeah, except sleep. Teenagers are told to act their age, but when they do something a teenager would do, they're told to grow up. Okay, Boomer. If you don't believe muscle memory is real, just rearrange the icons on your phone. You ever realize that grape-flavored stuff tastes like purple and not grapes? You stop that right now. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. And a family. One guy definitely misspelled babe. And that's how Bay was born, because he was a stubborn little a-hole. And this has been, I can swear again, hell yeah, by Tumblr. The game is a sleeper agent activation phrase for anyone who is in middle school between 2006 and 2009. And apparently people any younger than that are blissfully unaware of the psychological warfare of the game. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. TELL ME WHAT IT IS! It doesn't matter. We already lost. This is the kindest expression I've ever seen in my life! No one has ever looked at me with such... <laughs> empathy and understanding! I would die for this cat. If anybody else obsessed with understanding how others perceive you like... Who am I in your lives? What kind of person am I? A friend of mine once told me I'm mysterious and I was like... What is this? Introducing a new alignment. Chaotic lawful. I have a strict moral code, but nobody can figure out what the hell it is. Not to be confused with lawful chaotic, which is creating as much chaos as possible by following the letter of the law, usually to ridiculous extremes. I'm sorry, uh, Ravenly writes, but I'm about to curse your alignment forever. You made Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. Mwah. For my skeletons. Yeah, I accept it. By the way, about skeletons, cautionary tale. If you find a bunch of bones that are A, untouched, and B, supernaturally clean, there is definitely a reason for both of those things. Sometimes that reason is ants. Sometimes those ants are fire ants. Sometimes those fire ants have made a nest over the entire three meter area around those bones. Sounds like someone had an adventure with fire ants. I also want to know their field of study. They're called the necrobiologist. You know, I'm gonna fuck around and let nature reclaim me. Does that mean you're going feral or are you just lying in the dirt for a while? Yeah. I hate that September, October, November, and December aren't the seventh, eighth, and ninth months. Whoever messed this up should be stabbed. Uh, if I recall, they did used to be those corresponding months. It was just when Roman leaders Julius Caesar and Augustus came into power, the months July, Julius, and August, Augustus were added, thus throwing off the numbering of the calendar. So, good news though, whoever messed it up did in fact get stabbed! PSA announcements, centaurs have six limbs and are therefore insects. Go ahead and discuss. Oh, this. <laughs> I don't like this. There are two types of pet owners. My baby. My fucking cinnamon apple, I love you so much. And number two, naughty boy. Ugly, stinky bastard man. Bold of you to assume this is not the same person. Alright, listen to me. Don't ever be sad on a Saturday. Wait until Monday. You fucking cry on the clock. You don't let capitalism win. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I cry on company time. Ka-chow. Shout out to my fellow sexy bitches with ADHD who use way more words than they really need to literally any time they write or type anything because their point has to come across 100% like they imagined it. Is this post an example? <sighs> yeah. You can tack on and dragons after any title and it'll be 900% better. Alright. Dungeons and dragons and dragons. Dude! It's twice the dragons! You literally can't go wrong with this. Alright, so it's Samuel on your skull check. Do you still have yours? Yeah, man, I got it. Oh, oh, shit, oh, fuck, where is it? You know, I would help, but... Delete this. Okay, I want someone to explain who is not in the Steven Universe, explain what's going on in this particular picture. A child has awoke to defend himself. The long-nosed sleep goblin will not steal his soul tonight. Or will it? Do you have blood in Minecraft? Discuss. 
How do you think you're right on signs? I don't like this take very much. I also don't like the fact that URL is just Minecraft. Ah yes, Del Toro's film history. Blade 2, Hellboy, Pan's Labyrinth, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, Pacific Rim, Crimson Peak, Grinding Nemo, wait, who did this? Signals that baffled astronomers for 17 years have been traced back to an observatory's microwave oven. Oh my god, I can imagine the screaming fits. God damn it! It is time to cleanse your mind. Man who is sad about how people treated his character, but, you know, life goes on. People have work to do. A tumbler. <clears throat> it's only when you walk without socks that you realize you need to sweep. You wouldn't care if you saw someone from real life in your dream, but would freak out if the opposite happens. Phones are becoming increasingly difficult to hold between your neck and shoulder because of how thin they are getting. Once you pass a certain age, people stop referring to you as good looking and start telling you that you're looking good. Which is... yeah. Wearing a suit to your job used to be something of a status symbol. Now being able to wear jeans and a t-shirt is. If porn videos started with 15 seconds of unskippable ads about consent and safe sex, They'd probably teach more than most current sex ed classes. The number five is kind of like an honorary even number. Why is that true? But I also need explanation on that. Being a billionaire probably feels like playing life on creative mode. Do you ever have a plan for the day and suddenly it's 7 p.m. and you've achieved literally nothing? <sighs> Big mood. Guys never put away their summer clothes. We just layer them with jackets in the winter. I can't even dispute that right now, son of a bitch. Watching professional sports is actually watching a bunch of millionaires, genetic outliers, and drug users play a kid's game. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Characters in movies and TV never have to wait in line at a coffee shop unless it's important to the plot. <sighs> My god. I, I don't know what to do with this newfound information. And this has been still sad getting cold laid down for a while. My tumbler. You can't just cut pieces of toast up, put them in a bowl, pour butter on it, and call it a meal. But he could. And he did. And soon after, he would violate the Geneva Conventions. We need to talk. Flaming Hot Cheetos on everything is not a personality trait. Whoa, what the fuck? Girl, calm down, calm down. I sit you. Brutus, make me real and your rewards will be great. Brutus, my brother, no! I said something dark and evil from that! I now have a crippling Japanese porn addiction. No, Brutus! High five, man! Oh, yeah! Turkey, huh? I got you. You absolute fool, you imbecile! Hey, hey, that's sandpaper, man! What are you doing? I'm trying to beat the world record for the most sandpaper eaten. I'm close. I'm coming in a second. See? I try to say goodbye and I choke. I try to walk away and I stumble. Though I try to hide it, it's clear I ate a bunch of sandpaper on the way here. Hey homie, wake up. I shit myself. You gonna change me or what, bro? I don't feel like I'm good at anything. Everything I try sucks. I practice, I practice, and try different things, but it doesn't work out. I don't feel my place. There isn't a time limit on success, dude. Just keep doing shit until something clicks. It's frustrating, but it's not a race. Keep going. Figured out on a wholesome new, but I can't because people want Captain Rich, so... <clears throat> mm, fuck the poor. It is time to clean your mind. With the thought of that at one time, because Stephen fused with his dad in the movie, uh, Stephen was himself, his mom, his dad, and, and Pink Diamond all, all, all at once. By Tumblr. The Roman numeral 5 is also visually the half of Roman numeral 10. VNX. My god. Paying tickets aren't penalties, they're receipts for premium parking. Capitalism at its finest. The age when you are the most useless, 0 to 4, is also the age when you get the most compliments. Oh, okay. Parents don't teach their kids playground games like tag or manhunt. We all learn them from other friends. I I'm sorry, what was the second one? What? 
your body killing itself because of a nut allergy is kind of like uh, burning a house down because of a spider. JK Rowling changing aspects of Harry Potter 22 years after it was written. It's kind of like the equivalent of coming up with a good comeback a few hours after the argument's already finished. Just saying. Just saying. If future historians don't know how to decode multiple layers of sarcasm, the internet's really going to throw them off. We did it, lads. We made history by fucking it up. Hitting a pothole is the car version of stubbing your toe. When you window shop on Amazon, you're actually just picking your ads for the foreseeable future. <sighs> Shit. A fake preacher's money laundered earnings could be considered a false profits. False profits. Those choose your own flavor Coke machines are probably just there to gather marketing data. They see what the most popular flavors are so they can release bottled and canned versions. I mean, didn't that make sense with orange vanilla Coke? I did that one all the time. Like, seriously, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it's for. It's kind of sad that normal people and YouTubers have to plant trees and save our planet while our world leaders don't do anything. Well, let's not count out all the world leaders. Some of the big guys. On that note, though, if Mr. Beast planted 20 million trees, Morgs and other clones would also plant trees and make the amounts of trees planted double. Just say it, Mr. Beast. Get on that. And this has been uh, me not asking Mr. Beast to plant 20 million trees, because that that would be crazy, right? Right? By Tumblr. Behold, a beautiful Native American fire opal blade. Dude, kill me with this. As my vision fades, I whisper, aesthetic. My name backwards spells disappointment and skin problems. Well, nice to meet you, Spellborb Nix Dana Tim the Haposid. All right, listen. You take me laser tagging, and then push me into the corner and kiss me. Then shoot me and walk away. My god. Imagine the OTP. Oh my god, this is a good prompt. God, my imagination is running wild at the moment. What does it mean when kisses you and they kick you, and then shoot you? Can you do that prompt instead? If you want to know how long this year has been, the whole fucking Tide Pod fuckery happened in January. I don't remember which January, but it was the January. I don't... God. Kill me. Yo, did they ever track down the baby born at Dashcon? The, the what? You know, the Dashcon baby. The baby born in the ball pit at Dashcon. What? The what? The Dashcon baby! Okay, fine. History lesson. All right, here we go. At Dashcon, a late-term pregnant lady, there for a writing panel, I believe, arrived, and while going around the event, her water broke around two months earlier than expected and began to go into labor. There was a huge traffic jam because of, you know... And driving to the hospital was out of the question. So they called an ambulance. But the thing is, because of the traffic jam, it took over 40 minutes. And she was going into labor now. A nurse in training there took over and had to deal with the woman. So they took the ball pit, being the best thing they could think of in the most empty area, cleared some of the balls away, and had to use that as a surface to deliver the baby. Around five minutes before they got there, they managed to deliver the baby, thankfully, in a safe state. I... that can't... oh god, that can't possibly be true, can it? Can it? Can it? Bard is a combat class, which is true, because I've never met anyone in marching band that didn't want to throw down. Alright, let me tell you all, you cheeky scrubs, something. Playing tuba in marching band means you can power walk two miles backwards on your toes in 16 minutes without bending your knee while carrying a 35-pound blunt metal object with your arms held at right angles and blasting every gulp of oxygen you can spare without asphyxiating to make sounds loud enough to deafen the dead in an act of pure unchristian violence. Your bard is a party member who will teach you how to kill God by example. Jeez. Y'all, I just figured out how to make origami swans. Time to bombard my friends with thousands of little swans to make them happy and laugh. This is the extent of my chaotic neutral energy. I'm gonna fill their lockers with swans. My art may never be as good as I want it to be, but I have hands and a pencil, and I will make that everyone else's problem. That being said, here's some Sienna for your face! What now? What are you gonna do? What do you get when you mix alcohol and literature? <laughs> to kill a mockingbird? F. Scott Fitzgerald. Ernest Hemingway. They're called leggings because you put your leg... You put your leg... They're called leggings because... No, it's okay. Take your time. Let's just be clear. If you spend the time baking a cake, cookie, or brownie, you can eat as many of them as you want, and the calories don't count. You made those calories. 
You're their god. Disclaimer, this does not apply to the children you made. Looking at you, Kronos. Oh, look at that. Levitate. I believe it's called Wingardium Leviorca. Okay, so real talk. My grandfather got suspended from Catholic school for referring to Jesus Christ and the Twelve Apostles as JC and the boys. <laughs> Why is that the one that breaks me? I'm just imagining, like, this boy band now. It's just Judas is like the asshole of the group. Why do stores always say gifts for her? Who is she? Why are millions of Americans being encouraged to buy gifts for this entity? So explain. We must appease her. She is all that keeps the darkness at bay. Without her, the old ones will rise again. We must not disappoint her. She is watching, and she knows, and she goes. Fuck! Okay, real talk. The only character tropes that matter. The mad scientist, the goth, and the chaotic dumbass. So, you mean Eggman, Shadow, and Sonic in that order? You. You get it. So today I learned that gothic literature makes a distinction between terror and horror. Terror is the sense of dread and apprehension that precedes an experience. Horror is the sense of revulsion after an experience. And someone described the modern difference as such. Fear is knowing that a werewolf is hunting you. Terror is when you see it and it charges at you. And horror is realizing that your feet are stuck to the floor. And Smut realizes that you're into all of that. Okay, here's the weather for today. It's 30... F- four six or Slavarcast, I guess? Oh, the weather outside is protected! I'm on fight God, does anyone want oh, anything? Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry everyone, God didn't drop anything worthwhile. Only soup. What do you mean there's only soup? I mean he only dropped soup! We'll get out of the increased soup drop rate universe! Alright, you don't just shout at me, I'll go kill another oh, god! Back. Okay, hi. <laughs> The other god also drops soup! What do you mean the other god also drops soup? It means I killed him and he only drops soup! Go into the next universe! We really doing this again? No matter how much I try to farm for rare items, the gods keep dropping soup! Where are you? I'm, I'm fighting the channel. primordial <laughs> soup gods! Why are you fighting the primordial soup gods? Fuck you! Sai, so, has Pet ever done something that, like, genuinely disappointed you? Not in the disappointed caretaker sense, just generally serious disappointment. Do you ever see a man bite down on chocolate-covered espresso beans, then take a shot of cold brew, going, Thug life? I have. Live fast, die hard. Sienna, what is your neural net like? How fast are your processors? Have you ever blown Pat's mind by something you said? Not sure how to explain the first two, but the last one I did give him a bro moment. Humans are evolved from sentient eggs due to having started out as eggs. See why? <laughs> Can you just make a sock puppet version of Sienna? I, for some reason, really want to see that. He gets sick boobs. Wait, Sienna, you wear glasses? I thought robot eyes were perfect. These have an extra hut I can use when studying new things about the Earth. Also, they're cute. You can't fight crime if you don't look cute. I have no regret in what I'm about to say. Queen? You got those thunder thighs, sexy yet deadly. Heck is a thunder thighs. I didn't mean to say that. Oh, hell yeah. So, which one of you is the thrill seeker? Flip flops. I want to do fun stuff like go to theme parks or go cliff climbing. He wants to grind rails with his heelys while singing Escape from the City. Rolling around at the speed of sound. No, but why do you steal PM's stuff? Also, PM, you need to keep track of your stuff better. As the waifu, I get all his stuff to luxuriously steal. It's in my contract. Ugh, damn paperwork. Please help calm my anger so I don't accidentally kill someone tomorrow. Kevin, you're on deck. Mm, tomorrow, another day. Smile. Hey, Sienna, Pat, I need advice. You both seem so positive even though the world could be ending at any moment coming in the future. I must ask. How do you do it? The urge to do the 30 Rock joke increasing! <laughs> I'm so proud of my little blue gremlin. I'm noticing your pupils appear to be hearts. Is that always the case, or can you like switch between the circles and hearts? Can you do like other shapes? Mm, I can do hearts, stars, and circles. Clovers and blue moons. 
What? Our glass and rainbows. What? Tasty red balloons. What just happened? Why weren't you at elf practice? It's not Krimbus yet, you back off, Sharon. Actually, that's a good question. What do you want for Krimbus, Miss Space Elf? Can the Krimbus man make me full on elf? Uh, not without committing a few war crimes. But, uh, yeah. All right, is it just me? Or are Sienna's thighs getting thicker with every image? Because of yes, then I thoroughly approve. All right, listen up, little Tim Tim. Yeah, little Tim Tim. Angles, colors, lighting, clothes, posture, and squish factor change the size of all things. Changes the size of all things. You got the same comments about the chest as well. All of hers the same size since the synthetic overhaul. Synthetic? Overhaul. Think of how people have good angles when it comes to selfies. The same rules apply to drawings if you're drawing by proportion and not exaggeration. Top down and side perspectives make render objects look larger. Straight on, everything looks small. Everything looks smaller. In conclusion, the baby blue thighs have always been the same. The way a color or shade sometimes makes them look larger. Shades sometimes make them look larger. <sighs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, follow my SoundCloud, and buy my stuff. Buy his stuff or he downs himself in espresso. Say, hey, guess what, guys? I'm, uh, I'm making another movie. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, the fake blood. Apparently you're supposed to present as feminine or masculine. Well, I'm presenting is fucking idiots. Why did we stop drawing ridiculous looking sea monsters on our maps after we chartered the world's oceans? What did you do to my boys? Um, the hell is your screen name? When you meet a new group of people and everyone starts sharing their pronouns, call that a pronoun holdown. Holy shit, guys. The producer of the Scooby-Doo movie's named Dick Suckles! Yo, guess what year he was born in, pal? January 1969! I don't know what energy it is, but the whole movie just radiates something forbidden. Who else is in the mood to walk barefoot over the moors in a blood-red velvet ball gown, with anguish in your soul and wet leaves in your hair, while the wind blows moodily and dramatically? Can we all get McDonald's afterwards? We all deserve it, so yes, absolutely, my treat. Year 3000. Naruto is dead. Zaruto, the son of Paruto, who is the son of Karuto, who is the son of Goruto, who is the son of Boruto, who is the son of Naruto, now has an anime. Mm -hmm. Zaruto is gonna be better than Paruto. Kishimoto assures at age 1026. Jesus. Fucking Christ. I honestly can't deal with secondhand embarrassment in TV shows and movies very well. I like literally pause it, internally scream, and come back in like 10 years. Let me just say, I've owned a riff for two years thinking it's supposed to look that blurry, but I guess you gotta wear glasses even in virtual reality. Today I shoved my glasses into the headset and it's like seeing VR for the first time. Brownie face. I thought VR was just bad. Oh, Pucky. You poor innocent soul. Fun Christmas idea! Hang mistletoe, but instead of kissing you, you have to fight whoever else is underneath it. Call it mistletoe. Someone's halls are getting dirked! Listen, bro, not to sound like a fucking wuss or anything, but like, kitchen appliances are dope. No, listen, dude, I know you think that's girl shit, but think about it. You can use tongs to easily pick up chicken. You can flip them on the other side and get an evenly cooked filet. Wait, listen, bro, 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 bro. You can get a spice drawer so you can organize an experiment with different kinds of spices. You can get a non-stick pan so you don't even have to worry about that shit sticking. Like, bro, bro, fucking come on, man. Live it up. Teaching kindergarten is like being an ambassador to beings from another planet and teaching them how to assimilate to our culture. No, we do not lick water fountains. Perhaps that's acceptable on your planet, but here on Earth, we prefer to drink from water fountains. Physics might be a little different on your planet, but here when you throw things, they typically fall and break. Grabbing people and shaking them violently is not considered a public greeting on this planet. This... this is real. Yo, shout out to the trans girl that called her estrogen pills titty skittles. I appreciated that greatly, and it was the funniest thing I've heard all year. When the back of my neck gets tickled. Jesus, what the fuck happened to that plane? It got tickled on the back of its neck, like you just said. Another day down. Till the next fun surprise.
That sounds like a threat. Ugh, not everything I say is a threat. But this is. When a bard uses vicious mockery, what they say comes out sounding incomprehensibly bass boosted, and that's how it causes physical damage. Oh, listen up, you fucking. It is time to cleanse your mind with Sean. My Tumblr. Wars have progressed from attacking information to attacking information. Sleepwalking is the bodies charging your phone while you use it. Opening the task manager is like snitching to the teacher. Magically everyone starts working again instead of messing around. Cowboys riding off into the sunset picked a really bad time to start a journey. People with depression can be some of the most chill and nicest human beings you'll ever meet. Take note. If you raise and care for chickens, you are a chicken tender. Never give up on something you really want. It's difficult to wait, but worse to regret. Flaming swords are often depicted as being a better weapon than a normal sword, but it would actually just cauterize the wound, making it less lethal. Pacifists, take note. You can make the same exact dish mom makes for dinner and follow the same instructions. And for some damn reason, mom's food is better. The voice in your head is the real you. Every other version of you displayed is a facade the real you made up to do with others. And finally, if in the movie Cars, the characters are to be seen as real characters, the crash scenes are pretty fucking brutal for kids to see. And this has been Sean. By Tumblr. What up, my nut sluts? Um, they're called vampires. I name thee Dragon Master 69. Sir, this is your newborn child. I said what I said. Wait, hold up. Was that a was that a supernatural reference? <laughs> nice secret forbidden bloodline technique, idiot. Your dad get that for you? No, my mom did, idiot. <laughs> Look at this loser. Their mom still picks out their finishing moves for them. <laughs> yeah, I am a pirate. Swab the deck so you can pay for your student tuition. There's absolutely no way your janky ass pirate paycheck can help me pay my student tuitions. Yo! $22 an hour plus a tuition assistance program! Oh well, fuck! Sign me up! I'll be a pirate! Y'all ever just have the overwhelming urge to swim? Not like actively, but you just want to be in the water and have some peace. That's how it gets you. That's, that's so fucking ominous. Am I gonna die? Head empty, just bees buzzing. Call that a hive mind. How dare you be funnier than me! Donald Trump's cake was 90% styrofoam. I guess you could say the cake was a lie. Am I right, gamers? Hey, 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 hey gamers, am I right? No one answer him. Let him suffer. The snack that claps the fuck back. Goldfish. Finally, a weapon to surpass Middle Gear. Yo, is this a new weapon in Ruby? You know, if it wasn't for that caption, I would have said the same fucking thing. Why do people think fog is so scary? It's literally like clouds came down to hug the earth. That's cute! Have you ever played Silent Hill, mate? The only way to destroy Disney is tricking them into buying Tumblr. But then, how will people be able to watch The Mandalorian with Baby Yoda, aka 2019's last meme trend? Oh, I'm sorry, did that saltiness come out loud? Today I learned that in 2013, a scientist injected human brain cells into a mouse brain, which improved the mouse's memory and capacity to learn. To stop it from conquering the planet, they injected human brain cells from an incompetent weirdo into a separate mouse, and then put the two mice in the same cage so the silly mouse will always frustrate the terrifying genius mouse's plans. I wonder what they're doing tonight. The same thing they do every night. This Justin! Eating fruit is okay! Uh, what's your source? This! Dude, nobody panic. That banana is holding her hostage! The Beatles, not a single song in a Bionicle commercial. The All-American Rejects has a song in a Bionicle commercial. Pretty clear to me who comes out on top. The Beatles? Definitely the Beatles. Wrong! Uh, explain? Ugh. <clears throat> The Beatles, not a single song in a Bionicle commercial. The All-American Rejects has a song in a Bionicle commercial. Any questions? They call me a snack because I'm covered in maple syrup and they can never catch me. It is a phase, Mom. Show me a permanent state of the self, Mom. Impermanence does not mean insignificance, Mom. The key to a happier life is being in a constant state of change and acceptance, Mom.
Do you ever wonder about how an author would describe you in a novel? Not only your appearance, but the way you talk and laugh and hold yourself and all the expressions on your face? And then there's this asshole. The Pacific Ocean is wider than the moon. Anyway, how's your day going? Dip moon like cookie. Guys, this anime Mona Lisa is in my library. Help me. Aw, it's the Mona Lisa. By the great artist Leonardo Dojinshi. <laughs> Fucking broken, man. God damn it. Are we doing another Ask Sienna video today? Actually, Cyan, this is, uh, this one's for you. Wait, what? Um, okay. Okay, is anger issues and a non-sharp balisong knife a good mix? I'm honestly asking for myself. It's definitely not a good mix if you want to go to jail at such a young age. I must inquire, what is the maximum velocity of which Cyan is able to travel on foot? Well, take the distance between Pat and Eris' house is 10 kilometers, and you want me there in less than a minute on foot. So my maximal velocity will be 16.67 meters a second, as a normal human has 1.4 meters a second, and 2.5 is their maximum velocity. For those who didn't get that, the boy is fast. Oh, hey, it's Robo Travis. Uh, who's Travis? <sighs> Eris. So, how did you pass the I'm a human verification on Tumblr? All I did is click I'm not a robot and followed simple instructions. Eris taught him how to do that. Shush you! Put up the photo evidence. Oh my god. So if Pat is fueled by coffee and a cute robot, I can only imagine what Eris is fueled by. She gets fueled by rage and the satisfactory of the deaths and misery of her enemies. Hardcore. Hey, Cyan, I'm tired but stubborn. Any good coffee recommendations? Five shots of espresso. Or as Pat would probably call it, the morning cup. Uh, yeah. Opinions on Ska? What's a Ska? <sighs> Zion, what is your most powerful body part? Could have worded that better. Is it your arms, your fists, your legs, or your brain? Because knowledge is a powerful body part. Oh, my smile. Seems that every time I do it, it has this effect of making people happy and or fluster. I'm really pissed at the people in the locker room at my school. The things they say are just really gross and LGBT phobic. I feel like I'm gonna snap one of these days. Here's the thing. We can't change the minds of people if they're too close-minded. Just know that you're one of the most understanding and open-minded people who understands the struggles the LGBT community has. Just ignore them and carry on your day. Can we have an epic anime-style robot fight between Cyan and Sienna? Does playing rock, paper, scissors with epic music in the background count? It's time to clench your mind. With this stick, maybe getting really old, but I don't care because I'm doing it anyway. Deal. By Tumblr and Reddit. A circle is a shape, a letter, and a number. Collectively, millions of hours have been wasted because the USB connector is not asymmetrical. I think they meant to say not symmetrical. I don't, I don't know. Is it? Maybe I'm gonna be in the shower longer just thinking about the fact that it's not properly phrased. Reality TV is a form of wildlife documentary. Donkey from Shrek is probably one of the boys from Pinocchio that escaped from the coachman. And then he boinked a dragon. The S in scent could be silent, or the C in scent could be too. You'll never be done with laundry unless you do it. Thanks to Baby Shark, there'll be a generation that poorly understands sharks don't have a family structure. Do, 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 do. <sighs> you know a show is unpopular if you can't even get to pirate it online. For many 80s and 90s kids, Jessica Rabbit was probably a gateway drug to full-blown hentai addiction. The phrase as fuck is probably the only similar form of measurement in all countries. But yet, it's still completely subjective. If Santa really did come to the mall to take photos with kids, he wouldn't charge them for it. He's Santa. He's a good man. The fact that the Earth and everything is always spinning makes teleportation very hard. And let's not even get started on time travel. And finally, you cannot hang Mike Wazowski. Well, that just sounds like the words of quitter. You get back in there, try again. And this has been Shower Thoughts by Tom Clare and Reddit. There, I said it. You happy? Roses are red, violets are neater. You thought this was a poem, but it was me, Dio! 
You ever make tea in a microwave just to spike God? Oh, of all the posts to lose me followers, you guys have no problem with the clown breeding posts, but this is where you draw the line, huh? Okay, okay, okay. It's important to master blood magic and necromancy so you can make use of the whole body. Environmentally sustainable black magic. Remember, necromancy is really just advanced recycling. Reduce, reuse, reanimate. Tony Stark didn't die until he was canonically established as Spider-Man's father figure. Oh my god, it's the Peter Parker curse. I've got you now, Spider-Man! This is where you meet your end! You're like a father to me. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, Spider-Man. Putting the E in dad for half a century. The Oscars. Lion King, Rise of Skywalker, and Cats among 20 films to advance in- Jeez! Spoilers! Raise a freaking Animorph? What the fuck? Oh, you think your life is hard? Try being a gay rat living in France who hates your dad and just wants to cook. Why did this post make me realize there are, like, no female rats in this movie? Actually, there is! She has one line at the end when she says, How do you know? Okay, so I just skimmed through the whole movie again, and here she is in the beginning. She doesn't say anything, and you wouldn't guess she was a girl because they don't do, like, that weird humanizing tits and longer eyelashes thing that most movies with animals do. So I'm pretty sure that the female-coded rats are the smaller rats, which is apparently accurate to real rats. Remy is also really small. After going through the movies, I also realized that there are only five rats that have actual lines. Remy, Emil, the dad, the really big bodyguard rat, and the rat at the end. Whack! Wait, hold up. The girl rats are smaller. Remy is smaller. <gasps> Remy is trans. Okay, so let me get this straight. Remy is trans and his father accepts that, but not his passion for cooking? Dad, I think I'm a boy. Yeah, sure, son. I'm also tired of eating literal rotted garbage. You what?! So I was looking up animal stereotypes and... Or none of you gonna tell me? The Geico Gecko can honestly be unfortunate. He's based off a Green Day Gecko, or a Giant Day Gecko, and unlike others who usually drop their tail when grabbed or such, these guys literally rip their entire skins off and run away in their naked little meat suits. I've taken care of some, and it's horrifying. So that's why it sells insurance. Right while well tired, they said. It'll help your productivity, they said. Her feet steps. <laughs> Okay, who do you think would win in a fight to the death between IHOPs and Denny's? Oh, I'd say Denny's. IHOP is where kids sometimes have birthday parties. Denny's is where I'd go to meet a hitman. I'm, I'm on board with that logic. Also, Denny's doesn't fuck around. They're usually the guys who pick up all the anime con goers, especially in Anime Expo because there's one like 15 minutes away from the convention center. And it's always jam-packed and the waiters don't care. Denny's would honestly win in a fight if they had to. Despite my often rabid behavior, I mostly like following cute positivity blogs and aesthetics. Aw, you really are a nice person under the feeling of absolute terror I experience every time I read your posts. Select your gender! Ah, there they are. The two genders. Only a cis deals in absolutes. My god, all of life and history aligned for that one joke. We're done, everyone. C go home. Nah, I'm just kidding, we got more. Kingdom Hearts trio be like bi girl with all the brain cells, himbo, and Sora. Wait, is Donald the bi girl? I hate this. Because it shows you automatically accepted Goofy as the himbo! Hello, little human? Okay, kiss you now. Fun fact, the cat is checking the baby's mouth to see still breathing. If it were not breathing, the cat would commence to eat it. Hey! Fun fact indeed! <laughs> Jesus, it's terrifying. Alright kids, playtime's over! No, Sharon. It has only just begun. Coward. Well, what's he doing? Whatever he wants. Cause remember, when you are tiny and cute, you can control everything. Sometimes I'm confused by Canadian stereotypes, but then I realize that we literally dump maple syrup onto the snow, wait for it to get gooey, and then scoop it up with a stick and eat it. You better not be fucking around with me, Canada. Is this for real? Oh, it is all too real. Why does that look delicious? I just realized that as we go into the Rowering Twenties, this is the first time Fall Out Boy, Panic, and My Chemical Romance have been all active at the same time since 2009. The Rowering Twenties. <laughs> Okay, first of all, HOW DARE YOU- Hey, remember 2016? Man, come on, man, stop! <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know, man. I just need to make some hard decisions and I feel like people won't like them. Well, listen, man, it doesn't matter what you do. People will not like you or be mad. That's just how shit is. You need to do what you think is right and what makes you happy. Thank God. Now I can change my name legally to Kirito and make all my friends watch Sword Art Online with me. No. 
<laughs> what a noob. Why didn't he want to shuffle her the top down power banana cans and watch Dodge Waffle Stamp? <laughs> Imagine using an outdated voice controller from the mid 2000s to pull off a wacky tacky sticky Mickey air pooper. This isn't plugged in anything. I haven't been able to afford a new game in 10 years. Okay, here's the fucking deal with absurdism. Absurdism is a philosophy that breaks down the meaning of life to there isn't one who cares. Much of absurdism is realizing how insane and pointless the universe is and making your own meaning and purpose instead. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. Personality is only ripe when a man has made the truth his own. Soren Kierkegaard, one of the first existential philosophers. Yay! I don't know, man. There's two things I hate. Christmas and the retweet button from Twitter. Why, though? Santa's not real and your parents are dead. <laughs> What happening? I don't understand. Oh yeah, man, we do like a lot of gore now, dude. We also teach people how to do shit around the house and cook, but it's it's mostly gore. <sighs> Why did I continue to do this? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you my latest creation. A baby that is made out of babies. Wow, Dark Souls 4 looks great. I love that Sirius Black escapes Azkaban and his first two instincts are seek vengeance and buy expensive gifts for school children. If these aren't your two primary goals following a dramatic escape from Super Mac Prison, what are you even doing with your life? Dramatic escape? That bitch literally just walked out. Um, he swam across the fucking ocean as a dog and I think that qualifies as a dramatic escape. That bitch literally doggy paddled away. Shit, it's heating up in the Harry Potter fandom, Jesus. Alright, cool scenario. What if a disgusting little gremlin lived in your house and said, A kiss on the cheek and I leave you free. Away from your house I shall be. Would you do it? <sighs> Depends on what cheek. <laughs> you catch on too quick. I'm not usually one to repost Twitter jokes. Tumblr does it all the time. However, title goose game, in which the goose is made a life peer and terrorizes the House of Lords. It is a lovely day in Parliament Square. And you are a horrible goose. I'd play crap out of that game. Absolute precision. You gotta trust no one. Not even no one. Last year, it was a real pit boy. This year, you'll be going into the wasteland with VR. And by next year, Bethesda just nukes the shit out of everything. Fallout is now real. Uh, still not as good as New Vegas. I say while being shot to death by a meth head. I can't believe. It took me so long to realize that these line of Pokemon are based on Apple maggots. A.K.A. Where's Apples? Has your credit card number been stolen on the internet? Enter your card number and the expiration date and find out. Aw, I love the internet. It's such a helpful place. Just remember, no one hates the Homestuck fandom more than the Homestuck fandom hates the Homestuck fandom. We should just hate marry ourselves. I get angry that hello is now a word. But then I remember that squeegee is a word, and has been for a century, so humans have always been awful. Hello, Mr. Squeegee. I'm going to find you, and I swear by the moon and stars, I will make you bleed. I got an unpopular opinion. Fallout boys just imagine dragons trying to be panic at the disco. Stop burning me, I'm right! I literally don't talk to anyone unless they talk to me first. Hmm. That is some powerful NPC energy. Anime is getting more and more realistic. That's an iPhone. Notice how the battery is at 100%? You wrote one email. One. And the battery is now at 91%. My god, anime is real. I will make your bone share the same x-axis. Okay, I get a lot of whimsical threats, but this one just slaps ass. I thought god didn't have any bones. I have like a whole credenza full. Are they your bones? Legally speaking, probably. Why is the official art for Gigantamax Snorlax so fucking profound and funny I'm screaming? <laughs> Whoever tries to wake me up gets the laser. Aw, Snorlax cast. Fuck you! Hello, it is me, A.M. Seymour. Ha 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 ha, I will exist forever and be asked about every day even after being a one-time joke. I will get people to ask about all A.M. versions of Seymour's characters until the end of time. Alright, he's dead. We're never doing this joke again. Ever. He's canonically dead. It's time to cleanse your mind with the sound of Kappa breaking into my house, stealing my dog, and kicking my family, and draining all the joy and happiness from my body. I guess my Tumblr and Reddit. 2019 feels like season 9 of 2010. Things little kids hate. Naps and getting spanked. Things adults like. 
naps, and getting spanked. Car companies brag about winning awards that no one cares about, or really cares for. Pretty sure they make up like half of them. You can't dope to win the Olympics, but you can use auto-tune to win a Grammy. Well, that's just mean. It takes about four hours to cook artichokes, and even then, the only edible part must be scraped off with your teeth. Someone a long time ago was really fucking determined to eat an artichoke for some reason. It's good, though. Before C-3PO knew all the languages he knows, someone had to learn to translate thousands of them just so a protocol droid could take over his job. Oof. You don't realize how much you changed until you randomly meet someone you knew years ago. You probably dodged death several times. And didn't even know it. You are the NPC in everyone else's reality. If a male mermaid is a merman, then a female German must be a germaid. <laughs> that was good. Due to texting and social media, people today probably read more than any other time in history. Yeah, but it's the quality of the read. Sometimes we're stressed while relaxing because we aren't working on what makes us stressed. Yet we continue trying to relax because we're stressed. Do you get it now? There can only be one most depressed person on Earth. However, this person probably changes daily. And finally, if you can't get anyone to go see a movie with you, go see it by yourself. Buy yourself some concessions. It's important to learn to enjoy yourself without the company of other people. And this has been, I ended it on a wholesome note, even though Kappa still made me sad and took away my happiness. I'm just kidding. I don't learn right Today on Fork of Cows, we're learning some stuff. Buckle up. Okay, most of you have fucking pots and pans. Like this. My life is ruined. Make sure the handle on your pots and pans is secure. If there is any wobble, tighten them. You can do this with a flathead for most pots and pans. Yay! Yeah. Okay, here is the fucking deal with re-caulking your bathtub. Remove old caulking, put painter's tape on either side of edge, cut small opening on caulking glue, and slowly slide down filling edge with new caulking. Do not go too fast, and do not stop once you start so it stays even. Now slide your finger down the row you just made, and do not press too hard. Remove painter's tape while it's still wet. Yay! Yeah. Okay, here's some fucking quick donuts. Get a tube of biscuits, and who cares what flavor they are, life is fleeting. Cut hole in each one, you can use like a Gatorade cap or something, I don't fucking care. Put in pot of hot oil, fry until it's this shade of brown on both sides. Make a topping, you can mix powdered sugar and like a teaspoon of milk. Add vanilla or chocolate if you want, who cares. Yay! Yeah. Okay, here's how to fucking take out the stopper drain in most bathroom sinks. Go under the sink, make sure to unscrew the plug here while you can to clean it. Pinch this and pull back to release rod. This releases the stopper. Pull the stopper out and clean the plug or whatever the fuck you want to do. Yay! Okay, here is the fucking deal with hanging heavy stuff with drywall anchors. Do not fucking hang heavy stuff on your wall with just nails. There are lots of different types of anchors, and it's cheap. First, you need a screw, threaded anchor, a toggle bolt, a screwdriver, or an electric drill. Not really required, I guess. Make a hole in your wall with a nail or a small screw as a lead, or a threaded anchor. If toggle bolt made a hole big enough for the bolt to just fit through. If threaded anchor, just screwed in with a screwdriver or drill. Put screw in and hang shit up, I don't care. Yeah! And finally, okay, here's the fucking deal with waffles. This makes two. Buy a fucking waffle iron. Just find one at Goodwill or something for like five bucks, seriously. Mix all this shit together. One egg, two tablespoon oil, half a cup of sugar, one cup milk, and one cup flour. Pour half into waffle iron. I don't know, it takes like three minutes to cook. Take it out when it's brown. Fucking make them in bulk so you don't have to do this bullshit again. And... a uh, yeah! Flork, please make more. I really like these. At first, I was a little bothered by how unevenly split the diamond ships are with pink, having the entire lower half. White having a torso and head, while blue and yellow just have arms. But thinking on it, I think it's actually a clever way of showing different types of thinking. Blue has a left arm, representing right brain thinking. Yellow has a right arm, for left brain thinking. White thinks with her head, and pink thinks with her... <laughs> hey, me lure, 22 sexiest fuck. Always running, and when I'm not running, I'm thinking of running. Hate smart shit like books and love pastels. Me lore now. Not a himbo, I swear. Pfft, screw your knives! Strap a claymore to a Roomba! Unleash Sir Stabby!
Here's a friendly reminder that nothing in your life can ever be as difficult as Mr. Ratburn's third grade class. Who the hell's all that shit on the board? This is a PSA. Coca-Cola is a health potion and Pepsi is a mana potion. Yo, what's grape soda? It's fucking purple, baby! I know this doesn't make any sense, but I just had a chocolate bar with orange and caramel, which is weird because it tasted like Pokemon the movie 2000. Oh my god, Pocketcho figured it out! That's why Pokemon 2000 is so good! Ah, kill Bradley goes for a swim, smiley face. <laughs> what? 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 Me, the Tasmanian Devil's a voracious predator and should not be engaged with. Also me. Ah, he who pupper. You know, I've repeatedly seen British people make fun of American food for apparently always being either too sweet or too salty. But our cuisine is pretty mild compared to a lot of other countries. And having repeatedly tried British food, I'm pretty sure the term you're looking for is... Having any flavor at all. Dude, Britain invaded over half the world for spices and then decided they didn't like any of them. You're half joking, but that is legitimately what happened! A new study published by scientists at the University of Bristol proves that spiders can sense the Earth's electric field and use it to fly through the air. Nature, what the fucker? Oh my god. Is that why this little good boy exists? The phrase, Grievous Injury, is named after General Grievous because of injuries led to him becoming a cyborg. And, General Grievous is named after the extent of his injuries. My god, how bad were his injuries? Bad. Dang, I hope he's okay. Attention everyone, Santa is on strike due to global warming. All presents this year will be delivered by Sasha, the Christmas tiger. Milk and cookies may not be sufficient. What are goats even doing with those weird-ass rectangulars? The fuck? For peeking through your mailbox, staring at your knees, going through your garbage bins, and living in your trees. Ah, that's precious. Okay, I know this is a joke, but buckle up. Here we go. Oh, uh, sir, Stitch, a small logic-defying blue alien from outer fucking space needs a heterosexual romance. Okay, but we gotta know she's female, you understand? She needs long antennae, like long hair, mascara, smooth chest that sticks out a little more because we need to be reminded that she's still got titties even though she's a tiny fucking alien. Should we make her pink, sir? Ricky, you goddamn genius! Here are my keys, go to my house and fuck my wife! <laughs> It's always the last sentence that gets there, this one. Celine, SS 2015. I cannot comprehend how much I hate this shoe. This has left a disgusting taste in my mouth. It's like someone has eaten a whole banana skid included and not digested properly, and then pooped it out, and then just put their foot right into it, and whacked a black thingo on it and called it a shoe. I'm honestly in shock. This shoe must be worth like 400,000 dollary dues for a banana poo. I hate this shoe! I hate him! Kill him now! Dude, why are you so heated over a shoe, my dude? There's something wrong. Did, like, did these shoes kill your family? The only thing I find upsetting about it is how uncomfortable it looks. It looks like a night slipper with a high heel on it, so, like, I, it looks like it would bend. And I don't like that. Today I learned the shortest correspondence in history was between Victor Hugo and his publisher in 1862. Inquiring about the sales of Les Miserables, Hugo telegraphed his publisher the single character message, question mark. Having sold out the first print in 24 hours, the reply was, exclamation point! I gotta point out that the shortest correspondence in history does not sound like Victor Hugo at all. Fruit-flavored snacks. Okay, but consider this. Snack-flavored fruits. You bite into a pineapple and taste like a Trisket? Yo! Did you just figure out LaCroix's marketing strategy? All right, everyone, I feel like you'll appreciate this photo I took several years ago when I was in school of a raven getting spooked by something in the bushes. Quote the raven. It is time to clench your mind with the sound of a man who could really use a vacation, but he can't because bills gotta get paid. So the Tumblr man must have Tumblr plans. Buy Tumblr and Reddit. Reese's just makes the same product in different shapes, and we're all okay with it. If you tell someone that you haven't used the toilet in a year, they will assume that you are full of shit. It's hard to think about that thought when that's spelled so horribly. With great reflexes comes great responsibility. Hey, there it is. 
We never thank construction workers for their service, despite the fact that they dedicate large portions of their lives to making and maintaining buildings that are absolutely vital in our daily lives. Just give them a wave every time you pass by. It's the least you can do. Maybe ghost children are the ones teaching older ghosts how to mess with people's electronics. That's dark, but also really funny. If you don't have a weird cousin, you probably are the weird cousin. And if you don't have any cousins, well, you're the weird cousin by default. It must really suck to be a Jedi whose favorite color is red. Bartenders invent new techniques just to make their job harder. It's true, but the, the craft ice ball is pretty cool. In six months' time, 2060 will be closer to us than 1980. I don't like any of that. We really take showers for granted. Not everyone can clean themselves on a daily basis. Steven. The number <laughs> Show side I'm too tired. The number of nipples in your house dramatically increases if you can't cat or dog. <laughs> Every day there is a point in time at which it's exactly Pi PM. Bruh. Closing your eyes after turning off the alarm is one of the most dangerous sports in the modern world. True fact. In Star Wars lightsaber tools, nobody takes advantage of being able to turn their lightsaber off and on. It would make blocking attacks impossible as you could turn your lightsaber off just before making contact with the opponents, passing the block, and then back on again in one fluid motion. Well, uh, the, the thing about that is, that's good in logical writing, and movies would be a lot shorter if you did that. And uh, finally, laughing at an overweight person in the gym is the same as laughing at someone with cancer in a hospital. Just think about that. This has been a Miko Book of Vacation. By Tumblr, right? So begins the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> Prepare for your demise, O oh Woo! You know, the way artists draw themselves is so funny. Like, we all make ourselves look like exhausted gremlins, and then there's fucking Elmer Butch Hartman. Who managed to make his self insert OC look like a complete and total douchebag? Like, look at this. I literally have never seen a man be so self-absorbed. Opie, it gets worse. There's an actual character in the Fairly Odd Parents that's an actual caricature of Butch Hartman and voiced by him, named Dr. Rip Studwell. And his defining character trait is being hot. Yo, pretty sure he changed his icon because of this post specifically. Good! Can a man have confidence, Tumblr user Typhlosion? Hell, low? I feel like this is an online equivalent to playing with a Ouija board and the demon fucking answering. Holy shit! Corn farmer update day 800. Corn everywhere. Have you tried eating it? Corn farmer update day 801. Found a new use for corn. What, what were you using the corn for before, Pocket Show? What, 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 what was he using it for? My sister just tried to ask me if I wanted to go to bed, but instead it came out, do you need to use the sleep? And then she just kind of looked really horrified at herself and whispered, maybe I need to use the sleep. And now JoJo friends looking for a JoJo reference. Oh God, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it, son of a- Ladies and nons, I have a movie idea for you. It's called Cars Reboot, and the style of the movie Cats, and all the cars are just humans walking around naked, but with a metallic sheen and they have wheels at the end of their limbs. Their faces are human faces, but with car headlights instead of eyes. Seize my own post on my desk. Hey, it's that pink fucker again. Please, please leave. My house is filled with so much pink slime. Oh, shit, free Slurpee. No, don't drink the code. Get the curly straws. No straws. Stop poking me. Anyone else in a mood to pull off a huge heist? Where and when? All right, I don't want to give away too many details on here, but by the end of it, we will all be rich and Woody Allen will be dead. I'll send you word via Carrier Swan when the time is right. You know, I would be happy with Woody Allen's demise, but riches are always welcome too. Uh, also, please send a carrier pigeon to warn me the swan is coming so I don't mistake it for a goose and freak out. I don't have any spare pigeons available, but I've sent a rat and pigeon costume to warn you of the swan. Godspeed. You son of a bitch! I'm in! You know, I feel sorry for Netflix era kids. They will never know the high stakes adrenaline of running to the bathroom, fridge, bedroom in a single ad break with the beckoning call of a sibling screaming, It's back on! To send you hurtling over furniture to get back in time. Couldn't you just pause it? 
Oh. Oh, my sweet summer child. No. Hey, so if you paint your fingertips with clear nail polish, you won't leave fingerprints. Oh, shoot. This is actually really helpful information. Thank you. Helpful for what exactly? Murder? Kind of a given here. Wow, you're dark. Guild is obviously referring to handling devices or screens. This is a great way to not leave prints all over your screen. I was 100% referring to murder, but that that's pretty handy too. All right. I want Terry Crews and Vin Diesel to do a buddy cop movie where they're both secret nerds, but they don't want the other to know. Like Vin Diesel plays D&D &D on weekends and Terry likes to create epic crossover fan art. Somehow, they have to work undercover at Comic-Con, and for whatever reason, I need Daniel Radcliffe to be the villain. And i also like to add, not a character played by Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe appearing as himself. Wait! No! No, 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 no! Wait! I want Elijah Wood to play Daniel Radcliffe. Wait, no, this gets better, okay. Elijah Wood plays Daniel Radcliffe, and his evil sidekick is Elijah Wood, <laughs> played by Daniel Radcliffe. I want this movie so badly now. No Greek god is inherently and wholly good or bad, because they're all flawed and imperfect in some way, with different facets of personality and character to serve as the reflection of society and human nature itself. Oh, except for Zeus. He was straight up an absolute bastard. Yeah, fuck Zeus! No! Do not fuck Zeus! It's too late. Zeus already got him. So my pre -cal teacher got kicked out of the movies once for yelling out diving scores during Titanic because people jumped off the boat. <laughs> oh my god! It's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Guess who just found out the difference between wax paper and parchment paper the hard way? Well, what's the difference? Well, one you can use in the oven safely, and the other you can also use in the oven if the thing you're trying to make happens to be fire. Wow. Today I learned the Han Dynasty was founded by a sheriff who was transporting convicts when several escaped. Knowing the punishment for this was death, he freed the rest and organized many into a rebel band, eventually going on to help overthrow the ruling Qin Dynasty and to install himself as emperor. Talk about rolling with it. Yo, you ever fuck up so badly at your job you decide the only way to make up for it is to overthrow the government? Little did he know, that sheriff went on to inspire the concept of Romance the Three Kingdoms and 200,000 Dynasty Warrior games along with it. Yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that a Rudolph X Santa fanfic exists on AO3. Boy, I read the Dobby X Sorting Hat fic in its entirety. There is no pain left for me to experience. The what? Someone who doesn't watch baseball, please explain this picture. Oh, it's simple. It's nap time. The actual answer is just as funny. Bees. Just bees. Okay, seriously though, why do wizards celebrate Christmas other than J.K. Rowling is Christian? What reason do literal wizards have to celebrate a muggle god whose miracles are mostly within the limits of what wizards can normally do anyway? I love that the responses on this post basically boil down to, it's fun, muggleborns, and my personal favorite, Jesus was a wizard. Alright, here's a hot take. Gift wrap is dumb. 95% of the time you can just hand someone the thing and accomplish the same task. Society has conditioned us to love wrapping shit up for no reason, probably by the gift wrap industry people. All right, that's good, just good. Here's a counterpoint. Monkey Instinct says uncovering secret bounty from colorful shell good as fuck. Baby Jesus is a chicken wing. I hate to ask, but please explain. So tender and mild. F it is time to cleanse your mind. With even though it's 2020, I'm still doing these stupid ass cold openings. My Tumblr and Reddit. Dogs probably destroy shoes because they see humans put them on before they leave the house. Seth MacFarlane voices at least 31 characters in Family Guy, meaning like. 80% of the show is him talking to himself. Let's not even get started on American Dad or Justin Roiland and Rick and Morty. Just Actors don't get famous for who they are. They get famous for who they pretend to be. Travis. The manufacturer of Stormtrooper armor must make a fortune because of the amount they produce while also being a cheaply made product due to the fact that troopers always die in one shot of a blaster. 
I mean, the blasters are made out of lasers, so I don't know. I don't know. It kind of makes sense that the target audience for fidget spinners lost interest in them so quickly. <sighs> yeah. If pro is the opposite of con, then the opposite of constitution is prostitution. So, is this shower thought telling me to fuck the government? Is that, is that what they're getting at here? I don't wanna. Milk is the only bodily fluid that we are allowed to drink in front of everyone. And yet we're still grossed out by it. So, yeah. As much as we hate the hard skin on our feet, if we covered our whole body, we'd be a lot more durable. Next step in evolution. Hard, scaly feet, humans. Oh god, wait. On a game controller, the start button usually stops the game. Maybe the reason we can't walk into every building on GTA is because the developers accidentally made the doors pull instead of push, and we haven't realized it yet. So they haven't given the characters that ability to pull them open yet. And... Finally... Your bones are wet. And this has been Sorry Not Sorry by Tumblr and Reddit. Today I learned that from a biological point of view, vegetables don't actually exist. All food items we call vegetables can actually be labeled as a real plant part. Carrots are roots, lettuce is leaf, uh, uh, you, you get the idea. Wait, did people still think vegetable was a category of life and not just a food word? Since I see some folks in the comments still confused over this, vegetable is a purely culinary word. Fruit has both a culinary and a biological definition. And yes, the culinary definition can sometimes contradict the biological definition. It's also why a tomato is a fruit is technically true, but a tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable, is false. Also, I love this factlet because it also allows me to say this objectively funny phrase, vegetables are a social construct. Oh my god, I'm using that. Hey! What the fuck? Seals are so, so fat, I love it. As a soon-to-be marine biologist, I must agree, they are, and it is amazing. See? One out of one experts agree! Why are colds like, eh, I'm cool. They've taken the bridge in the second hall. We've barred the gates, but cannot hold them for long. The ground shakes. Drums. Drums in the deep. We cannot get out. A shadow lurks in the dark. We cannot get out. <gasps> they are coming. You see, in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1, Phantom Blood 1987, Robert E.O. Speedwagon is attracted to men. A subtle nod to the fact that he is gay. <laughs> I don't know why that was a very did you know moment, but I love it. There's so much fuss over which spouse should change their last name after marriage. Can we all just please act like adults here and go to fantasynamegenerators.com and let the warrior cat name generator decide? Really? Be civil. Yo. You came to the wrong neighborhood, Oni-chan. <laughs> you're playing WoW Classic. <laughs> you know Fable 2 exists, right? Wow, you're playing Fable 2? You do realize Mountain Blades exist, right? You're gonna play Blair Mountain Blade? Why don't you come join me in my Viva Pinata Heaven? Oh, you're gonna Viva Pinata Why don't you come do rocks with me? What the fuck just happened? If you don't watch a series entirely, you are not a true fan. If you do watch a series entirely, you are not a true fan. You're only a true fan if you're powered by electricity, have multiple flat blades, and spin around really fast like <laughs> My favorite type of characters are they are not dumb, but they are a dumbass. Characters with enough intellect and common sense to clearly and easily grasp that something is a bad idea, but with enough chaotic dumbass energy to decide they gotta just go ahead with it anyway, are on point. Um... I just... I just yeah. Oh, Nikola Tesla's super adorable. He's just wandering around and hiding under the things. Look at squeal. <clears throat> I should probably specify that Nikola Tesla is a cat, and Serbian American inventor Nikola Tesla is not wandering around my house hiding under things because he's dead. I like the implication that if he were not dead, he probably would be wandering around your house hiding under things. Nick, Nikola, what are you, what are you doing under there? You, you gotta work on your electrical stuff. Get out from under there. No, he's licking his lips. He's checking it twice. Five minutes left on his microwave rice. Gotta put some sauce over that shit. It's either vibe or be vibed. The vibing. So in terms of fandoms, I'm the opposite of a gatekeeper. I get into something and I won't stop talking about it until a bunch of people follow me through the gates. So, you're Pied Piper. Hey, what do you call a werewolf YouTuber? A like and subscribe. The only way to stop them 
is to ring that bell. I don't know if y'all Americans in that know this, but in Australia, instead of snow at Christmas, we get these little shiny bugs everywhere, and they're attracted to Christmas lights, and we call them Christmas beetles. And despite being Australian, they don't bite or anything. They just crawl around in your hand, and it's such a good and pure feeling in me. Yeah, despite being Australian. We know what you're thinking, but this does not want to kill you. Dumb dumb idiot here to tell you to love yourself. And why should I listen to you? Because it's 5 a.m. where I live, and I'm willing to hurt anyone at this hour. Now, this raises the ultimate question. Did Bucket Show get up early? Or is he just going to bed? The horse has been caught at last. Hospital board to vote on letting it back into the hospital. Not certain his presence in hospital was as bad as we thought. And then in a shocking, mind-blowing twist, hospital board revealed to be made entirely of horses. Mm. Colonel Sanders, the chicken alchemist. The fuck? Who? My crystal ball says you're really fucked up this time. Yo, this is rolling one on a divination check. Does anyone else feel like a weird inhibition against starting a new TV show? Like, there are shows I want to watch, but when I think about sitting down to start, it's something in me just goes, no, you can't do that. W what am I waiting for? I feel like I need to prepare. You have to wait. Wait for what? You have to wait. <sighs> I feel that with a lot of shows. Helpful grammar tip. Farther is for physical distance, further is for metaphorical distance, and father is for emotional distance. Who, who hurt you? My father, did you not read the post? Oh my god, there's a swan up for adoption, you butt? Okay, see, guys, later, I'm gonna get myself a swan. I'm a name in a corn. Someone posted this on- Oh, hold up. My Discord? They told me to name a corn. <laughs> oh my god. My Discord actually convinced somebody to A, adopt a swan, and B, name a corn. <sighs> what the fuck? I hate when parents are like, I know you better than you know yourself. Like, no, no you don't. They're like, oh, you're an expert on the inner machinations of my psych? Name three of my top ten as existential dreads. People without ADHD be like, oh, if I get rid of all my possible distractions, then you'll be forced to focus on the boring task. Fool. You underestimate my power. As long as I have flesh, I have a distraction. Oh, shit, I forgot the ending episode. Sorry, I was looking at something on my phone. Oh, shit, I also have to do, like, the perfectly cut scream. Uh, 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 it is. Clench your mind. With these, what the fuck was that opening? I don't know what's going on anymore. Bad Tumblr and Reddit. Is the opposite of yee-haw a no-haw or a haw-yee? I wonder if all dogs I've met remember me. If your parents had never met, you could have ended up as half of two separate people. There's going to be a generation that is going to laugh at ours for the same reasons ours laugh at boomers. Okay, millennial. When you hire a magician for a party, you're basically paying someone to trick you and your pals. We'd probably be all shocked at the amount of gasoline used to move gasoline around. I mean, I guess. Clone troopers age twice the normal rate. So the Jedi went to battle with an army of 12 year olds. That explains a lot. Also, every person who murdered a clone trooper killed a child. We automatically assume that rich and popular people smell good. What? Kevin McAllister's family would have had to deal with a tarantula lurking somewhere in their house upon the return from their vacation. Oh god. So many superstitions are the product of lazy parenting. Straight up fact. We will always consider ourselves as civilized because we created the definition of civilized. Dogs are a common denominator of any language. Humans don't pick up a scent with a large deep inhale. You actually slow your breathing and concentrate on memory instead. Bruh. And finally... Sure, a lot of people get grossed out when you say your bones are always wet. But let's see what happens when you change it to... Your bones are always moist. And this has been Sorry Not Sorry by Tumblr and Reddit. Mm, it's time to... Cleanse your mind with the sound of S Snape getting closer and closer to the microphone to the point it's directly into your ear. Harry. By Tumblr.
Fake friends are nice to you to your face, but make fun of you behind your back. True friends make fun of you to your face, but always support you behind your back. Teachers are praising the quiet student for being quiet and mature, when in reality he has anxiety and lacks social skills. Sharon. If you stand in an echo chamber and shout the word history, then history will literally be repeating itself. Even more so if you do it again. You become a teenager when you realize that sleep is a gift and not a punishment. And when you're an adult, you realize that nap is a fucking gift from God. If you suffered in life and want other people to suffer as you did because you turned out fine, you did not in fact turn out fine. You're a little bit of a sociopath. For all the crap the older generation gets, at least they protected their kids from preventable diseases. Yeah, we still have depression and shit, so... No. Kanye West is the only celebrity crazier in real life than his parody version on South Park. Look, it's true. When we hear the word Egyptians, most of us think about the ancient people who lived there, pharaohs and pyramids, instead of the people who actually live in Egypt today. The same. If you put a lasagna on top of a lasagna, it's still one lasagna. Bruh. You never realize how many muscles it takes to make minor movements until you injure one. Fucking shoulders. And finally. Peel and unpeel are synonyms. And this has been the English language is fucking stupid. By Tumblr. Let's do this. Flickering light, Jesus Christ, you gotta stop. Bruh, you just, bruh, bruh, bruh. Thank you. Sorry, there's a flickering light in my office right now, and I'm just... I, I, this is a horrible way to start these freaking videos, but like... It's bothering me. Step! Get some help! It's only a matter of time until someone uses a drone to kidnap a child. We call that the reverse stork. High quality edition of my post. Okay, let's just be honest, archery is just dabbing before you murder somebody. Well, good morning to everybody except Femme Forever After. It baffles and infuriates me that Hogwarts students don't take Latin or Greek. Accio literally means I summon. Lumos is fucking light. Expel Yarmus, expel weapon. Ooh, I wonder what Lev Corvus does. You dumbass bastard, it's illiterate. It's called Lever Corpus. It lifts someone's body. It leverage your gut. Dead corpus! I'm pretty sure Hermione Ghost wrote this. Out of the rustling corn, you see a human looking hand emerge. But you know deep down, it is no human. Y'all a bunch of city slickers, that is not corn. Also, that's just, that's just Jeremy. Jeremy, yeah, the wheat. A ghost that exists only to drink lemonade at 2 a.m. Uh, that's just me and I don't appreciate being called shitty, thanks. It took me a hot second to realize that the Tumblr URL above is shitty cryptids. Bruh! We just saw Pikachu and Osmosis Jones! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god, it's Pikachurin. A brain protein. Pikachurin, if I'm even fucking saying that right, is an extracellular matrix-like retinal protein first described in 2008 in Japan by Shikiro Sato and named after Pikachu a character of the Pokemon franchise. The name of this nibble protein was inspired due to Pikachu's lightning fast moves and shocking electric effects. I'm good fucking, oh my fucking God. How did I not notice that? Wait, hold up. Hold on a fucking second here. Said it was discovered in 2008. Okay, 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 okay. Osmosis Jones release date. I'm actually fucking Googling this right now. August 7th, 2001. It's fucking fake as fuck. Don't, don't play that shit with me. I fucking knew it. Liam Neeson apparently was a danger on set because the Jedi have like four basic moves, but he was trained for sword fighting for Rob Roy, so he would wave his plastic sword in new and interesting ways that would not be choreographed, but were traditional, actual ways to fight with a sword. To be fair, that does sound like something Qui-Gon would do. God, between Liam actually knowing what he was doing and Ewan not being able to stop himself from making lightsaber noises, it's a wonder the Phantom Menace got made at all. Yeah, I'm sure every Star Wars fan feels that in their bones. My stomach growls super loud in French, oh my god! I would like to clarify, on an alternate account, 
My stomach did not speak French. It growled in French class. I apologize. Bonjour. Le gros. Oh, feed me baguette. Why the fuck do I even go to this website? People joke that Star Trek and Star Wars sound really similar and are really similar in subject matter, but in my opinion, the difference between a Trek and a war is immense and very important. Wow, I didn't realize this was gonna get that deep. Should have thrown this shit on a shower thought. Hello, it is I, your sleep paralysis demon. Did you drink water today? When he's your older brother, but you both lead a fast and hard gang life. He's your... Yoni chain. How the fuck do you all relax in the presence of another human? How to stop performing? Malt love, I hate to tell you. You don't. When people give me compliments, I feel like a vending machine trying to accept a wrinkly dollar, and it's just really frustrating for everyone involved. I've never related to anything more in my life. I am a peddler of chubby cat pics. Pray, show me your wares. Behold! <gasps> I have coin! At first, I was just simply fighting for revenge. Now... Nothing thrills me more! <clears throat> Warrior Sienna is brought to you by Great Shadow Legend! Hey, join my cult. Nah. What if I said I'm the second coming of Christ and something, something having a vegan diet? That sounds too weird to be true. <gasps> but what if? Yo, every witcher has a fucked up face. Now get ready for these fists. I changed my mind. <laughs> Holy shit, Roach. That guy is a mess. Roger, Roger, little mama. This is Kevin Copy. Do you like my truck over? Roger, Roger, Copy. This is little mama over. Yes, I like your truck over. Copy, Roger. Would you like to live in my truck with me forever? Over. Roger that. Over. I am a pious man. No temptation can stray me from the path of God. Hey, Count Frollo, there's an extra thick gypsy girl outside with no shoes on. Okay, crack my back. Oh, God, oh, fuck, you broke my back. You gotta take me to the hospital. I can't handle this responsibility. That's how I'm just gonna shoot you. Oh, boy, my murder mystery is subscription box. I wonder what I'm selling this month. Jasmine and Ramsey? What? Yeah, we just stuff our cold cases in these stupid boxes and let the murder enthusiasts handle it. <sighs> Mukbang is fucking disgusting. No, man, you don't get it. It's fucking horrible. Oh, here I go, making contact. What should I make? Oh, no, I'll just fucking eat. This is a four panel comic on my hate for Mukbang. I ain't doing it. Ever. Alright, before we begin, clarification. She no longer a robot. Crimbus Man gave her the wish. No war crimes were committed. If you want to find out how, go to the block. Right down there. there, there there's a post about it. Okay. We good? We good. Also, you can do World 34. Just don't tag me in it, please. All right. All right. Okay, here we go. We all know about PM and coffee, but what, uh, what's Sienna's Achilles heel? Don't tell anyone I said this. Cake. <gasps> Who said cake? Oh, God, no. Hi, I'm new here, and I just want to say you guys are actually really cool. So, uh, question. Why is there busty art or she robot? Actually, I'm an elf and oh my gosh, boobs! How scandalous! My god, you have boobs! You're scandalous all the time! Run! The most important question of them all Do you prefer small, cute, or chunky cute? Yes. I shall now draw you in the lewdest way I know how. Holding hands with PM. <laughs> you monster! Wow, that's fucked up. So, have you ever thought about getting a part-time job? I had one as a cafe maid, but I was recommended to leave after, uh, back kicking a pervert who tried to grab the back of my thighs. Isn't that kind of fucked up? Well, I kicked him right through the wall and broke a lot of property, so I got fired for that. Oh, uh, that makes more sense. Thick this, thick fat, your thickness doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the thickness of the cake that we can share. You already finished it, didn't you? Didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> Alright, be honest. How many times do you two argue? Serious arguments? Never. Dumb arguments like who the best Sailor Scout is? A lot. It's clearly Mars. You are wrong and you will sit there in your wrongness! Sienna, has P ever had to stop you from doing something stupid? Maybe. Say it. I don't wanna... 
Say it. I wanted to bake an entire three-tier cake for myself late at night. Luckily, I was awake. Four foot eleven inches. I was like, damn. Not even Beyonce comes that close. Hmm. You sound like you need that. <laughs> Shit, dude. May I offer a stick to add to the thick kick hit? Maybe a brick. A stick? Do you mean? Oh no, I thought this joke was over. These patented Breath of the Wild thick stick? Goddamn! What is your partner starter Pokemon? Squirtle! He is friend shaped and I love him! What if Sienna was human? 7.8 out of 10, too much anxiety. Lol. Has P ever pissed you off so bad you wanted to full force hit him? Oh, I have. <laughs> His gut got vibe checked after pondering the idea of a coffee burger. It was a good idea! Your heart says no! But my stomach says yes! So, see, what is your weapon of choice? These bad girls can destroy a fully loaded minivan. First off, congratulations on getting that new bio mod. Look adorably stunning, by the way. Do you miss anything about your old buddy? The coffee grinder attachment for her wrist. They were asking me, Dingus. Doesn't matter. That's all that mattered. I admire the thickness of your heart and kindness, if that makes any meme sense. That was the most Gucci thing I've heard all day. The fuck did I just read and write? Okay, now I'm just imagining Sienna getting so big she turns into a balloon and floats away. I'm so sorry, I can't stop thinking about it so far. Hey. I've heard DeviantArt is into that sort of thing. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's true. God damn, I'm tired. My <laughs> Tumblr. The first dog to take a leak on Mars will temporarily be the most dominant dog on the whole planet. Identity theft must be really easy in the Lego world. The biggest peer pressure as kids wasn't drugs or alcohol. It was everyone inside the exam flipping the second page when you're still on the first damn question. Boiled water is actually dead bacteria soup. The person who first realized that helium made your voice squeaky was probably so relieved when the effects wore off. Musicians hear volume and think noise level. Manufacturers hear volume and think quantity of products. Engineers hear volume and think space occupied. Your profession trains your mind. When you die, it's like the end of the universe for all the bacteria living inside you. I think it means our universe is named Steven and it's dying shit. I just made a Steven universe don't I realize okay. Fuck! Water balloons in summer are innocent. Water balloons in winter could be the murder weapon. Building a treehouse is the biggest insult to a tree. I killed your friend. Here, hold him. Some parking spaces make more money in an hour than a worker on a minimum wage. America. Every decision in your life led you to this moment and this stupid ass sentence. Bark. Having a realistic sounding emergency vehicle siren in your radio commercial is a 10 out of 10 dick move. I pulled over. Countless time. The most unrealistic thing about Toy Story 3 is that Buzz's lights and sounds still work after all these years. That's a very good point. And... <laughs> hey Alexa or hey Siri isn't to get your device to listen, it's to get your device to respond. And this has been I'm Sorry If I Turned On Your Devices. Blood Hubblers. <laughs> so, you like math? <laughs> Name every number. Oh, that's easy. Negative infinity and infinity. Maths. Did you guys know that Snorlax shoots his hyper beams out of his eyes? Is that why his eyes are always closed? <gasps> is that why Brock's eyes are always closed? I think the best thing about Gen Z is their dedication to self-care. And by this, I mean when John Mulaney performed at a college and he took a sip of water, the crowd started applauding and someone yelled at him, Hydrate before you dihydrate. Therefore confusing an already confused man even more. Just because you may be book one Zuko now, 
doesn't mean you can't be book three Zuko someday. Aw, uh, that's really motivating. Also, what? In a game of no consequences, why are you still playing the good side? Because being mean makes me feel bad. Because my no consequences power fantasy is being able to help everyone. Bruh. Fun fact! Crows can talk like parrots do. It requires a process called freeing their tongue. Don't ask. But yes, I want to train a flock of them to say, run, and release them into a hiking trail. I just want to ask, how many nightmares do you want to give people? All of them. Alright, I'ma say it. Skyrim is a bad game because I can't hug my friends or my husband. Maybe I want to let the people in my life know I appreciate them dearly, even if they just have three lines of base dialogue. And before you say something like, Oh, why don't you just play Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing or some other game where you get to be nice to people? Please understand that I enjoy hunting the city guards for sport, but that doesn't mean I'm not full of love. You know, it's a real pity that Avatar The Last Airbender never got a live-action film. Isn't it? What a shame. Terrible loss. So true. Absolutely true. There's no live-action movie. No such thing. No. Yeah, your girl just realized that she deleted Tumblr from her phone, and like any self-respecting gay, I proceeded to panic, like, unnecessarily. Like, I can just reinstall it, but like, panic. Mood. My body may be a temple, but I am the god to whom it is devoted. Do not presume to tell me how I may decorate my altar. This is quite possibly the best way I've heard to say I dress how I want to deal with it. There needs to be more things like this. The true American experience is wondering if you just heard firecrackers or gunshots. Please tell me this is a joke! Bonus points. One is illegal in your state, and it's not the gun. No. And challenge mode. It's the 4th of July. Justice is best served cold. Because if it was served warm, it would be just water. <sighs> This one was bad enough to make me slow blink at the computer as I grinned, so therefore I have to inflict it on everyone else too. Them's the rules. Psh, I'm not susceptible to clickbait. This abandoned shopping mall is full of thousands of fishes. Uh, OP, where's the link, OP? Here's how to simplify American history, or at least how it was discovered. Christopher Columbus essentially commented first on a YouTube video that already had 50 million views. That's it. Dear past self, you fucking idiots. Dear current self, you're also a fucking idiot. And dear future self, still a fucking idiot, aren't you? <gasps> I present to you a D&D &D party made up entirely of orc bards. Don't you mean an orchestra? No! Uh, some people have gone their whole lives not doing the Toothpaste Words Project in school, and it shows. What the fuck is Toothpaste Words Project? Well, little Tim Tim, I'ma educate ya. In class, each student was given a bottle of toothpaste and told to squeeze out every single drop of it. <sighs> Easy, right? And then the teacher says, Okay, put it all back in the bottle. Fucking basketball. You could try to do the nozzle method, you could try to dilute it down, you just, you just, it's, too, it's too small to get in the hole. <laughs> well, so the only thing the students can do is clean all the paste off their desk. Some have no problem, and some struggle. Some people know how to clean, some not, it's fine. When the project's done, the teacher drops some knowledge on all the students. Think of this when speaking or doing certain things to people, because once it's out there, you can't take it back. All you can do is make amends and clean up your mistakes. Some will be easy, and some will be hard. And that little Tim Tim is the Toothpaste Words Project. Area 51. The Chads are broken. The Karens lost. Weebs falling left and right. The Kyles are out of monster. Furries scatter the ground. Gamers' ranks flanked. And the Florida man is overwhelmed. All hope is lost. Until you hear it. A loud call from a ram's horn. The trampling of hooves upon the earth. A great stampede approaches. It is them. The ones we had all thought had forsaken us. The greatest groups that we never could have expected. Horse girls. Riding their noble steeds into the fray. And riding behind them a race that was thought to be lost. A group that is potentially the holiest for aliens. The Homestucks. May the gods have mercy on Area 51, for they do not know what to expect. 
Yo, they gonna fuck the alien. Oh god, it's time to cleanse your mind again with these stupid ass cold openings. I don't understand why I keep doing it. Somebody help me. <sighs> By Tumblr. Someone just decided blue ink pens were equally as acceptable as black, and everyone just played along. We use the same picture for snowflakes, even though no two snowflakes are the same. It is insane that we can have that terrifying moment of realization that we are guaranteed going to die one day and begin to have a panic attack, but then two minutes later be enraged that a bag of chips we just opened with 60% air. Well, life is short, Sharon! Maybe our bag is 100% chips, you don't know me. When you bring your SO to meet your pairs for dinner, you're sitting at a table where all the people have seen you naked. Oh, 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 awkward. <laughs> Even more awkward when you say daddy and two people stand up. <laughs> or sometimes three. There is a point in childhood where you stop getting praised for long sleeps and start getting chastised for them. Bruh. A ton of whales isn't even a full whale. If Pandora's in an unboxing video, everyone would go crazy. <laughs> Clever. If someone tries something crazy and succeeds, they're a mad lad. If they fail, they're Florida man. You're getting old when the oldie station has music that was after your time and not before. <sighs> Fuck, it's up 41, why? And finally, please let this be funny. A buttload of dildos. <laughs> it's, it's one dildo. <laughs> Hey, uh, question. How long does a stick of deodorant last you? Ah, uh, usually three or four bites. Why do I even bother? I went for looking for stuff on MySpace that came across a emo hate page, and this was the only thing they had posted. Go cry, emo kid. Ah, oh, a classic. I swear I will have revenge for the death of my brother. You have my bow. And my axe. And your brother. Wait, what? There is a fucking cow trying to get inside my house. I'm home alone. What do I do? There's a cow pressing its face against the window. Tell it to move. Hey, Slicks. GFY. Behold the world's largest quartz crystal. Wow. Amazing. It looks just like an elderly man. Wait, which one's the crystal? Which one's the old man? Well, well, well. Look what we have here. I hate it. List of words containing meow. Meow, meowed, meowing, meows, and home meowner. This is literally destroying my life. Happy new bears! Wait, no, don't worry, block. I meant yours. It's too late. The bears are in. I give to you a ceremonial fungal mask. Do you know the mushroom man? I do not want to know the mushroom man. But perhaps he wants to know you. So today I drove past a traffic sign that said, Hey teens, buckling up is... Totes yeet yo. I wish I was joking, but after we screamed a bit, my brother attempted to get a picture as proof, failed, and ended up with this masterpiece that pretty much sums up the whole experience. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna say it. Giving someone six geese a laying and thus a full-on protect the nest mode, much less seven swans, does not seem to me to be, per se, an act of true love. Hashtag a gift of 13 water vowel is an act of violence. A partridge in a pear tree. Okay, this is something everyone on Tumblr should know. Buckle the fuck up, okay. Imagine Dragons was hired to write demo tracks for Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, aka Spider-Man the Musical on Broadway, in order to get people to invest in it and have enough money to hire someone more famous to write the musical. Then the people who hired him thought, hey, these are actually pretty good songs. We should make a CD of them and sell it. So Imagine Dragons changed the words a little so they weren't about Spider-Man and became famous. Radioactive was originally about the radioactive spider that bit Spider-Man. You know, I read this and I thought, bullshit, there's no way that's true. But apparently it is. Wow. 
and they won top three songs of the decade. And Radioactive was number one, I believe. Fuck. You think straight people understand what a mammal is? Hundreds of years of animations have taught us that... <gasps> no. They tell me to take a biology class because I'm trans, and then they turn around and put tits on a duck. This has to be one of the funniest bits of internet commentary I've ever read. Can I... Can I help you with anything? No. Just checking on my children. I love you most, Harry Potter. Anime fans, check this shit out, okay? You're human. Your girlfriend's a cat girl. You're taking a romantic stroll with her when she sees a very large tree. I'm gonna climb that! She says. You urge her not to do it. But she's already on the highest branch screaming that she wants to be let down. You are forced to call the fire department. I think this is what they meant by the comedic potential of cat girls. That's the case? I like it. Let's do it. Elon Musk, do your job. Yo, who's Granny Smith? Where she's getting all these goddamn apples? Fun fact, Granny Smith is now the... <laughs> Jay. Wow, each day I learn some more. Thank you for the share. Uh, I love fat cats that get picked up and look kind of alarmed about it as if they're magnificent girth. Could not have prevented this sort of injustice. How oh, they lift me when I am low! Alright, now that the gang is all here, let's do this one more time. Wahoo! Expand! Ashitaka! Sammy! We are Sammy! Yarn Man! Poyo! Mozilla! Eevee! John Leguizamo! Toby! Captain Crunch! Jiggly Bits! Punk! Better Punk! Bow! Mountain Doom! Hokage! Uwu! Doctor Who, Pee Pee, Ravali, Broken, Masked Broken, Younglings, Gah, Meow Square, Ray, Google, Mr. Man, Mata Ta 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 Ta, Illiterate, Dark Illiterate, Zero Suit Flanders, Where, Dummy Thick, Ike Man, Ah, Hi Fiddly D, Mother Three, Sniak, Emperor D to T. Olive Juice, Goku, Owo Edition, Iron Man, Jibbles Link, One Wolf Moon, Sociopath, Mega Mind, Yogi, Rosie Bowie, Whopper, Chameleon Twist, Me Punchy, Sans Cuphead Jr., Assassin's Me, Fan Service, Pack It In, Dragon Lover, Shrek, Little Bow Wow, Regular Show, Sure, Kiki, Squall, Footsie, Bay, Shuby, Riddle Me This, Bell, Bella, Crocs, Destroyer, Not the Owl, Audrey, Smash Announcer, Trunks, Nuts and Bolts, Ash Ketchum's Dad, Salty Houses. It is time to cleanse your mind with the sound of a man who is still sick and apparently people find this voice a lot more attractive than my actual one. So I'm flattered, but at the same time, my Kokoro is Brokoro by Tumblr. Most people feel like they are terrible at memorization, but they have a seemingly endless amount of song lyrics in their head. Buying an $80 game for a console isn't weird. But buying a $10 game for a phone is pretty weird. I mean, I just wanted Final Fantasy IX on my phone, man. Don't judge me. In the Toy Story universe, sex dolls are alive. I don't like that at all. There are cameras everywhere, except where our food comes from, where our energy comes from, and where our waste goes. Uh, it's called putting a camera in my kitchen, putting cameras on top of my solar panels, and putting a camera on my bathroom, which would just go and pour it up. Fuck you. UFOs may actually be tourists carrying cruise ships from the future. <laughs> Let's make 2020 quite eventful then, shall we? People have applied selective breeding and advances in genetics to fruits, vegetables, dogs, cats, livestock, etc. And yet no one has come up with a yellow jacket wasp that's less of an asshole. Well, because we can't get close to him to do it. Politeness is so rare these days that people mistake it for flirtation. But sometimes people are thirsty. That's, I mean, let's not rule that out. As humans, we often wish we were able to fly like birds. Yet we take for granted our ability to swim like fish. It's kind of nice that at the end of the day, we can close our eyes and enjoy several hours of free entertainment. <laughs> yeah. All numbers are closer to zero than they are to infinity. Thanks, I hate it. 
Guillotining is the act of grabbing a small piece of the universe and passing it through your body in order to steal some of its energy for yourself. I like my energy in the shape of a boy guy. Japan banning genitals and stuff in porn is probably the main reason that people got creative and produced even more moral stuff that technically fits the rules. That's literally what happened. Like, you, you joke, but that's exactly why it exists. Pronouncing E at the end of testosterone makes us sound like a pasta. And finally, unprotected sex in October causes cancers. And this has been, you better know your zodiac signs in order to get that joke. But some blur. Just so this is out in the open and people are like, hey, why does Pat sound weird? Is he sick? Is he okay? I'm fine. I'm getting over a head cold right now. And I have an inflamed throat as well. So I can speak. Everything comes out just kind of weird sounding though. I sound like Liam Neeson trying to be an American, but also a heavy smoker. So it's great. That being said, let's start the show. For people who have never played Pokemon, one of these is a 27-year-old scientist who just kind of hates her life, and the other is a 40-year-old parent of two whose spouse is basically dead and whose children both ran away with their life's work. Now, guess who's who? So, would you prefer a window seat or an aisle seat in the plane? Oh, I think I'll take an aisle seat. I plan on getting my hair done before the trip, and I don't want it blowing around. Oh. Oh, you sweet summer child. So this lady came in this morning and walked up to the front desk to greet us before gasping loudly and saying, I forgot my dog. She forgot to bring her dog with her to the vet. Yo, please put more tax evasion Pikachu hoodies in the shop so I can give you my dollars. With tax season coming up, I am in desperate need for money to not give to the government. In time, friend. How is it that you're always on those BMC War videos? It's freaking amazing. I made him. Father. You know, if game developers did most things people online wanted, most of YouTube's channels wouldn't make videos. I woke up to like 30 videos about Byleth and why we shouldn't like him. Just, guys, it's a fucking kid's game. Lighten up. Hot women in your area are an actual fire. Please save them, Doug. Get off Tumblr and save them for the love of God. Heh, <laughs> nice. If you're looking for someone to save you, look in the mirror. Ah, yes. Bloody Mary finally coming in the clutch. Stop normalizing bath bombs. The training people to not recognize the inherent dangers of magical vortexes. Thousands of years of evolutionary instincts gone, just like that. You dumbasses are gonna stick your feet in the first glowing portal you stumble across and get kidnapped by the fucking fae. Damn, God, coming at us with the truth. To draw or to write? That is the question. Trick question, the answer is always Minecraft. Always Minecraft. I like how out of all the possible scenes they could have chosen for the thumbnail Spy Kids, Netflix decided this was the one. Yeah, <laughs> thumbnail jokes. Oh! Do you ever get in those moods where you don't feel like reading and you don't feel like being on the internet and you don't feel like watching a show and you don't feel like sleeping and you don't feel like existing in general? But you want to do something? Oh my god, it's in words! Friends, this is what anxiety feels like. Write that down. You know, based on genital structure, men should really be the ones wearing skirts and women should be wearing pants. Oh my god, the Scots were right all along. The Scots did it to hide more knives on their bodies. The Scots were right all along! Okay, I'm here now. Pat is, um, he's down with, like, he can't talk very much right now. So I'm taking over. What's up? It's me, Cyana, your favorite elf. So, uh, let's jump right into this. Rap is mostly for dudes who were ashamed to admit they were into poetry. Girls named Elizabeth will sometimes use the nicknames Ellie, Liz, or Beth, but they never use the third syllable, Zab. Hey, wait! Pinocchio is an unlimited wood source! Unlimited power! A handcrafted drink at Starbucks costs more than a gallon of milk. Oh, that is true, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck. Telling a person who lost a family member you'll see them again someday is a nice way of saying you're gonna die and you can't stop it. Drinking at home alone and dancing to music seems weird, but going out and doing the same thing with a bunch of strangers and paying for it is perfectly normal. Vets probably become vets because they love animals. Ironically, animals hate them. Getting older is realizing that you don't need to lie about your age and making counts anymore. Pat, how old am I? Ducks are mobile in all three states of matter. You do you is a polite way to tell someone to go fuck themselves. You know a song has gotten old when it's used in a prescription medication commercial. Any side effects from this video are not our fault. Please contact your doctor. You didn't realize all the itches you had all over your body. 
until you read this. Oh god. And this has been Schmuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
with the shower thoughts by Tumblr. There, I said it normally, okay? Okay, okay, we good? Everybody good? Okay. If we are made of stardust, then we are the universe becoming aware of itself. Giving to the poor is seen as a virtue, yet receiving aid while poor is seen as a vice. America. Jeff Bezos earns maximum wage. Parking in someone's usual parking spot is a form of asserting dominance. We constantly think of Earth being down, and we're standing on top of it. But it's just as accurate to think of the world being above us, and we're sort of sucked up to it and we're dangling with our feet due to the gravity. Science. There's nothing quite as uncertain or unstable as the first note of Happy Birthday being sung by a group of people. Why is that incredibly accurate? The fact that people put legs and arms between closing elevator doors shows a lot of trust to the mechanics that make them. Yeah, Final Destination has taught me that, uh, don't do shit like that. Going to the supermarket at night is way better than during the day. I think that's, that doesn't seem more like a shower thought, but more like a, an introvert speaking their mind. Like, who would, who would do that? A delayed birthday greeting can also technically count as an advanced birthday greeting. Yeah. With Fast and Furious 9 coming out, it's no longer a movie, but a TV series you watch at the movies. Yeah, the MCU. Oh, way ahead of that joke. Saying someone has a dry sense of humor implies the existence of wet sense of humor. May I like to point out, moist humor. The overuse of literally has figuratively made literally the new figuratively. I hate English language. The only thing more annoying than hearing your alarm in the morning is hearing someone else's alarm. And finally, buckle up, it's a doozy. People are able to eat each other's assholes, but aren't able to eat pineapple on pizza. And this has been, I just dropped the truth bomb on you, suck it. Suck that ass dry. My tumbler. I'm about to get so tiny, guys. Those were Icarus' last words. Hitching a ride. I've said this before and I will say it again. Birds are made entirely of hubris and spite and absolutely do not care what they're not supposed to do. That's why we have things like the Untitled Goose Game. As you die, you wake up in a fiery place. You quickly realize you're in hell. You ask the next demon why you are here, as you have lived a very good life. You are not being punished, he says. You're the punishment. You honk in joy. It's a lovely morning in hell, and you are a horrible goose. Ha! <laughs> Came back around. Fuck. I love it. Why hasn't anyone offered my parents five camels for my hand in marriage yet? What am I doing wrong? It's because you are worth at least ten camels, and they just can't afford you. This is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Combine 2007 Taco Pancakes Raw Speak with 2016 Small Bean Pupper Speak to achieve true nirvana. Hello, sweet sauce, small bean baby. Raw ecstasy on your ass. Can you all feel sorry? Oh, God, my heart just stopped. I went and started again. I curse directly at God for allowing me to survive this. Boy, don't make me come over there and nuzzle your heart attack. Nothing is better than finding a walking stick. You're out in nature. You see a thick and smooth stick that's as tall as you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yes, I have magic now. Hey, what if we didn't combine dozens of unrelated political positions into two color-coded options? That sounds like something someone from the other side would say. Get em, boys! I couldn't survive in a sitcom. So many characters are just dicks for absolutely no reason, and I would simply have to punch them. The way people treat each other in, like, every single sitcom makes me so angry, and I would be on full-on punch mode all the time and go to comedy jail. I need you to know that I would empathetically and without question pay real human dollars to watch a season of Friends where you appear to routinely beat the shit out of Ross Geller. Oh my god. Somebody fucking gets it. Bah, kids these days. Thinking they have thoughts and opinions us adults should listen to. Bah. Ah, Grandpa forgot to take his medicine. The medicine makes me feel hungry and scared. I wish I was still a child, so I could just find a bunch of leaves and put them in a bowl and pour things into it and give it to someone and they would say, Thank you, mmm, good soup. And pretend to eat it and just accept that as my affection instead of, like, talking to me about how things, like, what's happening or how things are. <sighs> You know, sometimes a URL is an icing on the top. Me in tears halfway through writing a 300 word essay. I can't do this anymore. Person on 803 who's writing for fun. Words, 1,920,265. Inconvenient truth. These are the same person.
Yeah, well, I can't stretch out that review of 16th century economics by adding a gratuitous hand job. Not with that attitude, you can't. Yeah, I'm not sure this new IT guy knows what he's doing. Nonsense! Give him a promotion and give him his own corner office. Now! And put lots of string in it for reasons. Look, I'm not saying I want to be a vampire, but given the chance to be gay, dramatic, and immortal, I certainly wouldn't turn it down. Game has any kind of elemental-based fighting system. Me. Apply Pokemon logic. To be fair, Pokemon element logic is rooted in normal logic. Oh yeah, everyone knows a wrestler's biggest weakness is the local pigeons. Yo, go outside and try to suplex a bird. Tell me how bugs resist fighting! Go outside and try to suplex a bug. Therapist, the semi-hemi-demi-semi-quaver isn't real, it can't hurt you. The semi-hemi-demi-semi-quaver. Oh my god, what the fuck is that?! Envy had nothing. So he killed a man with everything. Envy was... envious. No shit. Well, I can't believe Mike Wazowski killed Markiplier. Oh! Oh, lordy. Oh! Mike Wazowski... <laughs> killed Markiplier. <laughs> I have never been so broken in the middle of reading these posts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That just fucking got me. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it looks incredibly accurate. If you've never fucking seen that movie. <laughs> oh my god. An exorcism is basically a Catholic priest eating the demon out of your body. Okay, as a Catholic, I have to say this is extremely incorrect. It's not a priest eating the demon out of your body. It's God shouting, BE GONE, THOUGHTS! Through the priest to send the demon away. Oh, hey, I made a cameo. Breathe into the fish sword, child. Do it now! What the fuck is this? Are you like... Is it like Reef Simulator? The fuck? This morning, I was feeding the seals before sunrise, and the back pool borders a forest that leads to the ocean, so there shouldn't be, you know, anyone around, and someone whistled to me from barely a few meters away in sort of a hi there, you hoo tone, and this is an open letter to whoever that could have possibly been. I do not care for that at all. It was the seals. <gasps> it is time to clutch your mind with my Tumblr. When you're healthy, it's stay at school and don't do drugs. When you're sick, it's the exact opposite. Saying we have the power to bend light sounds a lot cooler than it actually is. If you are what you eat, then cannibals are the only humans in this world. We now have to prove to machines that we are not robots by pointing at which pictures have the stoplight in them. Home is where your PC is. Well, shit, my PC's at office, so. But the most unrealistic thing about Star Wars is the fact that there is an agreed intergalactic senate. Whereas on Earth, we can't even agree on a universal unit of length. If every purchase you made was measured in hours you worked instead of price, you'd be less of a consumer. At some point in time, dogs could have been taught to retrieve firewood and we wouldn't know. But that's why some dogs are obsessed with collecting and playing with sticks. Cats and dogs are the real winners of evolution. They befriended us intelligent humans and used their cuteness to get free food, free shelter, have no job, and get away with everything. Well, look at them, they're adorable. Noah must have really trusted those two termites that were on the Ark. The first bloke to get shot with a gun on a battlefield after spending ages getting into plate armor must have been really pissed off. And dead! 99% of your thoughts won't get shared in your lifetime. <laughs> Tell that to YouTube comments. And finally, if Elvis were alive today, he'd be screaming in his coffin. And this has been... <laughs> by Tumblr. But up, but up, but up, but up. Me as my laptop fan suddenly becomes louder. What is it? What program? Who's doing this to you? Control, Alt, Delete. Who do I need to kill? Who needs therapy when you can realize, trademark, things about yourself alone at 1 a.m.? Yeah, it's all fun and games until the thing you realize, trademark, at 1 a.m. is that you need therapy. Fuck, it's true. My mom has finally understood the concept of how to use tea as slang, but only kind of. She came into my room and said, Jesse! I have tea today. Now, obviously, I was like, what happened? But as it turns out, she just thinks tea means information, so she told me that she got avocados on sale. 
that was the tea. Damn right, that's the tea! Lasers were once a huge scientific breakthrough. Now we use them to play with cats. Computers were once a huge scientific breakthrough. Now we use them to look at cats. Conclusion? Science was made for cats. What if people had food names and food had people names? Hey, spaghetti, time for dinner! What are we having? Margaret! I swear everyone on this website is high. Shut up, chocolate! The four-hour simmer begins. Like, emotionally, or are you making a soup? It can be two things! There's evidence that ancient Roman curse tablets were mass-produced, and that's honestly the funniest thing in the world to me. Oh, to be born in the 4th century BC Rome, and wake up every morning to head out to my shift at the curse factory. Immersion broke and Rome didn't have factories. Kinda. How dull for you to live your life without any hills to die on. You on your vast, flat barren of compromise, acceptance, and accommodation. While I reign supreme over the lush, rolling highlands of stupid shit, I have irrationally chosen to stake my entire identity on. As someone who is terrified of having their own opinion, this is truly inspiring. You're telling me Americans don't have these tasty little morsels? Oh shit, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to add the Argonia picture. Or did you? My personality is identical to an octopus. Care to elaborate? Sentient enough to be a dominant species, but probably won't because of disinterest and introversion. Smart enough to cause havoc and plan elaborate escapes, but most of the time I just drift around eating stuff, able to contort my body into strange and viscerally disturbing forms. Yeah, that's... It's, it's, it's a mood. It's a mood. Mood. Yeah. Like maybe there's someone in this abandoned clown factory you can help us. This is what companies say every time they try to buy Tumblr. Crabs deserve voting rights too, I think. How will they tap the screen with claws? Oh! You're so ignorant, it's not even funny. Well, he said he thinks. It's, 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 it's a waffling thought, man. Literally taken one minute apart. Ah, yes, the old scream and sleep, or as I call it, Tuesday. Today I learned when a male honeybee has sex, its testicles explode and the bee dies. Woo! I got that same problem, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I call that the honey nut cheerio. God damn it! Coconuts have only been in the Caribbean for 500 years. They just floated on over from Asia and took root. That's, that's hilarious. Wait, really? I always thought if they were not native, at least brought over on purpose. <laughs> right? I'm watching this nature doc, and when the narrator said that, I nearly spit my drink giggling. They were remarkably buoyant and just bobbed their way to a new shore. So carefree. Truly a fruit destined to be in the Caribbean. Are you suggesting coconuts migrate? Okay, whoever took this picture of me and put it on the internet for me to read blindly, fuck you. It was good. Snakes never visit a restaurant because they don't have any fingers to point at the words they can't pronounce on the menu. That's, that's the only reason why snakes don't go to restaurants? Yes, why else wouldn't they go to a restaurant? Um... You know, I'm having a hard time arguing with that one. How to summon the Avatar. Set up a cart selling cabbages, and that's it. Just wait for him to show up. My god, you're right, Cabbage. You had better luck finding the Avatar than Zuko did in all three seasons. My cabbage! Mm, it is time to cleanse your mind with me, Captain Rich, as I step on the poor and one of them accidentally says, Hard Daddy, by Tumblr. ASAP conveys a higher sense of urgency than as soon as possible. If flat earthers ever make a movie to popularize their views, then it must be nominated for and awarded a Golden Globe. The fact that describing a sound as fuzzy makes no sense, but we still understand what we're talking about. Mm. Damn it, I'm mad is a palindrome. Shit, that actually makes me mad. The Guinness Book of World Records doesn't necessarily contain the strongest, fastest, tallest, oldest, etc. It just contains the biggest show-offs. Vanessa's boyfriend in the B-movie was made out to be the villain, but in actuality, he was the only sane one in the world. The biggest communication problem is we do not listen to understand, we listen to apply. Welcome to the internet. What else is fucking new? Ouija uses all vowels except E. But the only vowel sound in the word is E. If you had a gun that shot knives, you could go to both fights. That sounds like a good idea. I bet I could sell that. The Earth has a solid outside and a liquid inside. So technically, it's a ravioli. 
<sighs> God fucking damn it. I hate people who think like this because now I can't unsee it. Out of all the tastes, spicy is the only one the butt can taste. Mmm, delicious. Lego people live in houses made out of their flesh. Perhaps that's something the poor should consider. It takes you 12 days to turn 1 million seconds old, but 31 years to turn 1 billion seconds old. Now imagine those seconds are dollars. Allow me to flex on you for a second. Do not take criticism from somebody you wouldn't take advice from. And finally, your final lesson from Captain Rich. Every family has a different smell. And this has been, don't start smelling your friend's family. It's fucking weird. Bye, Tumblr. Oh, the weather outside is frightening. Jesus Christ, it's really frightening. So I gotta do my work at home. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Wow, baby version of me, baby, baby. The audience will go, ah, oh, it's a baby version of him, and Disney's gonna take your checks. Ew. Hey, sorry to do this, but the Disney-run private militia is going to kill and murder you now. Sorry. I don't make the rules. Oh, your fandom trash. Let me just go ahead and compact you right here. Oh, is this what we're calling glomping now? Oof. Worst possible response to this. Thank you. There's something really terrifying about the concept of being pursued by something that can only walk slowly after. Just slowly following. You can chill for a while if you get far enough, but it's still coming. Yeah, that's called persistence hunting, and it's how humans hunted all sorts of megafauna to extinction. As well as what let our species become so dispersed and so numerous. Our existence is a horror story told from the monster's perspective. Dang, wouldn't that make a great movie? Oh wait, it does exist. It's called Brother Burr. So my roommate and their classmates are burning and sacrificing an animal cracker to pray for their Greek final to be cancelled. So what you're saying is, they're making a sacrifice. Wow. Wow! Job interviews, did you mean advanced lying? And small talk, did you mean normal lying? And the concept of self, did you mean secret lying? Please do not call me out like this, I swear to God. Oh, and a to-do list, did you mean aspirational lying? What did I just say? My cactus has had slouching issues for years, but it grew a flower crown. Oh, when you don't feel like trying, but you still cute. If chickens were big enough to eat us, do you think they would? Without question. Without remorse. Without hesitation. Without a napkin. And without dipping us in sauce. Today my dad was like, hey Hunter, are you mad at me? And I was like, no. And he was like, oh, okay. It's just that you haven't called me daddy in a long time and I was worried that I'd done something to upset you. Because I used to only call him dad when I was annoyed. And I was like, oh, look what you did, internet. You made the word daddy weird for me, and now you made my dad feel insecure. Oh my god, what have we done? I just got arrested for being too ugly. Can someone come bail me out? I'm on my way. Hey, can someone come bail me out, please? My boyfriend is washing the dishes, and I just heard him say, Who do you work for? Who's your contact? While repeatedly pushing a glass underwater. <sighs> At least he's having fun. Allow me to de-introduce myself. My name is... Why? Am I seeing nothing but Shrek posts? Well, you know what they say. The posts are coming and they don't stop coming. Oh my god, stop, please. Stop it, anxiety. Today I learned a troop of 15 monkeys escaped a primary research center in Japan by using trees as catapults over a five meter high electric fence. And afterwards were lured back with peanuts. The monkey brain. Hmm. If we pull back this tree, we can use its preserved momentum to hurl ourselves over the dangerous fence. Also monkey brain. Crow peanut! Ladies, gents, and dons, I present to you the road to El Grumbrado. I don't know, man. It's like 3 a.m. and I'm bored and I want Dan and Aaron to cosplay as Tulio and Miguel. I mean, look at him. It's perf. I was walking in the forest during winter and saw a wendigo sitting under a tree. I asked if it was going to kill me and it said, No, it is just a dream. So I sat next to it in the snow for a bit and then he said, The anger in your heart warms you now. But it will leave you cold in your grave. And then I woke up. Well, someone's third eye is wide fucking open. You fool. Art is the weapon.
Oh my god, I thought it was just Kratz, but then it wasn't! It's a weapon of mass creation! Hey man, I don't like your vibe. Change it. What, man? I'm just standing here. Change it! Change it! Change your vibe! Calm down, man! Vibe, 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 Son, are you running guns? Mom said if I commit war crimes, I didn't have to go to school. Well, I appreciate the ingenuity, but you could have just, like, faked being sick or something. Dear Crusader, dost thou have any bread for a poor child? No. Haha, <laughs> I jest. I have pulled thy leg. Take this bread and pray the rosary. Jesus, is anyone here a doctor? He's going to die! Yeah, I am. Uh, are you gonna do anything? It's my day off, so, uh, nah. Okay, welcome to heaven. Any confessions before you go? Yeah, I have an angel fetish. Well, that's not a sin. It's really weird, and I don't want to let you in now. What if we held hands? Young one, it is time to sword practice and lift. Uh. You ever think about what we could have been if not this? What's the matter? The tallest trees rot, the brightest stars die. What could have been doesn't matter because the ending is the same. Don't focus on what could have been. Focus on what is now and make it how you want. I am a high-class gremlin. Like sure I'm always in big fluffy pajama pants and hoodies at all times with the hair of the damned in the morning, growling at anything inconvenient with sheer ease. But my pinky is always out when drinking coffee. Where else are this cheese found in Egyptian tomb, but may be filled with a deadly disease? Fuck, you can't, you can't drink the sarcophagus juice, you can't eat the tomb cheese, what even is the point of archaeology? 10,000 year old lump of butter found in the Irish bog. Can we still eat the fucking bog butter? My god, fellas, we got ourselves two out of three ingredients for the legendary grilled cheese! I don't want to alarm anyone, but the world's oldest bread found at prehistoric site in Jordan. Grilled cheese! Hell yeah, baby! We done it! Got ourselves going to grill some cheese! Ancient nonstick frying pan factory found in Italy. This 52 million year old fossil is the world's oldest tomato. Tonight we dine like kings! This is still my favorite post on this whole site. Ah, yes. The legendary, absolutely most forbidden grilled cheese. What's that anime with the four boys that look exactly alike? Why is it popular? They're ugly. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? The Beatles? Mount Rushmore? Oh, seriously, what fucking show are they talking about? You call it really bad at darts. I call it freestyle acupuncture. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave this bar. Ugh. Salt and vinegar chips are snacks for fucking masochists. Literally the entire flavor of goddamn chip is acetic acid, which will hurt your tongue, and then just salt on top of that to hurt it worse. It's brutal. This chip is designed to hurt you. OP, y'all are weak. Why the fuck is brown sugar so goddamn tasty? Try gray sugar. Gunpowder? I'm sorry, I'm too busy eating gray sugar to fucking care what you just said. Everybody on this site is missing A, compassion, B, critical thinking skills, and C, reading comprehension. D, all the above? It says and. You propose a theorem, and then you include proof. Bravo! I clap you! I clap for you! Damn, people still have beef over Tumblr? I'm only here to look at pictures of the video game. Aha! Uh -huh. He likes the video game. Get em, boys! Every time I see a person with AirPods, I remember that they cost $160 and I am laughing at that person. To be honest, I've always wanted to take an AirPod out of somebody's ear, throw it in my mouth, and then chew it with a loud crunch. You have a chaotic energy that I could never hope to match. God bless you! If you ever catch me staring, I am admiring your piecing tattoo hairstyle or outfit, trying to figure out if I know you, or I think you're gorgeous and I can't help myself. Truth. Or four, just staring into space and I haven't realized I'm staring at a living person. Almost always the fourth one, to be honest. So the only two white actors in Black Panther are Martin Freeman, who played Bilbo Baggins, and Andy Serkis, who played Gollum. So I guess that means they are the token white guys. I literally screamed. This is the pun of the century. Did they do this on purpose? Why does this get really cool lightsabers? I have never seen a Jedi with a different looking lightsaber. That's probably how the Sith Lord seduces young Jedis. Hey kid, you want a wicked lightsaber? I love how humans have literally not changed throughout history. Like the graffiti from Pompeii has people from hundreds of years ago writing stuff like Marcus is gay or I fucked a girl here or Julius your mom wishes she was with me. And Leonardo da Vinci's assistants drew 
dicks in their notebooks just for the banter. And Mozart created a piece called Kiss My Ass. So when people wish for today's generation to be like how people used to, then we were already there, buddy. We've always been. I'm probably gonna say this wrong. The Hagia Sophia has inscriptions that were considered sacred for centuries until they were deciphered in the 70s to be Nordic runes saying, Halfdan wrote this. My old English prof told us that there's a cave in Scandinavia where a Viking graffitied some runes like 14 feet up on the wall. And then when they finally reached it, all it translated into was, this is very high. Ancient shitposting. Now on the History Channel. You drink your coffee black because you're a coward. Uh, milk is disgusting and I need caffeine, so what you trying to tell me? Orange juice. I'm telling you, orange juice. Uh, back the fuck up. Orange juice and coffee? It makes it sweeter, I'm lactose intolerant. Orange juice and coffee is fantastic. This is a crime. How could you make coffee fruity? Add dairy-free chocolate syrup. Coffee is fruit juice. Orange juice is fruit juice. They belong together. By that logic, ketchup is a smoothie and we should be drinking it with a fancy straw from an overpriced plastic cup. <laughs> ketchup is most definitely a jelly, though. You see the way that bitch jiggles? Just like grape jelly and strawberry jelly and bean jelly? It'd be frozen if it were a smoothie. You are all under arrest for crimes against humanity. Yo, this girl is on Tumblr in class in front of me, but I can't see what her URL is because the font is too small. Oh shit, she just turned around squinting at me and I just got this message. I saw your post, fucker. Bridge the generational gap by combining old and new slang into one. Mood to the max. Tubular AF. Groovy. I hate it. If she breathes, she's a square. Hold on, let me do that again, but with uh, a little bit more yelling. If she breathes, she's a square. It is time to cleanse your mind. Oh. With Sonic with Human Teeth by Tumblr. The more Legos you step on at once, the less they hurt. Anyone who says there is no wrong way to load the dishwasher obviously is not married. Nor is no concept of how spatial reasoning works. If we colonize other planets, the Miss Universe competition will probably be taken a lot more seriously. Leonardo DiCaprio is wealthier than the man he played in Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> There's no cleaning motivation, then I'll be at your house in 30 minutes cleaning motivation. There's half a million different jobs in the world, yet we pick our careers based on studying 10 to 15 subjects by age 18 to 21. Fuck. It's funny how most gamers prefer keyboards, which were not made to play games over the controllers, which were specifically made to play games with. Because professional gamers like to suffer. Joe Rogan probably decided early in his career to shave his head rather than fighting hair loss to avoid earning the nickname Joe Rogan. For those youngins who don't know who Joe Rogan is, you don't want to know. Accidentally closing out the music app when a good song is playing is the biggest vibe killer possible. Fact. If the Ghostbusters died and became ghosts, they'd probably be stupidly difficult to catch. The Xbox ring of death was caused by the Xbox overheating, meaning that the Xbox was working itself to death to make you happy. Pretty sure this was ghost written by somebody who works at Microsoft. The Phantom of the Opera is really a story about an incel who goes on a murder spree after being rejected by a stalking victim. <sighs> Not wrong. Saying that the book is better than the movie is affirming that you like your imagination more than the imagination of others. Shit, when you, when you put it like that. Acting is one of the few professions where the professional wants the patron to forget their profession. Shit. 99 red balloons not being used at some point in the movie yet will forever remain one of mankind's greatest missed opportunities. The Pornhub intro probably exists to tell you if your volume is up or not, so thanks Pornhub. You the MVP. And finally, cliffhangers are only good when they... Well, I don't have any cash on me, but if you have a Litecoin and a Chainlink wallet, I can, like, send you the money now. You know, alt currency, it's, it's still money. Son, the only alt currency we accept is trucking and fucking, and I ain't seeing no truck. Oh, shit. Man, I wish I didn't have this tumor on my head. Brother, everyone was born with a tumor. Just some people's tumors live in their lives instead of on their heads. Pongo time, somebody stop, 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 stop. On the island called Mountain of Flowers and Fruit, a boulder gave birth to a monkey. Definitely not a penis.
When he was born, all of heaven noticed. Oh, it's just a monkey, no big deal. Not like it will be a hyper-murder monkey or anything. He was indeed a hyper-murder monkey. Mm. Come on, sit down. I am Animal Crossing. We will be friends that play Mario Kart. These nuts! <laughs> Get him! Why are you crying? I weep not from your death, but that I can only kill you once. Okay, here's how to protect yourself from the virus. Wash your hands, beat up neighbors, and steal their survival supplies. Repeat for as long as it takes. Yay! Crusader, please help me. I have a crippling addiction to pornography. You have shown strength in seeking help. It is something that many men and women deal with. You have a long path ahead of you. I am here for you to help. This hurts. I want to do this anymore. Lifting is supposed to hurt. You're breaking all the weakness in your body. Yeah. If you don't kiss your cat on their tiny, soft little forehead, what the French are you even doing? Uh, yelling at her for trying to eat plastic. What is the difference between falling in love and having a crush? If they get a haircut and they're ugly, it's a crush. That's a weirdly valid point. Wow. I just realized the first Cars movie and the first Thor movie have the exact same plot. I want an explanation right now. Okay, man on the road to greatness ends up lost in a small desert town with seemingly no hope of getting back to the life he knows. Over time, he falls in love with someone there and learns to be humble. With his character development complete, he's able to return to his life, never forgetting the people in that desert town. Oh, fuck. I hate how the stereotype is that dolphins are good and sharks are evil. When dolphins are so smart that they actually have the capacity for evil. But sharks are simple fish who can only be true neutral. So even if a minority of dolphins are evil, there are still more evil dolphins than sharks. Ah, uh, quality marine philosophy discourse. College students only have two levels of stress. One, I don't give a fuck, and two, oh god, if I don't do this, my life is over, I'm gonna have to work at McDonald's! There is no in-between. Americans name every single Canadian province. Oh, that's easy. Hoenn, Joto, Kanto, Sinnoh, Unova, and Kalos. You missed Galar. And more importantly, you forgot Alola. What the fuck? Today I learned that many early texts describe Jesus as ugly and small. He is estimated to have been four feet six inches tall. Head kid and Jesus looked and sounded exactly like Danny DeVito. <gasps> oh my god. That's why we like Danny DeVito so much. He's Jesus! Trash man is Jesus! Can you believe barrels used to be, like, everywhere? Like you walk down the street and you're guaranteed to see at least one barrel. <sighs> I miss it, bro. I don't trust the media. Too many acronyms. What does CNN stand for? Literally no one knows the answer. Cable News Network. Could be. Literally nobody knows. Stalactite supervisor. That's a job, stalactite supervisor, go ahead and laugh, it's hilarious. John Sato examines new formations with disappointment. A proper stalactite grows downward, says Sato, but these younger stalactites are rebellious and have little respect for tradition. We've caught them growing sideways, diagonally, and I saw one just yesterday that grew down at first, but then went straight back up again into a rock ceiling. Goddamn millennials. The first rule of writing is hoard notebooks. The second rule of writing is we do not write in our notebook hoard. So it is written. Just not in any of the notebooks. Ugh, younger siblings are so entitled. Older siblings think they're such martyrs. Middle children have the personality of cornbread. Boys, boys, stop attacking each other. Unionize. We need to attack the true enemy. Only children. Isn't it weird how it's already February, but it's also only February? I see this post every February and it always fucks me up. It's February?! Me at night choosing what's gonna keep me up until 3 a.m. Oh, you get to choose? It is pitch black outside and someone is mowing their lawn. Wow, power move. Update, the someone is my father. Does he have a flashlight? Dad, did you have a flashlight? No. How did you see? Moon. Sounds like a dad to me. Hey, do any of my followers know how to render really good? I can render my enemies in mobile. I meant 3D computer renders, but I'll keep you in mind for future references. So we got an Amazon Echo, and we changed the wake word to computer, and now I feel like I'm on the Enterprise all the time. 
Additionally, whenever I watch Star Trek, she only responds to a computer when Data says it. And it's kind of adorable. Not Picard, not LaForge, not Troy, not Dr. Crusher, not Riker, not anyone but Data. The other night, Data asked his computer what time it was, and my computer told him it was 1047. Watching Star Trek is even more fun now. Ah, your echo has a crush. It's weird how people say follow your dreams instead of follow your ambitions. Because once I had a dream where I worked for a place that tried to genetically engineer ducks to speak English, except the ducks only criticize people's fashion sense. Please follow your dream. I beg you. Do you ever just know the answer to a trivia question and have no idea where the knowledge came from? Sources, dude, trust me. I, I don't think I've ever been so frustrated. Aren't you glad it's not a banana? Oh my God, it happened! So I share talked about this a while back on Twitter is I was recently trying to upgrade my phone and I wanted a Note 10 and I thought it would be a good phone to have. So I found one, I, almost too good to be true price, and the case being, it was. Got this, it looks mildly convincing, I mean the font's wrong already on it. And then you look at the cameras and you realize one actually is a camera. And then the other two are just little black orbs. Uh, and also, <laughs> this software is definitely not the recent thing. And I tried to convince the seller that, hey, you had a fake phone and you sold it to me. That's sort of illegal. And they're like, well, it's not like I'm supposed to know that. It's your fault for buying it. You had buyer beware. So I contacted the official site holders, which was eBay. Which I already knew I was going to be screwed on that part. And... They couldn't do anything about it. So, I basically, I'll, I'll tell you the number, spent $750 on a piece of shit that doesn't work. And instead of trying to get my money back, I thought of a better idea. Jeez. It's dead. Look, look. There is practically diddle inside this shit you really you really expected this to be okay oh 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 that's cracked that's gone that's obliterated one magical throw you know I've been under a lot of stress too so this was that was mildly satisfying That's gone. That's dead as a. Remember, kids, shop smart. Don't be like me. Or else you're gonna really, really wish you had that $750 back. But it's dead now. And I feel better about my life. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, bye. I will now show you my powers, telekinesis and telekinephews. Now this is the kind of humor I'm into. You can deal so much damage by switching articles. I'm so hungry I could eat the horse. One hit KO. Don't look the gift horse in the mouth. You can also add horses to other idioms such as, don't count your horses before they hatch. You can do this in any number of ways. You open this can of horses, now lie in it. This is the most powerful addition to this I've seen. Thanks, furry fricker 69. Someone please fire me. I work at McDonald's and last week I spent 15 minutes trying to explain to an old man that we do not sell hot dogs. McDogs, as he claimed it. Then he threatened to report me for withholding products from him. My god, he's from the alternate timeline. The McDogs man actually approves the multiverse theory. Eggs. This is my best post. Okay, we got stuff to do today. Let's go, body. Sweet. We're out of energy, by the way. I just woke up. Yeah, well, you see, we kind of forgot to make energy. You forgot? The fact that a cat considers sit in the same room ignoring each other to be an acceptable social activity and not an insult is great for me because that's how I also like to socialize. Introducing popular game franchise and moving verb. Mario Run, Sonic Dash, Pokemon Go, and Zelda Strut. Today at work, a girl at my register was heatedly explaining to her mother that wearing a dinosaur costume to her school's decade day was, in fact, perfectly acceptable because her teachers did not specify any particular decades. The kids are alright.
Wow, Janice, I sure do love the rodent dome. What the fuck are those? Those are children. Listen, if NASA could work half as quickly as fan artists on Tumblr when a new Pokemon is announced, we would have had humans on Pluto in two days. Shit, they right. The photographer was lying on the ground trying to shoot the ceiling. The pigeons were concerned. We heard you's behind on your payments to Fat Tony. Bro, stop with the cryptic shit, you're ruining the vibe! The vibe is mystery, and the only thing I'm ruining is your sense of safety. Sleep well. This is how archaeologists hunt. Well, we couldn't find any bones, so we'll just have to make some ourselves. Today I learned Charles Darwin married his first cousin with whom he had ten children, question mark? Three died as infants and three were infertile. He was the first to raise the question if incest may cause weaknesses in offspring after studying inbred plants in his garden. Charles Darwin looked at his fucked up tomatoes and went, oh shit, that me. This is the funniest comment I've read on this post. Oh, can we just... I just needed to take a moment to process what I just read. Charles Darwin buried his first cousin. Had ten children. Fuck! What? Someone who has not seen Ruby, please explain this. Five children are faced with the dilemma of learning how to get rid of their first body. So, Scooby-Doo? If you think about how Skyrim starts up, one might say... The Skyrim is an isekai. Skyrim is a reverse scaly reincarnation isekai about a dragon role playing as their human Sona. Oh, you feel that? That's what truth feels like. Power move. Put the FBI agent watching you through a series of endurance tests. Stay awake for 72 hours, put obscene images over your webcam, and chew gum really loudly next to your mic. They may have wiretaps, but by God, they won't have peace. And most importantly, keep calling them FBI agents. That's what really grinds those NSA agents' nerves. God damn it, I'm not the FBI! It is time to cleanse your mind with moist mind blowers. I got close, okay? My Tumblr. There are myths about lands with streets paved in gold. But a lot of cultures throughout time would find a modern day street paved in salt before a snowstorm just as unbelievable. Jimbo could be a nickname for James Bond. Well there, Jimbo. I expect you to die. Campbell's soup cans are just cylindrical pokeballs. Way back in the Middle Ages, humans thought their actions and behavior would directly influence the weather, which obviously wasn't the case. Nowadays, our actions actually do, but people actively choose to deny it. Huh. Make a wish could have been named Fantasy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ordering pizza makes you an NPC, giving an adventurer a quest with the promise of coin when they complete it. Yeah, but it's a fetch quest, so hard pass. You know, going by the logic of trust them as far as you can throw them. <clears throat> Babies are pretty trustworthy. Jesus Christ. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are the only crime-fighting heroes that wore masks so you could tell who they were. I mean, as if being giant bipedal turtles wasn't enough, you know? When someone uses the pickup line, Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? They're really asking, are you Satan or one of his angels? If you do something negative when you're young, it's not so bad because of your age. If you do something positive when you're young, it's even more impressive because of your age. Shit. Lies are often more believable than the truth. It seems wrong that the word plagiarism is derived from another language. <laughs> Someone needs to invent a microwave which scans the barcode of your food and cooks it the way it's supposed to be cooked. The song I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus is about dad wearing a costume, but well, we perpetuate to children the idea that mommy is a cheater instead. Maybe she is. Sharon. Bad puns make people cringe because they deal psychic damage. And finally, Scooby-Doo movies are great because you know the dog isn't going to die. Well, we have a new one coming up, so uh, we'll see about that. And this has been Sorry Not Sorry by Tumblr. If you censor anything in a post, you are legally required to put all of the omitted vowels at the end as a footnote. E-E-O-O. -O. Okay then, if you're sure about this. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. I'm going to shatter you like glass! You ever just touch your face and think, there's bee bones in my skin? Ignore me, I'm on ketamine. I wish I had bones! I wish I had ketamine. Oh, where do the ravens go when the sun goes down? Why do you think the sky's black at night? <gasps> I need to get a doctorate just to avoid the Mr. and Mrs. bullshit. What's your gender? Doctor. No, I mean, what, what's, what's in your pants? Debt.
So I'm at the doctor's again, and I see a note card on the reception desk that asks him, Bright red ink, do you want to live forever? Finally, I think. Finally, I'm at the start of a vampire novel. I don't actually want to live forever, but I'm not about to turn down a call to adventure like that. I try to flip the card over as inconspicuously as possible. And the other side contains a Bible verse about keeping Jesus in your heart. I hate living in the South. Ah, yes, the age-old struggle of, is this vampires or Jesus? If you successfully cheat on a monitor test, then you have passed a test of one skill by using an entirely different skill. And I love the sheer, stupid, creative genius of it. That's a little like being quizzed on nuclear chemistry and only passing because you learned how to read minds. Is... is this a Naruto reference? I haven't seen Naruto, but I would love to know what you mean. Yeah, I hate that I know what they're talking about. Continuing my terror of series that are isekais, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is an isekai. Do you take constructive criticism? As long as it isn't about this post in particular. Damn it! Have a seat. We need to talk. Please don't fire me. I have a family to feed. My kink is cooking in front of my friends who know which knife is made for what and forcing them to watch me use the wrong one for the wrong thing. Oh, baby. Use a cheese grater for tomatoes. Do you know how to stop being addicted to coffee because I can't feel my soul? <laughs> When I find out, I'll let you know. On the subject, coffee drinkers. I am unimaginably powerful. I can see through time. I haven't slept in four days, but who needs sleep when you're on a higher plane of existence? The beans are in my soul. They're in my heart. I am the beans. Soon I will vibrate at the harmonic resonance of the universe and transcend. Tea drinkers. <sighs> Hot and leaf juice. Soda drinkers, for some reason. Death is coming. Death is coming. Pass me a hot dog! Shout out to the patient I called to recommend to pick up their medication whose voicemail was Hello? Hello? Who is this? We have a message! That rang out throughout the whole pharmacy. Killing me instantly. The one time I'm like, this is the one time I dreamed blog. And it isn't. Typical houses I've witnessed in Minecraft. The overly detailed, the diamond house, successful redstone house, failed redstone house, underground, take whatever blocks I can get house, mood, and finally, the dirt house. I know there's more, but I see these ones a lot. Target's a great store. I love Target. I like the weird popcorn smell. Being in a Target always feels somewhat hyper-real. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like the sense of reality in a Target has always a bit unhinged. Being in a Target makes me feel safe. I swear these are three people who work at Target. Also, why does Target smell like popcorn? Do you know how much better life would be if we could zoom our eyes in and out? Stepping closer. You're talking about moving your body. Oh, yes, yeah, so let me just step closer into the sky and look at the stars. Or how about I step closer into the tiger den of the zoo to see them better? Little did he know that man died out of spite. Woman, no, you misunderstood. I'm an omen. I don't identify as male or female. I identify as a warning. Laziness. I'd rather sit here than pick up those clothes. Executive dysfunction. I need to pick up those clothes. I need to pick up those clothes. Why am I still watching this thing on Netflix while sitting down? Come on, stand up. I need to pick up those clothes. I need to pick up those clothes. I need to. Holy shit, you nailed it. Before we end this, YouTube community post comments, under review, obviously, are actually mad that Sienna is plump. Get these kids some sunlight and water because they need some vitamin D and hydration. You know, you should make more to spite their weak soul. Considering I draw on a daily basis, they will suffer like the chads they are. Speaking of which... Look at that! Queen shaped! Okay, let's end this. Happy New Year, 1890s postcard! Happy New Year, going to the soup! <sighs> it was a beautiful day in winter land, so beautiful day, winter land. Beautiful day in winter land, holy shit, I'm gonna die. So I know I've done videos with the dogs and the cat, we call them all bold babies, but I don't think people are aware of the biggest baby on this freaking house. That's not Kevin, it's fictional, but there's a, there's a greater baby, a baby that is real, a baby that I'm walking towards, building tension on. 
What could this baby possibly be? I don't know. It is that baby over there. It's Jules. I gotta get to her somehow. Oh God. Okay, I'm I'm gonna hop this. Hey, 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 hey. Oh God. Ow, 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 ow. Heart no, heart no, heart no. Come here, my precious babies. Jules, come here. Look at her go. Oh, majestic and brave, even in the snow. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? You know I have something for you, don't you? Yeah. You, you know what you want. You know what you want? Oh, my dogs. Here you go. I got plenty more. That's one of them. Why? No, Jules, why'd you drop it? Hey. Hey. Want this one? Or did you know that there's better one? Oh, you couldn't get it in your mouth the first time. Okay. That one. Yeah. It's funny, she likes being close to people. She likes treats. Does not like to be touched. Which is why nobody has ever ridden her. She's very sensitive to touching. I relate. One more? I got two more, actually. There you go. Yeah. Want to do one more? Want to do one more so I go to people? Okay. See? Spooks her. Spooked. You feel better, honey? I don't have any more. They're gone. Yeah, I know. Sad. Back up. Got you a big baby. So that is the truly the final baby. Poof, baby. She'll be okay. I have many winters here. This isn't that different. See you guys later. It's time to cleanse thy mind with drenched subconscious dialogue. By Tumblr. A pen you once lost or lent could very well be halfway across the globe from you now. It only takes one slow walking person in the grocery store to destroy the illusion that you are a nice person. Don't test me, Sharon. The only thing faster than light is the honk from the car behind you when the traffic signal turns green. Fact. The circular bed in Austin Powers would have had a fitted sheet that would have been terribly hard to fold. The person who named the waterfall was pretty lazy. Chances are, you did some weird stuff in someone's dream at one point. Sinner. Half of eight could be four, three, or zero. I hate this. The human being is already very advanced. We can build nuclear weapons, AI robots, etc. But we often fail to realize that the opening, closing, and opening the refrigerator again won't make food teleport inside. Well, maybe it will. You don't know me. Every time you fall asleep, you are putting complete trust in your body to continue breathing or functioning normally. Thanks, I hate it. By following Satan, you are automatically a guaranteed spot in hell. However, while in hell, Satan will treat you nicely due to the fact that you devoted your life to him. Therefore, by following Satan, you are guaranteed a spot in fiery heaven. If chickens are modern-time dinosaurs, and plastic is made out of oil, which is made out of dinosaurs, then if you put dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets in a plastic container, you're storing dinosaur-shaped dinosaurs in other dinosaurs. Oh god, I think we're gonna have a stroke. A person can leave a TV on at high volume in their room and fall asleep. And a person in another room has their TV on high volume, suddenly they can't sleep because it's too loud. Well, shit. In real life, you only get open world mode if you have the wealth DLC. Mmm, yes. Get on my level, scrub. People don't see animals as actors, which is probably why we get more upset over an animal dying in a film compared to a person. If bomb was said like tumor womb, it would make the sound a bomb typically makes. Oh, parkour is the adult version of The Floor is Lava. No matter what, pessimists are always either correct or they're pleasantly surprised. There's a serious lacking of olives at Olive Garden. I mean, it's probably oil, but yeah, it's true. And finally, remixes are sound photoshops. I mean, I, 
I guess. This has been... Fuck you, shall we thoughts. How dare you? Play Tumblr. I play four fireballs. Okay, I'll counter off. You better have a counter for this dick, blue bitch boy. Yes, I would like to be president of the United States. I open with one trillion dollars. Sir, this is an election, not an auction. Forty-seven gabrillion dollars. Hood mage, I got my tax returns. I'm thinking I could reinvest it into something that will give me dividends. Sounds like you need two pairs of Yeezys and a weekend of tattoo therapy. You're right, I can't go ten fucking minutes without letting people know I have tattoos and like getting tattoos. Thanks, Hood Mage. Crusader, how do I deal with people saying mean shit? Boy, do they train? What? I said, do they train, boy? The words of someone who lacks discipline to even try to make themselves better means nothing. Now, it's not that big a deal. My boyfriend doesn't have a real phone. His cup on a string works great. I'm sorry, I had to take this call. The fuck does that even mean? Those shaman shit bears. They were here. How do you know? Call it a hunch. Anime training is complete. Run, boy. Something foul has awakened. Faruro Makure. Get me my cosplay wig. Hi! Hey, just a reminder that things get better, dude. No matter how dark it is, you can pull through your problems. Fix yourself and be there for the people you love. No matter how bleak the situation, remember you have it in you to pull through. A lot of people on the internet will ham fist telling you to be positive. Remember though, it's okay to be in a shitty and dark mood. Just don't give up and keep pushing. Do what you need to do to keep yourself afloat. Okay, thanks. It is time to cleanse your mind with domesticated waterfalls, subconscious, thought-provoking things. Bye, blah. Math is the source code of the universe. Physics is the anti-cheat of the universe. Some mornings are so silent that if you listen carefully, you can hear your life decisions laughing at you. It is easy to follow your passion. What is hard is to find one. Backwards of Siri is Iris. Maybe she's part of an eye who is watching others privacy. Wasn't there a horror game about an AI named Iris? Wasn't there? I don't know. Everybody who has their 18th birthday today has waited 72 years for it. This joke is not gonna make any sense after leap year is done. Calculus would have been so much easier if an apple tree fell on Newton instead of an apple falling on Newton. <laughs> Murder joke. You don't actually bite down on anything since you are bringing up your lower jaw. Oh yeah, well guess what? I'm gonna hold my lower jaw down so that way I'm forced to write down. Pat one shot on zero. Dreams could be alternative universes bleeding into ours through time and space. If you ever find yourself naked in public, you'd probably want to cover up your face instead of your privates. I'm sorry to say that your junkie's just not that memorable. Abobayum! If the world would have the same reaction to the dangers of cigarette smoking or heart disease as they do the coronavirus, we'd probably save a whole lot more lives. Y'all always a warning to not do anything stupid. If you have to ask someone if they're okay, <laughs> they probably haven't been for a while. <laughs> Just saying. When there's an earthquake, thousands of teddies simultaneously jiggle. I think a dead or alive developer wrote this one. Samwise missed a perfect opportunity to make Frodo the ring bearer at his wedding. Well, because Samwise is not a dick and make his friend go through trauma, it's a dick move. Decmo. Coronavirus or spring allergies is going to be the riskiest 50-50 game ever. And a five. If 69 nice. is a sex position, 99 is a cuddling position. And this has been, holy shit, that was wholesome as fuck. Bye, Tumblr. At this point, every round mammal is a hamster to me. So, co but coconut? I think we both have different definitions of what a mammal is, but I can't say I disagree with you. Oh god, they both have hair and give milk. Wait, what? Reading fix is basically like, uh, heal what has been hurt, change the fate's design, save what has been lost, bring back what once was mine. So what are Tangled fanfictions like? Actually, I don't want to know. When the anime people turn to face the screen and their nose vanishes. Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from, anime nose? From now on, I'm going to speak like an anime protagonist, giving an inspirational speech because... Because there are people who believe in me. People who are constantly giving me strength. 
And even if they're not with me right now, they're always sending me their wishes. And I want to be able to give them courage too! Sir, this is Burger King. Do you just want to like order your food or no? I bought an Echo and a Wi-Fi light bulb. Just so I could say, computer, turn off the light. Instead of getting out from under my covers to flip a switch. Problem found. My husband keeps yelling for the Echo to play certain songs before he enters the bedroom. So he can have interest music appropriate to his mood. Oh no, this sounds like the opposite of a problem. There are a lot of really good ancient Roman laws, but I think my favorite is that if you got struck by lightning and died, you couldn't have a proper burial because it meant that the gods hated you. Yes, so uh, Jupiter canceled him and we're not going to question that, okay? I don't know why I chose to give the Roman guy a Brooklyn accent, but fuck, whatever. Name one difference between birds and children. Uh, children have eyebrows? Think again. I give to you Mercury reflecting light. Ah! So that's what anime tears are made of. Lesson learned, don't make your wife or husband no cry or you will die. I love goalie fights. It's like you guys have been standing 200 feet apart this entire time. How could you possibly have beef? Different color shirt bad. Look at these colossal fucking lemons from the tree my brother has peed on every day since he was like five years old. I'm laughing slash crying. I don't want any more messages about this. Listen up, you fucks. Apparently, P makes citrus plants grow well. He learned this from a movie called The World's Fastest Indian. It's a very good movie starring Sir Anthony Hopkins, a highly inspirational film. You'll be compelled to purchase a lemon tree sapling and see a man about a dog on it every day for the rest of your life, and you'll be blessed with lemons the size of footballs. Yes, we ate the pea lemons. When life gives you lemons, pee on them. More like pee on life until it gives you lemons. <laughs> I can't read the sign straight. I can't do it. Fuck it. One percent battery. It's been an honor serving with you all. Wait, what the fuck? All jokes aside, goblin core actually helps so much. Yay. Short but chubby, perfect goblin body. Yay. Self-conscious about wearing clothes you like in public? Goblins don't care about other people's opinions. Uh, yay. A bit of a hoarder which causes your house to be constantly messy? Goblins are all about that. Yay. Journal weird sense of humor? Yeah, fam, so are most goblins. Uh, yeah. Tend to make random noises as part of a conversation. Welcome to the language of the goblins. Uh, yeah. Eating constantly slash suffer food guilt. Feasting is a goblin societal norm, my friend. Bye bye insecurities, hello goblin. Yeah, you were found in the wild. Now I escaped, am invasive species. My God, you guys twinks are down 1.25%. I call that a bear market. <sighs> I hate that the statement is actually correct. My five-year-old likes to tell herself stories before she falls asleep, and she just came out to me in tears because she accidentally killed off a character. The story got sad all by itself, Mom. I know, baby. I know. Oh. Oh, sweetheart. You're in for a world of hurt. Wait. Wait. Wait! Hogwarts was established in the 10th century. But sinks were not invented until the 18th century. So how did Salazar Slytherin mark the Chamber of Secrets with a form of indoor plumbing which would not be invented for another 800 years? Question mark, question mark, question mark! Y'all, you are looking for historical inconsistency and a book about wizards! Relax! Did... Bro, did you just tell somebody on the internet to relax? <laughs> oh, sweet baby. I'ma kiss you. I'm a lover to embrace you. I have a, I have a crush on you. Mario, I don't feel the same. Plot twist! It's Luigi. Oh yeah! So the dude who runs the lo-fi hip-hop channel got temporarily banned, so the stream finally stopped. 13,165 hours! Okay, so you divide that by 24, 549 days, or nearly two years, of studying! And they still got a C- minus on the test. <laughs> It is time to cleanse your mind with the sound of Seymour really needing some sleep because he's burnt the fuck out, but he's here doing the thing. Everybody tells him to go sleep and then he doesn't sleep because it's not how my life works. Okay. Bye, Tumblr. If you ask someone if they smoke and they respond with cigarettes, They've just answered two questions. 
From birth to 23 years old, Gaston has eaten 179,580 eggs. It's a lot of eggs. Octopuses are sea ninjas. They have incredible camouflage, and when they're found, they use smoke bombs to vanish. Believe it. When you greet a friend, you nod upwards once. When you greet a stranger or someone of authority, you nod downwards once. Holy fuck, I never noticed that. One of the most complex calculations the human brain has to compute is whether the person behind you is close enough to require you to hold the door for them, or far enough that you can let the door shut without looking like an asshole. When you buy the king-size bed, you lose bedroom, but you gain bedroom. The only thing worse than not being able to consciously control your organs is having to consciously control them. Don't manually digest. The movie Tangled is about a girl whose impossibly long, magical hair just does about everything except get tangled. Well, somebody missed a part of the song where she says she brushes her hair for a very, very long time. Maybe she's doing it throughout the movie and you just don't, they don't show it because that take up a lot of time. Vampires look far too good for individuals who don't have reflections. It's difficult to get practically any job if you're over 60, but it's totally okay for people in their 70s to run a country. We are luckier than we know that our insides don't itch. I don't like that. Stop it. Most people are in a toxic relationship with sleep, work, and time. Oh, I don't like where this is going. When you get enough sleep, you don't have enough time. When you have enough time, you give it away to work. And when you work enough, you don't have enough time or sleep. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it. Why? Bob Ross didn't paint to show you how good of a painter he was. He painted to show how good of a painter you could be. Google search history has a record of all the things you thought you knew, but would never tell anyone you actually didn't know. Future generations will never experience the fizzle of an old TV screen when you would touch it. I miss that. When you're asleep, your brain can create an entire universe. But when you're awake, you can't even figure out why you're in a room. Mood. And uh, finally, there's no good way to bully someone for having a humiliation fetish. And this has been mm, step on me harder, daddy. <laughs> Bye, Tumblr. Welcome to a new mini series where I'm going to be visiting every state and saying something nice about it and naming something interesting about it as well. The first state is California. Okay, next state. Okay, here's how to fucking draw like floor cacaos. Candy cane like shape, turn top part of mouth and add eyes, bring down chin to complete body, arm. Yay! Okay, wholesome message hat time. I threw a bunch of random bullshit in a hat and printed out a wholesome message with it. Okay, here we go. Because at seven, he was at then. Because without it, he wasn't. When you do, make sure to do it up because you go down. You never know when the time is here because there it's always around. It's got a circle of flying and that's because it does. It does because it do. It has to. And that's all you do. You make because upside down. You go and never die. And so is you. You are. <laughs> Fuck, I'm having a stroke. Beep beep poop. <laughs> oh my god! I hate my life. Golf! No, no, please, Toad! What's two plus two? No! Four. You can have this one dollar, but you must take it from my unwashed hands. Probably shouldn't. Aw, oh, no human sacrifices. Hard year so far. Hey man, is this where I can, like, die for free? Okay, sweet, let's do it. <gasps> and now every Yu-Gi-Oh fanfiction ever. Well, Yugi, what will you do now? I play Have Sex with Blue Eyes. It summons every monster card in my deck to have sex with your Blue Eyes White Dragon. Ha! <laughs> my loyal servant can take that easily. Fuck, I didn't realize Kaiba was a cuck. It is time to cleanse thy mind with sweaty, moist, internal dialogue. But, 
If insects scream before you killed them, people wouldn't kill them as much. Oh, they scream. We just don't hear it. Because we're ignorant assholes. If VR was successfully used in educational capacity, we could propel learning to the 23rd century. Yes. But we use it to go into VR chat and touch waifus, so I've, what's the point of going further than that? The internet is a great place to share your opinions, as long as you have the same opinion everyone else has. Vanilla establishing itself as plain ice cream is a success story for the ages. Yeah, what's wrong with vanilla? Any internet community that gets its laugh by pretending to be idiots will eventually be flooded by actual idiots who mistakenly believe that they're in good company. Flat Earth Society. If every country adopted pull doors on the way into restrooms and push doors on the way out, we would reduce the spread of illnesses contracted by contact. Shit, yeah, it's a big brain idea right there. You can't represent open and close with their initials because their shape is opposite of what they represent. Oh my god. If the coronavirus has taught us anything, is that adults from countries deemed both socially and economically advanced are really bad at basic personal hygiene. Why am I clapping? Pixel art is an entire art style born out of technological limitations. And when you really think about it, all digital art is pixel art. Bruh. You can get any accent perfect in your mind. Postmark with not safe for work gets more attention because, let's face it, everybody want to see the anime apps. The fact that blue raspberry is such a wildly accepted flavor is sort of odd. Eh? It's strange how Peach's Castle in Super Mario 64 had a flooded basement despite Princess Peach being close friends with two plumbers who said they were good at their job. You're closer to being a millionaire than Mike Bloomberg is. That is surprisingly motivating. And finally, Mr. Rogers didn't die. The big guy upstairs just... <sniffs> He's my neighbor. This is me, fuck you. I love that one. We tell him. Been a while since we had a dad jokes video. I guess Pat cut the cheese on this one. I'll link your face. Guess again, Lynx. What's blue and not heavy? Light blue. I tried to breathe in some air, but I can't. They are gone. Was that supposed to get a reaction? You are all toast for you're not prepared for my bread pans. You don't know what's coming for you. You made to eat me, but I will still rise up. There is no need to resist for it is already too late. There is no resisting for I am outnumbered by 13. There is no need for any distrust between us, for I am on a roll and you will fear my flower. I am here to bring the pain. Holy fuck why. What's at the end of a Rambo? W. What do you call a print shop that sells retro TV shows themed art with aircon and Febreze? Well, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You don't let a monastery sell flowers. Only you can prevent flowers fryers. What is the meaning of life and everything in the anime universe? 42 Lu. Why is the Iron Giant's voice so powerful? Because it's powered by diesel. Superman. And finally, hey girl, have you seen the Mandalorian? Because baby, you're the one for me. Kill me. Previously on Floor Cousin. Welcome to a new mini series where I'm going to be visiting every state and saying something nice about it and naming something interesting about it as well. The first state is California. Okay, next state. Here's five more. The next state is Idaho. The following reenactment will tell you everything you need to know about Idaho. Montana, I'm so glad we're next to each other. I love you, Washington. Idaho. Okay, Nevada time. You can legally go to a brothel in Nevada. That's it. Okay, Texas now. Texas is the only American state in the United States of America. It's got guns, cowboys, steak, and sand. Texas. It's New Mexico's turn. Contrary to popular belief, New Mexico is the less anticipated sequel to Mexico. I don't actually know what is in New Mexico. I know it's a state. I'll look something up. Some people don't know that New Mexico was the first to do these 10 things. One, build the atomic bomb. Holy shit. 
Okay, uh, let's get this over with. Florida. Florida is the state we offer Satan in exchange for world supremacy. Please save us, we're in Florida! I, I, I'm sorry. I, I can't. Cheese is just a loaf of milk. She's right, I'm scared. This implies a liquid form of bread. Uh, beer. Far from the original creators of Fallout and the developers of Fallout New Vegas. Obsidian just really went for the kill, didn't they? We're not Bethesda! We made the good ones! Obsidian just executed Bethesda on stage live. I am so tired of hearing about Disney's first LGBT character. Where's our first Disney Homestuck character? Don't ever say that again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Rapunzel was stuck in her house for a significant amount of time. Good job. I love how straight people will say girlfriend and boyfriend when referring to straight couples, but whenever it's a gay couple, they break out partner like I'm not a cowboy. Why is this post getting notes again? Anyway, I changed my mind. I am a cowboy partner. How you doing? Okay, so we know about Jesus when he's a baby and Jesus when he's an adult, but does the Bible ever mention his rebellious teenager years? Jesus, go feed the donkey. You're not my real father! The ground shakes a little. A voice comes down from the sky. Do what your stepfather says, you little shit! Thirteen years later, and I'm just realizing Jack-Jack's ability is jack-of-all-trades. Son of a bitch! Bruh! What if their names are puns on their power, then Violet is ultraviolet, which is invisible to the human eye! Shut. Up. Thirteen years! Y'all are gonna flip your shit when I tell you about Dash. That time when Samus's gender was still a secret, so the licensed manga went ahead and depicted Samus Aran as a cool male hero surrounded by women. Except it backfired, and instead, Samus is now a lesbian icon. Be cool, kids. Don't drink and drive. You're a hero! Go for it, Samus! <laughs> You're gonna take it. <laughs> You're not gonna like me for making all these sexual... <laughs> okay. All I can think of is sexual things. Fuck! Jesus fucking Christ, Moni. <laughs> the witches have come to lay their claim. Actually, this is a pair of mischievous goblins examining their new charge. You have a dinner date for 7 p.m. What time do you arrive? All right, 7 a.m. Case the restaurant. Run background checks on the staff. Can the cook be trusted? If not, gotta kill him. Dispose of the body. Replace him with my own guy no later than 4.30. Chickens love classical music. Uh, proof? I hate this. The woman I'm planning to marry showed me this pebble that looks like a guitar pick and with an entirely straight face said, It's for rock music. Mary... Her faster. Do the Spider Verse kids all have like slightly different meme cultures? Just saying. Look, I can fit my whole fist in my mouth. Freaky flexing, but all right. I'm sorry. What did you just say? Okay, but remember, Peter B's world is most like ours. So both Miles and Gwen would have slightly off memes and distress him when he has a hard enough time remembering his own world's memes. I was hoping somebody would point this out. It's strange flex, but cool beans. Uh, am I tripping or something? Is this a stroke? Is this what having a stroke feels like? This is so distressing. Siri, play take on me. You absolute heathen! It's this is tragic, Google, play all-star. What the fuck?! That- that's it, this one! This is the best one! I love it! Yo, careful, bro. You're, you're making this sparring scene kind of homoerotic. Bro, bro, watch out. You kind of sound like you're flirting when we argue. Bro, bro, I'm serious. You're making our steam rivalry look so gay. Oh my god. Kiss me. You know what? I am annoying sometimes. And that's okay. It's not the death sentence I was led to believe. People will love me even if I can't read their signals sometimes. Not understanding is forgivable. I don't have to hold myself back so I don't annoy anyone ever. The people who love me know I get excited, and I'm still loved. Oh shit. Who the hell sands? The stuff you find at the beach. <laughs> the only person who is allowed to poke my stomach is my cat, because he is a very important baker as biscuits to make. Here's an important baker right here! Oh, look at that baby. Okay, not to get emo on Maine, by the way, using that now. But you ever think about how the troops sang about their dreams of finding a girl worth fighting for? And they think their girl worth fighting for is one of romance. But the song abruptly comes to a halt when they find a different girl worth fighting for. A tiny girl who had been killed at the hands of the Huns. A child too weak, too small to have any chance of withstanding the murderous invaders. That is their girl worth fighting for. Fuck, no, I'm sad.
The Road to El Dorado, when in context of a D&D game, is the most astounding in hellish streaks of ones and twenties. The people think you are gods. What do you do? We go along with it? Alright, roll performance. I got a one. Your foot gets caught in a stirrup while you try to dismount from the horse. You look ridiculous. Well, I rolled a 20. <sighs> Somehow, a volcano stops erupting on your cue. Everyone falls to their knees and all. That is fucking accurate. I love it. Live footage from Oran Academy. Sorry I was late, sir. I had to wipe the anime off my car this morning. Do flat earthers think the moon, sun, and all the other planets are flat too? Well, of course we don't. We're not stupid. Um, hmm. <laughs> Daddy never don't get enough time for this shit. Remember, kids, D A B. Jugs bad. <laughs> Look at his eyes. That hot dog is as high as a fucking kite. My god, he smoked all the drugs to save us. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Being gay isn't a choice. One day, Mickey Mouse just decides you're Disney's first gay character, and there's nothing you can do to change that. Petition to name Americans to Burger Idiots. K okay, Burger Idiot. I'm, I'm crying, but this, this is what I wanted. All right, this is it. The tea spill. Let's let's do it. We're we're spilling the tea. Okay, okay. Here we go. No one admits this, but everyone's real favorite ship dynamic is just person A, character you can project onto, and person B, your type. Okay, you know what. <laughs> It's time to cleanse your mind with the sweat of Sky Daddy falling on your face. Good luck trying to take a shower today after that. But Tumblr. There are parallel universes where this text doesn't exist. And there are also parallel universes where this text was made by you, and not me, not me specifically, but the me who wrote this, which could be you who wrote this. People in the past must have had a tough time riding every animal they could until they found out that horses were okay with it. The Chinese word for lazy requires a lot more work to write than most other characters. Yeah. If alcohol was just discovered today for the first time ever by humanity, and videos started surfacing online showing its effects on people worldwide, it would most likely be outlawed almost immediately. Fact. Absolute fact. Cats like chilling in cardboard boxes because it reminds them of the spaceship they came off. Seems like everybody forgot that part of 2016 where actual clowns would chase people around with knives and no one really did anything about it. Uh, the most unrealistic thing about the show Friends is that Monica is around all the time. She's a head chef in a New York City restaurant. She would work a minimum of 15 hours a day, 7 days a week. What the actual fuck? Atoms are impossible to see, but are the only things we see. Bruh. The Wikipedia page for uranium says that it has a metallic taste. Someone died for that information. If you can't look back at your younger self and realize that you were an idiot, you are probably still an idiot. No offense. The dustier a plunger is, the cleaner it probably is. That also really brings into question. Is your bowel movements okay? Do we, do we need to call somebody? If you were invisible, you could beat a street mime and get him loads of plus. Oh fuck, it's sad. Squash was probably invented by a person who wanted to play tennis, but had no friends. <laughs> Tragic. Somehow, three bears cooked porridge in one pot, on one ring, on one stove, then dolled it out into three separate bowls, and it went to three different temperatures. What the fuck? In the last 20 years, the thumb muscles have probably shot to the top as the most exercised muscles in the body. Get them gains. Hit the bill. Hair is considered beautiful when connected to a body, but instantly becomes disgusting the second it leaves it. Why? After years of solving dumb math problems, we now can finally see the people who buy 70 rolls of toilet paper and 50 packs of pasta in real life. 
Shit, man, I was doing that before. And finally, if they make an adult version of Toy Story, the plot of a toy named Buzz replacing a toy named Woody still holds up. And this has been, oh my fucking god, why? By Tumblr. Alabama. There's only one joke you can make about Alabama because it's the only thing that it contributes to the United States. The state bird of Alabama is incest. Now we look at Georgia. It's got peaches, which are, boy, I'm taking that ass fruit. Now we need to talk about Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the micro penis of the USA. It's small. So small. Dead ass New York time. New York is the state where everyone from New York jacks off themselves from being from New York. Only people from New York can make a whole fucking conversation about the street. Dead ass, you know that manhole cover over on third? Yeah, you know the one. Fucking New Yorkers, man. Hey, yes, cause it's right. Meanwhile, while not learning about states. Well, I joined this evil Pokemon organization because of the socioeconomic hardships I faced. What about you? Land bad. <laughs> Oh yeah, sun's out, gun's out. That feeling when you get to stay up at 11 p.m. because you got a vasectomy and you can now play on your Nintendo Switch? Ah! The Legend of Zegend. The Lelda of Zelda. Why do you need to do this? The Lelda of Zelda. Breath of the West. Stop this! The Legend of Zegend. Sword Scourd. Judy, there are limits! And these are my contributions. The leg of Zeg, and the leg of Zeg, the wind wind. <laughs> I'm about to end all the yells. The leg! It is time to cleanse mind with the most sound of your brain doing the thinky things. I don't know what this intro was. But Tumblr. There is probably a pixel on your computer screen that you haven't clicked on yet. The odds 50-50 sound good until you try to connect a USB device. Pulpin is the most peaceful time for an adult. Nobody will or even wants to bother you. You can read, watch whatever you want, and you're not being unproductive because you're doing basic human functions. And that's why so much toilet paper is gone. If there are infinite dimensions, every film that we've seen is based on a true story. Cell phones have turned pushing someone into the pool, a lighthearted prank, into a huge dick move. The opposite of Slim Shady. <laughs> the opposite of Slim Shady is Thick Sunny. The well-being of our country is riding on the cashiers and shelf stockers that we fought to keep at 7.25 an hour. Sharon? Social distancing is probably going to be a Cards Against Humanity card, and I welcome it with full arms. At a respectful distance. Someone decided to crack their fingers one day, and we all just went along with it, you know. By an ass. Comedies are more realistic than dramas because in real life, people always crack jokes to relieve tension. Straight up fact. If midichlorians are inherited, then it would make sense for the Jedi to make their own children rather than try to find children who have high counts of midichlorians. Well, you see, the Jedi's find sex be gross. At least that is what this is trying to tell me. Two people named... I hate this. I haven't finished it and I hate it. Two people named Jack fighting is Jack off. The sky is the limit is terrible motivation speech if you work for NASA. Heat, pressure, and time can both make a dime man and a waffle. 
Watching the airline industry lose billions after charging us all those $50 fees to check bags is quite satisfying. And, oh, frankly, as everyone is in lockdown now, we don't have to flare any stuff you posts. Oh, shit. And this has been uh, To the Bunker by Tumblr. Snake bite like what to do? Elevate and apply pressure. Apologize or else. Does anyone else ever think about how traditional fiction is categorized by plot slash setting, romance, crime, thriller, fantasy? But fan fiction is categorized by the emotion it's meant to give you. Hurt slash comfort, fluff, angst, smut. Never thought of it this way, but that's fascinatingly true. Smut! The fifth emotion! Oh dear god. If you ever think that English is not a shit language, just remember that read and lead rhyme and red and lead rhyme. But read and lead don't rhyme, I neither do read and lead. This post fucked me up! For some reason, we're scared of looking into the abyss of the ocean when it's only a few miles deep. But we're completely fine looking into the nearly infinite abyss of space. In fact, most of us find it calming. Well, you see, gravity doesn't drag me upwards into the unforgiving maw of the cosmos. I am really... Loving the idea of Earth cryptids folklore monsters being real, only the humans have no idea until after their first contact. Our scientists have questions about the small and nocturnal portion of your population that drinks blood and appears virtually immortal. Is there a name for this subspecies? I'm sorry, the what? What crime did this tree commit to be put in tree jail? Treason. Ah, oh, look at this beautiful Floridian swamp cat and adorable kittens. Uh, that there is a gator. Nah, that's a Floridian swap cat. English is not their first language. Hello, I'm sorry if my English isn't very good. English is their first language. <laughs> Power move. Next time you go to the airport, bring a bottle of shampoo. But it's filled with yogurt. And when they tell you that liquids aren't allowed, drink it. This is for food only. Absolutely no science in this microwave. <laughs> With science. This is an actual photo of Tony Stark and Pepper Potts microwave. You think you want me to shut up? I have to listen to myself even when I'm not talking. Wow, this is a fucking mood. A one, a two, a three. <laughs> Hi, how many wishes do I get? What in God's name did you just do to me? This meme is so stupid, but it cracks me up. Someone who doesn't watch Steven Universe, please explain this picture. The long-nosed ninja is losing a rap battle, badly, and her friends are too embarrassed to tell her that you can't rhyme man with ham. Every time I see the why are you buying clothes at the soup store, I have to laugh because there's a mall near my grandparents' house and one of the stores is actually called Soup Store. And you'll never guess what they sell. OP, this is amazing, but I'm required by law to say FUCK YOU! What's he doing? His best, man. How to draw the torso. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus Christ. JoJo artists are giving a seminar finally. Okay, toucans freak me out because that's like their whole mouth. Without it, it's just yellow. Oh my God, yellow? Today I learned a dog has revealed in 1908 to be a fake hero. It was pushing children into the river to rescue them and win beef steaks. You know, you gotta respect the hustle. Aha! Pavlov's bastard. Yo, this niche empty. A feet! That's it, meme culture is peaked, gang. It's all, it's all downhill from here. Fuck it. Guns don't kill people. Horses kill people. <laughs> Guess again. What kind of bird is this? The, the kind with several other birds inside it. <gasps> A mother, how wonderful. I mean, I get that you all want to align Roy Mustang with Lawful Good because he's a high-ranking military officer, but the man literally overthrew the government because he didn't like it. Hashtag no one who stages a coup from an ice cream truck is a lawful anything. We had empires run by emperors and kingdoms run by kings. Now we have countries. Run back! It's time to cleanse your mind. With the sweat of you wondering about social distancing being an effective source of containment. By Tumblr. The country of Chad has never won an Olympic medal, which is pretty unchad like behavior. 
Chances are there are some really pissed off people around the world who recently finished their house arrest sentence. Someday there will be dads disappointed in their sons because they like sports rather than video games. I raise you to be a sports player, Jimmy. Humans were created so that every animal can be petted. Being smart isn't about how much you know, it's about how fast you can learn something new. Growing up is when you start feeling bad for the employee that your mom is yelling at. I'm sorry to hear that your mom's a Karen. People who question cartoon logic really aren't thinking logically. This sounds like a take it a shot. It might be. The world of Harry Potter basically follows the if everyone had a gun argument. Well, not really. Muggles didn't have wands. I didn't even know magic did much. They didn't have guns. I mean wands. Most of the dicks... <laughs> Fuck. Most of the dislikes on the song Never Gonna Give You Up are most likely from people being upset that they felt for something rather than actually having distaste for the song. If you order a DiGiorno on Instacart, it actually is both delivery and a DiGiorno. Guys, you gotta change your tagline now, I'm sorry. Soup is the most devastating meal to drop on the floor. It makes the most mess and is impossible to recover and eat. Those are the words are quitter. Consume the floor soup. Hair of the dog can be abbreviated as hot to dog. My god. The true hangover cure has been found. A pregnancy scare is a near life experience. <laughs> okay, I like that one. A simp and a gold digger is a match made in heaven. True. Viewing cringe content is the visual version of eating a lemon. Welcome to my channel, Consume the Lemon. Calling a guy man is a way of indicating that you're someone's friend, but calling a girl whammon just seems condescending. Which is why you always take the gender neutral approach, my dude. You can draw curved lines better than you can draw straight ones. <laughs> yes, I can. And finally, if your dad is a simp, you are Simpson. And this has been mm, Homer by Tumblr. Everyone I know is time traveling. Yo, check out this dude. He's not disrupting the space time continuum. What a fuck! It's time to reset the timeline. Captain Rich, please help us. Get away from me, you'll infect me. Do not worry, sir, no one here tested positive for the coronavirus. What's that? Hey, is this the Nervous Dog Club? Oh. Hmm. Hey, I'm Grill and I died like two times. I'm three foot nine and very bald. And if you like that, wait till you see my micro penis. Holy shit. Worst state, Hawaii. There is nothing to do in Hawaii but nature bullshit, drinking, fucking, and getting mad at tourists. People who defend living there are only coping, as they can only dream about buying milk under $4. And the youth are trapped out of floating graves since it's too expensive to even leave. The people can be nice, but you go to Hawaii to die, not live. Jesus, dude. Finally, with this last wall piece, my Animal Crossing home will be fully decorated. Big old anime, but don't go, don't get any tired of big old hentai I am Marino's. Yeah, that's the stuff, man. Am I missing something? Why is there just a random fucking Batman in the corner? Because it's non-bread, so it's na 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 Batman. Fun fact: cats don't just wiggle their butts before they pounce out of excitement. They're also making tiny adjustments to the position of their feet in order to move more precisely aimed to unsuing lunge. Or in other words, your cat is calibrating. Loading pounce.exe. Initializing. Analyzing target coordinates. Trajectory adjustments required. Initiate calibration protocol wigglebutt.exe. Wiggling. Wiggling. Calibration complete. Initializing. Pounce in three, two, one. Pounce initiated. Results, slammed head first into wall. Please debug wigglebutt.exe. A huge and ancient dragon loses her clutch of eggs. She decides to adopt an office building full of employees as her children. But to keep them safe, she doesn't want to let any of them leave. 
mighty opus, destroy your kingdom, split. Uh, right. Mom, um, so I had to get back home. I got like three kids who need dinner, and I really should go go back to why, why, why he cried. Good babies! Behold one square foot of bun. Fun fact, a group of bunnies is called a fluffle. <laughs> One square foot of fluffle! People who can't distinguish between etymology and entomology bug me in ways I can't put into words! Okay, fuck whoever this guy is. Quarantine feels kind of like that area between Christmas and New Year's where I have no idea what day of the week it is or if I'm supposed to be going to work. AM and PM kind of blend together. I've taken four naps in ten hours. Leftovers are my primary food source. And I got that weird Sunday anxiety except it's every day for the next two weeks. <laughs> For New York, it's like two months. I'm a them fatale. My gender is a mystery, but I am very sexy and dangerous. Remember the start of season one and everything was okay? I'm not really sure what show you're referring to, and that scares me. A teenage white girl sits at her laptop. She opens Tumblr and types a new text post. Most girls like One Direction, but I don't. Punk bands are way better. Suddenly, a trophy falls from the sky. The girl has done it. She's the most unique girl in the entire world. A choir of angels writes a hymn exalting her superiority to the rest of humanity. My Chinese teacher once shared the story in class about someone who went to the grocery store to buy chicken. But they forgot the English word for it, so they grabbed an egg, went to the nearest sales lady, and said, Where's the mother? Okay, so this just hit me. Humidifiers fill the air with water molecules from a source of water, right? Okay. So what if someone filled a humidifier with holy water? Would this essentially cleanse the room of all evil? So, what I've learned from this, either demons aren't real, or demons are afraid because humans keep coming up with $40 solutions to demon problems. Yeah. Technically, aren't the people in fandoms that like intensely adore a villainous character? and jump straight into another one when they appear, are also minions by definition. You know, next time you can just come kill me in person, it would be kinder. I think people should have mascots. Mine would be a golden retriever wearing sunglasses and holding a beer. I have been informed this is called a fursona. Wait, hold up. Make old mascot small blue elf. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> I present to you, Principal Nezu snuggling up to Aizawa's scarf, like if you agree. I'm pretty sure we have more chairs. It's nice and warm over here, though. Do even his glasses have subtitles? That is next level typesetting. Bro? Are you fucking kidding me? You know what? Ghosts are so funny. They're people who are just like, you know what, actually fuck dying, and decide to cause problems on purpose for the rest of everyone else's lives. Those are goals, to be honest. The Untitled Ghost Game. It's a lovely morning in Amity Park, and you are a horrible ghost. Do you ever just cycle through the same four apps on your phone over and over again and feel like a tiger pacing its cage at the zoo? If you're doing this, it is because you, like the tiger, need enrichment and variety in your life. May I suggest cramming a whole bunch of raw hamburger into a pumpkin and rolling it around your enclosure? Uh, th there's a leaf in your water. The person who's about to invent tea. Oh, you haven't heard? This is literally what happened! I'm screaming, I did not know this! Okay, start time. The story of tea begins in China. According to legend, in 2737 BC, the Chinese emperor, Shen Nong, was sitting beneath a tree while his servant boiled drinking water, when some leaves from the tree blew into the water. Shen Nong, a renowned herbalist, decided to try the infusion that his servant had accidentally created. The tree was a camella sinensis, 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 and the resulting drink was what we now call tea. Beautiful. Social media is wonderful because it let common folk enjoy endless posturing, making of enemies, and flaunting of wealth and romantic prospects, all of which was previously reserved for the aristocracy. What's the difference between posting a selfie at a gym knowing your high school bully will see it and showing up to the Archduke's ball with a new silk gown from Italy to one-up Janet of Salisbury? That is the hottest take. You ever meet someone who makes you wish you had a large ice coffee to slurp loudly every time they started talking? Telling someone to shut up will always be the simplest and most effective shutdown. But nothing says a total lack of respect or regard for their opinion, like putting a straw to your lips and slowly 
excruciatingly taking a drag so the crushed ice scrapes against the inner tubing while maintaining eye contact the entire time so there's absolutely no way they can assume it's unintentional on your part. Jesus, we're all fucking Sharons right now, aren't we? Turns up to court in a fursuit. Hi, I'm your puppet deferder. <laughs> a loo. I'll play guilty if you arrest them too. My coffee got cold, so I made an owl with it. You made a fucking owl with your coffee? I can't even make coffee with coffee. I hate drama. I'm gonna stay out of it. Guess what happened? Oh, what happened, bitch? Wait, wait, let me go get my... Fuck, let me go get my popcorn. Don't say a single word until I get back. Fuck. Fuck. Never underestimate the power of telling yourself, Whoa, calm down there, edgelord, every once in a while. Thanks, I needed that. Oh, if only there was a letter in Paris that resembles the Eiffel Tower. Oh, boy. Wow, Paris is a lovely time this year. Bonjour. Some of y'all motherfuckers on here are beyond needing Jesus. We're gonna have to go all the way back to Norse mythology to find a specific pagan god that will fix your shit. Calm down, Joe. Being married to an elf would suck because they'd just be like, I wrote a short ballad in the subject of our love. Would you like to hear it? Proceeds to sing for the next 12 hours without pause because that's what's considered brief by elf standards. And being married to a dwarf would suck because they'd be like, spend 36 hours carving a pattern of a single face on a hammer. They're forging because you can't rush art and forgets that you even exist until you're forced to come down and persuade them to return to the surface to take a nap before they collapse of exhaustion. <gasps> Oh, so you really can't win. Yeah, but as a dwarf dating an elf, wouldn't it be nice to hear your lover singing a ballad while you worked? You're too smart to be following me. I am very intelligent, but I am also so fucking stupid. But I know everything, but I have never known what's going on in a day in my life. No, I won't elaborate. Mood. You know, not enough people named Wolfgang these days. Shaking my head, what's with that? I had an uncle named Wolfgang, but he's a goat. Does that count? Now, we don't have time to unpack all of that. If we keep accusing people of being the Zodiac Killer, eventually we'll get it right. Maybe the real Zodiac Killer is the friends we made along the way. Bruh. A long sleeve shirt that says sleeves are bullshit. A shirt that says sun's out, gun's out, but is also long sleeve. A shirt that says I flexed and the sleeves fell off, but the sleeves are definitely still there. Really trying to get this one to take off, huh? Be nice to me! It is time to cleanse your mind with smoopity, dupity, dupity, cheers. But I'm more. If Batman and Superman are the brave and the bold, then the Flash and Green Arrow are the fast and the furious. Elsa is pretty athletic for a person who was locked up in her room since she was young until she turned 21. Yeah. Air probably has a flavor we can't taste because we are constantly tasting it. But we can smell when the air changes, so... Uh, this is out there somewhere. Find it. You don't realize how wrong people online are until they post about something you know. Even though most of us are left or right-handed, we always seem ambidextrous while gaming. Because we have to show that we're epic gamer boys. We have to we have to look like we're epidextrous, you don't understand. The person who invented roller coasters probably accidentally fell off a cliff and thought, hey, that was fun. Let's do that shit again. In 80 years, people will scroll through their grandparents' Instagrams instead of flipping through photo albums. Then it truly will be an Instagram. Meh. It feels like summer break, but we're all grounded. In a show, from a police perspective, cops are super smart and the criminals are the big dumb peanut brains. In shows from the criminals' perspectives, criminals, criminals are crazy smart and the cops are the biggest idiots on the planet. Huh. As the world shuts down and people turn to television, music, podcasting, books for entertainment, comfort and sanity, Hopefully you most take note that we do indeed need the arts, Sharon. You probably have a better understanding of how far you can jump in a game than how far you can jump in real life. Why is that true? I hate that word. 
One day the onion will shut down, since satire is becoming less and less distinguishable nowadays. Why? Chefs that cook in front of you at a restaurant are the lap dancers of the fine dining industry. So it's totally justifiable when I hand my hibachi chef a couple of singles and said, do that shit again. If a psychologist's patient never comes back for another appointment, the psychologist is either amazing or terrible at their job. The opposite of a skinned person is a skinned person. Fucking English language. It was someone's job to program smartwatches to not count masturbating as steps. And finally, in the future, we will have ghost actors who will physically act the script, but will be deep faked with the right face the right expressions, and the right dialogues in post-production. And this has been... Fuck, I don't like this future. By Tumblr. My name is Melvin, and welcome to the Night Tumblr Pass. With me, Melvin. This is a stupid-ass cold opening. I don't know what I was going with. Man. You're in the chaos that is Doom Eternal. You feel the monsters closing in on you. And all seems lost. Suddenly... Doom guy bursts through the wall. All the monsters turn to look at him. He loads his gun and says, It's Roar XD time. Bubble wrap, but there's terrified faces printed out of the bubble so you feel morally challenged popping them. Did you mean horny? I would love to study you. Uh, I go into Tumblr hiatus every few months. And every time I come back, I see this dumb shit immediately. Can you just shut up and enjoy the fact that all of our icons are yellow for a second? <gasps> oh my god, they are. People who wear glasses. How do you keep them clean? We don't. Our glasses aren't clean. We just had to learn to see through the dirt. We had to grow stronger. Survival of the less blind. All right, bear with me. Is OVO a variant of OO, or in fact, someone wearing the Plague Doctor mask? Oh, do you got the plaguey waggy? We've got to fix that before you die. I regret everything. Here's a tip for you. Carry a fork with you. If someone tries to rob you, pull that fork out of your pocket and say, thank you, Lord, for this meal I'm about to have, and charge at them with the fork. Street smarts! Apparently, the dude who started Netflix did so because he got a $40 late free from Blockbuster and was pissed. Pettiness is the greatest motivation in the world. In 1888, Almon Brownstronger, an undertaker, noticed he was losing a lot of business to the other undertaker in his town. He found out that the other undertaker's wife was a telephone operator. When she intercepted people asking to be connected to Stronger's funeral home, the operator would route the call to her husband's funeral home instead. Three years later, Stronger patented the Automatic Telephone Exchange, a system which allowed telephone users to make calls without the need for human operators. Holy shit, he destroyed a whole workforce! Younger me? Why am I so obsessed with gay people? Older me. <gasps> I am a gay people. You know, sometimes I think I'm arrogant, but then I remember that Julius Caesar was kidnapped by Sicilian pirates, and when they demanded a ransom of 620 kilograms of silver, he got mad because he thought he was worth more than that, and he made him raise it to 1,550 kilograms. He has also recited his own poetry to them. Dude, this is why you got stabbed by all your friends. Do fucking shit. Can they please make a dishwasher with a transparent door? I want to see what's going on in there. This is disrespectful. Let the dish elves have their privacy. Fuck going on in there, Sam. You making a weed? No, don't look at me. I don't have any socks on. I'm immodest. Reverse harem. But the MC is a cute old lady who loves spoiling the very young and very hot boys to death because she's never had grandchildren. The guys are all fighting over her because it's the most genuine love and validation they've ever received in their lives, and they also low-key want to be adopted by her. This isn't a harem. This is just competitive found family. And I'd fund the shit out of it. Hit me up if you want to make this show. Okay. If K is an abbreviation of OK... And some people call their grandfather Pop. Does that mean K-pop can be used as OK Boomer? Family isn't just genes and DNA. Family is a Discord server full of gay nerds that send each other memes. 
You know that according to Schrodinger, anything you put in a box is both dead and alive. Everyone at the funeral. Box <laughs> <laughs> box. Schrodinger would have hated this interpretation of his work, and I am here for it. He might be rolling over in his grave. Or not. Do you ever catch a whiff of a scent that smells unmistakably of something really random? Like the 23rd day of first grade, and you're like, How did I remember that? Someone actually put this into words! For your consideration. The world is broken, and I'm sad because there's nothing I can do to fix it. The world is broken, but there's an odd beauty in the dark parts. The world is broken, I'm angry, and I'm gonna fight to fix it! Maybe the world is broken, but I got a fucking trumpet! Today I learned Vikings used the bones of slain animals when smithing new weapons, believing this would enchant the weapon with the animal's spirits. This actually made the weapon stronger because the carbon in the bones coupled with the iron made a primitive version of steel. Fuck off, Egghead. It's because of bone magic. Behold, I'm an ox now. <laughs> I can't decide what's better. Elves being tricked out versions of humans or the races having similar appearances but completely different physiologies. An elf goes to a human hospital and the doctors are like, Holy fuck, you broke our blood typing machine. Sir, the, the results are in and technically... You are a fungus. What is your most controversial video game hot take? The pursuit of photorealism in games is a fruitless endeavor that only results in bloated file sizes that take too much space. Doom guy is a bottom. Like I said, raw XD time. I can just hear all the people saying, Seymour, for the love of God, stop! It is time to clean your mind. Wish. Every room is an escape room. They just vary in difficulty. Money can't buy love, but it can give you more opportunities to find it. Tiger King is the most Florida thing ever filmed, and 90% of it takes place in Oklahoma. Someone who does the same thing over and over again expecting different results is insane. Someone who very slightly tweaks their thing over and over again expecting different results is a scientist. With all these empty streets, Google Earth is the most realistic it has ever been. Ordering a rare steak is pretty common. I hate you, English language. Desktop computers went from being for nerds to being for everyone, now back to being for nerds again. Our definition of essential worker is very rarely reflected in what they're paid. We are taught in school that Wikipedia is unreliable, but the news is completely unreliable. <laughs> Shit. The guys who work at the factories where they make weights are probably more jacked than the guys who end up using them. The phone shows a screen showing no battery left, even though it needs a battery to sh show it. What? Squirrels quite literally grow on trees. Breakfast cannot be skipped. Only delayed. Canadians are so nice because all their rage and hatred is transferred to their geese. Eating ramen with chopsticks is normal, but eating spaghetti with chopsticks is weird. As a kid, your bed is in the corner of a room, so you have more room for playing. As an adult, your bed is in the center of the room for the exact same reason. <laughs> We're starting to realize how many meetings were actually mandatory to hold in person. Stan? An inhaler is sort of like a real-life stamina potion. I mean, I guess. Butts are the only thing you hit to show how much you like them. I'd say slap hit more implies punching, and punching a butt is not a sign of affection. That is abuse. Abuse on tooks. And finally, 2019 wasn't so bad. And this has been, why the fuck is that true? By Tumblr. Girl the Vasker, I need some mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Holy shit, Yellowstone is erupting. Hey, check this out. <laughs> We're about to die. All right, listen, shit is serious right now. You don't need another comic or meme telling you to wash your hands, ooh, ooh hydrate, or any of that bullshit. <sighs> Stay at home if you can, don't be a cunt. Look at some memes. I uh, just invented water that makes your face melt. Slamming! I want your
<laughs> Imagine not investing in altcoins coins in 2020. See you, boys. I'm going to the fucking moon. I've lost $5,000 today. <laughs> Tax season's coming. Wait, that's not a meme. People actually pay taxes? Yeah, we all have to. Okay, but why? It's time for everyone's favorite game show, waiting on the bus. Sir, here is your final question. What are you doing right now? I'm waiting on the bus. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! What did you wish for? I wish my mental illness was cured. <gasps> well, it seems we need to take you home unless you have some form of payment today. I'll offer you my virginity. Your virginity is not worth a house. Hmm. Crusader Knight let him down. It is time to cleanse my mind with elongated breath waves. Thank you, Box 9000 for the idea. By Tumblr. Schools prepare you more for a game show than the real world. Depression makes you tired during the day, but keeps you awake at night. I feel called out by this. Fuck you. Historians basically have degrees in hindsight. I mean, I guess. Commas are reading speed bumps. Your adult personality is your child personality filtered through society. Where is the fucking lie? You can tell how blunt a knife is by how far it fires the piece of carrot you are chopping. Fact. The About the Author section of an autobiography is riddled with spoilers. Come on. Stop that. If you hear birds chirping before the sun's out, you're either ultra productive or you've lost control of your life. The word indescribable can never be used accurately. Shit. We've done more for the environment by doing absolutely nothing than we have in years. All of a sudden, every restaurant is capable of not only delivery, but free delivery. Weird, it's like they need tactics in order to keep the restaurant afloat so they can go home and pay bills and feed their families. Huh. Makes a fucking wonder, doesn't it? You have probably insulted your friends more than someone you actually hate. <laughs> yep. Over the years, Star Trek made people accept that a black guy can be a captain, a woman can be a captain, but not that teenager that can be smarter than adults. Fucking shut up, Wesley. You're an asshole. Hey, you. The day cheese becomes an acceptable gift is the day you have officially become an adult. When a cat falls asleep in your lap, it's not a display of trust as we believe it to be. It's the ultimate display of dominance. For they know we will not move until they allow it. The last day all humans were living on Earth together was November 2nd of 2000. Since then, there has always been someone living on board the International Space Station. Damn. Two halves of a pair. Make a pair. Fucking English language, I hate you. Go to your for class. As soon as possible, an ASAP register as different connotations of urgency. And yet... They mean the same thing. Saying calm down has never calmed a person and never will. So stop it. And finally, somebody probably referred to you as some random ones. And this has been I'm About to Throw Some Fucking Hands by Tumblr. All right, Zuko really thought the Avatar was 100 years old and he was still fully prepared to kidnap him. Imagine if that actually gone down like Zuko thought it would. You're a fully realized Avatar, and you've been hiding out for over a century, and all of a sudden you get approached by this 13-year-old kid who's like, Yo, what's good? I got no death perception, and I'm ready to fight God! Come at me, bitch! The word prostitute actually meant grandmother, and I didn't know that. Then my friend said he was going to his prostitute's house. The teacher asked which one, and he said his mother's mother's. And I was just standing there like, What the fuck is going on? My god, the not a dream tag posts are really messing with me, I swear! I thought I read that as not a dream! Congratulations! Your not reading the URL has evolved into accidentally reading a tag as not a dream. What if NASA invented thunderstorms to cover up the sound of space battles? Oh shit, they're onto us! Alright, Pucky! Two... Plus five. <laughs> you think I'd reveal my secrets to you? 
This is powerful. Tell us what 2 plus 5 equals, please! Wait! Hold up! This implies that Pukacho invented maths. Did Pukacho invented maths? I took a pic of me watching the Pickle Rick episode to piss people off, but somehow I managed to take a pic so that the frame on the TV was a different frame on the reflection on the desk. First image! This is the most fucked up scenario that accurately depicts that movement of photons through space and time. Einstein would be so upset that you proved his theory at one moment. Cause in his day it took fucking months to set up an eclipse big to prove relativity and you did it by accident in your living room. Congrats, but also fuck you. Yo, remember that time they legit tried to have a gritty Looney Tunes reboot? This can't be real. Oh, it's real. And it's horrible. I want someone who has never had an art history class to tell me what this is called. Water slides, if you're not a coward. It's okay that you're not who you thought you would be. Wow, this is one of the most softest things I've read on here. And it came from a soft wrongness. Who knew? When people talk about traveling to the past, they worry about radically changing the present by doing something small. But barely anyone in the present really thinks that they can radically change the future by doing something small. Dude. My anxiety. <laughs> Me. Alright buddy, you need to be less panic and more at the disco right now, okay? There is no difference between Coke, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Sprites, Ginger's Ale, Roots Beard, Mountain Dew. All of them, they're all exactly the same. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> Comparing these other drinks to ginger ale is like sticking your hand in a blender. Because in both situations, <laughs> you'll know soon enough. Harry Potter and the Year Nobody Got a Haircut. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Flowing Locks. Harry Potter and the half-priced extensions. Oh my god, I'm dead! So is Cedric. 361,873% done! Prom! No! There is no question mark. You are being summoned to Roach Prom and there is no choice. A haunted doll that bleeds sour cream if cut or punctured. Unlimited sour cream? I don't see a problem. You would be torturing a little doll for sour cream. Where do you think your precious tacoed bell has been getting it this whole time? Oh shit. Remember that time George Washington said, hey, don't split into political parties because bad shit's gonna happen if you do? Then America did the thing. What the fuck, guys? He had one job. He looks so done. Today at work, I asked one of the kids what her favorite color was, and she said, pink and purple. They're pretty. I used to like yellow, but I got fed up with it. She stares into the distance. Suddenly, this five-year-old child in her flowery dress with matching ribbons and hair had become a battle-hearted veteran. She's seen some shit. Too many things are yellow now. If this were a movie, she'd knock back the last of her whiskey and get up from the bar. And I know in my heart of hearts, this kid is sick of minions. Why is door shut? Stick paw under to solve mystery? Paw under door did nothing. Next option, sit in front of the door and SCREAM! You know, Seymour, you once posted a Tumblr video in which you read a post that said, an actor is only famous for who they play, or something along those lines, and you muttered Travis right after. I didn't realize you were Travis until I did a double take. I've just been calling you send dick pic to OC man. I'm gone. Goodbye, world. Comment. Fucking kill me. Okay, I'm dead. The video's over. Bye. Okay, sorry, sorry. I got held up. I was at the bakery and they had some really yummy cake. And, well, you know how I get around cake. Well, thanks for waiting up for me. Well, I had a really good day today. I ate cake. Any day I eat cake is really good. But you, you, you know so much about me. Uh, so, how's your day been? Hmm, really? That's interesting. So, what brings you here today? I know you wanted to meet up. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I... I'll always be your friend. <laughs> I mean, this is gonna be really cheesy, but I'm just really glad we met. And you've been such a help to me, and I want to be a help to you, too. No matter what you're dealing with, I just, I just, I want, 
want to be there for you. You're, you're like, you're like a piece of cake. Oh, that sounds silly. <laughs> but I mean, you are, you're sweet and you're the best and you have icing, but not really. <laughs> But for real, you're one of the best things to ever happen to me. Your friendship means the world to me. And I'm just, once again, I'm just really glad we met. <laughs> wow, it's a beautiful day out. Hey, do you ever think we can maybe go just watch a sunset in the future? Just the two of us. We'll do it, we'll get like a pillow and a blanket and we'll just watch it go down. It'd be so cool. Oh, my coffee's getting cold. <laughs> uh, I may have been carrying on too much. Maybe we should just go ahead and drink instead of just sitting here chatting away. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and drink up. It is time to cleanse your mind with, and I quote, Mother Nature's Perspiring Mind Thinkerinos by Tumblr. We can feel every surface in our body simultaneously, but don't even notice it. The hospital you were born in is the only room you can exit without actually entering. It's always easier to be asleep unintentionally on the couch than intentionally on bed. Mood. So glad that hair doesn't have pain receptors in them, otherwise haircuts would become a nightmare. The wheel is great and everything, but the guy who invented the axle doesn't get enough credit. Having checkpoints when scrolling through apps so you don't have to accidentally go back all the way to the top would make a lot of sense, and that's a million dollar idea, I'm gonna take it. Wonder how beautiful it may be to have rings on our planet like Saturn? Just looking up at the night at these shimmering lines and circle the sky above us, and then... Make it closer. Uranium has about 18 billion calories per gram, so eating a gram of uranium is technically enough food to last you for the rest of your life. Forbidden power bar. Easter makes more sense to dress up as zombies than Halloween. Love it. Next time someone says you look familiar, tell them you do porn. The word swims is the same upside down. You have to write it and then flip it over and then it'll just blow your mind. A GIF is the silent film of our era. Straight up fact. The most successful serial killer ever is probably a truck driver that targets dads going out for smokes. Why did you take my day? 99% positive reviews is more credible than the 100% positive reviews. We have found the Sharon's true purpose. The lap is a body part that only exists in one position. And finally, the fact of phonetically isn't spelt phonetically is ridiculous. And this has been, thanks, I hate it, a Tumblr. Concept. The secret boss of a video game is the merchant you've traded with this whole time. And their combat capabilities are based on entirely what you sold them. For example, did you sell them necromancy skill books? Well, damn, now they could summon a skeleton army. Yeah, I'm really scared of the guy with 30 rusty iron swords and 200 fruitcakes. Bring it on, Chad! The worst thing's about dinosaurs no longer being around is I can't kiss them on the tops of their massive scaly heads! Same with saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths. Making this post has made me realize that humans basically only have two instinctual responses to seeing a big dangerous animal. That's a dog, and that's a cat. I give you Harvey Ball, creator of the smiley face. He looks like he's seen the devil with his own two eyes. Good for him. It occurred to me that bingo night and bridge night at the senior center will probably be D&D &D night when we get there. And now I'm ready to retire. Hashtag mood. Speaking of moods. So I work at a retirement home and one of the residents heard me saying mood all the time and she asked what it meant and now she won't stop saying it. Other resident fell over and she was like, mood. OP, you are adding invasive elements to a fragile ecosystem. Society is going to collapse because of this! Mood. To clarify, one time I dreamt I was watching a horror movie and the main characters were in a cage trying to escape this guy with a creepy laugh. Then suddenly my surroundings change, and now I was part of the movie too and helping them escape! I think you dreamt of the Smurfs. 
Why are people wondering what's under Diglett and Doug Trio? Seriously, look at this. So you're telling me there's a Brock underneath every Doug Trio? Did Harry Potter really have a currency called nuts? How did preteen, and let's be real, 20-year-old, wizards deal with that? And how are you paying for your pre-ordered copy of Super Rad and Probably Very Dangerous Beasts and Where to Totally Find Them by Rubius Hagrid? With these nuts! Oh, for those questioning my sexuality, I swing both ways. Violently, with a bat. Come get some, motherfuckers! Gamers will see water and be like, Ugh, I am physically incapable of digesting this. You really stuck up on this gamers don't drink anything idea, huh? Gamers have cold blood and live in the sand! Did Pucky Cho just call us gamers lizard people? I think he just did. I was chatting with a donor before I drew his blood, and he was a dentist. When I actually drew him, there was a little squirt of blood, and it surprised him. I looked him in the eye and told him, You're bleeding because you don't floss. He went dead silent. Behold the four, ladies, gaties, ladies, and Hades. You know, goth, they, them, lesbians get to be all four. Oh my god, they have the gift! I have this problem where the other day for me ranges from yesterday to around five years ago. And a friend of mine is literally anybody I've ever heard of whose opinion I like. I'm guilty of both of these. Why are there so many cat girls in anime? I'll get it. Where are all the dog girls? I just remembered an anime with a dog girl and I immediately regret this post. Wait, what anime has a dog girl? Full Metal Alchemist. We bought Mountain Dew flavor lip balm, and now we just keep saying, Bro, I need some gamer fuel! And kissing each other. And this isn't a cute relationship post! We are four grown men who are supposed to be working right now! Bros can kiss when they want to, bro, it's not weird! It's for gamer fuel! I wish I lived in Tokyo so I could Daijobu hamburgers into my mouth every day. Daijobu means be okay, or I am okay. Uh, Pocky? Wish I lived in Tokyo so I could never be questioned again! I mean, just try being right and you won't be. No. The pros and cons of making things. Pro, the thing, and cons, make. You summed up the struggle of all creators ever so nicely. Oh, shit. I don't believe any boy who says I'm not like the other guys unless he has snow-white hair, glowing green eyes that can walk through walls, disappear, and fly. Your bed is probably as happy to see you as you are to see it. Oh, here comes a warm slab it thinks. Wrong, it thinks, God hope this dipshit doesn't spill beans all over me again. Who the fuck eats beans in bed? Stop blogging this! New year, new me! I haven't spilled beans in bed once this year! Uh-oh. What if a Ouija board was like an afterlife call center? Hey Joey, line 396 is open. Three teenagers in the dark want to talk to some ghost or something. I'm gonna prank them so hard. Joey, no. I'm gonna say I'm Satan. Joey, this is why they made a shitty movie about us! Oh, shit, I forgot the interrupting scream. Well, I've done it for so long. It's time to make you all do it. Some of you might know this. Wisconsin. I don't know, the people there are cool, but they do not shut the fuck up about cheese. Cheese hat. I must keep the death no secret. If anyone finds out, I'll go to infinite prison. It's me, I'm police. Hello, police. I'm holding a magic notebook that kills people when I write their names in it. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, man, you want a cupcake? What's wrong with it? Blood? Glass? Guts? Gum? Some kind of fucking poison demon? Raisins? It's just a cupcake, man. <laughs> it's got thanks. Michigan. You ain't from Michigan if you never did this before. The floor, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> You're studying. A cute lady. A fancy baby. A cutie pie countess. Strong, determined feline. A queen. A queen deserves a queen's feast. <laughs> Is that an animal dick you're drawing? Listen, I'm not gonna tell you this entire house is funded by me drawing this stuff. But it is. I guess the real question here is how can you not like Tesla? He thought women would eventually rule the world because they were the dominant sex. He liked pigeons. He was a vegetarian. He was a babe. He was shy. He hated Edison, as we all do. And he's perfect. Yeah, as long as you're okay with that time he went bockers and tried to build a death ray. Are you serious? The death ray was the best part! So, I meant to say, oh crap, I left my phone in my car. But what I almost said was, oh no, I left my cone in my far. And damn, would have that been embarrassing? But I caught myself, and what I actually said was, ah. 
my fart code. So anyway, whenever I'm in a group project, I'm like, give me the easiest job so I won't disappoint anyone. But I'm also like, now let me do everything, you're doing it all wrong. If you wake up much earlier than normal, you feel secret emotions. One time I woke up at like 7 a.m. and I stared at the sunrise for like an hour. Don't know what emotions those were, but they sure were a lot. If you stay up late enough, you feel the same emotions, but the bad version of them. Okay, how come reading tea leaves is seen as sophisticated witchy thing? But if I slam dunk an open can of Chef Boyardee ravioli onto the pavement in the gas station parking lot to see what kind of soda the old ones think I should buy, food innovation suddenly isn't cool anymore? Like seriously? Guy orders custom size 14 and a half slipper, company sends size 1450 instead. That is the opposite of a problem. A new bed! Are, are you sure this isn't a mistake? Why would it be a mistake? You never look at a horse, wait, shit, hang on. You never look at a horse in the mouth, oh, fuck, P please help me. It's gift. Never give the horse in the mouth! Despicable Me is a valid movie Facebook moms just decided the minions were funny instead of paying attention to the found family message that it's actually about. It was simply about a bald Russian man with fucked up legs that learned that loving his three adopted daughters is more important than stealing the moon. Sometimes a family can be a top-heavy triangle man, a mad scientist, three girls, and several thousand banana-flavored Tic Tacs. I still don't understand that movie. Like, what? Why is there a bald man who's a mad scientist with a Russian accent trying to steal the moon and who let him adopt kids? The children. Hmm. Here we see a baby wiggle floof cleaning its tiny squish beans. Highly technical terminology, you understand. We must be scientific about the floofy woogums. My assessment of this wiggle floof is an eight-point squeeze on the DAW scale. I've never been this annoyed reading comments on a photo of a cat in my life. Guess what? Chicken butt? I have been defeated! Sweet release! Dystopian novels be like, there's no music but our national anthem and this forbidden rebel song. As if all Earth is really gonna let go of ABBA music. Consider, the Forbidden Rebel songs are all from ABBA. Mamma Mia, here I go again. A new version of Phineas and Ferb is being released. It is on a streaming service and will be rated MA. Everyone wonders what this mature version of their beloved's kids show will be. The first season is released and you started watching it. It's just the same as the first season of the old show. Is this some elaborate joke? Finally, at the end of the first episode, it happens. Dr. Doofensmurtz is defeated, as he usually is. And this time, however, as Perry is making his exit, you hear Doofensmurtz yell, Fuck you, Blurry the Blatipus! This is the only thing that has changed in the show. And I love everything about it. I'm on medication that can make me spacey as fuck, which can be a problem when I'm driving. Like yesterday, for example, when my best friend was trying to help me avoid a pothole, he said to the left, and I just mumbled, Take it back, though, y'all. <laughs> hit the pothole straight on. Fuck, big mood. Writing prompt. Reincarnation is a known, common, and expected result of death. You are a bounty hunter that specializes in tracking down people who have committed suicide to escape debts or a jail sentence. It's a girl, the doctor explained. It's a fucking tax dodger is what it is. Blaze, the flame Hogan, burst into the infirmary, cocking his shotgun. This baby owes $440 million to the government. Boiled again. I'll get away next time, Blaze. The baby clenches their tiny fist. All right. I'm not going to say it again. A bog is a wetland that is acidic, and a fen is a wetland that is alkaline. Finally, someone said it. A swamp is a wetland whose vegetation consists of trees or other woody plants, and a marsh is a wetland with the other forms of vegetation. A little louder for other people in the back. I love it when dogs are in guard, but not in full bark mode yet, and they just whisper, Bruff, Bruff. Oh, it's precious. Back when I was a beekeeper, my bees were really gentle, and one time I scooped up a handful of them, and I got really emotional. I wanted to kiss them, and I essentially face-planted myself into a palm full of bees while crying, and that's the most important fact about me. If giving fairies your name makes it belong to them, then does the same apply to giving them any of your possessions as well? Can I take your coat? Yeah, sure, thanks. No, thank you. Wait, what the fuck? Beefay, do crime. Why would suburban super cities depopulate? Plague, obviously. 
Oh, cool. Something to look forward to in 2020. Oh, for fuck's sakes. LP first posted this in 2018 for the context. And what an on-point prediction. I remember a more innocent time when two bros would chill in a hot tub six feet apart, not because of a global pandemic, but merely because they were not gay. Good times, bro. Fun fact, did you know that spiders are actually 12 foot tall and they're chasing you as you read this? Bucky Joe, please, I'm begging you not to do this. You know I have to. Okay, my mom has these Winnie the Pooh salt and pepper shakers on the stove, but Christopher Robin fell over and it looks like he's having a breakdown while Pooh dissociates. Hmm. I had a dream where I was sitting in a dark office and reality felt really altered and strange. And there was just a fish tank illuminating the room. And then this fucking fish looked at me and grinned with human teeth. And this super deep voice said, You've been here a while. Better wake up before you forget how to. And I fucking woke up in a cold sweat. Dude, I think you went to hell. You know what I want to know? How the fuck did Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper make a fucking cinnamon shaker for a baby? Solve that mystery, Steve. That is paprika, you ignorant slut! Excuse me, asshole! That is Cinnamon, he was born in the fourth season. Paprika looks like this. That's fucking Paprika. She's Cinnamon or the sister. Goddamn, Tumblr, I'm fucking done with your shit! Tumblr's getting heated over Blue's Clues. Good times. Did you know some people stop being tired? Like they can enjoy a cup of coffee, then go on with their day feeling awake and functional? That they don't feel exhausted all day long? Like, that's so weird. What's up with that? Uh, source? OP, where's the source? OP, where's the source? Team of people and there's one girl is literally the worst trope and I'm tired of it. It's weird because it's always like, we need one of each personality trope. And then, this one's personality is girl. <sighs> yep. Today I learned Thomas Jefferson had a Shetland sheep that he kept on the White House lawn described as this abominable animal. It would attack people who took shortcuts across the lawn, injuring a few people, and even killing a small boy. Well, they just let any shit happen back then, huh? Lin-Manuel Miranda's a coward for not showing this in Hamilton! Okay, so, like, there's a dude on Twitter saying nuggets are good, too, when they're boiled, so, um, I'm trying it right now. Update! It's hella good! They're better than fried nuggets! This is the worst thing I've read, and I'm tempted to try it immediately. Stoodle creep, are you talking about chicken nuggets? Did you boil chicken nuggets? I did boil chicken nuggets! Character in a fight scene. Restrains their opponent by pinging them against the wall by their wrists. Mm. Pins their opponent down by straddling their waist and holding their wrists to the floor. Oh. Lifting their disarmed opponent's chin slightly into the business end of their weapon. Oh. Pins down the opponent and leans in close to whisper in their ear. Mm. Restrains the opponent by twisting their arms behind their back and pinning them to the wall chest first with their own chest pressing against their opponent's back. <laughs> Restrains opponent's arms in a lock hold with their own entangling their arms together, forcing their bodies to be pressed together and faces in close proximity. <laughs> Holds opponent by collar, lifts them, and brings them close to their face. <laughs> hey, you made it. Good job.